nagsimula ako ng basketball nung grade 6 ako. Kasi nung panahon na yun, ay, ako yung pinakamatangkad sa school namin. Ang paborito kong player si Mike Pingris. Signature moves ko yung ano, 3 points, follow up dunk. Pero yun, joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> ang favorite food, madami. Sinigang, tsaka tinola. Gusto ko kasi yung masim-masim, tapos maraming sabaw. Ang biggest crush ko si Ejeloxin kasi nag-iisang darna lang. Nag-iisang darna lang. Uh, ang favorite song na ialay ko kay Ejeloxin ay siguro Arana. Siyempre, araranaan ara, natin. <laughs> Panoorin niyo ako at ang Sambuanga Chooks na pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Ako si Maclean Sabilina from Cagayan de Oro City. Naglaro sa STI College at maglalaro para sa Palayan City. Simula ako mag-basketball nung ano, kasama-kasama ko yung tatay ko nung high school ako. Ayun, na, nakailigan ko na mag-basketball. Ang paborito kong basketball player si Michael Jordan. Ang signature move ko ay yung ano, hook shot kasi nung bata ako yun yung pinapractice ko simula nung naglalaro-laro ako sa barangay na ang paborito yung pagkain ko ay yung ano, sinigang na paksiw. What? Oh. Ah, siyempre, ang biggest crush ko yung girlfriend ko. Kasi yun yung inspirasyon ko eh. <laughs> Pwede na ba yun? Ang <laughs> ito kong song na iaalay sa girlfriend ko yung Binibining Marikit. Kasi siya ang pinaka-binibining marikit sa buhay ko. <laughs> Sweet! Ikaw ang binibining naninanais ko. Tama na yun. <laughs> Panoorin nyo ako at ang Palayan City sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Matindi ang laban to dit sa Liga ng Bayan. Ito ang Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang fun with TM Easy Surf 50 Doble data. Di doble na ang pang-internet. My 3 gig pa. Fun na live sa favorite mo. 143, 140, ah, sino kayo nung kulit nyo? Mag-DM Easy Sir 50, doble data na! Ako si Gino Mawas, from Sambuanga City. Naglaro sa University of the East. At naglalaro para sa Sambuanga Valientes. Nagsimula ako maglaro ng basketball noong siguro mga 7 ako. Ang favorito kong basketball player ay si Kobe Bryant. Kasi wala naman mas magaling ba kay Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Ang favorito kong pagkain ay spaghetti. Kasi yan yung niluluto ng nanay ko <laughs> kada birthday ko. Pero syempre at saka yung chukso oh, ko. Oh yeah! Biggest crush ko ay ang asawa ko. At saka si Nadine Lustre. Pareha silang mga ganda. <laughs> Favorite song ko ay Kwando. Uh, kanta to ng Shabakano. At eto, paano to kantahin? Kwando! Kwando contesta! Miyota Reza Kwando, Kwando Panoorin nyo ako at ang Sambuanga Valientes sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM Ako si Juan Gomez Dalyano from Quezon City Naglaro sa University of the Philippines at maglalaro para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Started playing basketball at a very young age. My father took my brothers and I out to the court. So before we used to live in the backyard, namin, ano yun, a basketball court. Yun eh. So I guess it started from there, we just kept on grinding. But my favorite basketball player, I have two actually. I look up to James Harden and Devin Booker. You know, just their leadership, their approach to you know, every game, their mindset, mentality, and also you know, their impact on and off the court. My signature basketball move would probably be the step back to a pull up jump shot because you, know, you create a lot of space for you know, a wide open shot. My favorite food, marami. Uh, siguro, I love eating sinigang, chicken and dobo, bulalo, and you know, especially sisig. Happy fiesta! <laughs> the biggest crush would probably be uh, Zendaya. Just her personality, and she looks so, you know, gorgeous and all that. My favorite song, I think my go-to would probably be Grease by Drake. Sample, sample, two lines. Uh, come with me. Cut, 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 cut. Any lyrics in? Come with me. 
Leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Panoorin niyo ako at ang Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown ouch! May lamok! Ine! Kaming bahala sa fun! Basta may doble data? Doble ang fun! With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang pang internet? May 3 gig pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we say Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! 142? 143? 140? Ay! Sino kinukulig mo? Hi, Lita! Doble ang fun! Sa doble data ng TM Easy Sir 50! For the past two years, world-class 3x3 basketball action has found a home in Chuxtago, Pilipinas, 3x3. From packed venues in and around the country, the Chuxtago, Pilipinas, 3x3 brand of basketball has set the highest standard, earning praise from the biggest names in global 3x3. And now, in the midst of uncertain times, our dream of bringing the Filipino athlete back to the Olympics burns brighter than ever with the country's first professional 3x3 basketball league. This is Chukstabo Pilipinas 3x3, now powered by DN. Academy, and things are about to get hotter. Mga 3x3 fans sa buong Pilipinas, nadinig namin ang inyong hiling at ramdam namin ang inyong pananabik sa pagbabalik ng street basketball at ang pinakaunang professional 3x3 liga sa ating bansa. Ito ang 2020 Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Labing dalawang kuponan, limang putwalong manlalaro, all excited to return to competitive action. Lahat sila ay dumaan sa napakastriktong safety protocol para siguraduhin ang kaligtasan ng bawat isa. Karamihan sa kanila ay narito na ng limang araw para mag-ensayo at masanay sa kanilang bagong tanganan sa susunod na dalawang linggo. Nagbubuo din ang mga pagkakaibigan. Nakikilala nila ang kanilang mga kalaban. Pero pagdating sa half court, All out and game face on dahil 1 million pesos ang naghihintay sa ating grand finals. Magpapakilala na silang lahat ngayong araw. Kaya simulan na natin ang pre-season ng 2020 Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. We got out there, we tried to work on some things, and uh, it was another day, another opportunity to get better. We'll just use it to constructively criticize ourselves and move forward for tomorrow, heading into the preseason. We're happy because uh, finally we were able to uh, play a game, practice game against Butuan and uh, Zamboanga team, Josh and Alvin, and uh, we learned a lot actually. We adjusted because we didn't have the uh, contact games for uh, seven to eight months. Eh. We had like a competitive game-like atmosphere already. I mean, obviously it's going to ratchet up when the games really start, but just to be able to push each other, especially when we haven't played real games in months. I'm really excited, honestly, from the first day we walked in, because this is a brand new experience and I'm looking forward to each each thing that happens. Every day is a new day, every day is a gift. The Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Mula po dito sa loob ng World Class Inspire Sports Academy sa loob ng NU Campus sa Kalamba, Laguna, inihahandog ng nang-iisang 
manok ng bayan ang Chooks to Go, ang pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league na ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas. Ang Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Mabuhay Pilipinas at maraming salamat po sa pagtutok ngayon sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page at syempre sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon sa pamamagitan ng Bean TV. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, kasama ang dating USD King Tiger at syempre veteran sports analyst Christian Luanzon following safety protocols dito sa loob ng ating venue ang Inspire Sports Academy. Kaibigan ng Don, it's really good to see you. It's you know, basketball is back. You know, and and back really in in a, in a, in, a, in a fashion where in for the first time in Philippines in in Philippine history, we have now the 3x3 you know, licensed as a professional league, and it's it's great to be a part of it. I'm excited for all the players. Tayo nga na hindi naglalaro. Excited na makakita ng bola, makakita ng basketball court. I'm sure sila excited na to compete against each other. At syempre, ang ating goal dito ay balang araw makakita tayo ng isang national team na sumasabak sa aksyon sa Olympics. And it all begins here dito sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. At syempre, nagpapasalamat tayo sa ama ng Pilipinas 3x3 Basketball, Boss Ronald Mascarinas, na nagsanib puwersa kasama ang President at CEO ng Globe Telecom Philippines, Mr. Ernest Tu. At syempre, si Mr. Hansi ng NU Partner. Since this is a FIBA-sanctioned event, ano ba ang ating competition format dito? Well, the usual FIBA rules will apply. You know, in a nutshell, instead of the 24-second shot clock, we have it down to 12. And then instead of four quarters, we have it the whole game in, in, in 10 minutes and so on. And we have the tournament format, 12 teams, three teams per pool. We have, you know, four pools in all. And then the top team in each pool will qualify for one for uh, for the grand finals, rather, rather as isang champion per leg ang mahihirang, and syempre, for that, inaantay na 1 million na grand prize. Kaya ganadong-ganado ang ating mga malalaro sapagkat gusto nilang makamit ang 1 million grand prize at iba pa. At syempre, tumaas din ang kanilang rankings sa FIBA. Ito po ang mga kupuna na sasabak sa action And everybody, partner, will be gunning for the national team pool consisting of Joshua Munzon, Santi Santillan, and of course, uh, Alvin Pasaol kasama rin dyan. Troy Reich they'll be gunning for Zamboanga family brand sardines well um, pow a powerhouse event like this deserves a powerhouse team with a lot of notable names you know the banggit mo ngayon iba and those are top 3 top 4 in terms of you know the Philippine ranking in 3x3 and ang maganda pa rito Anto, no? aside from you know the usual na yung mga sponsors that have helped make this made, made this possible eh, syempre they have that pride also you know of representing their respective uh, municipalities Porak Big Boss Cement Bicol Paxful MC MDC, Pasig, Sarangani, Pagadian, Petra and all the teams na nakita nyo prior to that. Sa ilang sandali magsisimula na po ang tatluhan kay Arman. Let's turn it over to the voice of Pilipinas 3x3 Basketball, Mike Swift and of course, Sudan Superman Daniel. And we are back! Welcome! Chooks to go, Pilipinas 3x3 Three. President's Cup Yes. powered by TM. My name is Mike Swift, a.k.a. Mr. Pinoy Hoops, the voice of 3x3, and that's my fellow. What's up, guys? My name is Sue, and we got a lot of games for you guys, and we got to introduce these teams, Mike. For sure, for sure. Are y'all ready to hear these teams? Sue, let yes, him know. Yes. All right, so let's call on the first team representing your Biko Paxful 3x3 Pro. Number four, Ramon Babayo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Number five, Jonathan Agave. We got number eight, Alwyn Aldai. And number 10, Jerome Garcia. Oh, yeah. Representing Bagadian. Number four, Marvin Farnisa. Number five, Austin Allen Fabian. Number six, John Nicola Hermon. Number seven, Ryan Wenafer. Number eight, Alexander Muhammad. Number nine, RJ Argamino. 
That's the MLV Pagadian Rocky Sports. Gotta love it, guys. We got a lot of new players mixed in with our Pro 3X3 players here for you guys today. As you can see, the level of playing field is gonna be pretty even. It's gonna be pretty tough. You know, I see a lot of new faces that can play. So you know they're gonna ball out here at the President's Cup. Here yes, at yes. to go Filipinas 3X3. President's Cup? You know, it's a new feeling. It's, it's a it's, new feeling. It's what's, a new normal, what's, but... What's, this is the new normal? This is the new normal. That's what we're gonna tag this at. Ayan na po, nakilala na natin ang unang dalawang kumunan na sasabak sa aksyon, ang Bicol Paxful 3X3 Pro kontra sa MLV Pagadian Rocky Sports. Partner, sino ba nakita mong uh, bibida sa dalawang kumunan na ito? Alam mo na, banggit natin kanina, no? powerhouse event, powerhouse teams. Nabanggit mo rin, Sambuanga, obviously the favorites as you see. You know, ang mga pipito ngayon sa larong ito at... Uh, Nabanggit mo kanina, itong Sambuanga, obviously the favorites because of their experience and because of their talent. But, you know, the other teams, the other 11 teams are no pushover teams. Nueva Ecija is a notable team loaded with notable names and talent, you know. Gab, Gab Banal, 2019 MVP, Juan Gomez Del Llano, 2018 Mythical 5 member, Juan GDL. At para sa first game natin ngayong araw, they have, you know, pag-usapan natin, a champion in Jonathan Aldave. We're in a former NCAA champion, represented Letran. At sa Pagadian, Rocky Sports, he's, they're going to be led by John Hamon, who has all the bag of scoring para sa kanyang kuponan. Unang tira, napunta kay Muhammad. Nakuha rebound, umikot, nabitawan ng bola, napulot ni Alwin Alday, nagpakawala ng tres. At ito si Jay Ham, John Hamon, binigay sa labas, RJ Arcamino. Unang tres puntos dito sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league ng ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas. And we have to familiarize ourselves. The three-point shot is a DM two-point shot. Napakalaking bagay dito sa 3x3 basketball. RJ Argamino. His name is in the history books. The first points in 3x3 on a professional level. Muhammad. Sumubok na naman mula sa labas. Aldave. At ito si Mabayo binigay kay Alday, Alwin Alday na ipasok ang tira para sa Bicol Paxful 3x3 Pro Chan Hamon. Alam mo Anton, napaka-importante sa 3x3 ay yung alertness and conditioning. Kailangan short-term memory ka even after a lapse na you give up a basket at kailangan bumalik ka agad sa opensa at sa depensa because non-stop 10 minutes ang laro natin. Tumitigil lang yan tulad ngayon sa free throw. At syempre, ang inaabangan natin dito yung mga homegrown talents. At tulad na lamang nitong si Abu Muhammad na tubong pagadian talaga, which is of course the capital of Zamboanga del Sur, na ipasok ang free throw, ang TM free throw. Aldave, team captain ng Bicol. Binagsak ang bola dito kay Mabayo. Linabas kay Alday. Lay off of the glass and in. Butos na naman para sa Pagadian City. Ganda naman ng tirang yun. High off the glass ang, ang, ang finish ni Alday. One of the best best finishers you'll see both in a 5 on 5 and 3x3 setting. All guards needs a finish like this, especially against a big three. At yan po ang ating TM instant replay. Lay off of the glass ni Alwin Alday. Bagong pasok itong si A.A. Fabian, ang team captain ng MLV Pagadian Rocky Sports. Binigay kay Abu Mohamed. Natapik ni Aldave. Mabayo, naghanap ng kape. Naagaw, pwede po yan. Fabian. At hindi na kompleto ang pasa na papunta dito kay Mon. Or rather, Abu Mohamed. Ito si Mon Mabayo. Hinahanap si Aldave right going back door. Alwin Alday, siya po ang creator nitong kumunan na ito. At sumabit ang depensa, pupunta sa linya itong si Alwin Alday. Ayan ang kagandahan pag meron kang Alwin Alday, especially in a 3x3 format wherein you have more space instead of a 5-on-5 format. It favors players like a breakdown player nitong si Alwin Alday. Pangalawang drive niya na yan to put pressure at the rim at na-reward na siya ng dalawang bench.
At syempre, ang pressure pack free throws na yan ay hatid sa inyo ng chutes to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. RJ Argamino, unang two points na naipasok dito sa ating historic first ever professional 3x3 basketball tournament sa Pilipinas. Ang ating talaan, apat na puntos para sa Pagadian City, tatlo naman para sa Bicol. This is a race to 21 partner. So ang ating format dito sa ating preseason, apat na pools, tatlong kubunan. Bawat pool, wow! Abu Muhammad, pangatlong attempt mula sa labas na ipasok sa wakas para sa kanyang kubunan. Yung two-point shot na yon ay hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Mabayo, napulot ang bola, aatake. Mabayo, sumabit ang depensa. Pupunta sa linya, Simon Mabayo. Yan ang hirap, yan ang uh, nakakatakot harangan. Simon Mabayo. Yung pressure pack free throw na yan ay hatid sa inyo ng chunks to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Pinasok na si Jay Gers. Napakainit, Jerome Garcia, dating pambato ng EAC Emilio Aguinaldo College. E.A. Fabian, crossover. Hindi na kompleto ang pasa. Medyo nahihirapan sila sa pag-kick out dito kay Abu Muhammad, partner. At sa puntong ito, balikan natin ang ating kasama at courtside na si Mara Aquino. Mara? Isang buwan na nag-iensa yung buong kumpuna ng Beagle Tax po, 3x3 Pro, pero kinailangan talaga nila ng sariling workout. Dahil sobrang higpik ng gym, alam niyo ba, isang oras lang ang kanilang limit at every other day lang sila pinayagan. Bawal pa ang scrimmage niyon, kaya puro shooting lamang. In fact, dito lang sila nagkaroon ng go signal to go all out. Kaya sabay-bayan natin kung paano ang performance nila sa banggaan. Anton and Christian. Ito sa akin ni Jerome Garcia no August 24. Alam pa niya yung exact date kung kailan silang nakompleto ang problema. Bawal pa ang banggaan. Kanina, naipasok ni RJ Argamino bago ang puntos na yon Ang kanyang two-point shot, hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Grabe, napakabilis ng aksyon dito sa 3x3 Pilipinas Basketball. Masanay na po tayo lahat sapagkat ito po ang simula ng ating goal na makapasok sa Olympics. Chan Hamon, you talked about the bag. And we are seeing the very deep bag na hawak nitong si Chan Hamon. Ano mga partner, ito game of the general sapagkat dating star player ng EAC. Ang dalawang yan, si Jan Hamon at si Jay Gars, Jerome Garcia. And they meet dito sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league ng Pilipinas. Ang Chooks to Go, Pilipinas President's Cup, powered by TM. At isa sa crucial dito, partner, yung conditioning. Dahil napakabilis, napakabilis. Kaya medyo humihinga na malalim, trying to catch his breath. Itong banger na to, na si Mon Mabayo. Ang pressure pack free throw na yan, ay hatid sa inyo ng chutes to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan, Aldave. Aatake, Aldave, nilabas kay Garcia. Jagers for three. Swak na swak para kay Garcia. Hey, 
napakalayong step back yon mula kay Chan Hamon Garcia na iwan bukas na bukas two points na naman powered by TM mula kay Jerome Garcia Muhammad fake steps back shoots another two pointer wala agawan para sa loose ball na pulot ni J Ham Chan Hamon bitin yung kanyang bank shot Aldave napakabilis ng aksyon napaka napaka init ng palitan dito sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy. Wow! At humihingi ng timeout dito, partner si Alvin Alday. Humihingi ng timeout. Yung two-point shot na yun, hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Alam mo, nakatulong din yung commentary ni... Sudan Daniel dito dahil na nalaman ni Jay Gars na libre siya at pwede pa tumira. Ito crucial na to partner dahil ang Bicol dalawang puntos na lang ang kailangan para makuha ang kanilang unang panalo ang historic unang panalo dito sa ating tournament. Hamon, spin move, Garcia sasagot mula sa kanto. The game of the general. And the top general is Jerome Garcia. Jerome Garcia, napakainit, off the bench pa yan, ha? Napaka-init, napaka-exciting, at ayun po ang ating final score dito sa historic. First ever, Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3, President's Cup powered by TM Game, kung saan nagtagumpay ang Bicol Paxful SMDC. Sino ba napili mong player of the game partner? Alam mo, partner, aminin ko, nakakapagod din pala mag-commentate sa gantong klaseng laro dahil napakabilis. Walang humpay na aksyon, napakainit. Alam mo, maganda dito, eh mag-oven roasted chicken. Ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan, chooks to go. Isama mo pa ang uling roasters lechon manok. Yun nga, ang tinatawag natin dito ang Kalambabol dito sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy sa Kalamba, Laguna. NU Campus, napakaganda. Manok ng Bayan Player of the Game. Very historic. Jay Gars, Jerome Garcia. City, number five, Frankie Johnson. Oh. Number six, Carl Dehesa. Number seven, J.R. Alabanza. Number eight, Chico Lanete. And number nine, Chris De Chavez. Representing Petro Cement, Rockies Rojas. Number seven, Gian Abrigo. Rocket number eight, Janus Lozada. Number nine, John Dominique Monteclaro. And number 10, Reuter Cabrera. Let's get it, guys. We're here at the Chooks to go for the Pinos 3x3. 
President's Cup powered by TM, and it's time. We have all been waiting a lot of months to play some basketball, and we are here. Let's get ready to rumble. Players are ready. Yo. We done did a lot of run along. Sudan. I didn't did so much of Sudan Daniels. You're gonna love it. Not only you're gonna love it, they're gonna love it, especially for the players. For the players, here's a little incentive. Okay. The winner for today's preseason game. Wait, wait, wait. Game. There's something for the prelims? We got a call from Boss Ronald. Y'all get a prize for the prelims? We got a call from Boss Ronald. This is what he said. What do you say? What do you say? Boss Ronald said. First place will get 50, second place will get 30, 30, and third place will get 20. 20? So what preseason? It's money. Wow! Narinig niyo yun? Surpresa mula kay Boss Melmac na nandito ngayon. Kakasabi lang kay Mike Swift at kay Sudan Daniel. Preseason pa lamang to pero may papremyo na. 50,000 para sa first placer, 30 para sa second, at 20 para sa third placer. <laughs> I'm sure ganadong ganado na ang ating mga manlalaro at kitang kita naman unang puntos courtesy of Gian Abrigo Nicky Monteclaro nakakuha yung rebound partner ito yung Adamson team ang Petra Cement Irasan Rockies Rojas at si Roider Cabrera na kilalang shooter na ipasok ang tira sa loob. De Chavez, masyado malakas ang kanyang two-pointer. Two to nothing, unang umarangkada dito ang Rojas City, Chris De Chavez. Ito ang bantayan nila, De Chavez kontra Cabrera. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, specialty ni Cabrera. Ito ang isa sa mga players na excited ka, si Chico Lanete, partner, nandito sa laban na to. De Chavez, screen away para kay Lanete. Kanina, yung solid supalpal na yan, ang ating uling roasters block of the game. Hatid sa inyo ng uling roasters, sumobra sa sarap, pasensya na. Monteclaro na ipasok yung two-pointer. Mainit na simula-mula dito sa Rojas City. Petra Cement, Rojas. Now, partner, we have Carl De Hesa here, and we have to mention this because it's a FIBA-sanctioned event. Ito. He's one of the top five players in the FIBA World Rankings that has been in the best 250 players in FIBA. Kasama don, si Carl De Hesa. Pero si Nabuna, si De Hesa. Oh! Grabe yun. Grabe, napakainan. Ito na. Nagkikis-kisa na yung mga manlalaro, partner. Abrigo kontra Johnson. Johnson. Oh. Grabe yung banggaan dito. Parang dalawang SUV na nagpapanggaan. Itong si Abrigo at Frankie Johnson. Nobody's smiling. Nobody's smiling here in this match. Serioso, serioso. Maybe it had something to do with the announcement. Kanina, the premio na surprise ni Boss Melmac, fifty thousand para sa winner nitong preseason tournament na ito. Cabrera fade away. Hindi gumana. Napulot ni Chavez ang bola. Lerbas kay Johnson. Johnson for two. Sumobra off the mark. 
Oh, Malik Pasi Johnson. Don't know how many times have we seen Johnson, whether he has a hand in his face or not, or from deep range, na pumapasok yun. Fortunate was the defense that time that he missed it completely. At sa punto nito, balik ka muna natin ang ating kasabang si Mara Aquino. Sobrang disiplinado ng mga taga-huling Rosers with One City. Bawal ang late gumising. 8 a.m. kailangan sabay-sabay na silang kumain. Two hours shooting, one hour sa gym, one hour cardio. Kaya apat na oras, araw-araw, simula nang tumapak sila dito sa Inspire Sports Academy. Pero sa ngayon, medyo dehado sila. Ano sa tingin nyo ang kainangan lang gawin, Anton and Christian? Alam mo, Mara, ang impression ko sa mga to parang nasa bootcamp eh. Nakikita natin pabalik-balik sa gym, pabalik-balik sa court, kumakain, kumpleto regados. Well taken care of ng buong organization ang mga malalaro natin dito. Samantala, Frankie Johnson gumana ang kanyang backdoor na kapuntos. Butuan, sinusubukang makahabol dito sa laban na to Monte Claro. Wild pass napunta kay Cabrera. Excellent defense at that time to force the 12 second shot clock violations as you see here the TM instant replay the backhand finish after the pass from the, the Chavez to Johnson Lanete pinalik kay Johnson Dehesa nagbigay ng screen top of the key to Monte Claro napulot ang bola Medyo mahina. Hindi pa mahanap ni Johnson yung range niya. Dalawang airball na yan. One was to the left. The last one to the right. Lanete, step back. Ay naman, medyo namatay yung butiki ron. Kay Chico Lanete. Uh, both teams really on a struggle offensively. That's because the defense has stepped up after the announcement. Itong ganda ng pasa ni Hit Dehesa. Narinig ka ata. Narinig ka na ata ni Kuya Chico kasi nakabawi agad. Pagkatapos ng kanyang tira kanina. Kumat hard na eh. Pabunta sa basket. Abrigo. Power moves kontra kay Lanete. Delaying the, delaying the game yung tinawag doon. Ito, ang ganda ng pasa ni Dehesa para kay Lanete. Libreng-libre sa ilalim. Ang assist brought to you by TM para sa moment na Juan Pinoy do it with TM. Lanete. De Chavez. Anim na segundo. Natitira sa shot clock. De Chavez, step back. Basket is good para kay Chris De Chavez. Abrigo. Specialty of the house. Pinopostehan si De Chavez. Sa ngayon, ha, si Abrigo ang pinaka-physical dito sa ating tournament, partner. Pero hindi naman magpa-backdown itong si De Chavez kahit na ang laro niya, Guardia, and he's going up against a big guy na si Abrigo. Eh, yung size naman, yung kahan nitong si De Chavez, eh, pang big man din. Eh, hindi naman tayo nagugulat sapagkat street ball style to. Tama ka dyan. De Chavez, wow! Step back. On the baseline three, going to his right is De Chavez. Babawi. Itong si Cabrera, wala. Bitin yung tira ni Reuter. Cabrera, lalabas muna si Lanete. Babalik sa loob ng laro. Si Frankie Johnson at partner, pinag-aaralan po yung laro ni Frankie Johnson kanina. Alam mo, maganda dito kay Frankie Johnson. He's the complete package. No? And usually when you have right-handed players like Frankie Johnson, eh, magaling siya sa step back. Pero siya, ang kagandahan sa kanya, kaya niya yung dalawang side which is left and right. And he has deep range. At kita-kita naman kahit hindi pumapasok yung mga two points. Patuloy ang kanilang pagkakawala ng mga Travel. tira mula yeah. sa labas beyond the arc. And the players are aware of that kasi napakalaki yung bagay ng two points dito sa 3x3 basketball. Na no, tama ka dyan, especially on ball screen situations. Usually in a 5-on-5 five -five game, makikita mo the hard show, pero kadalasan makikita mo ito mga switch dahil uh, kailangan lagi kang may kamay at may tao dun sa titira. De Chavez na naman, two-pointer. Masyadong malakas na pulot ni Lozada. De Hesa almost coming up with a steal. <laughs> Well, magkaibang magkaibang yung laro nakita natin compared to the first game no? na natapos yung first game natin at the 4.30 mark at ito papasok na tayo sa 5 minute mark e eh, 6 all pa lang tayo grabe kasi yung depensa partner these players bleeding for points Cabrera bitin at dito po mapasok yung conditioning walang bumaksaw dito kay Lozada Lanete mula sa labas, two-pointer. Sumobra, Cabrera. May foul mula sa likod, mula kay Chris De Chavez. At ang napapansin din natin dito, Christian, is siyempre walang coach. So, sila-sila 
yung nagde-decide kung kailan sila magpapalitan magsasubstitute right. dito sa 3x3. So sabi nga, it's a player's game, lalong-lalo na sa 3x3. Well, they have a coach, but it's not allowed to have the coach inside the court. And dagdagan, yung, dagdagan ko lang, Anton, yung kanina na sinabi mo, no? in terms of conditioning, ang epekto rin nun ay decision-making. Dahil napapagod din sa mga decision itong player all throughout nung laro. And tulad ni Cabrera, who's been trying to look for his shot, I think he has to look to put the ball down and get to the basket. Dahil alam na alam na yung kanyang tendency. Cabrera, inaatrasan itong si Tejesa. Fade away. Johnson, napulot ang bola. Binigay dito kay Lanete. Binigay naman kay Tejesa. Another TM. Two-pointer mula kay Carl Tejesa. Monte Claro sasagot. Tumalbog ang bola patungo kay Janos Lozada. Two-point na naman. Para dito sa Petra Cement Rojas. And those are the things that really hurt you, the two pointers after an offensive rebound. At ayun, bawal yun. Pag makashoot ka, di mo pwedeng kunin ang bola. No, tama ka dyan, kailangan pabayaan mo lang at hayaan mo na yung uh, inbounder either, either ipasa or i-dribble out. Ang ganda ng drive, walang head defense. Parang magnet yung mga health defender sa kanilang mga tao. Libre-libre si Monteclaro. Grabe yung ball fake na yun mula kay Nicky Monteclaro. Iwan na iwan ang bantay. Frankie Johnson, tinitik na pa. Itong si Lozada. Eyeball to eyeball. Abrigo. Abrigo. Walang humarang. Putos na naman. De Chavez. Grabe yung palitan. Grabe yung agawan para sa loose ball. De Chavez na naman mula sa kanto. Rebound Lozada. Lozada. Mula naman sa kabilang kanto, foul mula kay Dehesa. Bakbakang umaanting nga po dito sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league sa Pilipinas. Look at that foul. Pre-season pa lang to, partner, pero parang playoff fouls na ang ating nakikita. Tama ka dyan, no? And Lozada at that time, using of what I believe is the most powerful move in basketball, the shot fake. Napakagat yung depensa. Nari na foul siya sa two-pointer. Ito, two free throws para sa kanya. Ito, mga free throws. At sa inyo, ng chuck to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Carl Dehesa contra Monteclaro using his size. Dehesa unstoppable. Grabe yung galawan na yun. Monteclaro high arcing three. Dehesa nakuha yung rebound. Ganda ng box out niya kay Abrigo. De Chavez na naman two pointer. Benet Lozada nakuha yung rebound. Janos Lozada at dito na lumalabas yung pagod. Partner, crossover dribble, simple crossover dribble na bitawan. At ito yung napakagandang galawan. Right. Mula kay Carl Dehesa. Monteclaro, kinuha yung first move papunta sa kanan ni Dehesa. Pero dahil kitang-kita yung magandang kondisyon nitong si Dehesa. Going to the second move, crossing to his left and a nice finish. Lanete. Muntik na. Muntik na yun mula kay Chico Lanete. Partner, being that naging kakampi mo na itong si Chico Lanete, why is he such a great teammate and leader on the court? Well, that's because he's a killer. Itong si Chico Lanete, isang taong walang konsensya. Kahit na zero out of ten pa ang kanyang maging stat line, pero kung bibigay mo sa kanya yung huling tira, he is more than willing to take that shot. And tulad ng huling nakita nyo, no, sa pagkanyang drive, he still has that step. Napakabilis naman lalaro ito when he was still in his prime. Kitang-kita naman habang uh, tinitira ni Chico Lanete yung TF free throws niya. He had the eye of the tiger. Yun yung, yun yung ano, killer instinct na meron itong si Chico Lanete. He can smell it. Alam niya, winning time na it. Just under three minutes remaining. Dikit ang laban. Expect Chico Lanete to step up. Wow. Well, yun. That was actually an attempt mula doon kay Abrigo. Kitang-kita uh, naman. Uh, emotion nitong si Frankie Johnson. Right. Pinatalbong ang bola dahil tumama sa likod ng ring. Gusto niya sana makuha yung rebound pero ito yung tira. May technical. Chico Lanete. Ito yun, no? Si Abrigo pa ang sumabay nun. Who is uh, about 4 to 5 inches taller than Chico Lanete. Pero 
I take it back. There was no technical after uh, Frankie Johnson slammed the basketball. That's a foul. The pre continuation in Hanap ni Carl De Hesa doon. Alam mo, Anton, in a 5-on-5 five five setting, usually the defense oftentimes is a send ng baseline. Dito sa 3-on-3, three three, is, is a send mo papuntang gitna dahil nandun ang help. Pero masyadong bukas yung naging mga papuntang gitna. Kailangan may defender pa rin na humarang. Dalawang minuto at labi, tatlong segundo na lang po ang nalalabi dito sa ating pangalawang laban. Sa kauna-unahang 3x3 Basketball League ng Pilipinas. 17 foul na yan ng Rojas who is down by 2 at the moment with 2.13 remaining. Ang ibig sabihin nun, yung succeeding fouls nila hanggang foul number 10 would automatically be free throws para sa Rojas. Crucial free throws. Pindit, yung unang tira nitong si Gian Abrigo. Nakakaramdam na rin ang pagod. Close game, partner. Right. And you know, by eye test, nabanggit mo nga yun, yung conditioning and yung pagod, it looks like, you know, in this game, Butuan is the more conditioned team. Let's see if Rojas can capitalize dahil yun nga, nasa penalty na at automatic free throws na ang katumbas nitong uh, Butuan every time they foul. Stepped out of bounds. Umapak sa sideline si Carl De Esa. May bad daw, sabi ni Carl. Size 12, sabatos. <laughs> Ang sinabi ni Chico, akit to. Akit tong si Reuter Cabrera. Bitin yung kanyang tres. De Hesa. Hand off para kay Lanete. Lanete over Reuter Cabrera. Chico Lanete. Killer. Spot on. Ang scouting report mo. Sa iyong matalik na kaibigan ng dating teammate na si Chico Lanete. Well, that's because I was a victim of those shots <laughs> in many, many practices. A victim of a TM two-point shot. I did say that the TM para sa moment na Juan Pinoy do it with TM. Anton, it sounds cliche, but I know exactly how the defense feels. Sa dami ng X na nakuha ko na rin, nakita mo yung tirang yun ni Chico Lanete. Two, two pointers in the last two to three minutes itong larong to. Babalik na naman sa free throw line for more TM free throws. Itong si Gian Abrigo. They are down by three, still down by three. Dahil bitin yung kanyang free throws. Pero may isa pang natitira, may isa pang kasunod. The chokes to go free throw para sa Petra Cement Rojas Gian Abrigo. Free throw is good. Dalawa na lang ang labang ng Butuan City. Wow! Frankie Johnson clutch two-pointer. Mula sa TM. Cabrera nabitawa ng bola na pulot ni Monte Claro. Napakalayo pero tayo pasok ni Dicky Monte Claro ang TM two-point shot. Layo naman nun and a big time shot dito sa crucial na laban. De Hesa. Carl De Hesa. Swak na swak mula sa labas. Monte Claro sasagot. Wala. Only one point away is Butoan. De Chavez para sa panalo. Puntos. Para dito sa Butoan City. Chris De Chavez. Wow. Nasungkit ang unang panalo. Pero siyempre, grabe yung heroics ni Chico Lanete. Grabe yung mga binitawa niya nung huli. No? And nabanggit mo nga, right on cue was you, Anton, wherein we, we went halfway mark. He made those two crucial two-pointers that created cushion para sa kanila. At uh, ang ganda naman nung pangpanalo na tira ni Chris De Chavez. One point lang ang kailangan. Uses the shot fake as a weapon, gets a defender up in the air, dribbles inside, and goes for the high percentage shot. At kasama ng ating manok ng Bayern player of the game, si Mara Aquino. Ang ating player of the game, manok ng Bayern player of the game, ay walang iba kundi si Chico Lanete. Chico, congratulations. 
mukhang pinahirapan talaga kayo ng kalaban nyo ngayon. Anong nangyari dun sa first game nyo na hindi nyo na-expect at paano kayo nag-adjust? Uh, nag, ano, kami nag-start ng low eh. So, kumbaga, hindi, hindi pa namin nakuha yung rhythm namin. So, nung nakita namin na uh, lumalamang yung kalaban, so sabi ko sa kanila, step up tayo kasi kailangan natin na uh, bumawi at maka-recover dun sa lapses namin. Ikaw ang kuya, ang tumatayong kuya sa kapunan ng Uling Grocers Boot One City. Pagpunta nyo doon mamaya, doon sa ating dugout, ano ang masasabi mo sa kanila? Uh, sa, uh, lagi ko naman sinas sinasabi sa kanila, lalo na sa practice na uh, wag lang tayo, ano, uh, i-continue lang natin kung ano yung ginagawa natin simula nung nag-start tayo mag-practice. Pakita natin sa kanila na, na better team tayo. Uh, we know naman na lahat ng mga teams dito, eh, lahat malalakas. So, Uh, In-encourage ko lang sila na focus lang kami lagi sa game. Maraming salamat, Chico Lanete. Thank Siya you. ang ating nag-iisang manok ng bayan na hatid sa inyo ng Chicks to Go. Manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin si Anton and Christian. Maraming salamat, Mara. Kuyang kuya, hindi lang bilang teammate, bilang player din. Well, importante, importante, hindi lang yung performance mo as a veteran on the court, pati yung... Leadership na din at kung paano mo dadalhin yung mga kasama mo. And, uh, he's a proven player itong si Chico Lanete. Pinakita niya yon lalong-lalo na dito sa preseason natin sa pangalawang laro pa lamang. At susunod, full C naman tayo for a big boss cement kontra dito sa Pasig Santa Lucia. Ibalik na po natin kay Sudan Daniel at Mike Swift. And what a game we had so far. So what's going on? Who we got? Yo, let's move things forward. Let's introduce our next team representing Big Ball Cement Green Gorilla Borak. Number four, Dan Reducto. Number six, Dylan Ababu. Number seven, Ryan Monteclaro. Number eight, JP Balenchon. Number nine, Harry Batilos. And number 11, James Laput. Representing Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Number four, Felix Abreco Jr. Wearing number seven, Gerald Bautista. Number nine, Dexter Apinan, and rocking that number 11, Cedric Ablaza. Oh, yeah. Mask off. Yeah. 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 You see your coming again. Nasa pangatlong laban na po tayo dito sa kauna-unahan 3x3 Philippines Basketball League. At sa inyo nang nag-iisang manok ng bayan ng Chooks to Go. This is the Chooks to Go Philippines 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM Kanina nanalo na po ang Bicol Taxful Pro 21 to 16 kontra sa Pagadian Rocky Sports nagtagumpay din sa Pool B ang Butuan City kontra sa Petra Cement Rojas 21 to 16 ngayon naman dito tayo sa Pool C for ang Big Boss kontra Pasig Santa Lucia Porak Big Boss Cement, Green Gorilla, led by 2006 UA MVP, former King Tiger himself is Dylan Ababo. They have also a new face, though, fresh grad from De La Salle University, big guy 6'7", 6'8", na si James Laput. Yeah, the Pasig Santa Lucia other hand will be carried by the multi-dimensional player etong si uh, Jexter Apinan at si Cedric Ablasa sama mo pa sa scoring etong si Japs Bautista. Ano mo partner? Etong uh, Big Boss Cement, one of the biggest teams dito sa ating tournament. Kitang kita man. Andyan si James Laput pero eto walang pake sa laki. Ang Pasig City puntos agad. Wala dito kay Gerald Bautista. Walang pakibaka mo. Ganon din yung depensa. Dalawa na ang pumayong at siniguradong walang 
end one na play ang mangyayari kay James Lapot. Oh, James Lapot. Uli nating nakita, yun nga na naglalaro para sa De La Salle University. Ngayon, makakatikim ng streetball style basketball 3x3 dito sa ating torneo. Dila na babu. Kapwa Tomasian, partner. Natama, no? And sometimes ayoko na nga makita yung taong yan dahil pinapa Bakit? Bakit pinap 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 pinapatanda ako eh. Talaga sa malayo pa lang, kuya na. <laughs> kuya na nga uh, sinasabi. But itong si Dylan Ababo, isang veterano na manlalaro lalaro rin dito sa 3x3 natin. Marami nang naging kakampiyan, marami nang naging experience yan. And it's certainly a talent. Kita mo naman, one-legged, three-point, two-pointer rather, sa unang tira niya. Samantala, Jexter Apinan. Rizal yun yan. Dating pambato ng JRU Heavy Bombers. Nagpakitang gilas na agad. Apinan, nakuha ang bola kontra Laput trying to use his speed. Laput. Ganda ng recovery. Kahit na naiwanan siya ni Jexter doon sa drive. At talagang ginagamit nila itong laki ni Laput. Oh. He has to settle down itong si James Laput. Nagkakabanggaan sila sa loob ni JP Belenson. At ngayon naman, papalitan siya, no? Ni, uh, is that a preco? No, no, no. I believe that's uh, but that's Petilos. Petilos. That's Petilos. Harry Petilos, number nine. At ito naman sa linya, taking these TM free throws, Gerald Bautista. Unang umarangkada dito, ang pasi, ababu. Another one-legged. I, I, I want to ask you: Does he really do that? He does not. That's the first time I've seen him do that. No, maybe something that he's been uh, uh, practicing uh, during the uh, lockdown or uh, uh, GCQ, maybe. Oh, because it's a different tira. Yan. Hindi naman natin na ikita yan. Mula kay Dylan, the UAP days niya sa Oste. Pati nung naglalaro siya ng five on five. Na mabilis nito substitution para sa. Porak City Big Boss Cement. Kakalabas lang ni James Laput, pero papasok siya ulit. Papalitan naman niya si Ababo. Step back. Bitin para kay Ablaza. Pero yung pag-block out doon ni Harry Petilos, eh, niyakap na para hindi makuha yung rebound nitong si Japs Bautista. Matatawagan siya ng foul. Substitution agad. Balik sa laban itong si Dylan Ababo. A lot of fouls called in this game. Barely two minutes sa laro natin. Limang foul na ang uh, Porak. A total of six fouls for both teams. Isa that, pa lamang para sa Pasig. Binigyan ng space ni Belenson itong si Apinan. Nagba, magbabago na ang scouting report dito kay Apinan. At ayan na naman yung one-legged triple ni Ababo. Pero this time with the left foot, yung, huling dalawang, yung unang dalawang tira niya rather was off the right foot. At ito, mare-reward siya ng dalawang free throw dahil uh, tinamaan siya ron. At ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, TM two-point shot. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy do it with TM. Now, what a luxury to have a guy like Jexter Apinan on your team. Kita mo naman yung ginawa niya. He can shoot from the outside, the drives, especially against the big men. Just a luxury to have on your team when you have a multi-skilled guy like him. Grabe. Grabe yung bagaan dito. Dila Novabu kontra Gerald Bautista. Laput na kuha yung rebound, J.P. Belenson. Fakes, fake. fires, two-pointer na naman mula kay J.P. Belenson. Pero walang humpay na atake. Eh. Pagkatapos ng TM two-point shot na yun, Ababu. Binigay kay Belenson. Ayan na, ayan na. Lumalabas na yung mga streetball moves ni J.P. Belenson. Yun nga lang, bitin yung kanyang two-point attempt. Uh, former Letran Knight and sa mga sumunod. Sumusunod rather ng o sumunod rather ng karir nitong si uh, J.P. Belenchon eh, has never been gun shy, no? Oh, oh, oh. Has never been gun shy itong si uh, Belenchon. And also, a guy who can get it going from the outside. Kilalang kilala yan ni Superman, Sudan so Daniel. So pagkat sila yung naglaban sa NCAA San Beda Letran Days. Hand off. Ababu. Normal shot na, Normal shot na, bumalik na sa dating forma si Dylan Ababu. And that's because the defense went under. Hindi katulad nung unang tatlong tira niya wherein lumalaban sa ibabaw 
Siguro ginagamit niya sa sitwasyon because you can you can take the shot or have a quicker shot kapag sumusunod sa yung indepensa with the one leg. Napot, the double team. Fade away. Wala. Nabanan para sa loose ball. Bautista attack. Ganda. Power move mula kay Gerald Bautista. Petilos mula sa labas. Two-pointer. Wala. Apreku. Si Apreku dati, Dennis Rodman ng Letran Knights yan eh. Dennis Rodman pa rin ng MPBL itong si Apreko and I'm <laughs> sure. Ba? Kulang da na lang yung kulay eh. Dadali yung kulay pa rin niya po. ito dito sa 3x3. Ito yung magandang drive ni Bautista. Naiwanan yung depensa at maganda itong prinotektahan yung bola para makafinish siya na maayos and finishes with the offhand. Mala David Carlos to drive eh. Itong si Gerald Bautista <laughs> yung head down. And si David Carlos mapapanood natin yan sa slam, slam dunk competition. Dunk. Lagi naman nandito yan. Ating manok ng bayan pagdating sa professional slam dunk competitions, Air David, David Carlos. Ito, Apreku. Contra Ababu. Apreku, supalpal. Ababu. Petilos. Rebound, Bautista. Apreku. Napunta ang bola dito kay Cedric Ablaza. Ablaza for two. In and out. Ababu, nakuha yung loose ball. Three-pointer mula sa kanto. Apreku. Oh, teka. Teka, medyo uh, yung dalawang letranista nagkatamaan dito. Eh, na nakakita ng pagkakataon si JP Belenson na, na malapit na dun sa sideline. Eh, ito, nakita natin yung palpal ni Ababu. Napaka-solid na supalpal. Galing uh, sa ating uling roasters. That's the block of the game. Hatid sa inyo ng uling roasters. Sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya, Pasensya na. na. Masarap eh. Masarap siya. Masarap siya. Seven para sa Pasig. Four para sa Porak. Partner, pangatlong laban lang pa lang ito ah. Pangatlong, pangatlong laban pa lang. Pangatlong laban. Ma, parang manok eh. <laughs> eh kung may, kahit may sos o wala, kung gusto mo walang sos na masarap, doon ka sa chokes. Pero kung ayaw mo, doon ka sa uling. At kung gusto naman, gusto mo naman sa mall, pwede rin yung adobo connection. Yun. Kompleto yan. Oven roasted chicken, chooks to go, lechon manok, uling roasters. Uling roasters. May uh, sauce yan. Diba? At syempre, ating paborito, adobo connection. Connecting good food to every household. Bautista spin move, great cut. Mula kay Ablaza, yun nga lang, binibi yung tira. So he had to get it off quickly, no? kahit na naiwanan niya, natulog sa depensa itong si James Laput doon sa backdoor na yun. Ah, pero, sorry miss, para kay Ablaza. 8-4, lamang ang Pasig. <laughs> Medyo nakakainitan na dito. Apreku at Laput, Laput! Hindi na kompleto. Ang maganda doon sa ginawa ni Laput, eh, after the screen, the quick slide to the basket, that slide always puts pressure sa depensa. Kita mo naman, dalong-lalo na sa 3x3, na shorten ang rotation pag meron kang magaling na mag-slide sa basket if you can do that continuously no maganda ang chance na kanya kopunan shots to go free throw mula kay James Lapot alam mo partner lumaki kasi sa ibang bansa itong si James Lapot kaya syempre he's still trying to get himself accustomed dito sa street ball style na 3x3 basketball dito sa Pilipinas Kaya meron ring uh, adjustment period yan kasama ang kanyang mga teammates dito. In and out. Mula sa free throw, Belenson, Lapot. Nakasil agad. Kutsil. Nakasil agad yung bantay. Ayan na. Sabi niya, walang adjustment, adjustment sa akin. Kaya niya kunin niya buong araw. Basta maging alerto lang siya. Papasok ng depensa. Papuntang opensa. Lapot. Using his size. Hand off. Belenson. Atake. To back. Petilos for two. Harry Petilos. Naipas ko tira. Tabla ang ating laban. Pora contra Pasig. Apreku contra Laput. Bitin yung kanyang layup. Petilos. To map back. Nagdalawang isip. Binigay dito kay Belenson. Belenson. Back to Laput. Tatlong segundo. Natitira sa shot lock. Not One shot. legged fade away. Alam mo, matibay din ha. Matibay na pader itong si Felix Apreco. Like a wall that time, yung one-on-one -on -one defense on the post itong si Apreco that led to yung kick-out and quick drive 
netong si Japs Bautista nakakuha pa ng foul. Kita mo naman, Porak, ngayon, walong foul na ang naitatala. Pasig, pang-anim na. And that means, kahit sino ang makakuha ng foul, free throws kagad, automatic. Limang minuto at sampung segundo na lang po natitira dito sa ating laban. Bautista, naipasok ang free throw. Ababu, pinalik dito kay Laput. Maraming touch sa itong talagang ginagamit nila. Itong youth and size ni James Laput. Pero gaya ni Apreku, napakatibay, napakatindi ng depensa nito si Jekstra Pinan. Yun nga lang sumabit. Right, and asking for a walk, no? Itong Pasig, pero nakita na ating mga officials na una muna yung hampas. Ito, free throw ulit. Para kay Laput, who's missed a couple free throws. Let's see if he can capitalize. Continues to miss. Partner, in a way, nakakatulong din pagdating sa conditioning. Pag naibibigay mo ang bola sa isang big man katulad ni James Laput and allowing him to operate in the paint. So, tama ka dyan dahil yung mga nasa labas, especially kung hindi ka nagdodobol, eh kahit pa paano, eh nakatayo lang yung depensa. Kapit na itong si Jexter Apinan. Nangangalabaw na sa ilalim. Jexter Apinan. Walang makapigil sa kanyang pag-atake. Putos para sa kanyang kubunan. I think, yeah, it's a technical. It's a technical given against Pasig. Uh, pinakaunang technical partner dito sa preseason. Sa Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. Maraming salamat muli sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page at syempre na ating mga manonood sa Beam TV. Kala ko one-legged pa rin yung free throw ni Ababo ron eh. <laughs> okay. Tatawagan ko na si Coach Pido. <laughs> Alam mo partner, dahil pre-season to, baka nag eksperimento pa rin itong si Dylan Ababo para pag magsimula na ang uh, actual tournament, ang leg one, two days from now, October 21. Oh, aba! Aba! Nakalusot sa ilalim itong si Felix Apreku. Tinignan pa itong si JP Belenson. Nakalusot doon no, para sa layup. Extra steps. Against Porak. Panoorin natin itong assist of the game brought to you by TM para sa moments na Juan Pinoy. Do it with TM. Seeing the ball and the man, napaka-importante. If you're off the ball, that time natulog sa depensa. At naka-lay up tuloy si Apreku. Lumilipad yung mga siko eh. Parang street ball talaga. Yan yung uh, madalas nating makita at ma-experience tuwing tayo yung naglalaro sa kalye. Aba eh, kung ice candy nga lang ang pinaglalabanan sa 3x3 sa mga kanto eh, nakikita na natin yung mga paragan. Paano pa kaya kung 50,000 ang pinaglalabanan? <laughs> Di ba? Surprise yan ni Boss Mel Mack kanina in anunsyo ni Mike Swift at Sudan Daniel. 14-10 ang ating talaan. Tinapas ang bola dito kay Jexter Apinan na pitawan, na pulot, naghahanap ng kampe. Two-pointer. Laput na kuha rebound, J.P. Belenson. Ababu. Dila na Ababu. Two-pointer. A TM, two-point shot. Apinan, umikot. Pinangga si Laput. Linabas ang bola. Ganda ng depensa ni Laput doon. Walang help. Na-stop niya one-on-one. -on -one. Ablaza, pull up. Wala, Laput. At muntik ng... Uh, I think it's a turnover dahil natapik yun ni Ablasa pero tumama yata sa tuhod ni Ababo. Kasi ah, hindi, hindi, hindi. pwede yun eh. Conscious effort talaga ni Ablasa na makuha yung interception. You can't get careless when inbounding the ball outside of the, th the two-point arc. Ang ganda na, na play na yun, eh. hindi na ishoot lang ni Belenson. Yung pag-invert ng screen na itong si Petilos. Akala nila, akala ng Pasig pupunta sa kabilang bahagi ng court si Belenson. Pero pumunta sa strong side dahil because of yung invert ng screen, libreng-libre si Belenson. Hindi lang na-ishoot. Hand off para kay Dylan. Two-pointer, bitin. Rebound, Ablaza. Ablaza contra Belenson. Ganda cut. nung cut. 
Kaya lang, mali yung pagtalbog ng bola. Ababu, tumira agad mula sa kanto. Agawan para sa loose ball. Asking for a foul is Ababu. No? The official was right beside him pero walang tinawag. Napakatindi ng ating bakbakan dito. Again, maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nakatutok sa Chooks to Go Facebook page at sa Beam TV. Sana nag-enjoy po kayo. Mga maganda manood ng uh, 3x3 basketball. Pag meron kang uh, Chooks to Go, meron kang uling roasters o kaya adobo connection at partner ang uling roasters. Ha? Pwede na mag-order sa pamamagitan ng Lazada at Shopee. Yon! Yun, lalo, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, di ba? 3x3, uling roasters. Isipin mo, hindi mo na kailangan lumabas. Swabing-swabe. Pero time out muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection Connecting Good Food to Every Filipino Household. Yun. So, ito, importante yung bagay ito, uh, partner. Uh, time out, si Dylan Nababu, ever since he's been a vocal leader, kahit, kahit off the court, di ba? Right. Kinakausap tayo, sumali sa service every Sunday. Right, right. Ito si Dylan Ababo, no? You not only get yung, yung, yung length niya and what he brings to the table on the court, off the court, ganun din yan. Kasama na yung package din sa kanya ng mga jokes niya, no? <laughs> na, that really lights up a room. Frustration. Eh, yun, yun nga yung uh, uh, sinasabi ni Belenson kanina pa, eh. Pag... Pag linalabas ni Laput ang bola, minsan off the mark yung pasa eh. Kaya right. eh, we have to understand na, di ba, mahabang panahon tayo na bakante at mga right. players na to, maybe still trying to build up that chemistry. Correct, correct. Eh, you hit it on uh, on the mark right there, especially for James Laput, who I believe first time niya itong maglaro ng 3x3. Wow, Japs Bautista nanalo sa Royal Rumble na yun. Alam mo, inaabangan natin na ah, yung unang conversion ni Ababu ng kanyang one-legged two-pointer. I think we have to check kung may additional points yun yung ganong tira. <laughs> alam, kasi alam naman natin yung 3x3. Three, three three. Ano ba yan? Style points sa FIBA? Style points? Yeah, I think we have to double-check that because if you make a style pass, for example, di ba, may karagdagang puntos yun eh. So mukhang may na-discrobre si Ababu na kailangan nating uh, i-double-check. Napakalakas nitong si Japs Bautista. Tumingin pa sa camera. Sa Royal Rumble na yon Grabe yung banggaan sa ilalim. Everybody's motivated. Working towards that goal of making it to the Olympics. Making it tough for everybody. At syempre, yung surprise stats, na premyo mula kay Boss Mel Mac. 50,000 pesos para sa winner ng ating preseason tournament. Patikim pa lamang po ito ha ng ating Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Jexter Apinan. Jexter Apinan. Muntik na. Makompleto yung end one. So sinasabi ni Superman Sudan Daniel dahil hindi na ipasok ni Apinan yung layup dalawang free throw ito. Crucial na crucial dahil palapit na tayo sa huling dalawang minuto ng ating laro. Unang free throw, masyado malakas para kay Jexter. That, you're right, no? Ang crucial para sa dalawang koponan dahil a total of 18 fouls have been given up already. Sampu para sa porak, walo para sa pasig. But you should finish the job also by making those free throws. Pero dalawang mintis, yun nga, para kay Jexter Apinan. Sayak. At, uh, Pili ko, gustong bumawi ni Jexter dito. Tingnan natin kung popostean niya itong si Belenchon. Pero eto, Japs Bautista, tumira ng 2 right. lapot, nakuha yung rebound. Nakita natin, no, after ni Jexter mag-miss, bola pa rin nila. And that's because, sampung fall na ang naitala nitong porak. Lapot. Siyempre, partner, uh, napunod natin yung... Uh, Sina Nikola Jokic, Dirk Nowitzki, yung mga one-legged fadeaway mula sa post. Kaya ginagaya na rin ni Laput yung mga galawang yun. Apinan, kontra Pelensyon. Letranista, kontra Rezalian. Ganda! Apinan, na ipasok ang tira. Hindi lang dahil sa galaw, dahil yung drive niya papunta sa baseline kung saan wala yung help side. Kaya after niya maiwanan yung taong nasa harap, wala na rin nakatulong para sa drive na yun ni Apinan. Pasig ngayon, lamang ng tatlo. 
bola pa nila after creating a turnover. Apinan. At ngayon lang nag-slow down ha. Ngayon lang nag-slow down yung laro. Mula nung nag-start yung unang laban, Jexter Apinan. Wow! Crucial na TM two-point shot mula kay Apinan. Belenson, sasagot, bitin. Agawan para sa loose ball. Nakuha ni Apinan. Bautista contra Ababu. Lamang ang pasig. That's wow. good! That's good! Hindi umangat yung wow. kanyang pivot foot. Great body control right. mula kay Bautista. That was actually good defense ni Ababo, but better offense para kay Bautista. Ito, mintis ulit para kay Petilos. Petilos, oh, masakit yon, masakit yon. Time on their side Isusubo right now. Na lang. Yeah. Niluwa pa. Apinan mula sa labas. Petilos. Belenson. Left wing two-pointer, tapikan. Para sa loose ball, 35.5 na segundo na lang ang nalalabi dito sa ating laro. Pasig, 19, Porak, 13. Parehong kuponan, naglalaro sa Pool C. Isang kuponan lang ang pupunta sa quarterfinals, partner. Right, mag-ingat dapat dito ang Porak, lalo ni mabilis na kick out after a stop. Ito na, Pasig, Santa Lucia, Realtors, naaamoy na ang kanilang unang panalo dito sa preseason. Aprego, kaya natin tinatawag na Dennis Rodman yan eh. Nang letran, yan, Dennis no? Rodman ng MPBL, pwedeng Dennis Rodman na rin. Nang 3x3. Ang layo ng pinanggalingan, galing sa ilalim ng ring, naunahan pa niya yung uh, tao niya para dun sa bola, hindi lang na ikumpleto dahil outside after trying to save the basketball. Belenson, lumalaban pa. Pasig, Santa Lucia, Realtors, uubusin na lang ang oras. Ako, tumira pa. Tumira pa itong si Felix. Right, right. But, you know, that's the right thing to do dahil kasama yan yung total number of uh, points kung sakaling magkaroon ng tie, no? And you should do everything you can, obviously, not only to win the basketball game, but to, to gather as many points na pinaka kaya nyo. Sabi nga nila, Play until the final buzzer, di ba? Correct. Kaya yun ang ginawa ni Felix Apreco. Napakatindi ng laban. For the first time, ha, kanina yung slino down ni Jexter Apinan. Right. Unang beses nangyari yun ha, dito sa preseason. Kasi ever since pinasa yung bola to signal the beginning of the preseason, bakbak ang umatik abo, walang humpay na action ang ating napapanood. At kung naalala mo, nabanggit mo nga siya, no? Yung kanyang mga tinirang yon. Ito, puntaan muna natin si Mara Aquino para sa ating Manok ng Bayan Player of the Game. Ang ating Manok ng Bayan Player of the Game, walang, walang, walang iba kundi si Jexter. Pinan, Jexter, congratulations. Natapos nyo ang laro with a six-point lead. Na-expect nyo ba na magkakaroon kayo ng gantong kalaking lead at the end of the first game nyo dito sa preseason? Uh, Unang-una, hindi namin na-expect yun dahil alam naman namin lahat kami dito ah, uh, First time ulit nakalaro ng basketball, seven months kaming walang basketball, napakahirap talaga sa amin to. Uh, sa sitwasyon namin, napakahirap talaga. So yun, uh, ginawala namin yung best namin, uh, nagtunong-tuno kami ng mga teammate ko. Tsaka yun, maganda na mga result, kaya nanalo kami. Tulad ka na sinabi mo, seven months, simula nung last time naglaro kayo ng basketball. Napansin mo ba sa sarili mo or sa mga kapunan mo, yung pinagkaiba dun sa conditioning, dun sa laro, dun sa seven month gap, at ngayon nakita mo. Ano yung pinagkaiba? Ayun, ah, may napansin talaga ako. Kakaiba talaga ngayon. Eh. Kung baga, hindi talaga 100% yung condition namin dahil tagal namin walang basketball. So, mahirap eh. Sobrang uh, uh, one month lang ang preparation. Parang ang hirap sa amin. Kaya buti na lang. Kahit pa paano, nandun pa rin yung ano, namin, uh, laro namin. Congratulations, Jack Serpinan. Siya ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game na hatid sa inyo. Nang chooks to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin si Anton and Christian. Okay. Gusto sana mag-shoutout ni Jexter Apinan eh. Pero baka mamaya, uh, dahil meron pa siyang uh, pangalawang laro, dahil two games ito. Two games ito bago ang quarterfinals. Tama ka dyan, no? na naging mabigat yung kanyang uh, huling dalawang tira under three minutes, yung drive and yung two-pointer. Kaya tuloy na silang nanalo at nahiran nga siyang best player. Ito, partner, inaabangan na marami. Sasabak na sa aksyon sa Pool D, ang Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards na makikipagpanggaan sa Palayan City Capitals. Dito lamang po yan 
sa Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. Rice Vanguard, number four, Jose Reyes. Auf. Number five, Mac Sabellina. Auf. Number seven, Gav Banal. Number nine, Juan Gomez Deliano. And number 11, Luis Gonzaga. Representing Palayan City Capitals, wearing the number six, John Paul Sarau. Wearing that number seven, Renz Palma. Rocking that number eight, Bobby Balukanag. And wearing number 11, Clark Victor Derrige. This is your game, Nueva Ecija versus Palayan City. Oh yeah. Race to 21, 10 minutes, shot clock at 12 seconds, we are back. Dito sa ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Pull the action. Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards contra sa Palayan City Capitals. Maraming mga nakatutok dito. Lalo na sa debut sana ni Juan Gomez de Leano, Pero hindi muna siya sasabak sa action dito sa preseason. Nasa active roster for this particular game. Tonino Gonzaga, Gabanal, Shai Reyes, and, and Max si Sabilina. Sabilina. Oh, nabanggit mo nga kanina, you know, bago mo, after matapos nung, nung laro natin, no, previously, is yung banggaan at siguradong mararamdaman ng Nueva Ecijan dahil mga baragan na players yung komposisyon nitong Palayan City Capitals. It, it, it's interesting to me kung paano magre-respond itong talented na Nueva Ecija team led by the 2019 MVP MPBL MVP na si Gabanal pero eto, unang humirit itong si Renz Palma nalusutan ng depensa, Gabanal magandang matchup ito, Palma kontra Banal he had Sabinina to shoot it missing right. on that turnaround he had to shoot it, only 3 seconds remaining sa kanilang uh, shot clock ito yung unang atake ni Renz Palma. What a, what a finish. Grabe. Nasa likod na ng board. Nasa swabing, likod swabing. na ng board. Uh, yes. Hiningi-inigab yung ano eh, matchup eh. Kaya uh, Renz Palma. Alam mo naman si Gab, naghahanap ng challenge yan. In any form. Right. MPBL MVP, Gab Panal. At yun na, tuluyan na yung shot clock. No? Dahil napalpal yung tira ni Sabelina. Hindi na reset yung shot clock. Turnover. Rebound, Sabelina. Banal, hinihingi ang bola. Gap Banal. Aatake, hesitation. Binigay kay Sabelina. Puntos para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Hindi lang scoring ang nakukuha mo kay Gap Banal. Pati playmaking and rebounding. That's how special of a player he is. Pero nakabawi ka agad ang palayan. Sarao, turn around. Gonzaga nakabawi agad para sa Vanguards. Uh, that baseline drive is always going to be open in a 3x3 setup. JP Sarao, under goal stab. Grabe yung palitan ng puntos dito sa simula ng ating laro. At ang ating assist of the game is brought to you by TM. Para sa moments na Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. What a pass by Banal para kay Sabelina. Masterful up fake para maka-drive at iwanan yung kanyang depensa. Ito si Gab Banal. And to set up Sabelina for the finish. Foul tinawag kay Tonino Gonzaga. Si Tonino, isa sa mga pinakakondisyon ng players dito. Kitang-kita naman sa kanyang pangangatawan. Batak na batak. At eto, nakuha ni Gonzaga ang bola. Two-pointer. Sumobra, Renz Palma. Pinag-isipan yung two-pointer attempt. Bobby Balokanag, aatake. Bobby Balokana, kaya the beast 2.0 yung tinawag dyan nung siya'y naglalaro sa baste. Hindi lang atake yun, Anton Araro. Nagalawa, nakakuha pa ng stop. Itong Palayan has a chance to extend the lead. Wow! 1 plus 1! Bobby Balokana! 
alis dyan. Pagpag ang depensa, dalawang beses. Ito, yung una, lay up. Yung pangalawa, lay up plus a foul. Has a chance for a one plus one special. Let's see if he completes it. He does not. Grabe yung pag-glide ah, ni uh, Bobby Balocanac. Pero swabing swaba yung pagpasok ni Boss Jai Reyes. Pakilala ka agad. Itong si Jainamite. Jainamite. Wow! Get in the gym, sabi ni Bobby. Pero ito, sagot agad mula kay Jai. Masyado malakas. Saraw. Wow! Alam mo, itong kombinasyon ni Bobby Balocanag at ni JP Saraw, mabigat, pa partner. Right, right. Eh, nakita mo naman si Palma committing a foul against Gab Banal behind the arc. Ito yung drive ni Saraw. Binangga na ni Tonino. Nabanggit mo nga yung condition ni Tonino. Pinagpag lang ni Saraw. Ang, ang makeup kasi ng team na to, mga big men mga, mga big men mga bruiser sa ilalim eh. correct correct it, 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 it's really no secret no yung pagkomposisyon ng team na to because nakita natin yung ibang teams karamihan ng ibang oh. teams ay small ball or yung mga shooters pero pag nakita mo yung komposisyon nito gusto nila yung power inside at yung mga high percentage na tira so ito yung uh, ano eh contrast of styles eh mga breakers kontra mga bruisers correct muna natin si Mara Aquino Itong dalawang kupo ng ito ay sister teams Both owned by Mayor Ryan at Bong Cueves Umpisa pa lamang ng pandemya noong Marso May initiative na agad si Jai Reyes na magbigay ng schedule Para sa mga home workouts at kinailangan Mag-send ng mga players na mga videos para ipakita na ginawa nila lahat Para daw ito na hindi sila mabigla sa conditioning once opportunity comes Sabi nga ni Jai sa kanyang kuponan This is your job a way to feed your family and everything will be judged by performance, not your name. Balikan tayo kay Anton and Christian. Tama ka dyan, Mara. At uh, dagdag motivation, yung sorpresa ni Boss Melmac. Right, right. Uh, 50,000 para sa first place, 30 para sa second, 20 naman para sa third place winner. At pre-season pa lang to, partner. Alam mo, Anton, kahit na apat, lima, anim na beses mo sabihin yan, that's music to the ears of the players. <laughs> Tayo pa nga lamang, eh, kakaiba na. Paano pa kaya itong mga to? No, but, you know, going back to Mara's report, really, spoken like a true pro, itong si Dynamite. You know, every time you put the uniform on in a professional level, and you're expected to perform. <laughs> Natatawa si uh, Clark Derihe. Uh, sinabi sa atin ni Mara na yung tamang pagbigkas pala ng pangalan nitong si Clark is Derihe. Derihe, correct. Ayan, itong si Clark Derihe. Ayan naman. Ayan na naman. Nangangalabaw sa ilalim. Palma, bitin yung kanyang tira. Dynamite for two. Too strong. He got one earlier. Right. And that, as and, soon as he came in. And that's how you counter. Dahil all green shirts, three shirts as Palma drives to the basket. All green shirts in that sequence. We're inside the paint para sa offensive rebound. That's how you counter a dynamite, you know, relocating to the open spot. Hindi lang niya na-shoot yung kanyang uh, two-pointer. Alam mo, partner, maski sister teams tong dalawang to, walang nagbibigayan dito eh. <laughs> Talagang all out, all out. Alam mo, Anton, pag nagbi pag na magulat ka pag nagbigayan naman yan, para mo nang sinabing, binibigay nila yung 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi yata tama pakinggan yun. Samantala, JP Saraw, he's been the Manok ng Bayan player of the game so far. Ah. So far. Right, eh, Grabe yung mga ginagawa niya sa ilalim. Hindi siya mapigilan. Tignan right. mo naman yung spin move na yan. Right. Ika nga ni Yorme. Nokma. Bogchi. Rapsa. Ang, ang ginawa ni Saraw doon para sa 1 plus 1 special. Hindi nga lang niya na-complete. Gonzaga. Crossover. Tonino Gonzaga. Tinaport pa. Tabord. Derihe contra Gonzaga. Ayan na. Masusubukan na. Got away with, with a walk. Sa oras sa gym ni Tonino. Right. Sapagkat uh, magkaibang weight loss yan. Derihe contra Gonzaga. Oh, tignan natin dito yung crossover. Iwan na iwan. You reach, I teach. Sumundot. Again, another drive to the baseline. Yeah. Pangalawa na yan ni Tonino. By the way, great camera angles. Great camera angles. And you know, we have to commend tournament commissioner... Coach, Coach Eric, Eric Altamirano, Altamirano yeah. Tita Marissa, Coach Anton, right. everybody, the entire team. Grabe tong setup natin dito. 
sa leg one, ah, may kita natin yung mga virtual fans. We, Correct. We, uh, we already have the instructions sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page on how you can become a Facebook and uh, virtual fan. Tama ka dyan, Anton. No? Really, a, a team effort. Ika nga, this would not have been possible. Tulad niya, nabanggit mo bago mag-coverage. Boss Ronald, syempre. Di ba? Si Boss Ernest Go. Boss Ernest Go. Boss Hansi. And Boss Hansi. Ganun din yung tournament organizers natin led by, you know, Commissioner Coach uh, Eric Altamirano and si, si Ate Marisa. And syempre, yung mga cameramen natin na months na nilang inaayos itong event natin. And finally, Nandito na tayo. At huwag natin kalimutan si Boss Melmac na nagbigay pa ng extra motivation kanina. Samantala, Gonzaga na ipasok yung two-pointer na ibaba ang kalamangan sa tatlo. Palayan City na una dito kontra sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards 12-9. to Swak na swak mula kay Gonzaga. Alam mo, kapansin-pansin, Anton, we reported it earlier ni, ni Mara yung uh, pag-take natin ng mga health protocols mandated no sa substitution pa lang kitang-kita mo yung disiplina ng mga player hindi appear elbow ang ginagamit eto tinulungan na ni Jai si Tonino sa pagdepensa dito kay Saraw Derihe over banal in and out Gonzaga napakasipag nakuha yung rebound Gonzaga naghanap ng kakampi binigay dito kay Gab Banal Gab Banal ano ang kanyang gagawin Gab Banal Jumper, masyado malakas. Gonzaga, natapik ang bola. Spin move mula kay Banal. Reyes, Gonzaga. Wala. JP Sarao, spin move. Nakakatakot pag nagsispin move oh. ito si Sarao. Grabe. <laughs> Magdadalawang isip kay whether you're the on-the-ball defender or yung help defender. No? And that time, he had Jai Reyes on the ball. Sarao making the right quick decision para sa free throws na to. Seven team fouls na ang Nueva Ecija, which means automatic free throws for the fouls and succeeding para sa Palayan City. Ball possession plus ball possession pa pagdating sa ikasampu nitong Nueva Ecija. Nakita po ninyo ang isa sa mga players na talagang inaabangan dito sa 3x3. Campanal on the bench right now. Gonzaga binigay dito kay Jai Reyes. Let's go of the Dynamite! And if I'm not mistaken, Anton, pang-una na two-pointer yan, o maybe pangalawa? Pangalawa. Kanina, pangalawa, 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 pangalawa
He was open for about 60 seconds on that shot. Patuloy ang mga pasabog ni Jai dito sa laban na to. Bobby Balogalag showing not only the power but also the footwork. Jai, sumobra ang kanyang tira. Palayan just one point away from taking their first win dito sa Pool D. Banal, binigay kay Reyes for two. Dynamite! 20 At all. Tabla po tayo, tabla po tayo. A two can win it. Pow! Oh! Goes inside for the win. Race to 21. Sinigurado na ni Renz Palma siya ang unang nakapuntos para sa Palayan City Capital. Sinigurado ni Renz para masungkit ang unang panalo. This was the this was the closest game so far dito sa ating preseason. Tama ka One dyan, point no? victory. Ang ganda nung finish nitong larong ito. And uh, kahit na trailing for the most part or you know, buong laro actually itong Nueva Ecija Palayan having the compo composure to finish that Renz Palma tinapos ang laro with the game winning shot pero ang best player natin walang iba kundi ang bruiser na si Bobby Balocanag Grabe, napakatindi ng laban gaya ng sinabi ni Mara kanina sister teams itong Nueva Ecija, Rice Vanguards at Palayan City Capitals. And maybe that's why Jai was smiling a lot. He's the player who was smiling the most. Pero ito, puntaan na natin si Mara sa court. Bobby Balukanag, ang ating manok ng Bayan Player of the Game. Bobby, congratulations. Alam ko na kayo, sister companies kayo. Yes. Alam niyo yung galaw ng isa't isa. Parehas, sabay-sabay kayong kumakain, nag e pati yung workout niyo parehas. So, paano nga ba kayo nag-react nung nakita nyo na kayong dalawa kaaganan sa sabak sa preseason, sa first game nyo? Siguro, one lang. Uh, sinabi lang ng coach namin na yun lang namin yung game. Kahit na sister na magkasama yung team namin, laro, eh, laro lang namin yung ka namin. Yung, yung mga laro namin. Sa alam ko, simula Mara sa Palamang, parehas na yung mga home workout na sinisend sa inyo sa Viber group nyo. So, dapat parehas kayo ng conditioning. So, pagkatapos naman ng laro ngayon, sino sa tingin nyo sa dalawang kapunan ang may better conditioning at kung nagharap ulit kayo sa tingin mo ba, parehas ang kalalabasan ng resulta? Siguro wala. Uh, kasi pareho lang naman yung pan namin eh, yung inensayo namin sa, sa bawat team. Eh. Kasi, wala siguro, uh, uh, ilaro lang namin yung pan namin, yung, yung pan namin sa, pala, sa palayan. Ang bait mo naman sa kalaban mo. Congratulations, Bobby. Si Bobby Balokanag ang ating manok ng Bayan Player of the Game. Nahatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng Bayan. Mabait, pero mabagsik pagdating sa banggaan itong si The Beast 2.0, Bobby Balokanag. At ito, panoorin natin ang solid supalpal na galing sa ating uling roasters, the block of the game. Hatid sa inyo ng uling roasters, sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. Pasensya na. And upang napapanood ang Shooks 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. At nakita na po natin ang lahat ng pools. Pool A to Pool D na sumabak sa action dito. Pero ang ating susunod na laban partner, eto na ang inabangan ng lahat. Ang ating national team, Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. Makikipag-tag-isa ng galing kontra sa Pagadian Rocky Sports. Magbabalik po ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Pabalik ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Miss nyo na ba ang nag-iisang nook man ni Yorme? Ang Chicks to Go? Tumawag na sa numan ng ito at magpa-deliver. Dahil available na din sa grab food at lala food. Chicks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Doble ang fun with TM Easy Surf 50 Doble data Doble na ang pang-internet May 3 gig pa Fun na live Sa favorite mo ah 143 
140. Ah, ah, sino ah, kulit nyo? mag si Sir 50, double data na. Hey. Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? <laughs> Pusto Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. E eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo manok mo. Masarap ang uling roasters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> Saka alam niyo ba, idol? Ganito yan. Tama na. Tama na. Hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling roasters. Sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. I'm Troy Reich from San Francisco, California, and I play for Zamboanga Chooks. I started playing basketball for the first time probably when I was about five or six years old at my local rec center that was called Moscone. My favorite basketball player right now is Duncan Robinson of the Miami Heat because he's just an inspiration to me. He started out as a D3 basketball player in the U.S., and now he's a starter for the Miami Heat, which I just think is an amazing story. My signature basketball move is probably a hook shot. Just something simple yet effective. My favorite food is Ponce Canton. What? Just because it's it tastes good. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely hits the spot. My biggest crush is my girlfriend Vivian oh. because she is my girlfriend and she is the best. <laughs> my favorite song right now is Dynamite by BTS because I'm ARMY because they're the best. <laughs> Watch me get some buckets with my team Zamboanga Chooks in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league, Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Ryan Monteclaro, mula sa Butuan City, naglaro sa Adamson University at maglalaro para sa Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung tatlong taon gulang pa lang ako. Yung tatay ko, dati din manlalaro. Then sa kanya ako talaga nainganyo at saka natuto. Ang pabawit akong basketball player ay si Damian Lillard. Siya yung ginagaya ko ngayon, small but terrible type ng player. Ang signature basketball move ko ay step back three pointer Dahil nagpanala sa akin yun sa madaming liga. Favorite food ko, hipon. Dahil uh, lumaki ako sa Mindanao. Pura seafood yung pagkain. Guest crush ko ay si Jesse Menjola. Kasi unang-una, malaanghil yung tsura niya. Natay tayo doon. <laughs> Tasabihin ko sana yung fiancé ko. Oh no! Ang pababito kong kanta ay Wherever You Will Go ng The Calling. Dahil um, yung parents ko, nawala sila. Kahit saan sila magpunta, ah, nasa puso sila. I'll go wherever you will go. Panoorin niyo ako at ang Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa, ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Matindi ang laban dito sa Liga ng Bayan. Ito ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chuck to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Miss nyo na ba ang Adobo Connection? Sagot namin kayo! Dahil available na ang Adobo Connection bestsellers sa 7-Eleven. Bili na ng inyong paboritong Adobo Flakes, Samgyupsal, Roast Chicken Adobo, Beef Tapa, Pepper Beef, Bacon Bagnet, Classic Pork Sisig, Lumpiang Shanghai, Jack Daniels Chops at Teriyaki Chops in frozen take-home packs. Just thaw, place in a microwavable container and heat for 1 to 2 minutes. Hatid sa inyo ng Adobo Connection.
the Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso. At ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila. Dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo, ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa, kahit alaws na sos. Choose to go, ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme. Alam kong excited na kayong mapanood ang World Class Games ng kauna-unahang professional 3x3 basketball league sa kasaysayan ng Philippine sports, ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. Kaya para masigurong ligtas ang lahat, inihanda ng inyong liga ang mga makabago at high-tech na safety protocols. Hey, what's up guys? Frankie Johnson here. I am uh, getting ready to leave my home to go to the practice venue. First, let me put on my face mask and my face shield before I, before I leave the room. As you guys can see, I already have my practice jersey on. That way, you know, when I get there to the practice venue, there's no time to waste. I want you guys to stay tuned into this whole video though because we will be showing you how we keep everyone safe here in Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3, the country's first ever professional 3x3 league here. Now let's go. I'm on my way to practice. I'm going to put my bag back there. So getting to practice for me is very easy because I have my own car here, my own way of transportation. But for any of my coaches or any of my other uh, teammates, um, if you guys don't have your own way of transportation, if you're taking a taxi or grab, make sure you guys sit in the back seat, the opposite side of the driver, and make sure you have your face mask and your face shield on the whole entire time and observe social distance until you get to where you're going to the practice venue. Uh, just arrived here to the practice facility. So now we'll be taking you guys through, you know, a little bit of what we need to do before I can go in and practice and get some shots up and get our first day of workout in. So let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and get sprayed down, misted, disinfected, so, you know, I can stay virus free. And when I enter the building, you know, I'm nice and clean. So here we go. So now what we have here is the Get Pass app. I have to be able to get QR scan coded in before I can enter the building. This is what we all have, me and all my teammates and everybody here, we all have this on our phones to be able to get contact tracing and QR scan to be able to proceed. And we gotta sign in, sign my name. These are the league medical rules, the home to venue protocol. So, you know, everything right now is very strict. We can't even shower here at the facility. We have to, you know, as soon as practice is over, we have to go get dressed and go straight home. Gotta follow these league medical rules so, you know, we can get this season started on time and, uh, you know, everything in the works for next month. So now I gotta get my temperature scan. Normal temperature, 36.6, so I think I'm good to go. All right, so what we have now here, man, is a UV lamp. This is to uh, disinfect everybody's things, and our things stay disinfected and, uh, you know, sanitized pretty much. So I know this is the new normal face shield, the face mask, but you know, let's just get this thing going, man. Everybody just follow the rules and protocols. So let's go ahead. I'll get one side, uh, one nostril swabbed, and we're good to go. The only people in this facility that are allowed to not be wearing masks are players and coaches. So that's why we have this 15 minute interval um, before we can actually go down because the team just finished up their practice. So we gotta wait 15 minutes, get everything disinfected. That way we're allowed to be down there without masks. I'm excited, man. I'm ready to get the show on the road. Okay, man, so the results are in. I will be getting my results from the doctor right now. All right. Very powerful, in. Frank Johnson. Frank Johnson, you're negative. Negative, you, are, you heard him you're here. You're allowed to go down. All right, All right, doc, thank you. Appreciate you, right, elbow, right. yeah. So one thing's for sure, man, we cannot play here with a mask on. The only people that are allowed to be here inside the court without a mask are us players and the coaches inside the court. But you guys have nothing to worry about because uh, earlier, as you guys seen, we all got tested upstairs by the doctor. All results came back negative. Everybody's good to go. Everybody is safe and healthy. But one thing's for sure, cameraman, do not come near me if you don't have a mask on. We are finished up. Um, we weren't able to shower. You know, we gotta change clothes very quickly, and then we gotta go straight to the car after I do my Get Pass uh, mobile app uh, to sign out for the uh, contact tracing. Straight to the car, and we're going home. 
So I just arrived home uh, from practice here at the Grove in Pasig. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make any stopovers, you know, couldn't stop nowhere, no in-betweens. Um, as you guys seen earlier in the video, there was a lot of precautions and protocols that we had to take there at the practice venue. But now that I'm home, there's even more things I have to do to make sure, you know, I stay clean and safe and healthy. Okay, home sweet home. I'm finally here. Before I do anything else, I need to make sure everything that I practice in, my towels, my socks, everything, my shirts, and even my practice uniform, go ahead and put it in the washing machine first. Even the clothes that I, you know, came back home in also have to be washed before anything else. So, let's go. Now I'm all changed up in clean clothes. Here I have my phones, I have my, my keys, I have my wallet, and I have my access card. These are everything I had in my bag with me that I brought to the gym. So I need to go ahead and disinfect these and spray these down to make sure everything is clean and safe. Just got out of the shower, best part of the day. So I hope you guys, after watching this video, realize and get a better understanding that us here in Tricks to Go Philippines 3x3 can also be responsible for everyone else other than ourselves because that's what professional 3x3 players do, especially here in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league. Six to go, Filipinas 3x3. Have time for me to go get some rest, man. You guys get out of here. Kakaibat ng pagiging kauna-unahang professional 3x3 basketball league sa Pilipinas. Ang responsibilidad na siguruhing ligtas ang lahat ng players, coaches, staff, at lahat ng bumubuo ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 sa gitna ng umiiral na pandemya. Kung handa na kayo, handa na din kami. Let the games begin! This is Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. Welcome to the President's Cup, powered by TM. So, Dan Daniel, what games we got coming up? Yo, we got to bring out this team that I'm very excited to introduce to you guys. Representing Zamboanga Family's brand, Sardines. Number five, Leo Santilla. Oh. Number six, Alvin Pasalo. Pasalo. Number seven, Troy Wright. And number eight, Joshua Munson. Representing Pagadian Rocky Sports. Wearing number four, Marvin Forniza. Number five, Austin Allen Fabian. Number six, John Nicolo Hamon. Numero seven, Ryan Buenafe. Number eight, Alexander Muhammad and number nine, RJ Argamido. This is Zamboanga versus Pagadian. Fifty. Fifty big ones on the line, Mike. Fifty thousand pesos going to today's winner of the prelims. Mula po dito sa World Class Inspire Sports Academy sa loob ng NU Campus sa Calamba, Laguna. Umarangkata na po ang preseason games dito sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, kasama si Christian Luanzon. At ito ang pinaka-inabangang kumunan, the team that everybody is gunning for. The players who are composed of the Pilipinas 3x3 national team. Joshua Munzon, Alvin Pasaol, Santi Santillan, and Troy Reich ang kumpunan ng Zamboanga Family's brand, Sardines. First game dito sa Pool A ng preseason, makakalaban nila ang kumpunan na natalo kanina ang Pagadian Rocky Sports na nagbago ng kanilang lineup. Ha? Si Ryan Buenafe, uh, pinakawalan na nila. Hindi, hindi siya naglaro sa unang laban which was against Bicol Paxful. Pro, he's now in. Ryan Buenafe. Pero ito, Monzon, the number one ranked 3x3 basketball player mula sa Pilipinas. And then sportsman like Paul Cagat's a first defensive possession after the beautiful up fake by Ryan Buenafe. Nabanggit mo nga kanina, Anton, no? And this was the first basket para sa Sambuanga. Fresh na fresh kumpara sa Pagadian na nabanggit mo nga na Naglaro kanina, made a few changes sa kanilang lineup. Pero dahil sa unsportsmanlike foul, ito may pagkakataon si Ryan Buenafe para malagay na lang, ma ma makascore na yung kanyang kuponan. So Ryan Buenafe, hindi naglaro sa unang laban kontra sa Bicol Paxful Pro. Actually, Ryan Buenafe, 
has a groin injury so he hasn't been practicing kasama ang kanyang mga kakampi dito sa Pagadian Rocky Sports so I'm surprised actually na dahil preseason lang ito he's already seeing action at nakadepensa pa dito kay Joshua Munzon well siguro dahil pangalawang laro nga na, na, na nga nila ito ano and uh, dahil yung komposisyon ng uh, bawat koponan is allowed six players in the same way, Anton, tulad na nakita natin in the previous game kung saan natalo ang Nueva Ecija, hindi natin nakita yung inaantay ng lahat na si Juan Gomez de Liano. And that's because, yun nga, they opted not, he opted not to play in this preseason game kanina. But who knows, maybe he could play kasi must-win situation right. na Nueva Ecija, Rice Vanguards. Yun ang isa sa mga rules na pinaalala sa atin ni Tournament Commissioner Coach Eric Altamirano. Even if you have more than four players in the lineup, which some teams do, a lot of the teams do, pwede mong i-interchange yan yung mga players. You can activate four players of your choosing sa bawat laban. Within the tournament day. At ito yung kilos na pinakita. <laughs> At uh, hindi, hindi man lang pinagpag eh. Hindi man lang uh, hinihinipan ng hangin ni Hamon. Pero for some reason, no, trying to sell that was Munzon. Obviously, the correct no-call. Pero partner, ito, must-win situation na ito para sa Pagadian Rocky Sports. Sapagkat kung matalo sila dito, hindi na sila aabante sa quarterfinals. Pero mabigat na pagsubok to sapagkat ang pinakamalakas na kuponan ang kanilang nakalaban ngayon, ang Zamboanga City Family Brand Sardines. Uh, halt in the action. Punta muna natin si Mara Aquino. Aminado ang buong, buong kuponan ng Pagadian na medyo tight yung kanilang galaw ng first game. Mabagal ang pag-recover sa mga shooters, lalo na sa two-point shot. Kaya bago sila pumasok sa half-court, ngayon lang pinag-usapan nila yung spacing sa opensa. At may specific instruction na dapat mabilis yung pagbasa sa senyales sa depensa. Lalo na ngayon, na gusto nilang maging stricto dahil powerhouse team ang kanilang kalaban. Anton and Christian. Kanina, kalaban nila Alwin Alday, Jay Gars, Jerome Garcia. Kailangan mabilis ka kulumose out sa mga shooters na yun. Tama ka dyan, no? And lalo na itong komposisyon ng uh, Sambuanga. There's a reason why nasa position sila of being our national team. At, you know, adding more targets sa kanilang, uh, sa, sa kanila is yung, alam naman natin, naglabas din ng article na tungkol sa added na pabuya para sa kupunan na makakatalo sa Sambuanga in case they reach the finals at makakatalo sa kanila ay aside from yung prize money, may added pa na 100,000. So it's another, you know, dagdag na chip to both Sambuanga and all the teams here added motivation, no? Dahil, uh, syempre, tingnan natin paano mag-respond itong Sambuanga dahil sa announcement na yun. Oo nga, pinaanunsyo ni Boss Melmac na meron daw surprise package mula kay Boss Ronald Mascarinas, ang ama ng Pilipinas Basketball 3x3. Dito pa lang sa preseason na may papremyo na. Eh, sabi nga ni Mike Swift kanina, nung inanunsyo niya ang pangalan ni Alvin Pasaol, kakain na. At ito, nakabantay si Pasaol kay Muhammad. Pasaol kontra Buena Fe. Handoff dito for Niza Supalpal ni Pasaol. Kahit sa depensa, pinapakita ni Pasaol, kakain din ako. Ito, panoorin natin ang solid supalpal na yan. Ang ating uling roasters block of the game. Hatid sa inyo ng uling roasters. Sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. Nahuli ako doon, kaibigan. <laughs> Ito, kakain na sa ilalim si Alvin Pasaol. Pero hindi magpapatalo. Itong si Marvin Forniza. Now, Marvin Forniza, one of the smallest players dito sa ating tournament partner. Tama ka dyan, no? pero may rason kung bakit nandito siya. At uh, yung kanyang shooting ay inaasahan at yung kanyang playmaking para sa kanyang koponan. Trying to sell the foul that time was Buena Fe. But he has to get on defense right away. Si Ryan Buena Fe, naglaro na yan sa Chooks to Go 3x3 basketball event sa SM Fairview at sa Gold's Gym. So panibagong sitwasyon ito para kay Ryan. Professional, po, professional na po tayo. 3x3, Pilipinas Basketball. Tapikan para sa loose ball. Pasaol, binigay dito kay Joshua Monzon. And that is why he is the number one ranked player sa 3x3 Basketball dito sa Pilipinas. Monzon tracks down the rebound. 
Monzon, ano ang gagawin niya? Binigay dito kay Santillan. Pasa all! Mouse in the house. Ang nakita ni Alvin Pasa all. Inabangan na lang yung mintis ni Santi Santillan. Dahil sa ganda ng posisyon niya, hindi niya kailangan ibaba yung bola para sa putback na yun. Si Alvin Pasa all, sinusulit talaga yung pagkain. Five meals a day ang sinaserve dito sa Inspire Sports Academy. Timeout muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection. Connecting good food to every Filipino household. And we just have to say na yun nga, we have to congratulate everybody for this event. Grabe, alagang-alaga yung mga players and the staff of the entire organization. So maraming maraming salamat to everybody, especially the father of Philippine 3x3 basketball, Boss Ronald Mascarinas. Oh, breakaway layup para kay John Hamon. Libreng libre just after the first pass, Manson. Reich. Trying to get that put back in. Troy Reich. Kasama rin siya sa top five ng FIBA rank Filipino players. So you have Monzon. He's number one among the Pinoys. Ah? Among the Pinoys. Right. In the top 250 in the world. You have Monzon, number one. Number two, Alvin Pasaol. Troy Reich is number five. And so that's why this is the team to beat, partner. Tama ka dyan, no? And ang ganda ng composition ng team nila. You have uh, Santi Santillan, who's 6'7", can defend, can shoot from the outside and rebound. A scoring machine in Pasaol, Troy Reich, who can, you know, extend the defense with his range. And an all-around player, itong si uh, Joshua Eugene Munzon. At syempre, Siguro nagtataka yung mga tao. Ah, may FIBA points pala to. How, how do you get the FIBA points? Well, by winning and participating in as many FIBA-sanctioned 3x3 events. Kaya dinadami talaga, dumadami talaga yung uh, events natin. Siyempre, medyo nagkaroon lang ng uh, delay no? dahil sa pandemia. Pero... Grabe yung supalpal na yun, partner ni Pasaol kay Fabian. Siyempre, hindi magpapaiwan si Alvin Pasaol maski lamang sa bilis. Itong si Forniza. For Niza. Ganda ng depensa doon. Ihi Santalian on, on the ball. Kahit na mas malaki siya kay uh, Fabian. Or kay For Niza, rather. Panoorin natin tong assist of the game. Brought to you by TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Kitang-kita yung chemistry ng Zamboanga's family brand, Sardines. Touch passing. Pasa all. Top of the key three. Kakain na. Kainan na! TM, two-point shot mula kay Alvin Pasaol. Sulit na sulit. And aside from Jai, Alvin Pasaol is the guy who smiles the most mula sa mga manlalaro dito sa 3x3. Ryan Buenafe. Eh, ikaw ba naman madalas kumain? Hindi ka, hindi ka ngingiti na madalas? Busog na busog. Pero, nag-aabang pa ng extra. Alvin Pasaol, kinakausap pa. Kunwari, kinakausap uh, yung kape. Misdirection. Bigla <laughs> and tres Mohamed over Santillan Reich binigay dito kay Joshua Monzon here we go street ball style Monzon step back oh mala di lang nababu yung ginawa ni Josh Monzon ah oo oh, pero hindi lang pumasok pero nandun si Troy Reich para linisin yung offensive rebound oh 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 Jan Hamon trying to go between the legs of Troy Reich J. Ham, rebound put back. Fluid motion. Santillan, bitin yung kanyang corner two-pointer. Buena fe. Binigay dito kay Hamon. Hamon. Spin move, step back, high arcing, fade away. Bitin, Mahirap right. Binigay tira. dito kay Monzon. You have to track down your man because that will happen if you don't. Right, right. No? A DM two-point shot. Hindi pwedeng tumigil pagkatapos tumira. Dahil pag mag-switch ng possession, kailangan mo hanapin yung tao mo. Hindi talaga pwede. No? Ang ganda ng punto mo, Anton, that led to this wide open two-pointer para kay Monzon. And pangalawang beses na yun, the first one was Ryan Buenafe na tumingin sa si referee that time. At partner, yun yung unang laps na nakita natin dito sa larong to. At aminado si Troy Reich, sabi niya, my mind. Dahil hindi siya handa sa pasa ni Alvin Pasaol. But this has been the most lopsided game so far. And, you know, we're not surprised because this is the best team, the highest-ranked team 
in the tournament itong Zamboanga's family brand sardines lamang sa experience lamang sa FIBA ranking points lamang sa kumpiyansa sanay na sanay dito sa 3x3 basketball ah, pwede mo rin masabi dahil pangalawang laro na lang na rin ito ng pagadian pero I think kahit first game nila to we could get the same result dahil loaded at powerhouse team nga itong uh, Zamboanga at partner, dahil uh, buong araw itong torneo natin, it's important that if you can finish the game as fast as you can, you do it. Importante nga yun. Pat kaya importante rin yung recovery. Eh. You know, nabanggit mo nga kanina, Anton, di ba, itong mga player parang sundalo eh. Di ba? Parang From, nasa bootcamp eh. Parang uh, you know, galing sa kanilang kwarto, dederecho dito sa gym, pero may isang stopover pa yan eh. Yung kanilang pag, uh, pagbabad sa malamig na tubig. Para makarecover yung kanyang muscles. Uy! Sayang yung malayong behind the back na yun para sa kick out kay Pasaol. May extra puntos kasi yan. Style points ha pagdating sa passing. Kaya mataas din yung ranking ni Troy Reich eh. Eto, wild shot mula kay John Hamon. Alvin Pasaol, libre mula sa kanto. Alvin Pasaol. Alam mo, maraming mga open shots ha. Maraming mga open shots. Libreng libre si Munzon. Si Alvin Pasao, libre, libre din. There might be an intimidation factor. Knowing that this is the team to beat. Pero yun nga, we want to emphasize na yung ibang mga kuponan, they should be gunning for this Zamboanga family brand sardine squad. Ito. Tingnan na, tatapusin na ba? Hindi pa. Ito, gusto oh, na tapusin na. ni Santillan, pero sumobra yung kanyang tira. <laughs> Walang pito, no? Nahak na doon si Santillan. Pasaol. Munzon. Munzon! Oh! Style points! Dagdag puntos sa FIBA rankings para kay Josh Munzon ang numero unong Pilipinas 3x3 basketball player up, up, and away! Kita mo naman, Anton. It just proves that we are truly the empowered Basketball is a power dunk by Munzon. Totoo yan, partner. History. Ang pinakaunang tak-tak dito sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league. Ang chokes to go, Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. A dominating performance mula sa Zamboanga's family brand, Sardines. The team to beat. Grabe, parang winalis itong Pagadian City Rocky Sports 21 to 7 ang pinaka dominante panalo ng isang kumpanan so far dito sa ating preseason tournament. O alang duda umpisa pa lang kitang kita mo na yung apoy sa mata ng Sambuanga and there was no looking back para sa team ni Alvin Pasaol Santillan Monzon at ito ang nahirang best player. Eh, na natin. Eh, halos hindi nga napawisan eh. Itong si Alvin Pasaol, puntaan na natin ang ating kasamang si Mara Aquino. Alvin Pasaol, ang ating manok ng Bayern Player of the Game. Alvin, congratulations. You dominated the game. You led as much as 14 points. Talagang hindi kayo nagbibiro kahit preseason pa lang. Sa tingin mo ba dahil ba to sa expectations sa team niyo na lahat nakatingin sa inyo, kaya hindi kayo nag-chill or basta-basta lang ngayon? namin kayo ni Santi Santillan magkasama kayo pero ngayon dalawa na ang inyong bagong teammate kasama na dyan si Joshua Munson at si Troy Reich. So kamusta naman sa tingin mo yung chemistry na nakikita nyo sa loob ng court? Ano yung mong nagbago ngayon na bagong koponan na kayo? Congratulations, Alvin Pasaol. Siya ang ating manok ng Bayan Player of the Game. Nahatid sa inyo ng Chicks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng Bayan, Anton and Christian. Maraming salamat, Mara. Relax na relax itong si Alvin Pasaol. Warm up lamang to. Dahil, siyempre, gusto niyang uh, makuha ang premyo mamaya dito sa ating preseason 
sa ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. President's Cup powered by TM, Josh Munzon, the number one ranked Philippines 3x3 basketball player. Nagpakitang gila, Santi Santillan. Basic na base kick. Spin move off the glass. Alvin Pasaol, kakain na. Ika nga ni Mike Swift. Nag-flex pa sa camera. At syempre, yung depensa ni Troy Reich. Talaga nga pinahirapan itong sina Abu Muhammad. But this was the icing on the cake. Joshua Monzon, dagdag puntos sa FIBA. Tinakdak. Rapsa. Bogchi. Lahat na. <laughs> chibog na chibog. And depends. Uh, balik muna tayo kay Sudan Superman Daniel. At syempre, to the voice of Filipinas 3x3 basketball, Mike Swift. This is Chicks to Go, Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup. Powered by TM. Up next, who we got, Sudan Daniel? Representing your Bacolod Masters, Sardines. Number four, Antonio Asisio. He's back. Number six, Chris Lalata. Blaka, blaka. Number seven, Jewel, Joy Ignacio. Number eight, Alfred Ratino. And number nine, Robin Ronyo. Representing Petra Cement Rockies Rojas. Number seven, Gian Abrigo. Number eight, Janus Lozada. Number nine, John Dominique Monteclaro. And number 10, Reuter Cabrera. Make some noise! Let him know! This is Chooks to Go! Yes, sir, this is the Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup. Shout out to Laguna. Mula po dito sa World Class Inspire Sports Academy sa loob ng NU sa Kalamba, Laguna. Ito po ang pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league ng minamahal natin bansang Pilipinas ang Chooks to TM. Ayan, nag-umpisa na po ang aksyon dito, Bacolod kontra Rojas City. Ito ang unang beses na napapanood natin ang Bacolod Master Sardines. At gaya na sinabi ko kanina, they have a five-man roster. Pero ang hindi naka-activate dito ay si Choi Ignacio. So you've got Robin Ronyo, you have big man Alfred Batino, Chris Lalata, at syempre ang sharpshooter na si Anton Asisio. Ito namang mga uh, Adamson, ang Petra Cement Rojas. Susubukang makabawi sapagkat uh, sila ay tinalo kanina ng Butuan City. 21-16, must win situation ito para sa Petra Cement sa Pool B. Must win para sa Petra and sa kabilang kupo na naman. This is a team to look out for. I think this is one of the more you know, teams that could come behind you that you wouldn't expect but really has the talent and the materials no? para umabot sa dulo. You're talking about Anton Asistio, a UAAP champion and a shooter, Robin Ronyo. Tough as nails sa depensa, also a shooter. Batino, a guy who can bang inside and a talented and promising Lalata who can jump out of the gym. So may inaayos lang dito sa loob ng third floor sa napakaganda 
state-of-the-art partner Inspire Sports Academy sa NU Campus sa Calamba, Laguna. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon sa pamamagitan ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page. Share niyo po ang aksyon dahil nagsisimula pa lamang tayo. This is only the preseason and it will already have a preseason winner. Okay? So, motivated ang mga players na to dahil inanunsyo nga na merong 50,000 cash prize for the winner maliban pa sa pwedeng mapanaluna ng mga kumpunan sa leg 1, leg 2, leg 3, leg 4 and of course, the 1 million peso grand prize of finals happening on October 30. Ika nga sa pelikula, before the premiere night, Siyempre, kailangan yung trailer, yung teaser para makita ng tao what to expect sa ating liga. Eh, you know, Sambuanga just manhandled yung uh, pagadian in the last game. Pero nakita naman natin, you know, as, 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 as the sixth game already, as you see on your screens, you know, Commissioner Eric Altamirano, one of the reasons why nabuo ito, itong liga natin amidst of the pandemic. But you look at Bacolod again, a team who I think you know, can give a team like Sambuanga a run for their money. Coach Liter Eric Altamirano. Literally, a run for oh. their money. <laughs> no, but we, we have to stress, you know, the effort of the visionary, that is Coach Eric Altamirano. He was also part of the vision when he was coaching with NU of building this Inspire Sports Academy. Correct. This facility is world-class, state-of-the-art. I'm sure sa mga nanonood ng mga IG stories ng mga players, nakikita po ninyo ang gym. Napakaganda. Right. So, we have to tip our hat off to Coach Eric Altamirano, Coach Anton, of course, Tita Marisa, everybody, right. his entire team, for making this happen. Not to mention, the, also the coach to give the National Bulldogs their first championship after 50 oh, years. Oh, yeah. I, 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 will, I will never forget that. Uh, I was the one who covered the game na Umabante sila sa finals, a dramatic win against right. Ateneo that really shook the UAAP. So, I mean, look at this. I mean, just just look at that. Look at the LED on the side. Parang nasa ibang bansa, partner. Kasi ganda, ganyan din yung flooring. This is a FIBA sanctioned event. Remember, the goal here is to have a Philippine team in the Olympics one day. And it starts today. Dito sa pinakaunang professional basketball league ng 3x3. If everything goes to plan, uh, and you know, obviously, nahintu tayo ng you know six to seven months before the lockdown and before the pandemic. But if we can, you know, the plan is the, in the grand scheme of things, before that uh, Olympic quali qualifying event, no, in Austria, eh, magakarom pa tayo ng two tournaments. If it pushes to that, no, two tournaments after this one. And so far, so good. And once again, this would not be possible also kung hindi nagsani puwersa ang ama ng Pilipinas 3x3 basketball, boss Ronald Mascarinas, the president and CEO of Globe Telecom Incorporated, Mr. Ernest Koo, and of course, Mr. Hans C. of National University. These three men working hand in hand to make the dream of our country to reach the Olympics possible sa pamamagitan ng 3x3 basketball. At ramdam natin ang suporta, ramdam natin ang excitement, and the dream will slowly come to fruition sa ginagawa ng buong Chooks to Go. And it's just a matter of time before that dream becomes a reality. Not only for the players, pero para sa buong Pilipinas. At alam nyo, sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon, you know, just we want to invite you guys to like and follow the Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page because there's a lot of information there, a lot of videos to watch to learn more about Boss Ronald Mascarinas and Bounty Agro Ventures Incorporated or Bavi. They did a lot of things, lalo na sa gitna ng panahon ngayon, panahon ng pandemia. I mean, they had the Chooks to Go reseller program, they had the rolling stores ng Bavi kung saan nagbigay sila ng mga live chickens sa mga malalayong lugar, partner. So, hats off to Boss Ronald Mascarinas and everybody. Maraming maraming salamat po, Boss. And we will be back sa pagpapatuloy ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Wap! Huwag mo nang alis. Magbabalik ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM.
Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Miss nyo na ba ang nag-iisang Nok Maniorme, ang Chooks to Go? Tumawag na sa numero ng ito at magpa-deliver dahil available na din sa Grab Food at Lala Food. Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Doble ang fun with TM Easy Surf 50 Doble data Doble na ang pang-internet May 3 gig pa Fun na list Sa favorite mo ah! 143? 140? Ah! Sino kinukulit nyo? Mag-TM Easy Surf 50 Doble data na Hey! Sir Benji! May inireklamo na naman daw po kayo Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? Hey! Po, Sir Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo, manok mo. Masarap ang uling rosters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, Sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi, doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> Saka alam niyo ba, Idol? Ganito yan. Tama na. Tama na. Hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling Roasters. Sumopra sa sarap. Pasensya na. Eto na. Sa ilang sandali. <laughs> Back to the game. Pero shoutout muna tayo sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon sa ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page. Dibert de la Cruz, Athena McQueen, Dale, John, Michael Kimson, Relly. Mabuhay kayo lahat. Marife Alferos, good luck daw kay Gian Abrigo. Richard Gabayoyo, watching from Benavista, Guimaras. O si Daniel Arboleda, humihirit. Bicol na po ba? Eh, kanina po, naglaro ang uh, Bicol. Uh, panalo kontra sa Pagadian Rocky Sports, 21-16. So, sina Jay Garcion, Jerome Garcia. So, oh. maraming salamat. Ha? 1K. 1K na, partner. Nakatutok. Maraming pre maraming pa salamat po. Pre-season pa lang po ito. Share nyo sa mga kaibigan nyo sa Facebook. Robin Ronyo. Mula sa labas. Ito yung mahirap pa bantayan eh. Mahilig sa banggaan. Abrigo. Linapas ang bola. Nicky Monteclaro. Monteclaro, panibagong pagkakataon ay pasok mula sa free throw line. Anton Asistio, 4-2, the sharpshooter. Ganda nung separation after nung up fake, no? Libreng-libre si Asistio. Monteclaro, susundan, wala. Muscle memory para kay Anton Asistio, eh, yung mga two-pointers niya. TM, two-point shots mula kay Anton Asistio. Tignan natin kung paano makakabawi si Royder Cabrera. Anton, nakita natin doon yung bigat na sinasabi natin kay Batino, no? Usually, magandang finish na yun. Para kay Abrigo, he had two feet in the paint. Pero pagka drop step niya, naramdaman niya yung bigat ni Batino. Ito yung two-pointer ni Anton Asisio. Kita mo yung layo niya sa defender kay Cabrera pagkatapos nung uh, up fake niya. And speaking of up fakes, nahuli doon si Chris Lalata. Nagulat na gulat sa tawag ng uh, referee. Pero malinaw na malinaw, bumagsak sila lata dito sa kamay. Clearly a foul. Lozada. Nga pala, partner, shoutout natin yung mga masisipag natin na writers na dumating na kanina. Si Normie Riego, I'm looking at him right now. Si Theo Jurado, nandito sa sidelines. Si Boss Matli. Siyempre. Uh, Siyempre, nakatutok lagi sa atin yan. Tiebreaker. Matthew Lee. Maraming maraming salamat, Matthew. More power to tiebreaker times. Assist yo for two. Sumabit ang depensa. <laughs> Ganda nung... Talagang ayaw umamin eh, ng mga players. Nicky Monteclaro. Ayan, ayan, umamin na. Sabi, right. sige, sige, sorry, sorry. Ganda nung play na yun, no? After a free throw. Ayan, chokes to go free throw mula kay Anton assist yo. Well, after a free throw... Oh, I'm, I'm shocked he missed that free throw. Right, right. After <laughs> after a free throw ng Rojas, no, nagmintes, pero nakita natin, alam na alam na ni Lalata, eh, hindi man lang tumingin dahil tumakbo kagad. Alam niya na tatakbo sa kabilang sideline para sa tres itong si assist yo. Yun yung isa sa mga kailangan na uh, maging conscious effort. Yung uh, wag mong kakalimutan, yung bantay mo kapag right. nakakashoot ka. Lalo na pag drive yan. Speaking of drive, eto na! 
inside basket mula kay Batino. Mini Eurostep pinakita ng big guy. Ito si Batino. Lozada. Sumasayaw. Stumep back. Tumira in and out. Ito, hindi binaks out ni Lalata. Monteclaro. Monteclaro. Linabas ang bola. Cabrera. Oh, tumingin pa. Tumingin pa sa bantay. May style points ba yun, partner, pag tumingin ka sa bantay? <laughs> Siguro. <laughs> Pero kailangan mo rin ma-shoot. Tulad nito ni Batino sa ilalim. Offensive rebound na, puntos pa. Lozada mula sa labas, mula sa kanto. Two points na naman. Mula dito, ATM two-point shot. Mula kay Janos Lozada. Mindoro Pride, itong si Chris Lalata. Mga shoutout natin sa comment section. At tabla na po tayo pagkatapos ng two-pointer na yun. TM two-point shot mula kay Robin Ronyo. Lozada, linabas dito. Cabrera, two-pointer wala. Continues to struggle, itong si Cabrera. First game, ganyan na yan. Ronyo, gustong makamit ang lamang. Tabla po tayo, eight all. Monteclaro, in and out. One thing on his mind right now, ito si Monteclaro. Tomira sa labas. And that is three straight points mula sa Bacolod Master Sardines. So, lamang na po itong Bacolod pagkatapos ng layup. Kitang-kita dito sa TM Instant Replay. Robin Ronyo, baseline layup para sa kanyang kubra ng Bacolod Master Sardines. Now, 3x3 really is a game either of Three-point shots or layups, no? Nawawala na halos yung mid-range. In fact, the only mid-range na nanaalala natin so far as this is the sixth game is yung game-winning shot ni Chris De Chavez after the up fake and the mid-range. Pero karamihan ng mga nakikita natin puntos is inside the paint tulad niyan or a three-pointer. Oh, katulad ng ginawa ni Jerome Garcia sa kauna-unahang laro dito sa preseason. Robin Ronyo na naman. Tres! TM two-pointer mula kay Robin Ronyo Lamang, ang Bacolod Master Sardines 11-9, to mid-range turnaround mula kay Lozada Lalata, binigay kay Anton Asistio, bounce pass Lalata, athletic tumbatang to, partner Oh, he plays above the rim, itong si Chris Lalata, every time he gets a chance to get his two feet in the paint, tatapos ng maayos yan sa rim Nako, Nako nakalimutan itong si Anton Asistio, napakainit itong batang to, TM two-point shot mula kay Anton Asistio. A their shot binigay ni Ronyo na shot ni Abrigo. Alam mo, itong si Anton Asistio, isa ito sa mga pwedeng tawagin baby-faced assassin eh, pero killer talaga mula sa labas. Eto na naman, sharing his wealth binigay kay Ronyo. Alam nila ang capabilities ng isa't isa at hindi handa. Itong si Lozada, hinagis ang bola palabas, babalik ang bola sa Bacolod. Master Sardines. How about the unselfishness by Asistio? After making two straight threes, yung pinakahuli, nakita niya mas libre si Ronyo. Extra pass at its best. Itong si Anton Asistio, parang si Coach Anton Altamirano kagabi nung tinesting natin yung court. Napakainit mula sa labas nitong si Coach Anton. Pero ito, Robin Ronyo. Wow! What a turnaround. Napako sa labing dalawa. Itong Petra Cement Rojas Bacolod Gustong makuha ang kanilang unang panalo Ayun na, nakuha na nga Dahil sa ganda ng kanilang kamay sa labas Ang ganda ng seal after the defensive rebound and kick out Itong si Batino For that game winning shot inside the paint Grabe, grabe yung ginawa ng napakainit ha 21 to 13, partner. 21 to 13. Another, the second most lopsided winner dito sa ating preseason so far. Alam mo, parang yung mga na-excite maglaro, yung yung hindi na kapag laro sa unang ikot. Yun yung mga talaga na papakit ang gilas, like kanina. Yun sa Buanga Family Brand Sardines. Unang panalo, 21 to 7 over Pagadian. And then ngayon naman, ito ba kolod Master Sardines? 21 to 13 kontra sa Petra Cement Rojas. Pero alam mo, Anton, napansin ko rin, 
Isipin mo, ang bilis na natapos yung na laro. Kung maalala mo, nag-start tayo before nitong larong to. 1,000 viewers. Oo. Natapos Ilan ang laro. Na? Ilan na? 1.7. Yun. Yun na yun. Sinishare naman, narinig tayo. Sinishare eh. Mukhang sikat itong uh, team na to, Lalo na itong nanalo, itong Bacolod. No? Marami rin mga sumusunod. Feeling ko sikat itong uh, manok ng bayan natin. Manok ng bayan, player of the game. Nakasama ngayon ni Mara Aquino, si Anton Asistio. Anton Asistio, ang ating manok ng bayan, player of the game. Congratulations, Anton. Nakuha nyo ang panalo ngayon. And what do you credit that to? Kasi denominate nyo ang inyong laro at mabilis nyo ito itanapos agad. What do you credit that to? Uh, one is our shooting and our teamwork. At ngayon naman, nakita mo naman kung paano maglaro ang ibang mga koponan. Kumpara dun sa mga previous conference, what can you say about the competition that you're seeing right now dito sa ating President's Cup 2020? I think uh, ngayon mas mataas yung level of competition kasi yun nga, nawala yung basketball for a while. So a lot of players were really looking forward to a league that they could play and so excited silang sumali dito. And it's good for yung naghahanda para sa Olympic qualifiers and for us na rin. You played really well. Congratulations, thank Anton. You, thank you. Siya ang ating Manok ng Bayan player of the game. Nakatid sa inyo ng Trips to Go, ang nag-iisang Manok ng Bayan. Anton and Christian. Amat Mara, itong si Anton, nakita mo yung basics ng laro niya. You, you know, when you play for a coach like Tam Baldwin, di ba? Yun yung mga basics. It's embedded in your system. Tama ka dyan. Alam mo kung ano isa pang tama. Anton, oh. sinagot tayo ng ating manano mananood. Oh, Kaya raw okay, biglang okay. tumami. Oh, 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 in a span of You know, less than 10 minutes yung viewers natin. Dahil daw kay Chris Lalata, sabi ni Riani Restor. O yun, eh, ito, si Chris ito, Lalata mga... nagdala. Napaka-athletic ng batang yan. Partner, uh, ito from Cebu City, si Lonalyn Jimena. Nakatutok. O, oh, may fan ni Royder Cabrera, si Tatin De Los Santos yan. So, uh, maraming salamat po. I-share nyo lang ang ating uh, Facebook live stream sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page. Magpapatuloy po. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM sa ilang sandali. With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data. Dihoble na ang pang internet. May 3 gig pa. Fun na lip. Sa favorite mo. 143, 140. Sino kinukulit nyo? Mag TM Easy Sir 50, doble data na. Hey. Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? <laughs> Pusa Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo, manok mo. Masarap ang uling roasters. Masarap ang uling roasters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> sa kalam niyo ba, idol? Ganito yan. Tama na. Tama na. Hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling Roasters. Sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. I'm Troy Reich from San Francisco, California, and I play for Zamboanga Chooks. I started playing basketball for the first time probably when I was about five or six years old at my local rec center that was called Moscone. My favorite basketball player right now is Duncan Robinson of the Miami Heat because he's just an inspiration to me. He started out as a D3 basketball player in the U.S. and now he's a starter for the Miami Heat, which I just think is an amazing story. My signature basketball move is probably a hook shot. Just something simple yet effective. My favorite food is Pancet Canton. What? Just because it's it tastes good. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely hits the spot. My biggest crush is my girlfriend Vivian because she is my girlfriend and she is the best. My favorite song right now is Dynamite by BTS because I'm ARMY, because they're the best.
lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso. At ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila. Dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo, ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa, kahit alaws na sos. Choose to go, ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme. Alam kong excited na kayong mapanood ang World Class Games ng kauna-unahang professional 3x3 basketball league sa kasaysayan ng Philippine sports, ang Chuktugo Pilipinas 3x3. Kaya para masigurong ligtas ang lahat, inihanda ng inyong liga ang mga makabago at high-tech na safety protocols. Hey, what's up guys? Frankie Johnson here. I am uh, getting ready to leave my home to go to the practice venue. First, let me put on my face mask and my face shield before I, before I leave the room. As you guys can see, I already have my practice jersey on. That way, you know, when I get there to the practice venue, there's no time to waste. I want you guys to stay tuned into this whole video though because we will be showing you how we keep everyone safe here in Chicksago, Filipinas 3x3, the country's first ever professional 3x3 league here. Now let's go. I'm on my way to practice. I'm going to put my bag back there. So getting to practice for me is very easy because I have my own car here, my own way of transportation. But for any of my coaches or any of my other uh, teammates, um, if you guys don't have your own way of transportation, if you're taking a taxi or grab, make sure you guys sit in the back seat, the opposite side of the driver, and make sure you have your face mask and your face shield on the whole entire time and observe social distance until you get to where you're going to the practice venue. Uh, just arrived here to the practice facility. So now we'll be taking you guys through, you know, a little bit of what we need to do before I can go in and practice and get some shots up and get our first day of workout in. So let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and get sprayed down, misted, disinfected, so, you know, I can stay virus free. And when I enter the building, you know, I'm nice and clean. So here we go. So now what we have here is the Get Pass app. I have to be able to get QR scan coded in before I can enter the building. This is what we all have, me and all my teammates and everybody here, we all have this on our phones to be able to get contact tracing and QR scan to be able to proceed. And we gotta sign in, sign my name. These are the league medical rules, the home to venue protocol. So, you know, everything right now is very strict. We can't even shower here at the facility. We have to, you know, as soon as practice is over, we have to go get dressed and go straight home. Gotta follow these league medical rules so, you know, we can get this season started on time and, uh, you know, everything in the works for next month. So now I gotta get my temperature scan. Normal temperature, 36.6, so I think I'm good to go. All right, so what we have now here, man, is a UV lamp. This is to uh, disinfect everybody's things, and our things stay disinfected and, uh, you know, sanitized pretty much. I know this is the new normal face shield, the face mask, but you know, let's just get this thing going, man. Everybody just follow the rules and protocols. So let's go ahead. I'll get one side, uh, one nostril swabbed and we're good to go. The only people in this facility that are allowed to not be wearing masks are players and coaches. So that's why we have this 15 minute interval um, before we can actually go down because the team just finished up their practice. So we gotta wait 15 minutes, get everything disinfected. That way we're allowed to be down there without masks. I'm excited, man. I'm ready to get the show on the road. Okay, man, so the results are in. I will be getting my results from the doctor right now. All right. Very far, what's your name again? Frank Johnson. Frank Johnson, you're negative. Negative, you, are, you heard him you're here. You're allowed to go down. All right, All right. doc, thank you. Appreciate you, right. elbow, right. yeah. So one thing's for sure, man, we cannot play here with a mask on. The only people that are allowed to be here inside the court without a mask are us players and the coaches inside the court. But you guys have nothing to worry about because uh, earlier, as you guys seen, we all got tested upstairs by the doctor. All results came back negative. Everybody's good to go. Everybody is safe and healthy. But one thing's for sure, cameraman, do not come near me if you don't have a mask on. We are finished up. Um, we weren't able to shower. You know, we gotta change clothes very quickly, and then we gotta go straight to the car after I do my Get Pass uh, mobile app uh, to sign out for the uh, contact tracing. Straight to the car, and we're going home. 
So I just arrived home uh, from practice here at the Grove in Tossig. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make any stopovers, you know, couldn't stop. There were no in-betweens. Um, as you guys seen earlier in the video, there was a lot of precautions and protocols that we had to take there at the practice venue. But now that I'm home, there's even more things I have to do to make sure, you know, I stay clean and safe and healthy. Okay, home sweet home. I'm finally here. Before I do anything else, I need to make sure everything that I practice in, my towels, my socks, everything, my shirts, and even my practice uniform, go ahead and put it in the washing machine first. Even the clothes that I, you know, came back home in also have to be washed before anything else. So, let's go. Now I'm all changed up in clean clothes. Here I have my phones, I have my, my keys, I have my wallet, and I have my access card. These are everything I had in my bag with me that I brought to the gym. So I need to go ahead and disinfect these and spray these down to make sure everything is clean and safe. Just got out of the shower, best part of the day. So I hope you guys, after watching this video, realize and get a better understanding that us here in Tricks to Go Philippines 3x3 can also be responsible for everyone else other than ourselves because that is what professional 3x3 players do, especially here in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league. Six to go, Filipinas 3x3. Now time for me to go get some rest, man. You guys get out of here. Kakaibat ng pagiging kauna-unahang professional 3x3 basketball league sa Pilipinas. Ang responsibilidad na siguruhing ligtas ang lahat ng players, coaches, staff, at lahat ng bumubuo ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 sa gitna ng umiiral na pandemya. Kung handa na kayo, handa na din kami. Let the games begin! Kinuronahan na ang bagong lasa na magahari sa Uling Roasters. Ang Real Lechon Manok! Ang lechon manok na ito ay may tamis ng sweet soy at kaunting asim ng kalamansi. Mas pinasarap ito ng ating secret and special sauce na pinaghalo ang linamnam ng garlic, honey, at hint of chili. Tiyak na mapapa, your highness kasasarap! Kaya, Lechon Manok ay available at all Uling Roaster stores o online via Lala Food. Relax muna. Safety first muna tayo para tolong gespri dito sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang funds with TM Easy Sir 50. Doble data. Doble na ang pang internet. May 3 gig pa. Fun na live sa favorite mo. 143, 140. Ah, sino kinukulit nyo? Mag-DMEC Sir 50, double data na. Ako si Juan Gomez Del Llano from Quezon City. Naglaro sa University of the Philippines. At maglalaro para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. I started playing basketball at a very young age. My father took my brothers and I out to the court. So before we used to live in the backyard, we had a basketball court. Yun. So I guess it started from there, we just kept on grinding. But my favorite basketball player, I have two actually. I look up to James Harden and Devin Booker. But, you know, just their leadership, their approach to you know, every game, their mindset, mentality, and also you know, their impact on and off the court. My signature basketball move would probably be the step back to a pull-up jump shot. Because you, know, you create a lot of space for you know, a wide open shot. My favorite food, marami. Uh, siguro, I love eating sinigang, chicken and dobo, ulalo, and you know, especially sisig. Happy fiesta! <laughs> My biggest crush would probably be uh, Zendaya. Just her personality, and she looks so, you know, gorgeous and all that. My favorite song, I think my go-to would probably be Grease by Drake. Sample, sample, two lines. Uh, come with me. Cut, 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 cut. And lyrics in? Come with me. Leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Panoorin nyo ako at ang Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Maclean Sabilina from Cagayan de Oro City, naglaro sa STI College at maglalaro para sa Palayan City. Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung ano, kasama-sama ko yung tatay ko nung high school ako. Ayun, nakakailigan ko na mag-basketball. 
favorite kong basketball player si Michael Jordan. Ang signature move ko ay yung ano, hook shot kasi nung bata ako yun yung pinapractice ko simula nung naglalaro-laro ako sa barangay na. Favorite yung pagkain ko ay yung ano, sinigang na paksiw. What? Oh. Ah, siyempre, ang biggest crush ko yung girlfriend ko. Kasi yun yung inspirasyon ko eh. <laughs> Pwede na ba yun? Puro <laughs> ito kong song na iaalay sa girlfriend ko yung Binibining Marikit. Kasi siya ang pinaka-binibining marikit sa buhay ko. <laughs> Sweet! Ikaw ang binibini. Nani na nais ko. Tama na yun. <laughs> Manoorin nyo ako at ang Palayan City sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Relax lang muna. Safety first muna tayo sa Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Filipinas Nagbabalik po tayo dito sa loob ng World Class Inspire Sports Academy sa loob ng NU Campus sa Calamba, Laguna para sa pagpapatuloy ng pinakaunang 3x3 Basketball League dito sa ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas, ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Maraming salamat muli sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon sa pamamagitan ng Chooks to Go Facebook page. Grabe yung mga nakatutok from all parts of the archipelago. Nanunod, sinusuportan ang kanilang mga manok dito sa ating torneo. At syempre, maraming salamat din sa lahat ng mga nakatutok sa Beam TV. Ako po si Anton Rojas kasama si Christian Luanzon partner. Pre-season pa lamang ito pero bakbak ang umati ka na ang ating napapanood. Okay, halatang halata, hindi lang yung mga manlalaro hindi lang tayo rito mismo sa Kalambabol ang excited para dito kundi ang mga viewers natin. No? Number one dahil ang basketball nga mismo eh, matagal na nating inaantay bumalik. Let alone 3x3 pa. No? Lalo na ngayon na we're in a professional level na Uh, as as it was granted no itong last July lang but kitang-kita yung mga players no yung mga yung first six games natin you know kitang-kita na matagal yes matagal silang nawala sa scene ng basketball medyo pinapagpag pa pinapakiramdam pa pero halatang halata rin na hindi na sila makapagantay na umarangkada dito sa 3x3 at makuha syempre yung uh, inaantabayan na premyo partner hawak-hawak mo ang cellphone mo live ngayon sa Facebook page ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas. Shoutout ka naman sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon. Well, salamat sa inyo. No? <laughs> And, uh, kundi, obviously, kundi dahil sa inyo, eh, hindi, hindi, hindi mangyayari itong uh, mga ganitong event dahil ginagawa ito. Specifically para sa ating mga fans. So, ito, si uh, Eric Aberas na nanonood. Ganon din si uh, Michael Caranzo. Okay? And para sa... Para sa Nueva Ecija naman, Rice Vanguards. And para sa Pasig, Santa, Lu Santa Lucia Realtor, si Aine Magalang. I hope I said that right. Sama mo na dyan, si Eric Matienzo. Okay? Chooks to go. Go, go, go. Sabi niya. So ito, fan mismo ng liga natin ito. Walang pinipiling uh, kumunan. And syempre, si Vivian Nelson na go sa Buangga daw. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. I-share nyo lang yan sa inyong mga kaibigan, pamilya, para mas lalo pa nating painitin itong pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league natin, ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Ngayon, partner, bago tayo sumabak sa quarterfinals, meron tayong labing dalawang laro. At i-recap muna natin ang anim na laban na nangyayari. So meron ng mga na-eliminate dito sa ating tournament. Pero para sa sa'yo, partner, uh, kanino ka ba nabilib? Lalo na dito sa ating unang laro, itong Bicol Paxful Pro kontra sa Pagadian Rocky Sports. Sa walang duda sa Sambuanga, yun dun sa national uh, team natin, uh, in the likes of uh, Pasaol, Santillan, you know, it's one thing to get on top, another thing to stay on top. And so far, dun sa unang laro nila, pinakita nila kung bakit sila pa rin ang dapat na, na, na kampiyon at, at kitang-kita rin yung kanilang focus uh, dito sa larong, it, uh, sa larong yun kanina eh, kahit na preseason lang eh, ito, ito naman, ito naman si, si Chico Lanete kanina nakita natin si Jay Gars nanalo para sa big goal kontra sa Pagadian 21-16 ito naman oh, intense na intense itong si Chris De Chavez ito, killer na killer gaya ng sinabi mo Chico Lanete nagbigay ng panalo para sa Butuan City Rojas Uh, kontra sa Rojas Petro Cement, 21 to 16 din. Ito rin, no, yung drive ni Cedric Ablasa para sa Pasig. At uh, si James Lapot, 
that represents yung kanyang uh, koponan. Uh, first time 3x3 player, I believe. And a lot of promising uh, athletes dito. Obviously, a lot of promising teams uh, uh, as well. You know, arguably, ito yung pinaka-deepest uh, league, 3x3 league na nakita natin uh, for the last two years. And, you know, Sambuanga making a point, or an, an exclamation rather, after their first game. Pasig Santa Lucia nagtagumpay kontra sa Porak. Big Boss, nakita natin yung tres ni Jexter Apinan. 19 to 13 yung final score. Pero dito naman tayo sa kubunan ni Tonino Gonzaga at ni Boss Jai Reyes and Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Ito yung pinaka dikit na laban sa torneo so far. Pero ito, The Beast 2.0, Bobby Balokanag. Grabe! He was gliding through the air dito sa laban na to. Nagtagumpay ang Palayan City Capitals kontra sa Rice Vanguards. 21 to 20 at ito yung kuponan na binanggit mo kanina. Yung pambato, ang ating national team, manok ng bayan, Alvin Pasaol. Kakain na, nagtagumpay ang Zamboanga Family Brand Sardines kontra sa Pagadian Rocky Sports. 21 to 7. Umbisa pa lang. Makikita mo talagang sa apoy ng mga tanila, eh gusto nilang idominante at yun nga ang nangyari sa ganda ng larong iyon para sa Sambuanga. Tinapos pa in fashion ni Joshua Munson with that duck. At napakamot sa muka itong si Nicky Monteclaro dahil sa mga tres na pinakawalan ni Anton Asistio at ng Bacolod Master Sardines 21 to 13. So partner, sampung kuponan nagpakitang gilas na dalawang kuponan na lamang ang uh, inaantay pa natin na sumabak sa aksyon. Kanina may, may humahanap kay Gino Jumawas, ha? Oo, eh, hindi pa siya nakakapaglaro, eh. <laughs> Oo, sa Zamboanga naglalaro si Gino Jumawas. So, abangan natin si Gino at ang kanyang mga kakampi dito sa pagpapatuloy ng kauna-unahang professional 3x3 basketball league, ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. So, shoutout sa lahat ng mga nakatutok. Shoutout, syempre, sa ama ng Pilipinas Basketball 3x3, Boss Ronald Boss Mascarinas. Ronald. Yeah. Of course, we're very thankful to the President and CEO of Globe Telecom Incorporated na nagsanib puwersa dito kasama ang Chooks to Go. At ang Bavi, syempre, si Mr. Ernest Koo. And of course, Mr. Hansi ng NU. Maraming maraming salamat po. Bossing na, daddy pa. Yan yung mga binanggit natin. No? And syempre, hindi natin pwedeng hindi banggitin si Commissioner Eric yes. Altamirano at lahat ng mga bumubo to make all of this happen you know, amidst the pandemic. At mamaya po, sa ilang sandali, magbabalik na po tayo sa aksyon dito sa unang professional basketball league 3x3 Pilipinas. This is the Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Matindi ang laban dito sa Liga ng Bayan. Ito ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang funds with TM Easy Surf 50. Doble data, doble na ang pang-internet. May 3 gig pa, phone na live. Sa favorite mo, ah! 143, 140, ah! Sino kinukulit nyo? Mag-DM Easy Surf 50, doble data na. Wap! Huwag mo nang alis. Magbabalik ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown out! May lamok! Ine! Kaming bahala sa fun! Basta may doble data? Doble ang fun! With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang pang internet? May 3 gig pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we say Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! 142, 143, uh -huh. 140, uh -huh. ay! Sino kinukulit niya? <laughs> Hi, Tita! Doble ang fun sa doble data ng TNEZ Surf 50. Miss nyo na ba ang nag-iisang Nokman ni Yorme, ang Chooks to Go? Tumawag na sinuman ng ito at magpa-deliver dahil available na din sa Grab Food at Lala Food. Chooks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan.
Hey. Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? Hey. <laughs> Pusto Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo manok mo. Masarap ang uling roasters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> sa kalam niyo ba, idol? Ganito yan. Tama na. Tama na. Hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling roasters. Sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. I'm Troy Reich from San Francisco, California, and I play for Zamboanga Chooks. I started playing basketball for the first time probably when I was about five or six years old at my local rec center that was called Moscone. My favorite basketball player right now is Duncan Robinson of the Miami Heat because he's just an inspiration to me. He started out as a D3 basketball player in the U.S., and now he's a starter for the Miami Heat, which I just think is an amazing story. My signature basketball move is probably a hook shot. Just something simple yet effective. My favorite food is Ponset Canton. What? Just because it's it tastes good. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely hits the spot. My biggest crush is my girlfriend Vivian because she is my girlfriend and she is the best. My favorite song right now is Dynamite by BTS because I'm ARMY because they're the best. Watch me get some buckets with my team, Zamboanga Chooks, in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league, Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Ryan Monteclaro, mula sa Butuan City, naglaro sa Adamson University, at maglalaro para sa Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung tatlong taon gulang pa lang ako. Yung tatay ko, dati ding manlalaro. Then sa kanya ako talaga nainganyo at saka natuto. Ang pabawit akong basketball player ay si Damian Lillard. Siya yung ginagaya ko ngayon, small but terrible type ng player. Ang signature basketball move ko ay step back three pointer. Dahil nagpanala sa akin yun sa madaming liga. Favorite food ko, hipon. Dahil uh, lumaki ako sa Mindanao, para seafood yung pagkain. Guest crush ko ay si Jesse Menjola. Kasi unang-una, malaanghil yung tsura niya. Patay tayo doon. <laughs> Kasabihin ko sana yung fiancé ko. Oh no! Ang pamarito kong kanta ay Wherever You Will Go ng The Calling. Dahil um, yung parents ko, nawala sila. Kahit saan sila magpunta, uh, nasa puso sila. I'll go wherever you will go. Panorin nyo ako at ang Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa, ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Matindi ang laban dito sa Liga ng Bayan. Ito ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Miss nyo na ba ang Adobo Connection? Sagot namin kayo! Dahil available na ang Adobo Connection bestsellers sa 7-Eleven. Bili na ng inyong paboritong Adobo Flakes, Samgyupsal, Roast Chicken Adobo, Beef Tapa, Pepper Beef, Bacon Bagnet, Classic Pork Sisig, Lumpiang Shanghai, Jack Daniels Chops, at Teriyaki Chops in frozen take-home packs. Just thaw, place in a microwavable container, and heat for one to two minutes. Hatid sa inyo ng Adobo Connection.
the Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso. At ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila. Dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo, ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa kahit alaws na sos. Chooks to go ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme. Alam kong excited na kayong mapanood ang World Class Games ng kauna-unahang professional 3x3 basketball league sa kasaysayan ng Philippine sports, ang Chooks to go Pilipinas 3x3. Kaya para masigurong ligtas ang lahat, inihanda ng inyong liga ang mga makabago at high-tech na safety protocols. Hey, what's up guys? Frankie Johnson here. I am uh, getting ready to leave my home to go to the practice venue. First, let me put on my face mask and my face shield before I, before I leave the room. As you guys can see, I already have my practice jersey on. That way, you know, when I get there to the practice venue, there's no time to waste. I want you guys to stay tuned into this whole video, though, because we will be showing you how we keep everyone safe here in Chooks to Go Philippines 3x3, the country's first ever professional 3x3 league here. Now let's go. So now I am on my way to practice. I'm going to put my bag back there. So getting to practice for me is very easy because I have my own car here, my own way of transportation. But for any of my coaches or any of my other uh, teammates, um, if you guys don't have your own way of transportation, if you're taking a taxi or grab, make sure you guys sit in the back seat, the opposite side of the driver, and make sure you have your face mask and your face shield on the whole entire time and observe social distance until you get to where you're going to the practice venue. Uh, just arrived here to the practice facility. So now we'll be taking you guys through, you know, a little bit of what we need to do before I can go in and practice and get some shots up and get our first day of workout in. So let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and get sprayed down, misted, disinfected, so, you know, I can stay virus free. And when I enter the building, you know, I'm nice and clean. So here we go. So now what we have here is the Get Pass app. I have to be able to get QR scan coded in before I can enter the building. This is what we all have, me and all my teammates and everybody here, we all have this on our phones to be able to get contact tracing and QR scan to be able to proceed. And we gotta sign in, sign my name. These are the league medical rules, the home to venue protocol. So, you know, everything right now is very strict. We can't even shower here at the facility. We have to, you know, as soon as practice is over, we have to go get dressed and go straight home. Gotta follow these league medical rules so, you know, we can get this season started on time and, uh, you know, everything in the works for next month. So now I gotta get my temperature scan. Normal temperature, 36.6, so I think I'm good to go. All right, so what we have now here, man, is a UV lamp. This is to uh, disinfect everybody's things, and our things stay disinfected and, uh, you know, sanitized pretty much. So I know this is the new normal face shield, the face mask, but, you know, let's just get this thing going, man. Everybody just follow the rules and protocols. So let's go ahead. I'll get one side, uh, one nostril swabbed, and we're good to go. The only people in this facility that are allowed to not be wearing masks are players and coaches. So that's why we have this 15 minute interval um, before we can actually go down because the team just finished up their practice. So we gotta wait 15 minutes, get everything disinfected. That way we're allowed to be down there without masks. I'm excited, man. I'm ready to get the show on the road. Okay, man, so the results are in. I will be getting my results from the doctor right now. All right. Very far, can you in? Frank Johnson. Frank Johnson, you're negative. Negative, you, are, you heard him you're here. You're allowed to go down. All right, All right. doc, thank you. Appreciate you, right, elbow, right. yeah. So one thing's for sure, man, we cannot play here with a mask on. The only people that are allowed to be here inside the court without a mask are us players and the coaches inside the court. But you guys have nothing to worry about because uh, earlier, as you guys seen, we all got tested upstairs by the doctor. All results came back negative. Everybody's good to go. Everybody is safe and healthy. But one thing's for sure, cameraman, do not come near me if you don't have a mask on. We are finished up. Um, we weren't able to shower. You know, we gotta change clothes very quickly, and then we gotta go straight to the car after I do my Get Pass uh, mobile app uh, to sign out for the uh, contact tracing. Straight to the car, and we're going home. 
So I just arrived home uh, from practice here at the Grove in Pasig. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make any stopovers, you know, couldn't stop nowhere, no in-betweens. Um, as you guys seen earlier in the video, there was a lot of precautions and protocols that we had to take there at the practice venue. But now that I'm home, there's even more things I have to do to make sure, you know, I stay clean and safe and healthy. Okay, home sweet home. I'm finally here. Before I do anything else, I need to make sure everything that I practice in, my towels, my socks, everything, my shirts, and even my practice uniform, go ahead and put it in the washing machine first. Even the clothes that I, you know, came back home in also have to be washed before anything else. So, let's go. Now I'm all changed up in clean clothes. Here I have my phones, I have my, my keys, I have my wallet, and I have my access card. These are everything I had in my bag with me that I brought to the gym. So I need to go ahead and disinfect these and spray these down to make sure everything is clean and safe. Just got out of the shower, best part of the day. So I hope you guys, after watching this video, realize and get a better understanding that us here in Tricks to Go Philippines 3x3 can also be responsible for everyone else other than ourselves because that is what professional 3x3 players do, especially here in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league. Tricks to Go Philippines 3x3, now it's time for me to go get some rest and then you guys get out of here. Kakibat ng pagiging kauna-unahang professional 3x3 basketball league sa Pilipinas. Ang responsibilidad na siguruhing ligtas ang lahat ng players, coaches, staff, at lahat ng bumubuo ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 sa gitna ng umiiral na pandemya. Kung handa na kayo, handa na din kami. Let the games begin! And yun po ang natutunghayan ang FIBA Sanction half court dito sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy sa napakagandang facility sa loob ng NU Campus sa Calamba, Laguna. Ito po ang aming coverage live on the Shooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page at syempre sa Bean TV ang kauna-unahang 3x3 Basketball League sa Pilipinas ang Shooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. And let's turn it over right now for some courtside entertainment. The voice of Filipinas basketball 3x3, Mike Swift and Sudan Superman Daniel. We going for speed and that's the way to the finish. Chicks to go, Filipinas. I'm coming to win it. Sky's the limit. We going for speed and that's the way to the finish. Bars, check it. Saan ba na pulot bagong diamante? Tingnan nyo ang layo na ng aming biyahe. Mel Mac, Boss Ronald, they get the credit. Biro mo na lampasan natin ang pandemic. Eto na, tapos na ang lockdown. Hari ng 3-on-3, you better bow down. 50 mil ang panalo mamaya. Tingnan nyo, ano ba ang pusta, anong taya? Sudan, ibigay na ang biyaya. 50 mil, hati tayong dalawa mamaya. Get it, sky's the limit, we going for speed and that's the way to the finish. Just yeah. to go yeah. and it's 3x3. I said we're coming to get it, sky's the limit, we going for speed and that's the way to the finish. It's the President's Cup. I yeah. said I'm coming to get it, sky's the limit, we going for speed and that's the way to the finish. You busy, you sleeping, I'm yelling, let's get it, let's get it, I'm with it, you with it. It's powered by TM. Yo, Sue, let's yeah. talk a little bit about, Yo. let's talk a little bit about what's about to come, cause I'm coming to get they go crazy. Limit, we going for speed and that's the way to the finish. Why? Cause it's 3x3. Said I'm coming to get it, sky's the limit, we going for speed and that's the way to the finish. Are we yet finished? I'm coming to get it, sky's the limit, we going for speed and that's the way to the finish. I'm sleeping, you sleeping, we with it, I'm get it, I get it, you with it, I'm with it. Six to go, Filipinas. 3x3. Yo. Powered by Yo. TMC. Yo, let me ask you something. Let What's me good? ask you something. Yo. What's the most exciting part of what's going on to you so far in this preseason? So what's the most exciting part is I'm seeing a lot of players that I played against when I studied in college. Okay. And these guys, to see them still playing basketball and to be, some of them to be considered pros only makes me happy to understand that I was in some ways a part of their process to them becoming pros. If it wasn't for me blocking Jai Reyes that one time, he probably wouldn't be as such a clutch shooter as he is. Well, I guess that's why you're perfect for this league because you have experience to share. You have this camaraderie with team, within the athlete community of the 3x3 and they true, got love true, for you. And they're able to let us be honest. And you know, we, we might sometimes rank on them 
uh, you know what I'm saying, keep, uh, make fun of them, but at the same time, we respect these athletes, yes. and we do that just to keep it light and have exactly. fun. Exactly. For all of you. Dina ko bully, guys. Hindi ako bully. But at the end of the day, I do want to make sure I bring out yung pinaka mataas ng level ng playing ng players. Tama, so, tama, tama. Siyempre. Thank you, guys. Like, I look no high. Siyempre, and it's... It's the first professional this is the first. 3x3 so league in the Philippines. Yes, it it's is. crazy. All around. Shout it, out to everybody streaming this. Just yesterday, we were like 50 and 60 it, trying to make it to the Olympics, the OQT, and here we are. That's, here we are, Mike. That's Recognize. Boss Ronald's, one of Boss Ronald's main goal is Boss to get Ronald, shout us out. back to that 3x3 yes, level yes. of competition against the world in the Olympics. And now, whenever you hear Chooks to go Filipinas 3x3, you're always going to think that, whoa, those players are pros now. That's oh, yeah. a professional league. And, you know, on top of that, that's why you see the level of competition is bigger, better, faster. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, each season that we've had in the past has always been good. But of course, there's been rewards on the line. But this is just the pre-season, the prelims. And there's already awards given up by Boss Ronald. He called us and let, know, let us know that he was going to give an incentive to the winners of today's leg. How much? 50,000 pesos. For second place? 30,000 pesos. For third place? They get 20,000 pesos. And that's how it goes, that's you know. And besides the dough, it's the respect. It's also setting the tone for the coming up, the, the upcoming league. True. And how much do they win in this upcoming league? I mean, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be able to win to up amounts of 1 million pesos. What? Split Bruh. between four or five players. When you said 1, 1 million, million pesos, pesos, David Carlos got excited. You see his, said, Whoa. his hair started Whoa. standing up. He was like, so, so that means if David Carlos like, is here, that we jump. might have some dunks for you guys someday. One of these days. We're going to have him coming out there. Hey. Before we get back to the mix, into the mix of things, I'm going to take you all year round with me. In this song called Calendario. Like I said, we've been there since the preseason in Inares. Yes. When Inares. this whole thing was thought of. It's crazy. Got it's this. history. Let's go. I'm happy to be a part of it. And here's a little performance for everybody. I'm with you. For everybody at home, hey. all across the hey. world. Check hey. it. Hey. Hey. Mike Kahapon Swift. Kahapon na ngayon, bilis ng panahon, wala na karoon, bago ng taon. Iba't iba ang uso, habit na pantalon. Pag araw na ng puso, ang pana ay baon. Hindi ako nag-aaral, bawal ang sumuko. Pag internet mapagal, nag-aal, buruto. Bigla na lang uminit, tayo maglangoy. Gawa tayo ng bonfire, malaking apoy. Punta ka sa guba, takit sa bundok. Higupin mo ang una pag nabot mo ang tuktok Sa araw na ito ay naloko din kita Bakit ka nandito sinong nag-imbita Dami ng pagkain na kahain sa mesa Mas maingay pa kami sa perya sa piyesta Grabe sa pagod, tara magpahinga At huwag makalimutan pa salamat sa ama Tapos na ang umaga Lumipas ang tanghali Sa oras ng habuna Tumungo si Sudan Upis na pasok tapos ang bakasyon. Hanap ka ng umaga. Lipas ang tanghali. Sa oras ng hapunan. Dumungo na ang buwan. Upis na pasok tapos ang bakasyon. Hanap ka layaan ang tanging ambisyon. Pasok ka sa bahay, iwas sa ambon. Pag iyak ng ulap, may halong emosyon. Respeto ko sa'yo at sa iyong relihiyon. Dahil sa sakripisyo, nasa langit ka ngayon. Huwag mong pilitin kung ayaw sumabay. Tayo ay buhay sa araw ng patay. Pakinggan nyo ang musika, kalat mga tao. Tangi na sa isip kung magkano pang regalo. Oras na isulat mo ang gustong pagbabago. Ipaglaban na mangyari, matupad ang mga plano. Tapos na ang umaga. Tapos na ang umaga. Lumipas ang tanghali. Lumipas ang tanghali. Sa oras ng habuna. Sa oras ng habuna. Tumungo si Sudan. Tumungo si Sudan. Tapos na ang umaga. Tapos na ang umaga. Lumipas ang tanghali. Lumipas ang tanghali. Sa oras ng habuna. Sa oras ng habuna. Tumungo na ang buwan. You know the months? You say in English. Enero, Febrero, Marso, Abril. Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, Oktubre, Nobyembre, Disyembre. 3x3, lahat tayo ay swerte. Kahapon na ngayon, bilis na panahon. Wala na karoon. Bago ng taon, iba't iba ang uso, hapit na pantalon. Pag-araw na ng puso, ang pana ay baon. 
Hindi ako nag-aaral Bawal lang sumuko Pag internet mabagal Nag-aal Buruto Bigla na lang kuminit Tayo maglangoy Gawa tayo ng bong hits Malaking apoy Punta ka sa guba Takat sa bundok Higupin mo ang ula Pag nabot mo ang tuktok Sa araw na ito Ay naloko din kita Bakit ka nandito Sino nag-imbita Dami ng pagkain na kahain sa mesa Mas maingay pa kami sa perya Sa piyesta Grabe sa pagod Tara magpahinga At huwag makalimutan pa Salamat sa ama Tapos na Tapos na umaga Tapos na umaga Lumipas ang tanghali Lumipas ang tanghali Sa oras ng habunan Sa oras ng habunan Magmaskara ka dyan Enero, Febrero, Marso, Abril Mayo, Junyo, Hulyo, Agosto, Septyembre, Oktubre, Nobyembre, Desyembre Ingat kayo sa biyahe This is Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM What else is there to do but make history with you? You, 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 you Especially you, my man Enero, Pebrero, Marso, Abril, Mayo, Junyo, Julio, Agosto, Septyembre, Oktubre. Biglang napapunta tayo dito. Ah, what's up everybody at home? Are y'all ready for this 3x3 yes. for real, for real? We're just about to get things cracking. I hope all you guys watching live have your drinks, your food ready. Because you should, make sure you should move after this. These next games coming up, they're about to get very physical. They're about to get very exciting as we get closer to see who's going to be taking home 50 thousand pesos like we said we set in the tone today this may be preseason, but that's not what you're gonna see in this stage this spectrum this 3x3 inspire academy bubble basketball court i'm telling you yes yes sky at preseason ayun yung mga players they're playing as hard as they can to make sure they set the tone for the rest of the legs that we're gonna have here and they're gonna make sure to set the tone i see a lot of new players and I just can't wait to see them bring out their true games as well as the veteran players we have. I'm telling you, you couldn't even pick a team to say which is going to win it for real. It's can't hard say. to guess because there's so much good players and anything yes. can happen when you have such great athletes that belong in such teams. It all boils down to chemistry, so. Chemistry and at the end of the day, just like they say, bilog nung bola, diba? It is round. Anything can happen. The wind can shift anyway. Bilog na ang Wilson's ball na masarap ito yun. So yeah, together, powered by TM, we're gonna reach, I don't know what kind of milestone, because that's we, all Boss I mean, Ronald, Sir Mel Mack, Chicks to Go, Coach Eric. That's all, all the work, all the hard work and effort. Remember, we did this in Inares, no, I mean like on the fly. And wow. look where we're at. We are a professional basketball league in less than what, two years? Or two, two years, years, less than two years. Wow, amazing, congratulations. Less than two years with the help from all of you guys watching streaming. We've done this together and we're gonna continue. This ain't it, this is just the beginning. We've, just remember, we've started playing now. Plus 3x3 is our sport. The Philippines can compete in this realm. And when that's it, why we in the OQT, and we've proven that. I agree, I agree. When it comes to 3x3 basketball, it does vary in some different ways from 5-on-5, five five, which allow a lot of our Pinoy Hoopers to excel. Whereas most 5-on-5 five five games, you have the advantage of height. Here in 3-on-3, three three, it doesn't matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter how good no. you are. It matters how strong your IQ is, how strong your endurance is, as well as the bond together with your teammates. I mean, we got... My main man, Ryan Monteclaro, is a little shorter than me, if not right. same height. And he won the roll of numbers. Grabe, napakalupit. Narinig natin sa unang pagkakataon in a 3x3 setting ang kanta ni Mike Swift entitled Kalendario. Sinamahan pa ni Superman Sudan Daniel. Napakalupit. Sinubukan kong sabayan eh. Kaya lang, mukhang hindi para sa atin. Buti na lang dito tayo sa gilid. Initsapuera tayo. Uh, dito, dito na lang daw tayo. Partner, mag-focus na lang tayo sa komentaryo. Uh, na, sapagkat magsisimula na ang second half ng ating preseason tournament. Kaya naman, wag po kayong aalis. Manatiling nakatutok dito sa BTV at sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page para sa kauna-unahang 3x3 Professional League dito sa ating minamahal na bansang Pilipinas. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Wap, wag mo nang alis. 
magbabalik ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang funds with TM Easy Sir 50 Doble data Doble na ang pang internet May 3 gig pa Fun na list Sa favorite mo ah! 143 140 Ama, ah, Sino kinukulit nyo? Mag TM Easy Sir 50 Doble data na Matindi ang laban dito Sa liga ng bayan Ito ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup Is powered by TM Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown out! May lamo! Ine! Kaming bahala sa fun! Basta may doble data? Doble ang fun! With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang pang internet! May 3 gig pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we sing! Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! 142? 143? 140? Ay! Sino kinukulit niya? Hi, Tita! Doble ang fun! Sa doble data ng TM Easy Sir 50! Miss nyo na ba ang nag-iisang Nok Maniorme, ang Chooks to Go? Tumawag na sa numero ito at magpa-deliver dahil available na din sa Grab Food at Lala Food. Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Hey! Sir Benji, may inilireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? <laughs> Pusto Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo, manok mo. Masarap ang uling roasters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi, doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> sa kaalam niyo ba, idol? Ganito yun. Tama na. Tama na, hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling Roasters, sumopra sa sarap. Pasensya na. I'm Troy Reich from San Francisco, California, and I play for Zamboanga Chooks. I started playing basketball for the first time probably when I was about five or six years old at my local rec center that was called Moscone. My favorite basketball player right now is Duncan Robinson of the Miami Heat because he's just an inspiration to me. He started out as a D3 basketball player in the U.S. and now he's a starter for the Miami Heat, which I just think is an amazing story. My signature basketball move is probably a hook shot. Just something simple yet effective. My favorite food is Pancet Canton. What? Just because it's it tastes good. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely hits the spot. My biggest crush is my girlfriend Vivian because she is my girlfriend and she is the best. My favorite song right now is Dynamite by BTS because I'm ARMY because they're the best. Watch me get some buckets with my team Zamboanga Chooks in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league. Chooks to go, Filipinas 3x3. The Chooks to go, Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Ryan Monteclaro mula sa Butuan City. Naglaro sa Adamson University at maglalaro para sa Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung tatlong taon gulang pa lang ako. Yung tatay ko, dati ding manlalaro. Then sa kanya ako talaga nainganyo at saka natuto. Ang pababit akong basketball player ay si Damian Lillard. Siya yung ginagaya ko ngayon, small but terrible type ng player. Ang signature basketball move ko ay step back three pointer Dahil nagpanala sa akin yun na madaming liga. Favorite food ko, hipon. Dahil uh, lumaki ako sa Mindanao. Papa seafood yung pagkain. Guest crush ko ay si Jesse Menjola. Kasi unang-una, malaanghil yung tsura niya. Tatay tayo doon. <laughs> Sasabihin ko sana yung piyansin ko. Oh no! 
Pagpapalito kong kanta, wherever you will go, ng The Holic. Dahil um, yung parents ko, nawala sila. Kahit saan sila magpunta, uh, nasa puso sila. I'll go wherever you will go. Panorin nyo ako at ang Porak, Big Boss Cement, Green Gorillas sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa, ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Matindi ang laban dito sa Liga ng Bayan. Ito ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Miss nyo na ba ang Adobo Connection? Sagot namin kayo! Dahil available na ang Adobo Connection bestsellers sa 7-Eleven. Bili na ng inyong paboritong Adobo Flakes, Samgyupsal, Roast Chicken Adobo, Beef Tapa, Pepper Beef, Bacon Bagnet, Classic Pork Sisig, Lumpiang Shanghai, Jack Daniels Chops, at Teriyaki Chops in frozen take-home packs. Just thaw, place in a microwavable container, and heat for one to two minutes. Hatid sa inyo ng Adobo Connection. Ako si Gino Humawas from Sambuanga City. Naglaro sa University of the East at maglalaro para sa Sambuanga Valientes. Nagsimula ako maglaro ng basketball noong siguro mga 7 ako. Sa yung sports ko dati, taekwondo. Na-inspire ako sa kuya ko. Sumunod ako sa kanila, sa mga payo nila at naglaro ako ng basketball. Ang paborito kong basketball player ay si Kobe Bryant. Kasi wala naman mas magaling ba kay Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Ang paborito kong pagkain ay spaghetti. Kasi yan yung niluluto ng nanay ko <laughs> kada birthday ko. Pero syempre at saka yung chooks ko. Oh yeah! Biggest crush ko ay ang asawa ko. Tsaka si Nadine Lustre. Para sila magaganda. <laughs> Favorite song ko ay Kwando. Ah, kanta to ng Shabakano. At eto, paano to kantayin? Kwando, Kwando contesta, Tumiyota resa. Kwando, Kwando. Panoorin niyo ako at ang Sambuanga Valientes sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso. At ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila. Dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo, ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa kahit alaws na sos. Chooks to go ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme. Kinaronahan na ang bagong lasa na magahari sa Uling Roasters. Ang Real Lechon Manok. Ang lechon manok na ito ay may tamis ng sweet soy at kaunting asim ng kalamansi. Mas pinasarap ito ng ating secret and special sauce na pinaghalo ang linamnam ng garlic, honey, at hint of chili. Tiyak na mapapa, your highness kasasarap! Ang 
Ulong Yan, lechong manok ay available at all Uling Roaster stores o online via Lala Food. Relax muna. Safety first muna tayo para tolong gespri dito sa Chukstogo, Pilipinas, 3x3. The Chukstogo, Pilipinas, 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang funds with TM Easy Sir 50, doble data. Dihoble na ang pang internet, may 3 gig pa. Fun na live sa favorite mong app. 143, 140, ah, sino kinukulit nyo? Mag-DMEC Sir 50, doble data na! Ako si Juan Gomez Dalyano from Quezon City, naglaro sa University of the Philippines at maglalaro para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. I started playing basketball at a very young age. My father took my brothers and I out to the court. So before we used to live in the backyard, we had a basketball court. Yun. So I guess it started from there, we just kept on grinding. But my favorite basketball player, I have two actually. I look up to James Harden and Devin Booker. But, you know, just their leadership, their approach to you know, every game, their mindset, mentality, and also you know, their impact on and off the court. My signature basketball move would probably be a step back to a pull-up jump shot. Because you, know, you create a lot of space for you know, a wide open shot. My favorite food, marami. Uh, siguro, I love eating sinigang, chicken and dobo, ulalo, and you know, especially sisig. Happy fiesta! <laughs> My biggest crush would probably be uh, Zendaya. Just her personality, and she looks so, you know, gorgeous and all that. My favorite song, I think my go-to would probably be Grease by Drake. Sample, sample, two lines. Uh, come with me. Cut, 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 cut. And lyrics in? Come with me. Leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Panoorin nyo ako at ang Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. This is the President's Cup. Powered by TM, Sudan Daniels. Let's bring him back to the game, y'all. Representing your Sangani Marlins, number four, we got Jose Escalabre. <laughs> number five, John Raimundo. Let's get it. Number six, Marvin Hayes. Let's go, Marvin. And number 11, Paul Sanga. Representing your Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, number four, Felix Aprico Jr. Number seven, Gerald Bautista. Number nine, Jaxter Apinan. And number 11, Cedric Aplaza. Rangani versus Pasi. Chicks to go Filipinas 3x3. President's Cup. Powered by TM. Yo, come and get it, guys. Patuloy ang mainit na action mula dito sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy sa Kalamba, Laguna. Ito po ang pagpapatuloy ng Chicks to go Filipinas 3x3. President's Cup powered by TM. At sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon, maraming salamat po, lalo na sa mga kasama natin sa simula pa lang ng ating coverage sa Facebook ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas sa Beam TV Channel 31. At guys, live din po tayo sa FIBA 3X3 YouTube channel because ladies and gentlemen, this is a FIBA sanctioned event. So pati sa YouTube ng FIBA 3X3, kasama din po tayo dyan. We are being aired live. So hello to everybody watching wherever you are in the world. At ito na partner ang susunod na laban. Hindi pa natin napapanood. Sina Pamboy Raimundo, Paul Sanga, Marvin Hayes. Ngayon, pagkatapos ng mahabang oras ng paghihintay, sasabak na sila sa aksyon. Six games down, six games to go bago yung quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals natin for this preseason. And Pamboy Raimundo, pinuksan ng laro. With a mid-range shot, Ablaza, pinalikan naman kaagad-agad. Sanga, shooter yan, two-pointer. Pamboy Raimundo, supalpal mula sa likod. Pero may foul na tinawag. Kita mo naman yung rebound na yan, Pamboy Raimundo. Smallest guy on the floor, does not 
matter. Just great timing dun sa offensive rebound na yon, And he will be rewarded, I believe, with a free throw. Balik kanina, ito or Pasig, not. Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors partner na naalo na. So, para umabante sa quarterfinals, kailangan nilang manalo dito kontra kina Pamboy. Marvin Hayes, linabas ang bola. Sanga for two. Wala. Raimundo, rebound. Binaling kay Sanga. Nakaapak sa linya. One point lang po yun. Nakaapak sa linya. Itong si Paul Sanga. Pinasa sa loob. Apreku. Easy basket para kay Felix. Makita naman si Marvin Hayes at si Pamboy Raimundo. Apat na rebound na. Tig dalawa na sila. Mga NC boys at isang tiga FEU ang uh, magkakampi dito sa Sarangani Marlins. Oh, itong larong na to, size versus speed. No? Kita mo naman, halos legitimate big men para sa Pasig. Kumpara mga guardia naman, komposisyon ng team ng Sarangani. At partner, tignan natin itong assist of the game brought to us by TM para sa moments na Juan Pinoy do it with TM. Sanga, two-pointer. Swak na swak para kay Paul Sanga. Sharp shooter. Mula sa FEU Tamaraos Ngayon Sumasabak sa aksyon Sa ating pinakaunang 3x3 Professional Basketball League sa Pilipinas Balikan muna natin si Mara Aquino Malaking puri ang binigay ni Cedric Ablasa Mula sa Pasig Santa Lucia Doon sa kanya mga first timer teammates Sa 3x3 tulad nila Felix Sapreco at Jack Strapinan Kahit first timer daw Natuwa siya sa kanilang pinakita Lalo na nanalo sila Pero alam mo, hindi sila kontento The entire time habang hindi sila naglalaro Nandun sila sa likod Nanood ng ating live dito sa Facebook Binalikan nila pa ulit-ulit Yung kanilang laban para makahanap Kung ano nga ba yung dapat na nangyimprove Mas strict nga daw ngayon dapat sa pick and roll at yung instruction is kailangan makita ka agad yung mismatch, Anton and Christian. Iyon nga Mara, at sigurado tayo ganadong ganado itong sina Felix kasi yun nga, kung manalo sila sila na ang magiging manok ng pool C. Well, isang paa na sa loob na ay kailangan nila manalo para yun nga mag-advance, no? And so far, off to a slow start dahil hindi nila nababantayan itong taong may bola si Paul Sanga who I believe has yet to miss a shot, three out of three so far itong si Paul. Eh, scouting report natin dyan, hindi pa rin nagbabago. Shooter mula sa labas. Maski na tinatawag na natin dito sa 3x3, two-pointer, pareho pa rin ang resulta. Maganda ang kamay. Samantala, substitution dito. Pinasok na nila si Escalambre. Escalambre, hindi nakakonect na mula sa labas. Apreku. Well, in hindi siya madalas tumira sa labas pero hindi tayo sure. Ito, ito ang alam natin na skill set ni Felix. Ang ganda naman nun, pag give up niya ng bola, screen slip kagad at nahanap siya ng kanyang kakampi. Paul Sanga. O, bumalik pa kay Paul. Isa pa. Pangalawang pagkakataon pa sana. Pangatlo, pero yung pangatlo sa loob naman. Silipin natin itong TM Instant Replay. Felix Apurego. Pick and roll to perfection. A beautiful pocket pass by Japs Bautista. Malaking guardia ito si Japs Bautista. That's why he has an advantage to see the floor. Lalong-lalong sa 3x3 half court ito. Hindi counted yun dahil nauna yung tawag na offensive foul. Yes. Talagang uh, ginagamit ni Japs Bautista yung lakas ng kanyang katawan. At yun ang kailangan, yun ang madalas gamitin dito sa laro ng 3x3. Lalo na sa street ball. Kung saan man sulok na merong court dito sa Pilipinas, yan ang madalas nating maramdaman tuwing tayo naglalaro at tuwing tayo nanunood. Apat na segundo, natitira sa shot clock, saan sila pupunta? May foul na tinawag. A good seal that time para kay Cedric Ablasa and trying to deny the basketball three-fourths. Was Escalambre, pero napituhan niya. Two points mula kay Pamboy Raimundo. Apreku! Wow! Sumalaksak! And that's a lapse para kay Marvin Hayes. You have to close out short dito kay Apreku because hindi naman niya ititira yun sa labas. Ito tinamaan. Bahagya, no? Nang bahagya doon sa loose ball. Ito si Marvin Hayes. 
Panore natin itong atake. Grabe. Dumaan lang sa gitna ng dalawang defender si Felix Aprecu. Pamboy. Nako. Kailangan ilabas mo na ang bola. Nakalimutan ni Jobs Bautista, no? Sinasabi ni Marvin kay Pamboy, tira mo na. Hindi handa si Marvin sa bigla ang pagpasa ni Pamboy. 8 to 4 ang ating talaan. Sarangani. Ano sa tingin mo, partner? Kasi medyo sabik na sabik na sila maglaro. Ngayon lang sila nakaapak sa court. Advantage kaya yun? It is. Dahil syempre, you expect yung team na Sarangani having fresher legs. Ganda ng footwork ni Marvin Hayes. Pero matatawagan naman ng technical. Itong si Marvin Hayes also. After just making a basket underneath. Slow start itong Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Pero tignan natin. Baka mabuhayan. Pagkatapos nitong technical foul, technical free throw, bonus point. Bawal kasi yon yung tatapagin mo yung bola habang hawak pa ng inbounder yung bola sa loob ng no charge zone or semicircle. Japs Bautista. Ablaza. Ganda. Spin move. Pinagsak ang bola para kay Apreko. Isa pang pagkakataon. Wala pa rin tapi ka ng bola. Ablaza! Pupunta sa free throw line. Ang ganda ng pinakitang halimbawa ni Ablaza doon, no? Gumawa ng galaw, gumawa ng pagkakataon para sa kanyang teammate, nagmintis, stick with it, and got the rebound with two hands, at ngayon marireward siya para sa free throw. Chooks to go, free throw para dito kay Cedric Ablaza. Chooks to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Pamboy Raimundo. Could not connect. Apreku. Bautista. Inaatrasan si Pamboy. Ninabas ang bola. Ablaza. Pumeke. Crossover. Sumamit. Huli. Hayes. Binigay dito kay Pamboy. Two-pointer kaya? Yes. Sabi ng referee. Two-pointer. TM two-point shot para kay Pamboy. Pero may sagot. Itong si Japs Bautista. Grabe yung palitan dito, Marvin Hayes. This is where he operates in the post. Fade away. The lefty, Hayes, trying to track down the loose ball, pero tumama na ang bola sa baseline. Uh, Jobs Bautista that time. Ginamit ang utak sa depensa. Alam niya, magbabak down si Marvin Hayes. Slightly pulled the chair, which forced Marvin Hayes to take a fadeaway jumper. Uh, time out muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection connecting good food to every Filipino household. Nagutom ako, partner. Parang na-imagine ko. Ikaw yung din? Oven roasted chicken ng Chooks to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. O kaya yung kitsun manok ng uling roasters yes. na available na sa pamamagitan ng Lazada at Shopee. Pasensya na. <laughs> Sumobra sa sarap eh. Pasensya na. Samantala, nagpapatuloy ang ating bakbakan dito sa loob ng FIBA setup. Ganda nung seal ni Apreko to open up the layup ni Jobs Bautista. Speaking of FIBA, we are live on the FIBA 3x3 YouTube channel. Aside from the Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page at syempre ang Bean TV channel 31. Ah, Blaza. Pinasa sa loob. Nako. Sumobra yung paghawi doon ni Felix Apreku. Hindi niya na dapat binaba ang bola, especially with a mismatch and a smaller guy. Kay Pamboy Remundo. It's either a drop step or umangat ka na lang. Ito yung magandang drive after iwanan si Pamboy Remundo by Bautista. Ganda ng camera angle doon. Kitang-kita. Sinubo na lang eh. Pero ito, two-pointer na naman. Apat ang lamang ng Sarangani kontra sa Pasig. Ito ang unang laro sa preseason ng Sarangani Marlins. Alam mo, Anton, hindi pa natin nakikita yung best player ng last game nitong Pasig, si Jexter Apinan, no? And more than halfway na tayo dito sa ating laro. Wala pa rin sub si Jexter. Baka may nararamdaman yan. Two-point shot. Hatid sa inyo ng PM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with PM. Oo, kasi... Grabe, pagod na pagod eh si Jexter pagkatapos ng unang laro. He really gave it his all. And imagine if you have a, a very well-rested Jexter Apinan na pumasok dito sa laban na to. And it's only a one-point game by Sarangani. At tandaan po natin, kung manalo dito ang Pasig, sila po ay Papasok aabate. Na. 
Abante na sa quarterfinals. Itong Pasig, Santa Lucia, Realtors. Wow! Ito na, labang na ang Pasig. Ito na yung sinasabi natin. Pamboy, sumobra yung kanyang lefty layup. Yes, Calambre. Medyo nabigyan ng espasyo doon. Medyo nabigyan ng espasyo. Dalawa na yan. Back to back. Two pointers. And partner, you have to wonder kung papasok itong si Jexter Apinan sapagkat uh, medyo humihinga na ng malalim itong si Jax Bautista. Mukhang makakakuha tayo ng report. Eh. Biglang tumak mo na kagad. Yung uh, kasama natin si Mara. Magandang malaman natin kung bakit hindi wala nga si Jexter so far. Pero grabe ang binubuhos ng mga manlalaro natin dito. Nakita natin yung two-pointer ni Japs Bautista. At ito naman yung sagot ni Escalambre. Nice cut mula kay Apreku. Linabas ang bola. Ablaza. Running hook. Hindi gumana. Hayes. Linabas kay Raymundo. Isang punto. Isang lamang ng saranggali. Gawin mo ng tatlo. Pagkatapos ng two-pointer na yun mula kay Pambo. Masakit yon dahil three-point swing yon Lay-up na sana si Ablaza. Pero hindi siya pumunta sa open spot. Led to the two-pointer. Isa pa kaya. Mula sa kanto. Pamboy. Raymundo with a TM two-pointer. Kanina. Lamang na ng isa. Ang pasig. Saranggali. Naglilia ba mga kamay nitong si Pamboy? Pamboy! Grabe itong si Pamboy. Siya yung nagano eh. Bigat. Kaya, kaya humiwalay itong Bigat. Sarangani dahil sa kamay nitong si Pamboy Raimundo. Pero alam naman natin na kayang kaya ni Pamboy sumaksak and to take the contact. Ito yung two-pointer powered by TM mula sa kanto mula kay Pamboy Raimundo. Ganon kalibre si Pamboy para sa pangalawang Two-pointer niya, no? para nga makalamang ng lima so far. Nakapag-dribble pa, tumingin pa sa linya. May plus points pa yun sa FIBA? Baka. <laughs> <laughs> Samantala, Bautista, humihinga pa, humihinga pa. Ang Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, Raimundo. Two-pointer, panalo na itong saranggani. Tignan natin kung ano ang gagawin ni Pamboy. Binigay dito kay Hayes. Naubusan ng oras. Shot clock violation para sa saranggani Marlins. So yun na yung stop na kinilangan ng passing after a basket by Bautista. Let's see kung kaya nilang i-capitalize with another basket. Or best, a two-pointer! Bautista going for the home run. Ano mo, crucial partner itong possession na ito para sa passing. Kasi yun nga, kung manalo sila dito, pasok na sila sa quarterfinals. Kaya importante itong possession na ito. Ang problema, lamang ng tatlo ang saranggani. Five is the magic number para sa kuponan na gustong maging kampiyon at manalo ng uh, 50,000 pesos. Japs Bautista, na ibabaan lamang sa dalawa. Raimundo, Hayes, Hayes. Inaararo ang bantay. Sanga, looking for the win. For two, Paul Sanga! Oh with a two-pointer powered by TM. Nothing but net. Paul Sanga, kung paano inumpisa yung laro with, with his hot shooting, three of three, tinapos din with a two-pointer. Isang mabigat na mensahe ang pinapadala ngayon ng Sarangani Marlins. TM two-point shot mula kay Paul Sanga. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. What an entry para sa Sarangani Marlins. Akala natin kanina, aarangkada na, magtutuloy-tuloy na sa quarterfinals ang Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Pero hindi, hindi pumayag ang Sarangani Marlins. Banderang kapos. So maganda sana yung hinabol ng Pasig after being down the whole game. Pero at other plans in mind, itong si Pamboy Raimundo. Yung dalawang back-to-back -back niya, mabigat to create separation, sabi mo nga. Kaya siya naman ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game na kasama ngayon ni Mara Aquino. Pamboy Raimundo, ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game. Pamboy, congratulations. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, lahat ng kanyang teammates, pati siya ay first-timer sa 3x3. So, Pamboy, gusto ko naman malaman, in-expect niyo ba na magiging good team performance niyo na talagang first game pa lang? Panalo na, tinalo niyo ang isang kupuna na nanalo kanina. Ano yung tumatakbo sa isip mo ngayon? Actually, hindi talaga namin na-expect na manalo kami kasi three-day preparation lang kami. Pagdating dito, yun lang yung first practice namin. So, nag-usap-usap kami. Sabi namin, 
lahat naman tayo gutom na gutom na maglaro. So, pakita natin yung ano, yung eagerness natin na manalo. Mukha nga ang tuwan-tuwa kayo sa nangyari kanina dahil lahat kayo first-timers. Ano yung mga nakita mo, napansin mo na nagustuhan nyo sa laro nyo na dadali nyo sa susunod na laban mamaya? Uh, siguro yung experience namin kanina. Kasi nga, first time namin to. So, every game, siguro makakuha kami ng adjustment. Great job on your first game. Congratulations. Pamboy Raimundo siya ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game na hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Anton and Christian. Mara, ang nagustuhan ko dito sa Sarangani Marlins, yung fighting spirit nila. Dahil kahit lumamang ang pasig, biglang uh, may rest back itong si Pamboy Raimundo. Ako, na, partner. ako naman ang nagustuhan ko is talagang larong kanto, 3x3 yung nangyari sa sitwasyon ng Sarangani. Bakit? Kasi sa larong kanto, Minsan, kailangan mo pumili ka agad ng mga nanonood sa gilid. Itong Sarangani, parang sila yung pinili ka agad dahil kakainsayo nga lang in, in the last three days, three, uh, three days, nanalo ka agad. Hindi mo kasi alam yung pinili mo pala, special ba? Mukhang special tong Sarangani, maganda pinakita. So dahil nanalo ang Sarangani, hindi mo naaabante sa quarterfinals itong Pasig, Santa Lucia. Grabe! Abangan natin kung ano mangyayari sa Pool C. Pero sa aming pagbabalik, Pool D action tayo. Magpapakitang gilas ng Zamboanga Valientes kontra sa Palayan City Capitals. Go Pilipinas 3x3. This is your President's Cup powered by TM. So Dan Daniels, let's bring out the rest of the teams. Representing Zamboanga Peninsula Valientes MLB. At number four, we got Gino Jumawa. Number five, Arar De Leon. Number six, Palino Rebellios Jr. Number seven, Mohamed Salim. Number eight, Rudy Iganai. Number ten, Darwin Portero. Representing Palayan City Capitals, wearing number six, John Paul Sarau. Number seven, Renz Palma. Number eight, Bobby Balukanag. And number 11, Clark Victor Derrige. Zamwanga Peninsula versus Palayan City. This is Chicks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. Ito na bakbakan dito sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy sa kauna-unahang professional 3x3. Basketball League ng Pilipinas ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Sa unang pagkakataon ng Zamboanga Valientes with a very exciting lineup met Salim. We have RR De Leon, dating team captain ng UE, Gino Chumawas at syempre Rudy Lingganay. At sila ay uh, nako, mukhang uh, mapapalaban sila dito dahil mga big boys to. Nakita natin kanina ang Palayan City Capitals who need to win this game para umabante sa quarterfinals, partner. Tama ka dyan, no? Ang ganda ng panalo nila kanina. Led by best player, Bobby Balokanag. Isang puntos lamang yung naging panalo nila against a very powerhouse team in Nueva Ecija, Rice Vanguard. At let's not forget, marami na rin umaabang dito sa Sambuanga Valientes dahil ito lang ang kuponan na lahat sa roster ay homegrown galing Sambuanga. Very tight net yan at uh, nakita... Parang uh, flashback na flashback ako sa pinakaunang TV game na kinover ko para dito kay Gino Jumawas nung naglalaro siya sa San Sebastian dahil one-man army talaga itong si Gino. Coast to coast, coast, to, eh. coast to coast yan. No? Pero dito kailangan niyang uh, mag-coast, stop to coast. Dahil, kailan, <laughs> dahil kailangan niya mag-U-turn pagdating doon sa three-point line after niya makuha yung defensive rebound. Pero ito yung isang player na sinabi mo sa akin, Magaling to si Rudy Lingganay. Mausay, magaling dahil mautak. And, uh, magandang halimbawa itong si Rudy Lingganay. That small at times can be terrible, especially kung gagamitan mo ng utak. Rudy Lingganay, not the fastest, you know, and uh, not, not the highest guy to jump out of the gym. Pero tulad nun, jump out of the gym, baka mo, 
eh, pinakita ni Bobby Balokanag, he can finish sa dila ng ring. R.R. De Leon, bitin yung kanyang two-pointer, agawan para sa loose ball. Masayo yung pasa. Yung pasa. Oh. Ni Palma para kay Bobby Balokanag. Pero ito, tignan mo yung, uh, yung, yung, yung lift off ni oh. Balokanag eh. Two-legged takeoff, pero ito, one-legged shot mula sa baseline, mula kay R.R. De Leon. Traveling mula kay Bobby Balokanag. Alam mo, ang isang bagay, no? dahil nakita natin, halos karamihan ng mga koponan is composed of, you know, yung tinatawag na small ball. Pagkalaban mo itong palayan, after nila mag-opensa, pwede kang, you can shrink the floor instead of closing out hard sa mga three-pointers. Alam mo, dahil ito nga ang unang laban ng Zamboanga Valientes, baka may kwento para sa atin si Mara Aquino. First timer sa 3x3 sila, RR De Leon, Muhammad Salim at Rudy Lingganay. Pero kahit first timer sila sa 3x3, nagsasama sila. It's making them closer being in the same room. Actually, close na nga sila. Dahil galing sila sa parehong syudad, katulad na sinabi nyo, all homegrown from Zamboanga. In fact, naging teammate sa kolehiyo sila De Leon, Jumaoas at si Rebolios. At naging teammate na din nila si Salim at Lingganay sa MPBL. Kaya kahit tatlo sa kanila ay hindi pa naglalaro ng 3x3 maliban na lang sa turn na yun natin. Okay no okay daw dahil familiar na sila sa isa't isa. Isang tingin lang, alam nila kung ano ang iniisip ng each other. Napalik sa inyo, Anton and Christian. Mara, iba ang homegrown. Iba talaga pag homegrown at magkakasama kayo. May ano eh, may sense of responsibility pag alam mong you're representing yung hometown mo. Natawa ko dun sa report ni Mara. Akala ko sa mag-asawa lang yung makuha sa tingin eh. Sa basketball din pala. Grabe, lalo na pag itong mga mga sambong game yun, no, na magkakasama na nga pa sa MPBL, pati dito. Nakita mo naman yung foul ni Jumawas doon. Eh, Siginiwarado niyang walang 1 plus 1 special. At eto na po, si Gino Jumawas. Dalawa ang nilalabanan dito. Lingganay, sinalo ang bola, tumingin sa oras. Jab step, tumira ng 2 points, bitin. Palma, nakuha ang bola. Hinaharap si Bobby Balokanag. Bounce pass para kay Sarao. Puntos inside the paint. Jumawas nakakita ng uh, libreng daan patungo sa basket. Sarao, sure ball yan pag nakuha niya ng ganong kalalim. High percentage ang laro nito dahil sa komposisyon ng mga player. Oh. Oh. Grabe, sino ba yan na ni Bobby ha? Naishoot ba? Alam mo, Ito, si Salim. hindi ko nga alam kung ano mas maganda ron eh. Yung hang time na pagsabay at pag-upo ni Balukanag kay Salim. O yung pagtapos ni Salim, mamili ka, you know? Ang ganda naman ng timing ni Med Salim pagkatapos ipakita yung bola at tapusin. Kita-kita sa ating TM Instant Replay. Partner, alam mo sabihin ko sa'yo, kaya naging ganyan ang talon ni Bobby Balokanag dahil sa gym sa second floor. Anong ginawa doon? <laughs> ah, dito, oh, tama. <laughs> grabe, grabe. Weights ng weights eh, di ba? Akala ko dahil puro chooks kinain niya eh. Talag nakuha niya yung talon ng manok. <laughs> Eh, kasama na rin yun for recovery pagkatapos mag-gym, pagkatapos mag-insayo. Kasi nga, karamihan sa mga teams, halos sa uh, limang araw na naka-quarantine dito sa ating tinatawag na Calam Bubble. Alam mo, sa sobrang alaga sa atin dito, lalong-lalo na sa mga player. And Anton, I, I, played, you know, I played a good number, number of years as well. I don't think I've ever seen na yung player eh, sumuko sa pagkain sa venue. Kadalas ang kasi baliktad sa lakas ng kumain ng mga player. Oh, ang dami kong ang binaon eh. Tapos si Anton Asistio sabi sa akin, I, I think you brought too much. Kasi they're already, we're already given five meals a day. So you know, we're, we're just very thankful. Pati si Gino, sinabi sa atin kahapon nung, uh, nung sinascout natin yung practices nila na... Kuya, busog tayo dito. Busog kami dito. Hindi ako tatanggi doon sa sinabi ni Anton Asistio <laughs> dahil tig isang dosena na pansit kanton at century two na din alam mo. <laughs> well, yun nga. Uh, nagpapasalamat tayo, di ba? Dahil uh, napakaganda ng setup dito. Everybody's well taken care of. And free throws na yan. Hatid sa inyo ng chokes to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan Reds Palma. That shot grazing the ring. Med Salim, binigay dito kay Lingganay. Nagpakawala ng two-pointer. Agawan para sa loose ball. Lingganay zip sa pass to RR De Leon. De Leon, bitin. Grabe yung action dito. Right. The low scoring so far. no? And so far, yung mga open baskets na nakikita natin is against Sambuanga. Yung mga ilalim na tira nitong uh, Capitals. Itong Palayan Capitals. 
But so far, this has been a hard fought ball game. Terije. Left handed runner in the Gumana. Salim, binigay dito kay Lingganay. Lingganay, Salim. Right wing, two pointer in the Gumana. Balokan, binigay kay Palma. Mula sa kanto. Bitin pa rin. Derije. Whether it's 5 on 5 or dito sa 3x3, an offensive rebound will really hurt you, no? It's demoralizing, kaya importanteng importante, lalong lalo na habang pagod. Eh pag nakita mo na yung bola sa ere, eh hindi mo siya titigan or taong na mga coaches doon, mag ball watch kundi hanapin mo yung tao mo na iba box out mo. At tandaan po natin sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon, wherever you are watching this, in the Chooks to Go Philippines Facebook page, Beam TV, and all of our international viewers watching in the FIBA 3x3 YouTube channel, thank you so much. If Palang City wins this game, sila po ay aabante na. They will advance to the quarterfinals. Lingganay with a fake, napakatalino. Yun nga lang, off the glass, hindi pumasok. Derije, sure ball yan. So, ganun din katalino yung pasa. Ni Renz Palma, dahil nakita niya yung pagkakataon, libre yung kasama niya sa loob, pagka-kick out, pasa kagad sa loob. Salim, binigay dito kay Ligganay. Ligganay, dumating ang switch. Jumawas mula sa labas. Gino Jumawas with a TM two-pointer. Ayan ang tira pang ma-develop ni Jumawas all throughout itong torneo. Eh, magiging mas mahirap silang talunin. Grabe yung momentum ni Clark Derije. Pero ito ang sagot ni Rudy Ligganay. Renz Palma, hindi hihinto. Hindi titigil. Yun nga lang, hindi pumasok ang tira. Lingganay. Two-pointer. Lumabas. Derije. Two-pointer. Bitin. Power rebound mula kay Bobby Palocanag. Hindi alam ni Rudy Lingganay. Nasa likod niya si Bobby, kaya kinuha na lang sa taas ng ere. Alam mo, mukhang si Bobby ang pinakakondisyon dito eh. Based on uh, what we've been seeing no? uh, yeah. in, in the first two games, uh, grabe yung talon niya eh. At yung energy, hindi napapagod. From start to finish, no? Yeah, yan o, yan o. Natulog sa pansita ng depensa, Bobby Balokanag. Napakasipag. Met Salim. Sa rebound. Sino rito? pa? Sino pa? Bobby Balokanag. Eto, sinisil. Hindi tumitigil si Bobby. Hindi talaga. Yan ano ba ang kinakain nito, partner? Eh, yan talaga. Kailangan hindi mo... Kailangan hindi mo isipin na may stoplight dito tulad nung sa kalsada dahil tuloy-tuloy ang laro. At ito, assist of the game brought to you by TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Ang nakikita mo lang dapat lagi tulad ni Bobby ay yung kulay ng uniforme nila, yung green light. <laughs> dahil once na huminto ka, eh hindi mo alam, babalik na kagad yung kabilang kuponan. Partner, interesting lineup dito. Ha? All big men, all bruisers mula dito sa Palayan City. Nasa bench ngayon si Renz Palma, ang kanilang nag-iisang guardia at playmaker. Pero ito, parang playmaker at guardia. Itong si Sarao. You gotta give credit kung sino man ang naging responsable sa pagbuo ng koponan na to. They did not opt to get or to have a small ball design type of composition team. Kumuha sila ng mga brusco, high percentage players. That is willing to grit and grind, ika nga. And so far, so good. Up by four with four minutes to go. Pero ito, crucial to partner. Ha? Si Bobby magpapahinga muna. Bumalik sa laban. Si Renz Palma. Tignan natin kung ano ang magiging epekto dito sa Palayan City. The Capitals looking to advance to the quarterfinals. Jumawas. R.R. De Leon. Contra Sarao. Met Salim. Binaling dito kay R.R. For two. Bitin. Sarao, Derije, Derije, natapikan mula sa likod, Jumawas, tinapik, patungo sa kakampi na si Met Salim, wala pa rin rebound, Renz Palma, Palma, didiscarte, Palma, sinausaw pa! Alam mo, Anton, kailangan mag-adjust sa depensa nitong Sambuanga. If I were them, I don't think Sambuanga has made a two-pointer. Correct me if I'm wrong. Kung meron man, baka isa at most dalawa. Si Gino, naka two-pointer Naka kanina. Correct. But if you look at, again, the composition ng team na to, why would you close out hard and worse, bite on the shot fix? Force them to take the outside shot. Airball mula kay RR De Leon. Pero mukhang last touch ng Palayan City. 
14 to 8. Ang Palayan City Capitals kaya ang unang kupuran na tutungo sa quarterfinals. Yan po ang ating malalaman. Maya maya lam lamang po. Eto, Jumawas nagpakawala ng tres. Biglaan yun. Palma, aatake. Saraw. Jumawas. Spin move. Walk. Lifted yung pivot foot niya. No? As he tried for a spin to the to the middle ito si Gino Jumawas time not on the side of Sambuanga kailangan nila ng stop dito Sarao what a fake up and under by John Paul Sarao napakalupit akala ko ba walang skwela ngayon eh taking him to school that time with that up and under oh <laughs> natawa si RR dahil pumasok yung tira ni Renz pero eto balikan natin Ito. Whoop. Now you see, now you don't. Up and under, basic na basic para kay JP Sarao. Mukhang ang isang pang profesyon nito sa galawang yun ni Sarao, eh, Magic Aero. <laughs> Nawala sa eksena yung kanyang uh, bantay ng ganun-ganun lamang. Pero ito, hindi sila pwede magkumpiyan sa partner sa pagkat uh, 15 to 10 na ang kanilang lamang. Remember, they have to win this game para um umabante sa quarterfinals. Nako, dalawang free throw. Mintis. Pero eto, si JP Sarao. Unstoppable. Gaya na sinabi ko kanina, pag nakuha niya ang bola ng ganong kalalim, sure ball yan. And if you're Sambuanga, no? You don't want to stop playing and you want to keep scoring. Na again, mag magkakaroon ng bearing yan, let's say, kahit na Let's say they bow down to this game. May isang laro pa sila yung last game against Nueva Ecija. E, tignan natin itong si John Paul Sarao sa ilalim. Grabe. Halimaw. Rebound. Lingganay kontra Palma. Pinagay kay Salim. Handoff. Pinalik kay Lingganay. Jumawas. Titira mula sa left wing. Gino Jumawas na naman. Two-pointer. Powered by TM. Lingganay. Screen. Pinalik kay Jumawas. Hinahanap si Salim. Kaya lang hindi na nakatalon si Med. Not seeing eye to eye is Jumawas and Salim. That time, kumukuha ng position sa ilalim para siguro sumil itong si Salim. Pero kala ni Jumawas yung aliw pang uh, gusto mangyari. Timeout muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection connecting good food to every Filipino household. Adobo Connection, of course, is the first salvo of Bavi into retail restaurants. Ako, madalas ako kumain ng Adobo Connection sa mga food court partner. Napakasarap. Yan ang hirap sa'yo eh. Hindi ka nang iimbita. <laughs> Magsasabi ka pa, hindi ka nang iimbita. O sige, paglabas natin ng kalambabol. Pero Yan. enjoy naman tayo dito. Dahil sa napakainit na aksyon na ating napapanood dito, Renz Palma, halos madapa na. Halos mawala na sa balanse, pero naiangat pa ang tira. Sayang yun, no? Ang ganda sana. Everything but the shot para kay Palma. Ito, babalik na sa laban si Bobby Balokanag. Si Renz Palma ang kanyang papalitan. So, all big men bruiser lineup para dito. Sa Palayan City Capitals, ang kupuran na nakaberde. May oras pa dito ah. Dalawang minuto at isang segundo. May oras pa para sa kupuran ni Gino Jumawas na makahabol dito. This is pool D action. Oo naman, two possession lang ito. Makashoot ka ng two-pointer, makastop ka. Maybe makashoot ka ng two-pointer ulit. Ito, possession pa nila. Lalamang ka pa. Ito na yung two-pointer ni Rudy. Lingana step Nako! back. Sumamit pa si Derihe. Ito na ang pagkakataon, partner. Ito na yung sinasabi natin. Hindi pwede magkumpiyansa ang Palayan City Capitals. And I correct myself. Hindi sa dalawang possession makukuha yung pangpanabla. Sa isang possession lang with that two plus one special coming up. Para kay Rudy Lingana, who has been struggling, by the way, bong laro. Crucial na two-pointer yan, powered by TM. Ito, manok ng bayan. Shooks to go, free throw. Hindi na ipasok ang unang tira. 
Nako po. Pressure pack, free throws. Hatid sa inyo ng shoots to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. At naitabla ni Linggana ang ating laro. Palma, crucial to. TM two-pointer. Wala, Linggana ay crucial rebound. Kapit tayo dito. Linggana ay rebound. Grabe naman yun. Talking about climbing. Talk about climbing the ladder. Alam mo, sa talo nitong si Bobby, baka pwede rin sumali sa dunk contest to. Grabe <laughs> naman to. Tingin mo yung talo niya. Snatch. <laughs> you know that, in, in English, that is a leap. That's what you call a leap. At hindi niya ikinatuwa yan, no? Itong si Bobby. Dahil sa paghampas sa mukha nitong uh, si Gino Jumawas. Ano sinabi ni Charles Barkley, partner? Uh, rebounding is... Your desire to want the ball, something like that, de ba? Correct. Yun yung pinapakita ni Bobby Balokanag dito. As we have a timeout brought to us by Adobo Connection, connecting good food to every household. Lumayu ka pa eh? Ano naman ang sinabi ni Pasaol sa rebounds? Okay. Eh, parang bogchi lang yan. Oh, mama ya, mapaparot na ulit natin si Alvin Pasaol kasama ang Zamboanga Family's Bread Sardines. They are coming up next Contra sa Bicol Paxful Pro Ito, magandang laban to Because this is for the quarterfinals Kasi parehong 1-0 yan eh So Kung sino ang mananalo dito Siya ang magiging representative ng Pool A partner Natotoo yan Dahil itong Sambuanga Yun nga, with their dominating win kanina 21-7 against Pagadian Itong Bicol Yung unang kapunan nakakuha ng panalo dito sa preseason natin Kalaban ng Pagadian Rocky Sports History kanina Yung unang uh, two-pointer Powered by TM ni RJ Argamino Sa preseason Preseason yes, yes, uh -huh. pre Kasi you know, patikim lamang po ito uh, Pagdating ng uh, Wednesday Yun, yun na yung leg one Ng ating turno Ayan na si Alvin no? Ayan na si Alvin Nakikita ko na kasama si Anton Sumisilip, pinapanood itong napakainit na bakbakan sa pagitan ng Palayan City at ng Zamboanga Peninsula Valientes. 19-17, Ligana ay crucial ito. Jumawas kontra Sarao. Jumawas puntos in the paint. Malukana, kanino sila pupunta? Palma, Seal, JP Sarao. Up and under na naman, kaya lang sumobra ang kanyang tira. White ball. Tingnan natin kaninong ball na yun. Oh, correct myself. It's green ball. Two-pointer can win it. Which I doubt they will go to. Everything has been in sight so far para sa green shirts. Balukanag, sumabit ang depensa. Hirap si Gino eh. Right. Uh, this is a guard guarding a forward. Right. And, and ang maganda sa ginawa ni Bobby no, no is inatake niya muna yung gitna. And uh, kadalasan yung mga post player, you know, dahil iniisip pa kung nung gagawin sa post, eh, eh, next thing you know, indecisive ka na. Pero siya, inatake niya kagad yung gitna, binasa yung depensa dahil nabara yung gitna, went to the drop step, eto siya, free throw. Eto, kung masushoot ni Bobby ang free throw na to, panalo na sila. That's how, that's how crucial that foul was. A shout-out nga pala kay Neil Jumawas, cheering for Gino, of course. A shout-out kay Madonna, Gumimba, Grefal. Maraming right. salamat po, Kenzie, Tiazam. And of course, uh, kay Ken Asibar. Na right. nakatutok dating ngayon. Dating you, eh. And, you know, baka nagtataka yung mga manonood. Bakit bola ulit ng Sambuanga? Uh, ay, ng palayan eh. Dahil sampu na ang naibigay na foul nitong Sambuanga. Free throws plus ball possession yun. For the win sana yung layup. Ni Palma, Jumawas, a-atake, linabas ang bola. Crucial na two-pointer, Lingganay, wala. Metsalim, tapi ka na bola, mapupunta kay Lingganay. I thought he had a chance inside for Lingganay. a floater, no? Jumawas, a-atake, ibabalik kay Rudy for three. Palpal, what a block by Sarau. TM two-pointer, na-depensahan. Sarau for the win! Power move inside again. Patunay that we are truly powered by TM with that power move by Sarau. Hindi ako nagkakamali, Anton. 
Si Sarao din ang nagpanalo kanina, yung, yung huling basket sa unang laro nila. Ayun na sinasabi natin, pag nakuha niya ang bola sa ilalim, sure ball yan. At eto na nga, ang uling Roasters block of the game. Grabe sa naman yun. Sa pointer ni Rudy Lingana, ang solid supalpal na yan ay galing sa ating uling Roasters. That's the block of the game. Uling Roasters, sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. Pasensya na. Game-winning block, game-winning shot para kay Sarao. But the guy who set the tone para sa larong ito for the first 7 to 8 minutes, wala nang iba kasama ngayon ni Mara. Ang ating manok ng Bayan Player of the Game, Bobby Balukana. Congratulations. Second. Thank you. Second time ka naging best player. Second na panalo nyo and you move on to the quarterfinals. Ngayon, the last two minutes of the game, mukhang sobrang seryoso nyo. Nagkaroon kayo ng quick time. Ano yung mga pinag-usapan nyo doon at mukhang naging effective na kuha yes. nyo ang panalo? Uh, kung alam kami, nag-usap-usap lang kasi kasi kung ano talaga ito eh. Uh, uh, kahit mag-undig man kami, eh, kailangan namin ikon yung yung ka namin, yung laro namin sa loob. Yun lang. Kanina nagkabanggaan kayo nga ni Gino at nahulog ka sa sahig, mukhang nasaktan ka. Ano masasabi mo sa pisikalan ngayon dito sa 3x3? Hindi, ako alam. Normal lang naman yan eh. Ganoon talaga. Mga physical talaga yung mga ganito nga lalo na 3x3, di ba? Eh, lalo pa yung mga tawagan. Ayos na. Pasok kayo sa quarterfinals. Congratulations. Thank you. Bobby Balukanag ang ating manok ng bayan best player of the game. Nahatid sa inyo ng trips to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin sila Anton and Christian. Maraming salamat Mara. Grabe itong si Bobby Balukanag. Pangalawang manok ng bayan player of the game na. At uh, napakasipag na si Mara. Kanina pa naging interview. Christian, of course, great job to you. But you're not the only analyst here. Kasama rin natin si Coach Hammer Martin Antonio na magte-take over sa ating quarterfinals. Kasama ang isa sa pinakamasipag na sportscasters, company spokesperson ng Bavi. Walang iba kundi si Mark Zambrano. Abangan niyo po sila sa quarterfinals. Pero eto sa aming pagbabalik, pulling action. It is Zambuanga Family's brand sardines. Back at it against Bicol Paxful Pro for the right to advance to the quarterfinals dito sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Wap! Huwag mo nang alis. Magbabalik ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang fun with TM Easy Surf 50 Doble data Doble na ang pang-internet May 3 gig pa Fun na list Sa favorite mo ah 143 140 Aha. Ah Sino kinukulit nyo? Mag TM Easy Surf 50 Doble data na Matindi ang laban dito Sa Liga ng Bayan Ito ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup Is powered by TM Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown ouch! May lamok! Ine! Kaming bahala sa fun! Basta may doble data? Doble ang fun! With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang pang internet? May 3 gig pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we say Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! 142? 143? Aha! 140? Ah! Ay! Sino kinukulit niyo? Hi, Tita! Doble ang fun! Sa doble data ng TM Easy Sir 50! Miss nyo na ba ang nag-iisang Nokman ni Yorme, ang Chooks to Go? Tumawag na sa numero ito at magpa-deliver dahil available na din sa Grab Food at Lala Food. Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Hey! Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? <laughs> Pusto Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo, manok mo. 
Masarap ang uling roasters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> sa kalam niyo ba, idol? Ganito yun. Tama na. Tama na. Hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling Roasters, sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. I'm Troy Reich from San Francisco, California, and I play for Zamboanga Chooks. I started playing basketball for the first time probably when I was about five or six years old at my local rec center that was called Moscone. My favorite basketball player right now is Duncan Robinson of the Miami Heat because he's just an inspiration to me. He started out as a D3 basketball player in the U.S. and now he's a starter for the Miami Heat, which I just think is an amazing story. My signature basketball move is probably a hook shot. Just something simple yet effective. My favorite food is Ponce Canton. What? Just because it's it tastes good. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely hits the spot. My biggest crush is my girlfriend Vivian oh. because she is my girlfriend and she is the best. <laughs> my favorite song right now is Dynamite by BTS because I'm Army because they're the best. Watch me get some buckets with my team Zamboanga Chooks in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league, Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. Magandang araw po muli at patuloy ang ating aksyon dito sa ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM dito po sa loob ng ating world-class facility inside the NU campus. This is the Inspire Sports Academy kung saan po nagaganap itong ating pre-season games. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Mark Zambrano with Martin Antonio. And Martin, ito yung inaabangan natin. Huge games coming up. We've seen so far all the games that have happened. Nakita natin all of the, the, the teams that have won so far have shown that they deserve to be here. Talagang excited na excited ang mga kasama natin. Of course, ang mga sumusubaybay sa 3x3 na dala sa atin ng Chooks Go dahil ang haba ng pahinga. Kanina pa sinasabi ni Anton at ni Christian during the first few games ngayon. Ito na, papasok tayo. Kung baga, ito yung gusto natin mapuntahan. The medal round sa Olympics, money round. Yan ang kailangan natin puntahan ngayon. Bakbaka na laban, Mark. Oh, eh, very excited ako dito sa mga susunod na laro. Huwag na natin patagalin to. Let's turn it over to Sudan Daniel and Mike Swift at courtside. Chooks to go, Pilipinas 3x3. Welcome back. This is the President's Cup, powered by TM. Sudan Daniels, what's the remaining games looking like? Yes, yes, coming on our next team, representing Zamboanga family's brand, Sardines. We got number five, Leo. Santilla. Number six, Alvin Basao. Number seven, Troy Wright. Sprinkles. And we got number eight, Joshua Munzo. Representing B Call Pax Full 3x3 Pro, wearing number four, Ramon Alfredo Mabayo. Wearing number five, Jonathan Aldafe. Rocking the number seven, Darwish Vince Bideri. Number eight, Alvin Aldai. Number 10, Jerome Garcia. And number 11, Ira Kim Imperial. This is Zamboanga versus Picol. Chooks to go, Filipinas 3x3. The President's Cup. Powered by TM. All right, the cast is set. Mga kaibigan, maraming salamat po muli sa inyong pagtutok dito sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Family's brand sardines of Buanga City against Bicol, Paxful, SMDC. Martin, both teams already with one victory dito sa ating preseason games. Both looking to advance further, but man, this team, the Alvin Pasaol, Joshua Munzon, ito si Troy Reich, this team will have the targets on their backs. And titingnan natin dito, what Bicol Paxful can do against a powerhouse team like this. Sinabi nga ni Boss Ronald, itong mga mama na to, dapat ihanda natin, papasok sa Olympic qualifiers, number one player natin sa 3x3, 
Joshua Munzon, Alvin Pasaol, and ka, kanina yung mga bantay. Titignan natin kung mapapagpatuloy niya yung kanyang magandang inilalaro mula pa nung nakaraang taon. Matatandaan natin isa siya sa mga pinaka-inaantabayanan na 3x3 players dito sa atin. Pero hindi po tulang kabigin na magaling din itong Bicol Pax Hulwiso. The game that they played earlier where they got their first win in this uh, round when they played against Pagadi and Rocky Sports, winning it 21-16. With players like Mon Mabayo, Aldave, this this team has all the skills necessary para manalo dito. Let's see if they can react well. First possession, mapuputa sa family's brand sardines. Here's Munzon going baseline and a quick foul given up by Mon Mabayo. Paramdam aga dito si Mon Mabayo. Joshua Munzon had his way during their first game. Una niyang hawak ng bola, nakakuha agad ng two-point shot kanina. Pero ngayon, nagparamdam agad Mon Mabayo, no easy baskets. The bruiser, kilala natin ang laro niya si Mon Mabayo. Step back two for Joshua Munzon, in and out. Here's Alday, challenging the defense. Itong si Troy Reich, looking inside to Mabayo, maagawan niyan ni Troy Reich. Or rather ni Joshua Munzon. Here's Pasaol, Oy, creating space. That's an offensive foul on big guy Alvin Pasaol trying to make space para to sa kanyang patented two-pointer. Kinalabit lang daw. <laughs> Nilabasan lang ng konting tare. Kitang-kita natin. Yung kakalipa yung pinantula. Pero napituhan. Kita na ating referees. Alam niya makakataka siya dito. No? But the referees are right on top of things as Mabayo finds Aldavi underneath. First point para dito sa Bicol Packs full. No, na veterano. Jonathan Aldavi, si Paikasoy, galing sa labas na kung offensive rebound. Missing on that too, ito si Joshua Munzon. Alday, ooh, teardrop over Alvin Pasaol. Tsaka walang respetong pinapakita dito yung Bicol. Talagang nakadiin sa kinta agad. And guess what? Ito sa Buanga has not scored yet dito sa ating ballgame. And let's go to Mara Aquino with something new from courtside. Mara, what do you have? Happy, happy birthday sa owner ng Beagle Paxful 3x3 Pro na si Mr. Jill Orense. Kaninang umaga pa lang, yung mga manlalaro talagang pinag-usapan nila na nais nilang makuha ang unang laro para i-dedicate sa kanilang, sa kanilang boss. Now, right after their win, nag-message agad si Mr. Orense at nag-thank you. Talagang tuwang-tuwa daw siya at napasaya. So, they're hoping na masundan at umabot sila sa finals ng ating preseason para naman magandang happy birthday gift ito para kay Mr. Gil Orenza. Balik sa inyo, Mark and Martin. Maraming salamat, Mara. Happy birthday po, Mr. Orenza. Oh, Maraming boss, salamat Gil. sa inyong suporta. Sana pag dumalo kami ni Martin dyan sa Bicol, eh, matik mo namin yung Ay, napakasarap champion. na delicacies dyan. Ang dami. Pili. Mahilig ka ba sa mga hang? Pili. Yan. Pili. Yan, pakulo mo konti. Tapos sili, tsaka toyo. Naku, konti ka naman si Mag champion. Huwag mo kang dudumin, Martin Antonio. Marami pa tayong gives na lalaroin dito. Ayan. Samantala, as we said, itong Zambuanga has scored their uh, first two points. As Alday also scores a new para sa Bicol Paxful. Troy Reich barrels into Mon Mabayo, gets the foul. And that will be in the act of shooting. Troy Reich will go to the free throw line. Panoorin natin ito. Napakagandang galaw. Step back jumper from Alwin Alday to add on to the cause. Ito Bicol Paxful are now up by four points, six to two. Malinaw na malinaw. Ang ganda ng inilalaro ni Alwin Alday. Dito sa ating uh, pre-season tournament, kanina nung simula, siya rin na nagbigay ng buhay sa kanila. Ang pressure pack free throws na ito from Troy Reich. Ayatin sa inyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Aldave, left corner, almost but not quite rebound by Joshua Munzon. Sambuanga, aching and bleeding for points here. And that's one thing na nakikita natin dito. Yun siya nasabi nating intensity on defense. Bicol is being no push over dito. Showing Zambanga, we can compete with you. Sigurado. Kasi alam mo dito sa 3x3, Marka, sa FIBA, bawal larong pensionado. Di ka pwede, <laughs> pag nakashoot, re-relax, relax Di pwede pensionado. Pagka-shoot, kailangan pumikap ka agad ng tao. Kasi magagawa nila ng paraan, umiscore agad dahil napakabilis nga ng laro. Here's Alday. There's the teardrop. Patented shot by Alvin Alday. Misses. Pasaol ngayon, binigay kay Munzon. Using the pasaol screen, Alvin hinihingi ulit. Munzon slicing inside for one. Kabalahibo yung dinaanan doon ni Joshua Munzon. Di sumabit kahit buho. Kamantala, the shooters ng Bicol packs full. All in attendance here, Aldave mi making that shot. Pasaol missing badly. Aldave thought about it, binigay kay Mabayo. Outside to Alday. Alday all day to shoot. Wala, gets his own miss. Alday teardrop, wala pa rin. 
isa rin yan sa makikita nating adjustment ng mga player. Hindi natin ma-stress ng enough na mas maliit ang bola at saka Olympic flooring yung ginagamit natin ngayon. And that's a mortal sin right there, Martin. Leaving Joshua Pasa or rather uh, Alvin Pasaol wide open there for that two-pointer. Dalawa na lang lamang dito ng Bicol as Joshua Munzon using his power inside. Talagang nausok si Mon Mabayo. Kahit medyo manipis si Joshua Munzon ngayon. <laughs> a little acting there. Galing dito kay Alvin Pasaol but it got the attention of our referees. Samantala, balikan natin itong ating TM Instant Replay of the high-flying Joshua Munzon making space and scoring for the Zamboanga team. Malinaw na malinaw. Parang signal pagkati oh. yung gamit. Samantala, ito naman ang kapuna ng Bicol packs full. Here's Alday again. He is out to shoot tonight. Walang espeto. Oh. Talagang pupukol at pupukol. Gusto bumawi ni Munzon. Missing that one. Bola ngayon nasa kamay ni Alday. Thinks about another two. Yes, sir! Back-to-back -back two pointers for Alwin Alday. Diretso lang ng diretso. Pagka binigyan ng konting puwang, ipupukol eh. Five-point lead here for Bicol Paxful and another turnover kontra sa Zamboanga City Family's Brand Sardines. They are scrambling for form here against a resilient, hot-shooting Bicol Paxful team na nagpapakita dito na hindi kami nasisintak sa number one team dito sa ating 2020 season ng Chukstugo Pilipinas 3x3. Time out muna tayo kasamang Adobo Connection connecting good food to every Filipino household. Martin, what can you say about the way Bicol Paxful is playing against this powerhouse team? Ang tapang nila, parang Adobo Flakes ng Adobo Connection. <laughs> paborito ko yan ha, paborito ko yan Mark ha, tapos Anli Rice. Oh. Pero, Going back to the game, ang anghang ng laro nila dito. Mga orago natin, tumatama yes. mula sa labas. At napapahirapin nila dito. Even with good defense, itong Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. The putback by Leonard Satillan. Just down the lead of Bicol to four points. Hurry, two-pointer ni Alvin Anday. Wala, wala yan. Here's Santillan, creating space. Uy, nabasa yung teardrop. Ni Santillan. Nasagi ng konti. Getting checked by uh, Jay Gars, Jerome Garcia. At ang kagandahan dito, Mark, tatlo. If I'm not mistaken, na tatlo dito sa kopunan ng Bicol ay galing sa alam, mga local players nila. Right, at yan ang talagang sinachampion natin. Dahil bawat kanto sa Pilipinas, merong half court, tatluan ng laro. Exactly. Kaya maganda nga dito yung mga homegrown players playing for their own squad. Like Zamboanga, puro Zamboanga niyo po yan. Samantala, balikan natin ang solid supalpal. From Jagar Garcia. Na atin sa inyo ng uling roasters. That's a block of the game. Atin sa inyo ng uling roasters. Sumob na sa sarap. Pasensya na. Pasensya na po. Talagang uh, huling-huli. Basang-basa yung oh. teardrop na yun. He's been doing that since college days. Mm -hmm. So alam mong, pag nandun sa may corner yan, sa may elbow, chances are titirahan ka talaga ng teardrop nito ni si uh, Leonard Santillan. Saka suabing-suabi, alam niya eh. Oo. Oh. Uy, I'll die. Look at that. Defying the defense of Santillan, but short on that try. Nilagyan nila ng mas malaking defender ngayon, si Alwin Alday. Here's Munzon, challenging Garcia. And a foul is called there on Garcia on that slashing move nitong si Joshua Munzon. And an understated aspect of Joshua Munzon's game is the way that he takes contact yes. and initiates it, getting rewarded with fouls. He knows how to throw his body to the defender. Ang pressure pack free throws na ito ni Joshua Munzon ay hatid po sa inyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Oh, di pa yan sing init ng mga open na ginagamit pang luto natin ng Chooks. <laughs> yan ka na naman. Sabi sa'yo magugutom tayo yan, dito. Yan ang sinasabi Antonio. ko sa'yo. Ano naman banggitin mo pa yung masasarap na variant sa Chooks to Go? Ah, yung pepper roast. roast. Yung pepper roast. Pepper roast. Ako. Ako naman ikaw talaga. Champion. Napahirapan mo trabaho natin. Samantala, Aldave finds Garcia block. Harap-harap ang butata ang inabot niya. Galing kay Joshua Munzon. Markado na rin si Jay Gars kanina. Yes. Dalawang, ah, apat na two-point shot. Dalawa nung unang pasok niya at dun sa dulo ng laban nila. Kontra sa pagadian nung una nilang panalo. Basang-basa nung yung uh, galaw na yon ni Joshua Munzon. Samantala, Mabayo. Pilit na nga Mabayo. Missing on that perimeter shot. Tatlo ang lamang dito ng Bicol Paxful. Trying to cut down the lead. Joshua Munzon tickles the twine for two. Isa na lang po lamang dito ng Bicol packs full. You can't give him that clean of a look on the outside. Talking about Joshua Munzon. Banggaan ng dalawang higante dito. Mabayo against Pasaol. And a foul will be called on Alvin Pasaol. Sending Mon Mabayo to the free throw line. Ito balikan natin. 
Naku, wag mo, wag na wag mong iiwag. Hindi ka pwedeng umander. Hindi ka pwedeng umander. Masyadong malinis kitang-kita ni Joshua Munzon. Yung pilog, batsang-batsa yan. Nasabi nga natin, <laughs> size 6 ang bola na gamit natin dito. Mas maliit kaya mas malaki ang, bil- ang butas ng ring para sa kanila. Batsa, para dun sa mga naglalaro ng larong kalye. At dun po nagsimula itong ating 3x3. Exactly. The best, highest level. Uy, pumasok yun para kay Santillan. And a steal. Great hustle there by Munzon. Santillan, back-to-back baskets. And lamang na dito by one, ang Zamboanga. Families, brand sardines. Aldave for two. No. Here's Munzon, outside the Pasol. Great spacing and seal there by Santillan. Aldave goes to the left. Corner shot by Aldave. And the game is tied at 14. Pasol for two. Walayan keeps it alive. Mapupunta kay Aldave. Chance to take the lead here for Bicol Paxful. Aldave in and out. Isa pa para kay Aldave. Naku, patay ang butiki. Mabayo, scoop shot with the reverse. Nahilo lang, nahilo. Nahilo lang, nahilo. And the lead swings back to Bicol Paxful, 15-14. What a game we're having here. At nakikita mo eh, talagang ando dun yung tapang nitong Bicol na kupunan. Ano kung gaano kalalim yung parang nagkukay ng halaya eh. Scoop siya to. Napakalapot yung halaya ng inuukay nito. Mon Mabayo, veteran move there. As we take a look at Santillan, two-pointer, yes sir! Ito na, idagdag na rin to ni Santi Santillan dahil alam natin inside operator pero ngayon extending his range. And a foul given up there. Di makapaniwala si Troy Reich. Napaniwagan siya ng foul doon against that off-balanced fall away. Medyo pilit na tira nitong si Alvin Alday. Take a look at our next two-point shot. Nakatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Alday successful from the free throw line. Tying the game up once again at 16 all. Forced two-pointer ni Joshua Munzon. I think alam niyang nun-release niya yun, hindi papasok yun eh, no? Here's Bicol Paxwell, trying to take the lead here. Mabayo, forcing one in, wala. What action we're seeing, Martin Antonio. Napakabilis. Up and down ang ating laro, ang daming possession. Siya naman talaga ang ina-expect natin sa 3x3. At ito naman, Troy Reich ng mama sa ilalim. Troy Reich, quiet almost this entire ball game, relegated to defense, but... The basket starting to fall when Zamboanga needs it. Take a look at that move. All power for Troy Reich. At meron pa siyang free throws na parating dito. Para sa Zamboanga family's brand sardines. Missing the free throw. Penalty. Dalawa. Dalawa. Oh, dalawa, dalawa. dalawa ang ibibigay dito kay Troy Reich. Kala niya isa lang. Hindi niya na alala. Eight fouls na po. Eight team fouls na ang Bicol Pax full. So, two free throws coming up. Bawat foul. For Troy Reich. Ito, very key si Troy Reich sa Olympic campaign natin. That is natin. so true. Dahil pag tumama ang mga tira nito sa labas, alam natin mayroon talaga siyang stretch capability. Ang laking problema ibibigay niyan. And another foul, Troy Reich. Sinusubukan niyang isara yung real estate doon sa bandang kaliwa eh, para dito kay Alwin Alday. But too much contact there on Troy Reich. Uupo muna siya dito. Babalik sa ball game si Alvin Pasaol. 18-16 para sa Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. Jerome Garcia partially deflected there. Pilit na tira ni Alday will not go in. Leonard Santillan. Oop! Ano? <laughs> ba? Ba? Umahabol? Umahabol. May, may famas ba? May famas ba ngayong taon? Dalawa na yung nakuha ni Moon Mabayo na ganyan ha. Nasa kolehiyo lang pala yan. Sa STI, ang galing kumuha ng offensive foul. Nandito yung coach na si Coach Vicky Casiano, lagi na apisa sa mga paborito niyang player eh. Galing kumuha niya ng charge, talagang iuumang yung dibdib dun sa dadaanan ng offensive player. Sa referee dito. And another two-pointer for Alvin Alday. What did he eat this morning? Shooting the lights out of Inspire Sports Academy. Tabla po tayo, 18 all. What a game. Joshua Munzon, challenging na mabayo defense. Wala. Possession will go. To the red shirts ba? Bicol ball. Oo. Pero ito muna yung isang long shot ni Alvin Alday. Dos para sa kanila. Yun yung nagpatabla. Alam mo Mark, yung pag-penetrate kanina ni Joshua Munzon, isa to sa mga rules dito sa 3x3, mas makapal ang tawagan. Look at that move by Alvin Alday going through Munzon and Pasaol. Pampalamang. Here's Pasaol going inside, baiting for a foul. Uy, hindi lang pumasok, pero nakabingwit siya ng malaking foul kay Jerome Garcia in that inside move. At nakakatuwa talaga panoorin si Alvin Pasaol. Alam mo, nakita natin itong pihit muna ni Alvin Alday. 
amazing move there by Alvin Alday. Shooting from the outside, taking it inside has been the superior offensive option para dito sa Bicol Paxful in this game. 19-18, one point lead for Bicol. Timeout muna tayo, kasamang Adobo Connection, connecting good food to every Filipino household. Palikan natin yung huling atake ni Alvin Pasaol. Si Alvin, very deceptive. Pag tinignan mo, hindi ganun kaliksi, pero ang galing gumamit ng angulo. Parang ito yung mga kalaban mo sa tatluhan sa barangay. Yes. Mga nakatambay lang doon, tapos aayain mo ng soft drinks. Pag uwi mo, hindi ganun nakapag-merienda. Nakuha ng kapanong pang merienda mo kinabukasan. <laughs> Akala mo mabigat, akala oh, mo mabagal. Oh. Pero pag ginalawan ka niyan, Expe tinihitang ka niyan. Experience yung mga galaw eh. Tapos consistent eh. pa yung tira sa labas. Oo. Oh. So Alvin, one more free throw para itabla ang ating laban at 19 all. Cardiac ball game as we approach the quarterfinals. Itong ating preseason games. Santillan with the left. And tabla na po tayo, 19 all. Garcia over to Aldave for two. Yes, sir! And they have just proven that they belong the biggest upset right now, Martin Antonio, sa ating preseason games. Bicol Paxful has won it 21-19 against the top team in our roster. Happy birthday, Boss Hill Cortez. My goodness, ang two-point shot na ito from Aldave. Ayatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fan Pinoy do it with TM. Yan yung sinasabi sa natin, uh, Martin, ano? sa 3x3. Walang malakas. Walang malakas. Pwedeng walang masilat. Malakas. At walang veterano-veterano. Lahat meron pang anghang. Unbelievable. Now, ito naman ang ating assist of the game brought to you by TM para sa moment sa Fan Pinoy. Do it with TM. What a game we saw against Bicol and Zamboanga Bicol winning it 21-19 and Aldave, our best player of the game, is with Mara Aquino. Ang ating manok ng Bayan player of the game, Jonathan Aldave, congratulations! Ito na beat nyo ang ating powerhouse team at pwedeng sabihin na you made a statement. Strong start. Kwento nyo sa amin kung paano nga ba nangyari ito kasi bukang seryoso yung mga timeout game nyo at naging nag-work yung mga usapan nyo. Kwento nyo sa amin kung anong pinag-usapan at anong nangyari during the game. Uh, kasi sa sabi sa amin yung management namin tsaka kay coach, kahit pre-season, uh, gawin namin na lahat para yun nga, magkaroon ng uh, moral din yung mga bata. Uh, kami pala, bata pa rin pala ako. Uh, tsaka sinasabi ko rin sa mga kasama ko na huwag tayo magpapaintimidate kahit uh, mga Pilipin, Pilipin team ang kalaban natin. Kaya-kaya natin yan. Nagkataulong na film sila. Gusto ko lang i-point out na si Jonathan, first timer sa 3x3 at siya ngayon ang ating best player of the game. Manok ng bayan natin ngayon. Anong pakanamdam na kahit first time mo sumapak sa 3x3 half court, ikaw ka agad ang best player? Uh, Napaka-bless ko kasi kala ko wala ng basketball eh. And uh, very thankful ako sa Chooks to Go kasi naibalik nila to. And akala ko rin hindi na ako makakapagdaro talaga kasi uh, medyo ayo pangit pang sabihin kasi kalamaw lang tumatanda. And I'm very blessed uh, na, na nakalaro ako sa Chooks to Go and nanalo pa kami sa two games namin. Si Jonathan ang ating manok ng Bayern player of the game. Hatid sa nyo ng Chooks to Go. Ang nag-iisang manok ng Bayern and happy birthday kay Mr. Gil. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Thank you, Kimara. Naku, napakasarap na regalo naman yung binigay ni Jonathan oh, oh. Aldabi na yun. Alam mo, hindi naman larong bata yung pinakita niya. Larong mama. Larong veterano yun. Veterano, larong mama. At saka kahit nagmintis ng tatlong tikit na outside shot, yung pinaka-crucial, walang problema. Kasado, sigurado, asintado, Jonathan Aldabi. Ang susunod po nating laro. Naku, tutukan niyo po ito. Uling Roasters, putuan, taking on the Bacolod Master Sardines as we turn it over to Mike and Sudan for more of the festivities on center court. Chooks to go, Filipinas 3x3. This is the President's Cup powered by TM. Sudan Daniel, next game, please. All right, guys. It is time to call on our next team. So to call on our Uling Roasters representing Butuan City, number five, Frankie Johnson. Number six, Carl DeHessa. Number seven, JR Alabanza. Number eight, 
Chico Lanette. And number nine, Chris DeChave. Representing Bacolod Master Sardines, wearing number four, Antonio Rafael Asisjo. Number six, Chris Lalata. Number seven, Jewel Ashri Choi Ignacio. Number eight, Alfred Ryan Batino. Number nine, Robin Ronyo. Butuan City versus Bacolod. Bacal this is Chicks Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Uling Roasters, Butuan City kontra po sa Bacolod Master Sardines sa patuloy na aksyon natin dito sa ating preseason games ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 powered by TM from right inside the Inspire Sports Academy inside the NU campus dito po sa Calamba City. Magandang araw po muli sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page at sa Beam TV channel. Ito po ang ating restart ng 3x3 sa ating bansa and what a way to restart with Martin Antonio. This is the first ever professional 3x3 basketball league in the history of Philippine sports. Medyo hihiramin ko na rin. Parang plansya na matagal nang may uling. <laughs> Yung laban natin, dire-direcho, bakbakan agad. Simula pa lang, Mark. The start of the ball games were really a tug of war. So right now, ito, isa sa mga pinaka-popular natin na teams, ha? Dito sa ating uh, bubble, kalam bubble, itong uh, pakulod. Well, we can say this, uh, itong kupo na naman ng butuan, could be the second strongest team, at least on paper. Oh, oh. So, sunod sa Zambuanga with the likes of Frankie Johnson and the veteran Carl De Hesa. Dagdaga mo pa ng JR Alabanza at Chico Lanete. Diyos ko po, umaatigabong puro amoy veterano talaga. Veterano at sanay manalo. Oh, oh. Yun yung gusto mo mga player, yung mga player na gustong gustong manalo. Hindi lang gusto. Agawan sa rebound. Mapupunta dito sa kapuna ng Bacolod. Oh, great move inside. As Bacolod takes first blood sa ating ballgame. O Ryan Patino, nakagawa agad ng uh, puwang sa ilalim. Pinabanggit mo si Alvin Pasol, deceptive. Si Patino is another deceptive player. Ay, mama to. Naglalaro pa lang sa Naasco para sa Centro Escolar oh. University. Talagang masahe ang aabutin mo sa ilalim when you try to bump and grind with Ryan Patino. And this is a good matchup. Patino kontra kay Alabanza dito sa ating ballgame. Oh. Panggaan ng malalaking tao. Well, a white ball as Anton Asistio could not believe that call. Anton Asistio instrumental in their last game kung saan nanalo sila. Just shooting the lights out dito sa Inspire Sports Academy. Kilala naman nating shooter talaga yan. Gunner talaga yan. Oo. Kung baga markado, hindi pwede isali sa piso-piso. Talk about markado, ito rin isang shooter na naman to. Si Chris De Chavez, CDC as they like to call him. Alabanza powering his way in. At a shot clock violation contra. Sa Uling Roasters, Butuan City. Samantala, Mara Aquino, meron tayong extra something dyan sa courtside. Mara, what do you have? Yung unang laro kanina ng Uling Roasters, Butuan City, medyo mabagal yung kanilang kumpisa. Ayon kay Carl Dehesa. Dahil daw ito sa mga old habits, nilalaro nila yung Romula sa mga previous team. So they're still getting used to each other. Ang challenge nga daw ngayon ay yung ma-showcase yung galing ng isa't isa at yung kanilang abilidad while sticking to the new system. Ano sa tingin niyo dyan, Mark and Martin? I would agree, but with the lineup that they have, Mara, with the talent behind this team, hindi mo aasahang matatagal ng tumalamig eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi pwede mangyari yun. Free throws coming up here para kay Ignacio. Lamang dito ng isa, ang Bacolod. 3-2, to two, missing on that free throw. Alabanza with the ball. Alabanza, nilabas kay De Chavez. Creating space, De Chavez fall away, air ball. Uncharacteristic air ball para kay Chris De Chavez. Ito rin, hindi mo pwedeng bigyan ng konting po. Ang very important when you play 3x3, very versatile players. Not only post-up guys, they need to defend on the perimeter. And the crucial part is they need to knock down that outside shot. Ball ngayon nasa kamay ni Batino. He's trying to look inside. Ball stolen away. Frankie Johnson ngayon may tangan ng bola para sa uling Roasters, Butuan City. They go inside to Alabanza for the layup. Good catch and layup para kay John Ray Alabanza. And a turnover here. 
Balikin natin itong ating DM Assist of the Game. Finding the open alabanza sa gitna. Hatid po sa inyo ng DM para sa moments na fan Pinoy. Do it with DM. Here's Ignacio with the right. Oh, take a muna. Offensive foul ang itatawag dito. Nakaposisyon na ng maayos si JR Alabanza underneath. Ito, balikan natin yung galaw na yun. He thought he had a wide open lane. Pero nakapwesto na si JR Alabanza. Forcing that offensive foul against Ignacio. Sinuyod eh. No way. Here's KD Align. Frankie Johnson. Oop, teka muna, illegal screen. Kahit makapal lang tawagan sa 3x3, the rules are still the same. You yes. can't set a moving screen. You can't extend your elbows. Mm -hmm. And right there, gumagalaw pa si Alabanza. Gumalaw na yung kanyang kakampi. Here's Patino. Pumihit. Patino. Trying to go baseline. Patino, ginamit ang kanyang katawan. Wala. Carl De Hesa gets it back para sa Butuan City. Frankie Johnson thought about the two. Binigay kay KD Align. Carl De Hesa goes inside with the left hand. That's the beauty of Carl De Hesa. May tira sa labas. He could knock down that jumper and a very, very good penetrator. Ignacio, fall away jumper, wala yan. Gets the miss, teka may tawag sa ilalim and si Chris De Chavez yata ang tatawagan dito. Samantala, balikan natin ang ating TM instant replay showcasing the beautiful left-handed scoop ni Carl De Hesa. Very, very small detail. A little jab, trying to go to your shooting motion. Tatalo na tatalo yung defender. Frankie Johnson faking the pass, scoop shot. That would have been a highlight play there, pero hindi pumasok. Anton Asistio using the screen. Asistio falling away, in and out. And we have yet to see an Anton Asistio two-pointer in this game. Here's Lalata, challenging in defense dito. Ni Frankie Johnson and a foul before the shot. Tatawag dito against Frankie Johnson. Three team fouls na, Martin, itong Butuan City and a low-scoring game we're seeing here. Very low-scoring, pero highly physical. Oh, yeah. And, uh, ando dun yung mga looks, eh. Naku, natulog ang depensa ng Butuan City and Lalata slams it home with two hands. Here's De Hesa, pinadali yung layup. One-point lead for Butuan City. Ignacio, over to Anton Asistio. Four seconds to shoot para sa, Butu sa Bacolod. Pinilit yung tira, wala yan. De Hesa finds De Chavez, opens the left corner, De Chavez will miss. And nagka-tangle up doon sa ilalim. Itong si Lalata, saka si De Hesa. So, balikan natin yung natulog na depensa and Bacolod makes Butuan pay with a two-handed stuff from Lalata. Hinampas eh, dalawang kamay. Mga la Martin Antonio ng mga slam dunk mga nung no. araw. Eh, gabi na. <laughs> eh, gabi, gabi na. na. <laughs> Di wala nang araw eh. Oo oh, oh, eh. Hirap sa'yo eh. Six minutes and 30 remaining sa ating game. Lamang pa rin ang isa dito ang Butuan City. Here's Frankie throwing it from the canteen. Airball yan. Sumingi muna ng breathing time dito si Frankie Johnson. Balik sa ball game. Si Carl De Hesa. And talking about breathing time, napakahirap maglaro ng 3x3. Hindi oh, yeah. ka parang 5-on-5 five five na pwede kang magpahinga sa help side ng depensa. Ito bawal talaga ang larong pensionado dito. Talagang kailangan bumabakbak ka. Sorry, miss there, Martin. Libring-libre na sana sa baseline. Itong si Anton Asistio. Another sorry miss this time by Gerard Labanza. Ignacio, sumubok ng two-pointer. No! And both teams are... Shooting really bad percentages at two point country. Ah, samantala Alabanza ups the lead of Butuan City to two points. Here's Patino, fall away by the big man. Patay ang butike. Yung sa kabila naman yung kapit bahay. Kani nang ano unang laro yung sa kaliwa eh. Ano yung nankati naman? Patay na quit sa daw. Samantala Alabanza na tapikan Ignacio and that swipe will be a foul. Kung dapat dito kay Ignacio. Carl De Hesa, papalitan muna ni Frankie Johnson. Ito, balikan natin yung play na yun. Alabanza, right place, right time. But the swipe, wala nang magagawa doon. Ito si Ignacio, except to foul him. Too big and too strong itong si John Ray Alabanza. You can't give him that free point underneath the basket. And just like that, tatlo na lamang dito ng Butuan City, 7-4. Make that now a two-point lead after Bacola converts quickly. Seven five, lamang dito ang Butuan City. 
De Chavez over to Frankie. Johnson still having problems from the two-point country, and I can't believe I'm saying that about Frankie Johnson. Exactly. Man with a million dollar arm. Uh -huh. Million peso arm. Million peso arm. Exactly. Oh. Here's Malata. Tries a two. Oh, he makes another one. And will we see another upset here, Martin exactly. Antonio? Here's the Chavez. Finds the Hesa for two. Pagkakataon nice ulit para dito sa Butuan City. Quick one para kay Carl De Hesa, or rather kay Christy Chavez. And a slight push galing dito kay Carl De Hesa. A slight push, parang magigipa yung outboard. Oo nga. Hindi mo si Anton assist siya. Ito, balikan natin yung galaw dito. That inside incursion. Mula kay CDC, Christy Chavez. Butuan holding on to a one-point lead. Not the safest of leads in 3x3. Patino inside play. Nakabingwit na naman ng foul. Ang big man ng Bacolod City against Alabanza. But I think it's an offensive foul. Offensive foul, oh. Oo, on Ryan Patino lowering down the shoulder, taking the contact like a bull in a china shop. Here's Johnson. They go inside. Alabanza with the right and one play. For J.R. Alabanza. Basic na basic from the weak side on the elbow dive. On the off pass, you could do a uh, flare screen or the exact same thing that John Ray Alabanza did. Dive to the basket, take the contact, finish the shot. May bonus pang free throw. Dito na lumalabas yung 3x3 experience. Dito ko po ng Butuan City. Going to their strengths now. Samantala, Ignacio for two. Wala yan. Rebound. Kanina mapupunta kay Alabanza. Johnson, all day to shoot for two, in and out. Bola ngayon nasa kamay ni Asistio, picking the two. Back to Asistio. Asistio going around the Batino screen. Shot clock down to three seconds. Batino scoop shot, nakabingwit ng foul against Carl De Hesa. Sa sobrang lapad, sasabit at sasabit pagka hinapol mo yung braso. Ang ganda ng pwesto ni Ryan Batino, sweeping. Going to his left, meron pang konting angla nung wakaling gamay. Desperation heave na yun para dito kay uh, Batino. In and out on that free throw. Still a two-point lead para sa Butuan City. And a big two-pointer there. Samantala, Ignacio, gustong bawiin. Wala. Apat na lamang dito ng Butuan City. Inside play by Lalata. Wala. Loose ball. Mapupunta dito kay Frankie Johnson for two. Wala pa rin. At may tulak sila lata na mahagis. Panay bukol yung mga tira dito sa labas. They're shooting blanks. Both teams. And Frankie Johnson, also a marked man. All his shots are not team shots. It's been contested. So it's very, very hard. And with a team like... With a team with Chris De Chavez, with Carl De Hesa, na alam natin napakaraming buzzer beaters na in terms to go 3x3 history. If they're struggling like this, something has to give. Kumbaga, pagkaganyan, dito matama sa labas, kailangan pachicha-chicha ka lang sa ilalim eh. Uunti-untiin mo. Here's Asistio. And a foul given up there, acknowledged by Alapanza. Two free throws dahil seven team fouls na itong Butuan City. Dalawang charity shots para dito sa shooter ng Bacolod, si Anton Asistio. For smart guy, itong si Anton Asistio. Veterano na rin ito ng ating 3x3. Pressure pack free throws. Hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go ang nag-iisa. Manok ng bayan. All important free throws. Especially with a team like Bacolod fighting against a powerhouse team ng Butuan. Here's Frankie Johnson. Masikip ang depensa dito ng Bacolod. Johnson going for two. Shooters will be shooters. They will just keep on firing. Frankie. Binigay Carl De Hesa. Still nothing from two-point country. Napapangiti nila sa Asistio. Trying to show them how it's done. Wala. Parang may takip yung labi ng ring natin yan. Walang tumatama sa magkabilang kupunan. And yung pasa dito as Anton Asistio. Hinawakan na yung braso ni Carl De Hesa who was momentarily open. Would have been an easy shot there. And free throws. Okay, KD Align. Isa sa pinaka-veteranong players natin dito sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. Really tough competitor and the way and the versatility that he brings to Butuan. 
laking bagay. He sets solid screens and can seal the smaller guys underneath. 14-7, itong uh, Butuan City slowly pulling away sa ating ball game. Carl De Hesa gets it back. De Hesa scores again for Butuan just like that, 15-7. Could it be a case of too little, too late mm -hmm. right now, Martin, para sa Bacolod with that much time remaining? And the key was they, they were not hitting their open shots. They had a lot of open shots throughout the game and missed box out right there, Carl De Hesa. He stressed it a while ago. And daming ibinibigay nito sa yung kapunan. The extra possessions, the hard screens, some of the uh, stats that you don't really see. Time out muna tayo, kasamang Adobo Connection, connecting good food to every Filipino household. Alam mo, swerte pa nga ng konti itong uh, Bacolod eh, no? Even if ganito nakalaki yung kalamangan ng Butuan City, it's not because they're shooting. They're shooting really bad. Especially from the outside. Na-out hustle. Uh -oh. Yung mga mintis na mahahabang rebound, long rebounds, nagka-crash Carl Desa, Chris De Chavez, and all of these guys are really concentrated effort na kuhanin ulit yung bola. Of course, pinapasalamatan po natin ang uh, mga taong tumulong to make this 2020 season happen, of course, our dear president, Boss Ronald Mascarinas, Sir Ernest Ku of Globe Telecom, and of course, Sir Hans C. ng SM at ng NU. Maraming salamat po sa tatlong icon na ito, Martin. Ibang without your help, without your support, this would not have happened. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for helping 3x3 basketball in the country. Saka yung uh, ganitong tulong-tulong, uh -oh. yun yung nag-aamoy mo po yung finish. Pag kayo oh, mga ganyang... Pag mga ganyang pagtutulungan, yan yung importante. Palikin po natin itong uh, TM replay natin as Patino sends Chris De Chavez. Sinalapit lang! <laughs> Konting kiskisan lang sa ilalim. Ganun yung mga ginagawa mong foul nung araw eh. Yung namamahagi sa napag yung pantay mo. Sabi ko nga sa'yo, gabi na. Kaya oh. nakikipag-appear na lang ako sa kanila ngayon. Ikaw naman, Mark eh. Chooks to go free throws here para kay Chris De Chavez. Okay, ikaw, kung ikaw yung gagawa, pero pag ikaw yung tatayo, oh. medyo matagal na eh. Medyo matagal, mararamdaman mo na eh. Para mga dalawang araw, nararamdaman mo pa oh. rin yun. So, Bacolod has been offensively quiet dito in the last few minutes as the Chavez makes free throw. Binigay dito kay Anton Asistio. Look at the respect there as they go inside. Uy, napalakas yung pasa dito kay Batino. They go outside. De Chavez for two. Ang sakit nun, Martin. That hurts. 18-9 for Butuan City. Tear drop by Asistio. Paambon-ambon ang sagot dito ng Bacolod. Di sila makapag-string ng magandang run. Now the problem dito ay pag nagising na yung mga outside shooters nitong Butuan as De Chavez fires another one. Batino with the rebound. May tulak si Chris De Chavez na off balance lang running into Batino and he acknowledges the foul. Free throws coming up again kay Batino as we take a look at this great acknowledgement. Johnson to De Chavez sinking a two-pointer para sa butuan. At ito yung mga impending win or competition na laro na gusto mo nakikita sa butuan. Kasi ngayon, tinitignan natin ito yung ilan pa sa mga seeded players natin sa ating rankings locally. That's true. So gusto gusto mong nakikita na they eat out tough, uh, tough wins, tough games, and they find ways not only through shooting from the outside. Two minutes and 30 remaining dito sa ating ball game At lumagapak ito si Anton Asistio. Nagahanap ng foul, wala man tumulong sa kanya. <laughs> Tama yung sinabi ni Sudan eh. Oh, ba, ba, hindi, hindi, po, hindi mo madadaan sa sigaw oh. yung foul. Kung hindi bumito, wala oh, talaga. Oh, wala, wala. Let go. Ba, ano, oh. Samantala, De Hesa. Over to Alabanza. Babies the shot. Ito ngayon si Asistio. Anton curling to the middle. Asistio patented teardrop. Wala yan. Alabanza with the rebound. Nearing the two-minute mark. Frankie Johnson for two. Still struggling from two-point country. Here's Lalata showing it. Wala. Alam mo na kung ano pa practice dito ng dalawang kapunan after this game. Well, if you're butuan, malaki ang labang mo. Walang puntos. Gusto mong ubusin na nila lahat ng mga blanco nila sa larong to. Kung pupukol lang din kayo ng blanco, ipukol nyo na na ipukol ngayon para mamaya sa money rounds, mas maganda ang bitaw nyo. Yan yung magandang seal as we see bodies colliding sa ating replay na yun. Commanding eight-point lead. 
by Uling Roosters, Butuan City. Good spin, fake. Ilang fake pa yan, pero everything but the shot. Lalata makes sure. Here's Frankie for two. Still nothing. Ilabas muna dito. Lalata goes back inside. Batino. Oh, teka muna. Hindi pa nailabas fully yung bola. Kailangan dalawang oh, paa. Dalawang, paa. dalawang paa. Pinapaalala po natin sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin. FIBA rules po tayo. Uh -huh. FIBA 3x3 rules. Yung entry pass hindi po lumabas. Yung dalawang paa ni Chris Lalata. Kaya no count. Exchange possession. That is a turnover. So humihingi dito ng uh, continuation itong uh, Bacolod but no. Hindi na clear yung bola. Possession here. The white shirts ng Uling Roasters, Butuan City. Here's Frankie. Faking. Nilabas dito. Alabanza for two. That was way off. Busin nyo na yan. Hindi nyo na pwede dali oh. sa susunod na laro. Ako, wala. Kasi mas importante na yung mga paparating na laban. Habang papalapit tayo sa ating quarterfinals. Nako, mas diktika na po magiging laro natin. And to think this is just the preseason, Martin. Preseason lang. Preseason pa lang ako to. Diyos ko. Pampagana. Ibang klase. Na libre ito si Anton Asistio. Missing on the two. Here's Chris Nalata with a Euro step. Basket will go plus the foul. Mahirap yun, ha? Sumiksik sa traffic sa ilalim. Bahagyang bahagya yung hakbang na biyak. Pati kakampi niya nandurun eh. Sa siksikan, eh, no? Kaya galaw dito. Whoop! Tatlong tao yun. Sumiksik sa gitna ni Christy Chavez. Saka ni Carl De Hesa. Finding enough space. And strength. And one play. Two free throws dito para kay Chris Nalata. At sa kanila pang mapupunta ang possession dito. Crucial free throws. Nahasa din itong si Chris Nalata. Naglaro sa Olivares College. Para sa Olehio. Nabigyan ng pagkakataon sa regional basketball with our partners, ang MPB. Lumaki na lumaki. At ngayon, isa na sa mga Mark guys dito. Marky, at napakaraming fans sa live stream. Pinabanggit. Batiin mo nga yung iba dyan. Dalawa. Kumuha ng dalawa. Ay, si Coach Nomar is na itong tuwa kanina napatalon. Coach Nomar, nanonood ka pala. Panalo yung Bicol eh. Oo. And a turnover. Costly one at that. Para dito sa Bacolod. Nabitawan. Itong si Batino sa may baseline yung bola. So, pagkakataon na naman dito for Uling Roasters to cement their control of this game. Lab pass. Napasa ni Batino. Binigay kay Asistio. Anton. Going inside. Batino. Ceiling. Batino will score. Mark, hindi pa ito tapos, ha? Hindi pa. Konting-konti lang yung lamang na yan. Here's the Chavez. Spinning. The Chavez. Boom, ang gapa. Kumuha ng kontak. Wala yan. Lumabas. Lalata will get it back. Chris Lalata. They go inside to Batino. Dangerous pass. Batino! Yes, sir! And it's just a two-point lead para sa butuan. Pinapakalma ni Frankie Johnson yung mga kakampi niya. They go inside. De Hesa. Chris De Chavez. Big two-pointer. What a shot for Chris De Chavez. And they just one point away from sealing this game. Isa sa bodega. Here's Carl De Hesa, the veteran. De Hesa, scoop shot. Yes, sir. What a closeout for Uling Roasters. Put to one city, 21-16. And that is veteran experience for you, Martin Antonio. Karambola, nakuha ni De Hesa. Isinilaksak. Wakali, may pectus pa. Kumapit sa tapete. Yun yung pantapos dun sa laro. Late nagising, pero nagising din. Basta na-shoot. Yung mga veterano, itong Put to one city, 21-16. Yan po ang ating final score as Butuan gets another win for their cause. What a huge game for Butuan. Quite a scare nung simula mm -hmm. dahil maganda rin ang pinakita ng Bacolod. Ang importante kung paano nila tinapos. Madiin na madiin. Dumikit pa, nakadalawang sunod na basket ang Bacolod. Pero sa huli, isang two-point shot ni CDC at ni Carl De Hesa na pang tapos dito sa laro. And Carl De Hesa, of course, played exceptionally well. He was also the leader nung kanilang kupunan in, in that game. He struggled nung simula ng ating ball game, but he was ready and he was willing to take on the scoring cudgels para sa kanyang kupunan towards that last second of the game and he is with Mara Aquino at center court. Ang ating manok ng Bayern player of the game, Carl De Hesa, congratulations and great job on that winning shot. Now, I could see your face and expression the entire time, especially in the first half. Some people um, were missing their shots. What kind of emotions were you feeling during the first half of the game? Well, I mean, it's preseason. We're still working out a lot of the rust. So we want to, um, we don't care about missed shots. We just care about, you know, our chemistry and how we're moving on the court. And when we stick to what we do, good things will happen. 
Now, during that last timeout that you guys had, you were very passionate during that speech that you had with them. What was it that you were telling your team? Because it seemed to be affected enough for you guys to win this game today. Yeah, I was telling us just get the easy ones. We don't have to force it too, and that's about it. All right, congratulations, yeah. Carl. Siya ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game. Nahatid sa nyo, ng chicks to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Balikin na natin si Mark and Martin. Thank you, Mara. Yan ang tinig ng veterano. No? Hindi ma-faster, hindi kakabahan, at definitely trust his teammates. Unti-untiin mo, pero ang, ang naalala ko sa sinabi niya, get the easy ones eh. Sabay pinakita yung layup niyang <laughs> pilipit, kaliwa, oh, talagang ikot na ikot. At nakita naman natin, veterano nga, yun ang nagpanalo. Susunod na laban po natin. Nako, Porak, Big Boss Cement, kontra sa Sarangani Marlins dito po sa ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. And this time, balikan po natin. The center court, see si Mr. Sudan Daniel, and of course, Mike Swift. This is Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. Sudan Daniel, what we got going on? Let's call on the next team representing Big Boss Cements. Green Gorilla Porak, we like to call on number four, Dan Reducto. The TikToking. Number six, Dylan Ababu. Chillin' like a Dylan. Number seven, Ryan Monteclaro. Number eight, JB Balenchon. Number nine, Harry Patillos. And number 11, James Laput. Representing Sarangani Marlins, wearing number four, Jose Carlos Escalambre. Number five, John Murphy Raimundo. Number six, Marvin Hayes. Number 11, Paul Joseph Sanga. We coming to win it, we coming to win it. We coming to win it, we coming to win it. Six to go, we coming to win it. Come to finish, so be your way to the finish. It's the President's Cup. We coming to win it, what is the limit? We going for speed and that's the way to the limit. And it's powered by TM. Matindi ang uh, lineups eh, no? Kung nakikita mo nga dito, look at that. When you see Dylan Ababu and the likes of Paul Sanga and the Marvin Hayes and the Pamboy Raimundo, just ko naman, Talagang alam mong you are ready for a spectacular game with the wealth of experience behind them and the kind of threat that they can give anytime during the game. Nako, this will be another classic in the making para sa ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Here we go. Closer and closer to the quarterfinals and the action just gets better and better sa ating preseason games. Muli binabati po namin lahat ng nanonood sa atin online sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 Facebook page and of course sa Beam TV. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. And I'm so happy to be with all of you. Maraming salamat po sa suporta na pinakita ninyo. And I hope nag enjoy po kayo sa lahat ng game and a bad turnover there by James Laput. Mark, banat na tayo ng mga international viewers natin. May Yan. nanonood mula Europe, Italy, oh, talaga Texon naman. Family, JR, sa Las Vegas, si Howard Flora, at ang kanyang mga katropa doon, mga Fili overseas Filipino workers. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po kayo dyan. Salamat sa pagtutok ninyo dito sa ating 3x3 tournament. So, alam nyo naman, pagka-online, yung access natin sa lahat ng mga fans natin worldwide is exceptional. And yun po naman talaga ang trust natin dito to bring world-class 3x3 basketball to any fan anywhere as Marvin Hayes missing on that perimeter shot. Laput gets it back para sa Pora. Here's Monte Claro forcing it. Maubos na yung shot clock there. Here's Monte Claro looking for Dylan. Ababu facing the taking the pass and a foul on Marvin Hayes. Medyo na clothesline itong si James Laput. Expect mo na yan pagka big band ka, naglalaro ka ng tatluhan. Pagka nasa ilalim, it's either makakakuha ka ng basket o oh, yeah, hard foul ka talaga nila. At live din po tayo sa FIBA 3x3 YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So to everybody tuned in sa YouTube channel po ng FIBA 3x3, maraming salamat po. And thank you for supporting 
the Filipino brand of world-class 3x3 basketball as James Laput. Yun yung sinasabi ni Sudan Daniel kanina. Kung ganyan ka kalaki, mamain mo na sa ilalim. Exactly. Ang tawag sa mga inter-barangay, mangarat ka na sa ilalim. Yan. Talagang kuhanin mo na yung contact. Mas maganda nang ikaw ang mag-initiate ng mga bangga. You initiate the contact and take the basket with you. James Laput, of course, played for LaSalle in his collegiate days. Also saw action in Australia for a period of time. Samantala, here's Paul Sanga. Oh, what a shot by Sanga. Heave ho, miracle shot there. To so tie the ball game up, one all. Here's Dylan Ababu, shot clock down to two. Ababu has to force this one up. Walayan, rebound, and the put back. Wala pa rin. Laput kicks it outside. Monte Claro specialty of the house. Wala. Laput. Wala na talaga. No one can seal that guy. Hindi mo matuturo yung ganong kalaki. Kaya oh. sinini-stress si Sudan. Kailangan pitpitin mo lang pitpitin sa ilalim. Here's Pamboy. Raimundo outside. Sanga who was hot in their last game. Missing the two. Marvin Hayes with the offensive board. Hayes pinigay kay Sanga. Paul all day to shoot. Wala pa rin. And may hawak dito. Si James Laput, lagapak sa lapag si Marvin Hayes. Pero sanay na sanay na ganyan si Marvin Ay, wala Hayes. Yun. Wala, papagpag niya lang yan. Here's our TM instant replay of that miracle shot mula kay Paul Sanga. Na ano eh, naudlot na Euro step eh. Kaya oh. pinatunal. <laughs> one of the shots that our 3x3 players are working. Yes. That one foot jumper. Exactly. Very, very important in the 3x3 tournaments. Marvin Hayes ngayon may tangan ng bola. For Sarangani, here's Paul Sanga. Montik na maulay ang bola. Escalambre, outside for two. No. Marvin Hayes tracking it, pero hindi na niya makukuha ang offensive rebound. Dikdikang laban. Alam mo, ang ganda ng matchup dito, eh, no? Between these two teams. So we go over to Mara Aquino with a report on courtside. Mara. Napaka-espesyal ng araw na to para kay Ryan Monteclaro ng Porak. Unang-una, birthday dapat ng dad niya ngayon. He would have been six years old. Pangalawa, saktong one year ago, naglaro siya sa Melma Club during his vacation from Vietnam. Kung saan sa Vietnam, dun siya head ng ating 3x, head ng 3x3 doon. Nanalo sila sa Melma Club, yung kanilang first championship. Sana nga daw maulit ngayon. And he's dedicating this game once again to his late father. Balik sa inyo, Mark and Martin. It's good that you reminded us about that, uh, Mara. No? Dahil kanina, kausap ko si Ryan. In fact, in that game, exactly one year ago today, it was Ryan Monteclaro's buzzer beater, two-pointer that sealed that game against a powerhouse team. And exactly, Ryan Monteclaro expanding his borders. And uh, ang mahusay na player to mula high school sa San Beda, napunta sa Adamson, and leader talaga para sa kanyang opponent. And if, not, if I'm not mistaken, he is a local legend in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Nagtuturo po ng basketball si Ryan Monteclaro sa Vietnam. He has a small basketball school there. And it's good that we're seeing him back in action there, of course, with his brother, Nicky Monteclaro. Samantala, lamang dito ng isa ang Porak, 6-5. Here's Pamboy Raimundo. Oh, gets it to go for two. Ay, isa pang local legend dito naman sa Pilipinas, Pamboy Raimundo. Ryan Monteclaro for two. Wala. Rebound. James Laput gets fouled. And the upper body, Monti, ka ng end one play. But may hirapan si Marvin Hayes. Dito Ma kay uh, James Laput sa ilalim. Sanay na sanay si Marvin Hayes makipaggilingan sa ilalim sa so mas malalaki sa kanya. Ito yung two-point shot ni Pamboy Raimundo. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. The best yan TM. Lalo na ngayon. Nasa YouTube tayo ng FIBA 3X3. Nako, Fun Aliw sa Easy Surf. Champion. Uh, lahat, lahat ng mahilig sa data. Lahat ng gusto ng mga magagandang pakete when it comes to your phones. Sa TM na kayo pumunta. Saktong-sakto yan. Monteclaro from the canteen, all day to shoot, finally hits one, and you can see the relief sa mukha ni Ryan. Nakita mo eh, nung pinitawan niya eh. Nung pinitawan niya, alam mo eh, na nandun. Pero mukhang winded dito si uh, Ryan, pasab muna kay uh, Dylan Nababu. Eto, balikan natin yung replay niya. Good acknowledgement by James Laput, sp spotting the wide open Ryan Monteclaro for that two. Borak with a two-point lead, Marvin Hayes for two, wala. Pamboy with the rebound, at matatawagin ng foul dito. Si James Laput, the Man Mountain, Namborak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Na ako ikaw makakakuha ng rebound, Pamboy Raimundo. Parang ang laki mo eh. Ay, hindi ka, hindi ka po, hindi ka si Romy Bound na nakadikit yung paa mo sa lapag. 6-8 yeah. ka, talunin mo, kuhanin mo sa ring. Viva oh. rules na kayo, pwede mong gawin yun. Exactly, as Marvin Hayes 
Pirouettes, Pinotata dito with Dylan Ababu, but there's a foul somewhere in that scuffle. Mga kasabayan namin to ni Coach Christian sa collegiate. It's oh, yes. Marvin Hayes, kanina si Jonathan Altave. Diin pa eh. Baka diin maglaro. At mukhang uh, the way he's uh, playing, ano, he's aging gracefully. Ay, nagdadagdag, nagda, nagda, nagdadagdag ba ng edad? Parang nagdadag. hindi. Parang hindi. <laughs> Wala kang makikitang bakas ng edad eh. Wala. Sa laro, wala. Sa mukha, wala. Here's Consistent. Belenson going inside. Veteran play sana yun. Belenson to Ababu. As Ababu and Hayes hit the sack. And talking about veterans, of course, ang big kuya ng uh, Chooks to Go 3x3, Dylan Ababu, of course, always a solid, solid guy, character-wise. My teammate in the national team, I love this guy. And right now, he is the leader and one of the faces natin. Here's Monteclaro, tries to beat the shot clock. Wala yan. And speaking of Dylan Ababu, na-interview natin itong si uh, Joshua Munzon, who used to be teammates with Dylan back in the last few leagues natin. And he misses Dylan Ababu. Sabi ni Joshua Munzon, I have never met a kinder player in my life. Sinapak mo na, tinulak mo na, minura mo na, ngingitihan ka lang, continue laro. Pero yung kindness is not weakness. No, it's not. Very tough competitor, Dylan Ababu, but he plays it the right way. And speaking of playing the right way, Belenchon trying to defend Marvin Hayes the best way he possibly can, and a foul will be called here against Belenchon, sending Marvin Hayes to the line. Ito yung play na yun. Banggaan ng dalawang malalapad. But again, the veteran Marvin Hayes knows kung kailan mo kailangan ibato yan. Nakabingwit ka na ng foul. Just throw it up. Oh, gusto ng gusto niya. Diyan nakakakuha ng balance si Marvin. Pagkasing on that PM free throw. Close game we're having here. Nine all. Pero one foul short of uh, foul trouble na itong porak. They have six fouls compared to only four. Laban sa Sarangani. Here's Monteclaro. Kala dun, naka-foul naka siya. Pero walang tawag yung referee as so she throws up a prayer. Upo ulit. Ito si Ryan Monteclaro. Good defense there mula kay Pamboy Raimundo. Caesar screen to handoff action. Gusto nila makabulag ng isa. Pero nandoon ng depensa. Good communication para sa Sarangani. Pamboy for two. Yes, sir. And the lead swings back to Sarangani, 11-9. But si Pamboy, condition na condition, kita mo eh. An offensive foul. Illegal pick ang itinawag dito. Offensive foul, one. At hawak dito ni Pamboy Raimundo yung kanyang midsection. Clearly, wind it there. Balikan natin kung ano nangyari doon. Tinamaan na isa sa bodega. Pero oh. ito muna yung dos. Oo, oh, yan yung two-pointer nitong si Pamboy Raimundo. Deadly gunner, pro in every sense of the way. As that screen by James Laput, nagkabanggaan sila eksakto itong si Pamboy Raimundo. Sa tadyang tumama eh. Diretso sa bodega, makawalan ka ng hangin talaga dun. But he looks okay, Martin. Pagpag lang yan! Walang wala yan kay Pamboy. Belenchon, pressure defense on Pamboy Raimundo. Raimundo again for two. In and out. Sorry, miss. Here's Laput. Binigay kay Monteclaro. Ryan, looking for space. Another offensive foul here. Umagumagalaw na pick. Yan yung uh, napipituhan. But it's mostly been called laban dito sa kapunan ng buto ng uh, Orac City. Dahil kadalasan ng kanilang initiation, oh. it's dribble handoff or screen away, which is really what the 3x3 is all about. Marvin Hayes still offensively quiet. Para sa Sarangani. Here's Laput, binigay kay Dylan. Medyo masikip dyan. Laput providing the screen. Monteclaro, Ryan slicing inside. Monteclaro with a scoop shot. Ganda naman yung layup na yun. Pinadaan sa ilalim ng braso. Kilikili. Kilikili siya ng dinaan. Aran Johnny. Not only deadly from the outside, pero kaya ka rin pahirapan. Itong si Ryan Monteclaro with those drive-in plays. Something they both have. Mukha niya kong kapatid na si Nicky. Here's Marvin Hayes. Paul Sanga, magahanap ng espasyo dito. Nakahagis si Dylan Ababu. Another whistle on that play. Mukha nakahawak sa tagiliran ni Paul Sanga nung papunta sa hando. Kung si Paul. Close, close ball game. Habang kapalabit po tayo sa quarterfinals, every single game seems to be getting better and better. The matchups have been cardiac, so to speak. 
And Paul Sanga with pressure pack, three throws. Natin sa inyo ng chooks to go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Paul Sanga, of course, with the uh, PG's hairdo. <laughs> Panahon mo. Panahon ko. Kumaamin ah, naman ako, Marty. Yan, yan, Kumaamin yan. ako. Isa ko sa'yo eh. Here's Laput. Will he go offensive? Laput spinning and scoring against Marvin Hayes. Ngayon gusto mo makita kumayod sa ilalim. Talagang araruhin yung bantay sa ilalim. Ang laki ni Laput eh. Oh, great. Bin pinabayaan na sana. Here's Ryan Monteclaro. Oh, dribbling exhibition. Monteclaro with the layup. Naku, sayang. Everything but the shot. Two-pointer there by Escalambre. Missing. And teka, magkakabanggaan si Sanga and Ababu. And it looks foul. like Sanga will be called for the foul. Free throws coming up. Ay, hindi. Hindi free throws to. Ball possession Ball lang. possession lang, oo. Alam mo, Mark, balikan natin yung galaw ni uh, Ryan Monteclaro. Ang kagandahan sa FIBA 3x3, sa rankings mo, nakakatulong yung style points. Oh, yes, definitely. Ang laking bagay niyan. Pero hindi ko na elaborate yung uh, pagkuha nila ng points dahil kahit ako hindi ko ma-compute. Ma ma <laughs> Here's Monteclaro again. Oh, open for two again. Only his second two-pointer in the game para sa Porak. Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Yan ang player na hindi mo pwedeng pabayaang mag-init. He will punish you as we take a look at Ryan Monteclaro from um, from our goal cam. Yan ang two-pointer. Nakatingin sa, ba sa bantay. Eh. Nung Oo. nabitawan, tinignan pa si Sanga. Parang alam na niyang papasok yun. Eh, no? But it's still a very close game dito. In fact, from the free throw line, ay bumalik na ang kalamangan sa Sarangani 14-13. At magka-timeout muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection. Connecting good food to every Filipino household. Hindi mo malaman, Martin, eh, no? the way this game has been played with the minor inconsistencies and the expectations na nakikita natin dito from the veterans, you still don't know at this point kung sino mananalo dito. And that's the beauty of 3x3 exactly. basketball. Kaya may laban mga Pilipino. Uh -huh. Actually, lugi nga sila sa atin. Kasi <laughs> mula ilang taon, 6 years old, uh -oh. paglabas mo ng kalye mo, may half court na agad. Yes. Kailangan lang talaga, which... What we're doing here sa Chooks to Go uh, 3XT na malaman ng mga Pilipino yung tamang rules sa pag-compete. Lugi sila sa atin. Lahat ng kanto may court tayo. Exactly. Eh. Samantala, yun ang luging galaw. Sa sobrang ganda. Ito si Pamboy Raimundo pero gustong bawiin ni Ryan Monteclaro. Missing on the two. Laput outside to Belenchon. Belenchon creating space. Binigay sana dito kay Laput. Hindi mapasahan. Monteclaro left open. Oh, behind the box. Sayang umabot yung shot clock. Would have been a highlight play. Pagkaganon yung ibinigay sa yung pasa, kailangan ihampas mo talaga. Oh, oh, hindi, hindi pwedeng i-lay up mo yun. Sayang eh, no? Just two seconds shy. That would have been counted. Samantala, Hayes, pump fake. Hayes, mid-range, wala. Laput has to bring it out para sa Porak. Monteclaro, binigay kay Laput. Laput, ay, missing on the dunk! Nabitawan. Sayang yun. Sanga for two, wala. Inside, Pamboy Raimundo. Monteclaro for two. No. Tatlo na dito lamang na Sarangani, 16-13. Pampadagdag pa to. Nope. Foul before the shot. No basket. On that drive-in play ni Pamboy Raimundo. Nanggigigil dito si James Laput. At papaalala natin yung gamit na bola. Composite yan. Pagkapawis yung kamay mo, ito yung mintis na dunk. Sayang eh, oh. Kahit mas maliit yung bola na yan, minsan pagpawis yung kamay mo, dumudulas. Here's Laput. Unang salta sa 3x3 stage. Itong big man ng Porak City. Trying to make a name for himself here in Philippine 3x3. And so far has been a presence here para sa big boss cement green gorillas saka parang tatluhan paghapon pag may nakitang malaki tingnan ang trabaho talaga oh, no. sa ilalim kahit undersized yung mga big guys And it's a good thing for James Laput yan ang makakatulong sa kanya mag-improve oh great steal there by Escalabre Escalabre goes inside with the right hand 17-13 boy what a turn of events here And a warning there, tatawag kontra sa Sarangani. As we take a look at this knockout play, they snatching it away from Ryan Monteclaro and taking it all the way himself. Ito si Escalambre. Apat na lamang dito ng Sarangani as Dylan Ababu goes for two. Yes, sir. 
And the lead is cut down to two points. Yan naman yung aasahan mo kay Dylan. Consistent oh. shooting from the outside. Escalambre, walang mapuntahan. Partially deflected there by Dylan Ababu. Lalabas ang bola dito. Pabalik dito ang possession. Samantala, balikan natin itong PM two-point shot by the veteran ng Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas, Dylan Ababu. Acknowledging from the outside. Condition na condition din yan si Dylan. I mean, magkausap kami nung quarantine dahil uh, we, we practically grew up together. Right. Si Dylan has, has really been putting in the work and the time during the quarantine. Kaya nakikita natin, didn't gain weight, got in better shape, and will be uh, really prepared dito sa mga napipinto nating kalambabol. At nakita mo namang sumabay itong si Dylan. Sa mga players dito that some are six, five years younger than him, that's a testament to how Dylan Ababu has taken care of himself. Samantala, speaking of another veteran, chooks to go free throws mula dito kay Pamboy Raimundo. And balik sa tatlo ang kalamangan dito ng Salangani. One more free throw coming up for Pamboy. At saka hindi biro yung condition na kailangan mo rito sa 3-8-3. Kasi iba yung laro. Hindi, hindi ka talaga pwede pumetik-petik. Di ba pinag-uusapan natin? We have seen some 5-on-5 veterans, the fittest players of 5-on-5. Pinaglaro mo dito, hingal ka ba yun? Iba, 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 yung, iba yung pace. Oo. Oh. Nagtatawag ng uwak. <laughs> Natawag ng uwak. Uy, Pamboy Raimundo. Big shot and they're just one point away from taking a huge win. This could be another upset, Martin, if they can pull this off. Monteclaro, Monteclaro inside of the glass. Yes, sir. Pumirma pa sa eri, idiniin. They go inside. Marvin Hayes, Hayes seals it. Para sa Salangani, 21-16, and that is an upset in every sense of the word. Lineup sa lineup, that's a huge upset win para sa Salangani Marlins. Pero trinapaho ng Salangani, yun ang gotta commend, of course. Ang ating PM assist of the game, yan po ang beautiful assist that sealed the game para sa Salangani Marlins. Atin po sa inyo ng PM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Beautiful, beautiful game. We just saw another upset sa ating preseason games. 21-16, that's our final score. Sarangani Marlins takes an all-important win contra po sa Porak, Big Boss Cement, Green Gorillas. At in just a short while, Martin, malalaman na natin who was the ace in the sleeve nitong Sarangani Marlins. A huge game for another veteran. Puntahan na natin si Mara Aquino. Pamboy Raimundo once again ang ating manok ng Bayern Player of the Game. Congratulations! Mas experience yung kalaban nyo. Pero nasa tingin nyo yung naging susi kung paano nyo nasungkit ang panalo ngayon? Siguro yung puso at saka yung communication namin sa loob. Kasi alam namin na sobrang lalaki nung kalaban. So underdog talaga kami. So sabi namin, before mag-start yung game, sabi namin na uh, puso na lang yung magpapanalo sa ating dito. Anong masasabi mo na first-timers kayo sa 3x3 pero laging panalo? Hindi naman, siguro swerte lang. Tsaka kasi galing kami sa mahabang break. So excited kami lahat naglaro. Kaya siguro ganito kami ka-aggressive. Tignan natin kung magtutuloy nga ba ang inyong pagkapanalo. Congratulations, Pamboy. Si Pamboy ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game. Nahatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go. Ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Thank you, Mara. And if that's any indication of what we can expect in the leg one, it's October 21, the way the games are being played, Dito lamang po sa ating preseason. Several beautiful games that we've seen so far. Nako, ang tindi siguro na magiging leg one natin. Pakpakan agad eh, tiktikan. Now we take a look at our next game. Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard. Sasagupain po ang Zamboanga Peninsula Valientes sa ating susunod na laro sa pagbabalik po ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Magbabalik po kami. Oh, bumogchi na ba kayo? Sit back, relax, tumutok lang dito sa Chooks to Go, Pilipinas, 3x3. The Chooks to Go, Pilipinas, 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang fun with TM Easy Surf 50, doble data, doble na ang pang-internet, may 3 gig pa, fun na list, sa favorite mo, ah! 143, 
140. Ah, ah, sino kinukulit nyo? Mag-DMC si Sir 50, double data na. Matindi ang laban dito sa Liga ng Bayan. Ito ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown ouch! May lamok! Ine! Kaming pahala sa fun! Basta may doble data? Doble ang fun! With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang pang internet! May 3-week pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we say! Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! 142? 143? 140? Ay! Sino kinukulit nyo? Hi, Tita! Doble ang fun! Sa doble data ng TM Easy Sir 50! Miss nyo na ba ang nag-iisang Nokman ni Yorme, ang Chooks to Go? Tumawag na sa numero ito at magpa-deliver dahil available na din sa Grab Food at Lala Food. Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ako si Leonard Santillan, from Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu. Naglaro sa De La Salle University at maglalaro para sa Sambuanga Chooks. Nagsimula ako ng basketball nung grade 6 ako. Kasi nung panahon na yun, ay, ako yung pinakamatangkad sa school namin. Ang paborito kong player, si Mike Pingris. Signature moves ko yung ano, three points, follow up dunk. Pero yun, joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> Ang favorite food, madami. Sinigang, tsaka tinola. Gusto ko kasi yung asim-asim, tapos maraming sabaw. Ang biggest crush ko, si Angel Oxin. Kasi nag-iisang darna lang. Nag-iisang darna lang. Ang favorite song na i-alay ko kay Angel Oxin nga, ay siguro harana. Siyempre, hararanaanin ara natin. <laughs> Panaorin nyo ako at ang Sambuanga Chooks na pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chicks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Hey. Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? <laughs> Pusto Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan Buksan mo manok mo. Masarap ang uling roasters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> Saka alam niyo ba, idol? Ganito yun. Tama na. Tama na. Hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling Roasters. Sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. I'm Troy Reich from San Francisco, California, and I play for Zamboanga Chooks. I started playing basketball for the first time probably when I was about five or six years old at my local rec center that was called Moscone. My favorite basketball player right now is Duncan Robinson of the Miami Heat because he's just an inspiration to me. He started out as a D3 basketball player in the U.S., and now he's a starter for the Miami Heat, which I just think is an amazing story. My signature basketball move is probably a hook shot. Just something simple yet effective. My favorite food is Ponset Canton. What? Just because it's it tastes good. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely hits the spot. My biggest crush is my girlfriend Vivian oh. because she is my girlfriend and she is the best. <laughs> my favorite song right now is Dynamite by BTS because I'm ARMY because they're the best. <laughs> Watch me get some buckets with my team Zamboanga Chooks in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league, Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Ryan Monteclaro, mula sa Butuan City, naglaro sa Adamson University at maglalaro para sa Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. 
Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung tatlong taon gulang pa lang ako. Yung tatay ko, dati din. Chicks to go, Pilipinas 3x3. This is the President's Cup, powered by TM. We got more games rocking out. For now, Sudan Daniels will let you know what's going down. Representing your Nueva Cias Rice, Vanguards, number four, John Reyes. Let's go, John. Number five, Matt Sebelina. Number seven, Gad Banal. Number nine, Juan Gomez Deliano. And number 11, Luis Gonzaga. Representing Zamboanga Peninsula Valientes, wearing number four, Gino Jamawas. Number five, Arara De Leon. Number six, Paulino Repollos. Number seven, Mohamed Salim. Number eight, Rudy Lenganay. And number 10, Darwin Cordero. Luebe Isija versus Zamboanga Peninsula. Chicks to go, Filipinas 3x3. This is the President's Cup, powered by TM. We have a good one for you. Coming to win it. Coming to win it. Coming to win it. The Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards contra po sa Zamboanga Peninsula Valientes sa ating susunod na tagpo. Dito po sa ating pre-season games ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup. Hatid sa inyo ng TM. Ito pong dalawang kupuna na ito. Of course, Zamboanga coming off a loss. A sorry loss there. Dikit na yung naging laban na yun. They will try to upend another great team dito sa ating pre-season, sa ating 2020 season, ang Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. And we have yet to see Juan Gomez de Leon you play and we may see it in this game, Martin Antonio. Ito nga, magsisimula siya para sa Nueva Ecija. Highly touted player, individually talented squad. Pero ang tanong, magjejel ba sila sa tatluhan? Yan ang malaking tanong dyan. At susubukan natin sagutin in this ballgame. First possession will go the purple shirts of Zamboanga Peninsula and Rudy Linganay hits the first basket of the game. Juan Gomez de Leano, will that go in? Yes, sir. Gets the lucky roll. Kala ko upo eh. Explosive talaga. Oh. Single crossover between the legs. Rekta agad sa ring. Tonino Gonzaga, outside shot. Will not get the lucky bounce. Nakuha niyo yung kanyang mintis. Rebolios gets it back. No, mapupunta kay Juan Gomez de Leano for two. Wala yan. And I go on sa rebound between Med Salim and Cap Banal. Looks like the possession will swing back to the purple shirts as you take a look at the first point. Now, streak shooter and great player all around. Let's see, Juan Gomez de Leano. Rebolios escaping. Here's Gonzaga. Stutter step, Gonzaga powers his way. Walayan. Linganay left open to left corner. This one? Here's Rebolios, nothing. JDL. Oop, and a foul. Maririnig mo hanggang dito yung sigaw ni Gab Banal on that pass from Juan Gomez de Leano. Isa rin ko sa kagandahan dito sa kumunan ng Nueva Ecija. Lahat ng mga manlalaro nila kaya maglaro off the ball. Right, that's correct. One of the best there is. Ika nga natin ito si Gab Banal. Med Salim from outside. Uy, naiiwan si Salim. Salim faking. Salim getting some hang time. And great defense there by Juan Gomez de Leano. Iniwas pa. Here's Banal for two. And of course, Gab Banal. One of our uh, regional basketball legends. Itong si Gab Banal. Naglaro sa Mapuwa nung uh, college at Salasal. Consistent uh, scorer. Uh -huh. TM two-point shot kanina. Now we'll take a look at that one once again. Gab Banal tickling the twine. TM, two-point shot at ito sa inyo ng TM. Let's go to Mara Aquino on courtside with another report. Mara. Ang mga taga Zamboanga Valientes, they dedicate two hours every day just sa outside shooting. Lahat daw ng angulo. Asahan daw natin ngayon na makikita silang sumabog from the outside. Sa panig naman ng Nueva Ecija, gagamitin daw nila ang kanilang speed. So outside shots versus speed. Mark and Martin. That's always a great match, Mara, yung speed. 
and that factor alone is making this game so fun to watch. But it's a close game, Martin Antonio, 3-1. At uh, nag-hello po tayo sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page, sa Beam TV, and of course, everybody watching us sa YouTube page ng FIBA 3x3. Yes, we are a FIBA-endorsed event. Exactly. Lingana is stepping back to beat the shot clock. Wala. Pagsak si Gabanal holding on to his face. Gonzaga evading the double team. Here's Banal and he is getting shaken up. He is pumped up, Martin. And he is very, very intense competitor itong si Gabanal. But after the game, just trauma-trauma tayo. Pero paglaro, talagang hapit. Pero inaabot siya dun. <laughs> inaabot ni Med Salim itong si Gabanal. Outside shot there by... Juan Gomez de Leano misses the mark. Here's Linganay. Linganay creating space. Salim going back to Linganay. Lob pass inside. Salim. Dinan Salake scores another one for some Wanga Peninsula. Ito talaga dapat gawin mo. Pagka merong height and size advantage, talaga kailangan mamain at mamain mo sa ilalim. Gonzaga scoring that time for Nueva Ecija. Wala yan. They go outside to Gabanal, left open all day to shoot by Gabanal and he makes them pay. At ilang ensayo rin nating napanood, kami nila ko si Christian, ni Anton Roas, kaya ikaw, lagi ka nandiri dito, ini-ensayo talaga ni Gabanal yung outside shot niya. Linggana ay gumawa ng espasyo, sayang nga lang yung tira na yun. And it looks like maubusan ng real estate, itong si Gabanal, it's gonna be Zumbaga Peninsula Ball, balikan po natin itong Two-point shot from Gab Banal left open all day to shoot. Atin po sa inyo yan ng TM. Here's Rebolios. Tries his hand at a two. Yes, sir. We've seen him do that countless times in several of our previous legs. Here's Gonzaga for two. Ninganay with a big rebound. Here's Humawas. Gino. Blonde hair and all. Gets a foul against... Tonino Gonzaga. Mukhang uh, si Maclean ang napituan doon. Halos akapin na niya. Uh -oh. Yung uh, pag-atake ni Gino Jumawas. Almost uh, strangling him. Uh -huh. Here's Jumawas again. Oh, block there by Sabelina. Here's Juan Gomez de Leano. Foul given up by Rebolios. And you can see how they acknowledge the quickness nitong si Juan Gomez de Leano. Samantala, ang ating solid supalpal. At sa inyo ng uling roasters. Sumobra sa sarap, pasensya na. Teka lang, hindi tayo close. Yun ang sinabi ni Maklid Sabilina nung inabot yung bola sa palpal, huli-huli sa taas. Hindi kita papabayaan to. Hindi tayo close. Ika nga ni Idol Rafi Tulfo. Here's Umawas. Umawas, challenging Sabilina. Gino, missing that one, gets it back. Nalibre si Rebolios from outside. No. One GDL, no look. Pass inside to Gabanal. Good pass by Juan GDL. 9-4, lamang dito, Nueva Ecija, Rice Vanguard. Humawas thought about the two. Gino crossing over, Humawas, hang time. Wala yan, gets it back. Gino again for one. Ang hirap din yung kayod ni Humawas para doon sa one point na yun. Kasi ang haba ni Sabilina at saka Maliksi. Look at the step back. Oh, huge shot by Juan GDL. Kumbaga, nasa Makati, napunta sa Malabon. Oh, Step back eh. Ang luwag. Uy, hindi niya nakita yon. Rebolios stealing the ball. And luckily for Nueva Ecija, hindi pumasok yung two-point shot na yun. As one GDL says, Gonzaga, mamaya ka na bumalik. Samantala, ang ating assist of the game, finding Capanal underneath, is brought to you by TM. Para sa moments of fun, Pinoy, do it with TM. Good recognition by uh, Juan Gomez de Leon. Uh, Nagsa scramble pa yung depensa ini. You gotta take advantage of those opportunities for easy points. There's another step back. Paborito na yan. That step back jumper from anywhere on the floor makes him a very dangerous player. Salim challenging Sabelina. Salim chumacha. Shot clock down to two. Para sa Sabuanga Peninsula. In and out para kay Med Salim. They go inside. Gabanal will score again. That's the recognition of a quick. Outpass and then go to the deep seal. Those are always there to be maximized. Our PM instant replay will showcase the connection between one GDL and Cap Banal. Nueva Ecija now lording it over this game 12 5. 
as Rebolios missing yung kanyang two-point shot. Kanina tinatanong mo, Martin, individually skilled ang bawat mm-hmm. player to Nueva Ecija. The question is, have they adjusted well sa 3x3? I think they're doing well. Oo, oh, tsaka ang taas ng basketball IQ nito ni Gabba na oh. Jai Reyes, Juan Gomez de Leano, and even Pilino Gonzaga McLean sa Bolina. Talagang binibigyan nila ng espasyo ang oh! bawat sa. And while you were explaining, Benga. itong si Gabba Nal shows us impressive individual skill. Contested two-pointer yun ni Gab Banal. 14-5. It's becoming a blowout. Balikan natin dito. That step back two with a little contact after that. Para kay Gab Banal. Huge, huge two-pointer. Ay, tin yung pagkakaiba ng mga puntos na nakukuha ng magkabilang kopunan. Si Gino Dumamas halos duguin para makakuha ng puntos. Sa kabila naman, ang ganda ng pasahan, ang ganda ng pasahan ng Nueva Ecija. Possession will swing back to Nueva Ecija. And they can afford to take it slightly easy here. With uh, this much time remaining and a huge lead posted by the squad. One GDL spinning. One Gomez de Leano and one play for Nueva Ecija. Flumex pa. Kita mo yung nadagdag na timbang dito ni Juan Gomez de Leano. Kasi ang 3x3 talaga. Big to go. Talagang bakbakan eh. Pero parang sinuyod lang yung bantay. Marami nagtatanong sa akin before this preseason game began, kamusta ang health nitong si Juan GDL? Of course, he got several uh, injuries in their last collegiate league. But looking at the way he's playing now, Juan GDL is 150% healthy. And playing well para sa Nueva Ecija. Samantala, here's Rebolios escaping. Tonino Gonzaga. Gonzaga bounce pass. Juan GDL overshoots it. Humihingi ng foul. Here's Med Salim. Nilabas muna kay Rebolios. Lingganay. Over to Med Salim. Salim underneath. Dapat ganun katiin yung bawat atake dito ni Med Salim. Pag nasa ilalim na, buhatin mo na yung banday. One GDL for two. Wala. Trying to get it back to the white shirts. Fails to do so. Rebolios for two. May contact yun. Galing kay Gab Banal. So, mukhang dalawang free throw ang oh. ibibigay dito. At nakakatuwa din talaga itong uh, programa sa Zamboanga ng uh, basketball nila. Consistently regional basketball throughout the leagues that have come, come and gone. Laging may kupunan ng Zamboanga. Pressure pack, free throws. At sa inyo ng chooks to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. And you mentioned yung basketball pride ng Zamboanga. Oh. Yung ating kaibigan na si Juni Navarro, of course, First has one. been a staunch mm-hmm. supporter of Zamboanga, supporting this team as well, watching us all the way from Sydney, Australia. Exactly. May ka natin. Uh-huh. We're missing you here, Juni. Sana makaka-uwi ka agad. Teammate namin ni Dylan at yes. saka ni Boss Mike Baldos ng oh, yes. Asia and the national team. And one play again para kay Gab Banal and that was a mismatch. The closest player kay Gab Banal under that basket was Rudy Linganay who is incapable of guarding someone as big as Gab Banal. Not only big, as skilled as Gab Banal. Of course, he has the length and the size but he has that soft touch. Underneath the basket, even in traffic, ang galing puminis niya ito ni Gab Banal. Gab Banal completing that PM free throw. 19-8. to 8. A commanding lead and the control has been with the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard sa halos buong laro na to. Here's Lingganay. Will take a miracle para dito sa Zamboanga Peninsula to get a win. Uy, off the glass! Para dito kay Rebolios. League is, lead is down to nine. Gab Banal for the win. Yes, sir! That is it. And look at the celebration go. 21 to 10. Sheer domination. Martin Antonio para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Two-point shot na yan. Ay hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments of Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM and what a way to close it out with a booming two-pointer, Martin. Gabanal, bakit nga naman hindi? <laughs> Bitawan mo yan, pang panalo. 21 to 10 and there was no indication at all na nabigyan ng pagkakato in itong Zamboaga Peninsula to get their bearings in this game. Dahil naman sa napakagandang controlled way of playing nitong Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards banking on their veteran experience, banking on their individual skill. But there's only one player who really shown out playing his first game, Martin, sa ating liga and he is with Mara Aquino. Ang ating manok ng bahay, player of the game, one, G.
GDL, congratulations. You Appreciate dominated it. today's game. Now, I noticed that the tempo changed from your game earlier yeah. to this time around. What exactly did you guys talk about? Because you guys really pulled it off this time. Well, we just came out really aggressive, you know, at the start of the game. And, you know, all of our shots were sinking in. So, uh, you know, knowing that we had to bounce back, you know, coming into the game, we had a positive mindset. So. You made a lot of noise playing for our country, and a lot of people are looking forward to seeing you play here. What yeah. does it mean to you to be part of the first ever professional 3x3 league in our country? It means a lot, man. I mean, I just love the game basketball. I've been playing this since I was a kid. So to be able to represent Nova Sia and, you know, Chooks to go is such an honor and a blessing. Congratulations. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Si Juan GD ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game. Hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Well-deserved best player of the game, one GDL with a commanding performance para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards playing a dominating game contra po sa Zambuaga, Peninsula, Valientes. And there was nothing they could do, Martin, in that game against Nueva Ecija. And uh, Minama, oh. in outskill, trinabaho din yung panalo na yun. And if you have the good teams really outworking, the other teams, ang hirap talunin. Alam ko nag enjoy po kayo sa panonood dito, but coming up next, our quarterfinals ng ating preseason games. Abangan niyo po yan sa pagbabalik ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Oh, bumogchi na ba kayo? Sit back, relax, tumutok lang dito sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chuck to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Double M fun with TM Easy Surf 50. Double data. The double nan pang internet. My 3 gig pa. Fun na lit. Sa favorite mo. 143. 140. Ano kaya nakulit nyo? Mag TM Easy Surf 50. Double data na. Matindi ang laban dito sa liga ng bayan. Eto ang Chuck to Go Filipinas 3x3. The Chuck to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown ouch! May lamo! Ine! Kaming bahala sa fun! Basta may doble data? Doble ang fun! With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang pang internet? May 3 gig pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we say Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! 142, 143, 140... Ay! Sino kinukulit niyo? Hi, Tita! Doble ang fun sa doble data ng TN Easy Surf 50. Miss nyo na ba ang nag-iisang Nokman ni Yorme, ang Chooks to Go? Tumawag na sa numero ito at magpa-deliver dahil available na din sa Grab Food at Lala Food. Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ako si Leonard Santillan, from Lapu-Lapu City, Cebu. Naglaro sa De La Salle University at maglalaro para sa Sambuanga Chooks. Nagsimula ako ng basketball nung grade 6 ako. Kasi nung panahon na yun, ay, ako yung pinakamatangkad sa school namin. Ang paborito kong player, si Mike Pingris. Signature moves ko yung ano, three points, follow up dunk. Pero yun, joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> ang favorite food, madami. Sinigang, tsaka tinola. Gusto ko kasi yung masim-masim, tapos maraming sabaw. Ang biggest crush ko, si Angel Oxin. Kasi nag-iisang darna lang. Nag-iisang darna lang. Uh, ang favorite song na i-alay ko kay Angel Oxin nga, Ay, siguro, arana. Siyempre, araranaanin ara natin. <laughs> Panaorin nyo ako at ang Sambuanga Chooks na pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chicks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Hey. Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? <laughs> Pusto Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps>
buksan mo manok mo. Masarap ang uling roasters. <laughs> Salamat na marami, sir. Hindi <laughs> mo na kailangan magpasalamat. Kasi doon man talaga ako sa tama. <laughs> sa kalam niyo ba, idol? Ganito yun. Tama na. Tama na. Hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling Roasters, sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. I'm Troy Reich from San Francisco, California, and I play for Zamboanga Chooks. I started playing basketball for the first time probably when I was about five or six years old at my local rec center that was called Moscone. My favorite basketball player right now is Duncan Robinson of the Miami Heat because he's just an inspiration to me. He started out as a D3 basketball player in the U.S. and now he's a starter for the Miami Heat, which I just think is an amazing story. My signature basketball move is probably a hook shot. Just something simple yet effective. My favorite food is Ponset Canton. What? Just because it's it tastes good. It may not be the healthiest, but it definitely hits the spot. My biggest crush is my girlfriend Vivian oh. because she is my girlfriend and she is the best. <laughs> my favorite song right now is Dynamite by BTS because I'm Army because they're the best. Watch me get some buckets with my team Zamboanga Chooks in the country's first ever professional 3x3 league, Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Ryan Monteclaro, mula sa Butuan City, naglaro sa Adamson University at maglalaro para sa Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung tatlong taon gulang pa lang ako. Yung tatay ko, dati din manlalaro. Then sa kanya ako talaga nainganyo at natuto. Ang pabawit akong basketball player ay si Damian Lillard. Siya yung ginagaya ko ngayon, small but terrible type ng player. Ang signature basketball move ko ay step back three pointer Dahil nagpanala sa akin yun sa madaming liga. Favorite food ko, hipon. Dahil uh, lumaki ako sa Mindanao, pabas seafood yung pagkain. Chooks to go, Pilipinas 3x3. This is the President's Cup, powered by TM. Suzanne Daniel, what's the game? What's next? To kick this off, we gotta call on Bicos. Pax Full 3x3 Pro Team, number four, Mon Mabayo. Ow! Number five, four Jonathan Aldave. Number seven, Darwish Bideri. Number eight, Alwin Alda. Number 10, Jerome Garcia. And number 11, Ida Imperial. Representing Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Number four, Felix Aprico Jr. Number seven, Jax Bautista. Number nine, Jexter Apinan. And number 11, Cedric Ablaza. We come in to win it. We come in to win it. We come in to win it. High as a limit, we go on for speed, and that's the way to the finish. Six to go. Eight teams remaining. Matapos mo tayo magumpisa kanina. Ngayon po ay nasa quarterfinal stage na tayo ng ating preseason games ng inyong Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Magandang gabi po muli sa inyong lahat. Mark Zambrano with Martin Antonio from inside our world-class 3x3 facility dito po sa Inspire Sports Academy in NU Campus, Calamba, Laguna. I'm excited about this game, Martin, because etong kupunan ng Bicol Paxful gave our top team their first loss. Yes, tinalo po nila etong kupunan ng Zamboanga kanina. And they are running in running into a really great rhythm na gusto nating makita how they will perform this time against the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Ito na, money rounds. Yes. Nabanggit natin kanina, quarter finals. Gusto mo po po mojo yung finish. Kailangan pagdaanan mo yung mga ganito katitibay na kalaban. Narinig po natin kay Boson at Mascarenas kanina, no? Kahit pre-season ito, there is 50,000 pesos waiting 
for the champion of this preseason. 30,000 for the third placer and 20,000 for the second placer. Or correct me on that, 30,000 for the second placer and 20,000 for the third placer. So, this is a money game. Chokli, para po. Alam mo kung nangyayari sa money game? Ay, naglalaro ng maayos. Bakbakan. <laughs> kung maayos, bakbakan. Oh. Palitan ng mukha. Yeah. Kung mga gusto natin laro. At more they can't stress this enough. 3x3 basketball is something really close to Filipino oh, yeah. art. We have been playing this for so long and we are playing it with a passion. Mm -hmm. Bago tayo naglaro sa loob ng mga stadium, oh. sa loob ng mga covered court, sakali tayo naglaro eh. Oh, kailangan mong dumaan sa tatluhan oh. para maging manok ng bayan. That's Yun. why we, have, we stand the best chance of making it to the Olympics in 3x3 basketball. Kaya naman yung push natin talaga has been... So strong, our resolve to bring the Filipino back to the Olympics has been so strong. Of course, sa tulong po ng napakaraming tao. Samantala, balikan po natin itong play na to. As Garcia tickles at wine for the white shirts. Itong Bicol packs full. And Felix Apreku Jr. is taking his chooks to go free throws right now. Pressure pack free throws. Atin sa inyo ng chooks to go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ayan na naman, Alwin Alday, all day Alday. Yan, bagay na bagay. Nakakatuwa rin ang kwenta nito ni Alwin Alday. Sabi-sabi nung college, naglaro sa lako, <laughs> na condition playing to recreational basketball leagues. Yung mga nakikita natin, nagpo-post mga pictures over the internet, nakalaro sa MPB. Ang ganda nang inilalaro ngayon. Condition na condition. Oo. Oh. And right now, he's the, one of the deadliest shooters we've seen thus far sa ating preseason game. Bumato doon si Alday, missing that one. So trying to go inside. Cedric Ablasa challenging the defense of Garcia sa ilalim. Napayungan. Oo, napayungan doon. Nalunod sa ilalim si uh, Cedric Ablasa. <laughs> Nakapabura sa atin yung uh, pituhan sa FIBA 3x3. Uh -oh. Kasi gusto ng mga Pilipino, kiskisa ng kiskisa, eh, bangga. Eh, makapal lang tawagan dito. And uh, the physicality is something that the fans really want to see. Ayaw nila nang maninipis sa tawag. Wala. Tama. Hindi mo natatawagin. Okay na yun. Wala. Jobs Bautista open for two. Wala yan. Apreku and Mabayo battling for that rebound. And Mon Mabayo. Yung ngiti na yan. Alam mo, alam mo ibig sabihin nun? Yari ka sa akin. <laughs> naging kakampi ko to sa commercial league. No college, naging kakampi ko. Ganyan talaga si Mon Mabs. <laughs> Saka madiin maglaro. Yun yung gusto mong pinanunod. Madiin eh. Alvin Alday missing. Medyo pinilit yung two-pointer na yun. Japs Bautista scoring again for the green shirts. Scoop shot by Alday. Nakabing with ng foul kay Bautista. And a trip to the free throw line. Matala, balikan natin to. Japs Bautista all day to shoot at walang bantay na malapit sa kanya. Tsaka yung mga player natin dito, hindi basta-basta. Ito yung mga... Ligang labas, ligang loob, legend yung mga yan eh. Jack Bautista sa Mandaluyo, yes. sa Mabayo, kahit saan. Hanggang sa Way Ami yata, kung mayroong lima, lalaroan nung tatlo. Ano yung mga pag siyang pinanggit mo sa isang lugar? Ah, Mara ganun, kilala ka yun. Maraming kwento, <laughs> yung maraming kwento. Yun yung gusto natin, yung mga istorya nito, mga manlalaro na to. And they're making their uh, own mark sa ating professional 3x3 stage for this 2020 season. Samantala, I'll die falling away. Man, this guy can shoot. Pwede, no? Pwede, di nangingilala. Usay talaga. Usay. Walang pakisabanta eh. Oh, oh. Here's a preku. They need his offense. Yes, sir, with the right hand. Here's Alday again for two. Talaga naman. Nagbabaga ang kamay ni Alwin Alday. Mainit. Mainit na mainit. Parang dinigdig na sili. Yung oh, pinamilienda. Ibang klase. Two-point shot from Alwin Alday. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Bigat ng payong eh. Oo, oh, wala. Here's Apreku. Sumagasa. Eh, napapangiti na lang ito si Mon Mabayo. Parang na first step mo ko dun ah. Oo, oh, kasi si Mabayo, ang laro nito banggaan eh. Kasi si Apreku banggaan din, pero mas maliksi sa kanya ng konti. Kasi lumaki rin si Mon eh. Talagang naging uh, banger eh. Oh. And one thing na hindi nila nakikita dito, yung quick first step itong si Felix Apreku Jr. Saka di napapagod. Mm -hmm. Parang yantok yung braso eh. Pag oh, nagigipaggilingan sa ilalim. Kondisyon, banat na banat. Oh. Matala, foul call acknowledged there by Felix Apreco Jr. Sumihingi ng continuation itong si uh, Alvin Alday pero wala. 
And you also love the support, of course, of the Santa Lucia group of companies, Boss Exi Robles, and uh, the whole crew there, Boss Buddy Encarnado, sa basketball. Montek na yung... Highlight play sana ni Mon Mabayo. Samantala, Japs Bautista outside. Wala yan. Here's Alday. They have to guard him. And good defense that time. And heads up play kay Mon Mabayo. The ball will stay with Bicol Paxful. Great hustle by Mon Mabayo. Yan ang binabayaran dyan pag mga liga ang labas. Yung dadive sa loose ball. Kahit spalto yung nilalaroan. Hindi, maglaro yan. I don't know, kumiskis. Bahala kayo dyan. Masave ko lang yung bola. Itong si Aldave was the best player in their last game, shooting the lights out. In and out yun. Hindi na mapuputa yung loose ball. Kapunta dito kay Alvin Alday. Alday, nakatakas. Alday with the left hand. Ooh, teka muna. And guess who's in the middle of that? Magkakampiyan nung college, ha? Si Jams Bautista at saka itong si Mon Mabayo. Habi ko sa'yo, yung mga STI boys, iilig nyan sa ganyan. Parehas nung coach. Parehas nung coach. Sabi siguro ni Japs, ayaw kitang kalaban. Pwede yung magkakampi na lang tayo. Nag-abot yan. Last year ni Mon Mabayo. First year ni Japs Bautista sa NASCO. Sa SDI. Samantala, look at the move here. Outside. Aldave for two. Wala. Bagsak mo naman si Japs Bautista. Kasi masin niya si Mon. Kailangan daw mag-wait. Kaya yung pagbanggaan eh. Nagkakagirian pa dito. At balikan natin yung last play na yun. Using our roll camera, the color developing between Mon Mabayo and Japs Bautista. Ramdam lang. Konting kalabit. Pre-season eh. Kailangan na getting to know each other ulit. Double technical. Ang itinawag Martin kay Japs Bautista and Mon Mabayo. So cancel out yan. No free throws for both squads. Here's Cedric. Ablaza. Wala yan. Here's Garcia for two. Inabot. Air ball. Short. Inabot. Oo. Oh. Nalibyo na naman. Cedric naman. Susubok ng two-pointer. Wala yan. The rebound. Garcia with the layup. Oh, nice one by Bautista there. Ooh, nice step back. <laughs> Talaga trabaho niyan. Gunner yan si Jay Gars. Jerome Garcia. Sa Ayak. Sa Adamson, uh -huh. yun talaga, markadong, pag mabinigyan mo ng konti po, ang pupukol yan. Kahit sa goal cam natin, ang ganda tingnan ng step back na, ang layo ng binyahe. And wala nang nagawa doon, itong si Cedric Ablasa. Una, usa, usapang biyahe, sana itong mga to sa mga malalayong biyahe. Eh sure. yung binahe naman natin dito sa Kalambabol, sulit na sulit, maraming maraming salamat. Oo, oh, hmm. pressure pack free throws na yan, ay hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. In and out on the second one para kay Jerome Garcia. Here's Japs. Bautista saying no kay Cedric Ablasa. Here's Apreku getting away. Wala yan. Rebound and the putback by Cedric Ablasa. Doon nakakarami ang pasig sa mga second chance shots. Tsaka yung mga loose ball. Mas nauuna silang nakukuha yun. Ang palong itatawag dito kay Mon Mabayo. And two free throws na. Ang ibibigay dito dahil seven fouls na itong uh, Bicol Packs full. Going to the line. Itong si Japs Pautista. Yun lang. Penalty. Physical eh. Oo oh, eh. Tama, tama. Nagyan mo ba naman ng Japs Pautista sa Kamon Mabayo eh? Alam mo, kala mo walang magbabanggaan dyan. Oo, oh, oh, posible. Kung konting kiskisa niya. Oo. Oh, tama yan. Hindi na naman magpapahuli si Cedric Ablasa. Hindi rin magpapahuli ito si Felix Apreco. So, delay of game violation ang tawag dito. Kanina may warning na itong uh, Bicol. So, after dun sa isang trip, two-point shot ni uh, Alvin Alday. Ito si Mabayo, challenging a preku. Mabayo with the right hand. Gets it to go for one. So, yun na naman. Nakababa na naman yung balikot. Eh. Either tatama ka o uusog ka eh. Ganda ng galaw. What a move and a shot there by Japs Bautista. So, tad. Oo. Oh. Here's Jerome Garcia. Masikip ang depensa ni Felix Apreco. Aldave, slicing. Loses control of the ball and the shot clock will expire. Contra sa Bicol, Paxful. Tinatanggalan ng uh, mga long shot itong si Aldave. Long close out talaga. TM instant replay natin of that beautiful pirouette move denying the defense. Galing dito kay Chaps Bautista. Hatid sa inyo ng TM. Tamo yung pihit. Kapit na kapit dun sa Olympic floor natin. Yan ang ginagamit sa Olympics, ha? yung flooring na ginagamit natin dito. 
Ito naman ang solid supalpal na hatid sa inyo ng uling roasters. Uling roasters, sumobre sa sarap. Pasensya na. Uli, uli din natin, hindi sila close. Hindi sila close. Inaabot. <laughs> Dun sa supalpal. Cedric Ablasa forces a two. Hindi tumasok yan. Gets it back to the green shirts. Ablasa saying, settle down. Seven seconds to shoot. Para sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. They go inside. Nice play for Cedric Ablasa. Good pass. Mas mali yung kanyang bantay. Pwede niyang araruin. Pero on the weak side cut. Saktong-sakto. Kitang-kita yung pasa. Jerome Garcia for two. Gets it a go. Babasa tatlong lamang ng Pasig. 14-11. Eto, two-pointer din. Wala yan. But Apreko gets the offensive board. Parang kitikiti itong si Felix Apreko. Kung nasan yung bola, nandurun ka. Talagang nakikipagsiksikan. Oh, what a play. Ganda sana. Teka, pero traveling. Traveling. Too many steps. Nasobrahan. Sakbang. Buti sana ko si Martin Antonio yung bantay mo eh. Pero hindi. Ang ating assist of the game brought to you by TM. Para sa moments na fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Tama ba yung sinabi ko? Bonus free throw yun. Pag ako yung bantay. Bonus free throw. Bonus free throw. Time out muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection. Connecting good food to every Filipino household. Sarap dyan. Adobo Connection. Saka ngayon ha, libo ang meron na rin sa Lazada. Yes. Saka sa Shopee. Pwede kang pumunta rin sa mga mini stop. Pwede kang pumunta sa 7-Eleven branches. At pwede na rin bumili ng ilang, sa ilang uh, select branches ng Chooks to Go. Oh. Pwede kang bumili. Oh. Adobo Connection favorites na paborito ni Martin Antonio. Oo, oh, suking, suking. Hindi ako may paborito. Si Marla at si Carmina ang <laughs> aking mag-ina. Sa Evergotesco, dun, dun kami parati. Marla, Carmina, maraming oh, salamat sa, sa pag-alaga dito sa kaibigan ko. Hindi tumatanda. Kung ano mga pinapakain niyo sa kanya, share niyo naman sa akin. Pinadaan na sa ngiti. Malapit ka na dyan. Mag-ipon ka ng tulog. <laughs> so may technical dito. Oo, oh, technical follow. So all important free throws para sa Bicol Packs Pool. Tatlo ang lamang hinahabol nila dito. Asahan mo naman sa free throw talaga itong si uh, Jaygar. At saka yung make-up nung uh, kupunan na itong Bicol, hindi lang locals, pero yung mga local legends nila na naglaro sa kolehiyo, umangat din sa regional basketball. Tulak doon ang nakita against Jerome Garcia. So free throws coming up dito para sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Penalty na rin ang Bicol Packs Pool. So dito magkakaalaman dahil sa FIBA 3x3 ang mga free throw importante. Pinapaalala natin hanggang 21 lang ang scoring dito. Unang makapunta doon, kasi Hodang meron pang 3 minutes. Basta umabot ka dyan, tapos agad ang laro. Kaya consistent ka dapat sa mga free shot na yan. And so far, itong dalawang kupunan natin has done exceptionally well sa free throw line. Including Felix Apreco who sinks both free throws. TM free throws. At it's inyo ng TM. Here's Alvin Alday. Yeah, parang nanahimik yung oh. outside gunning itong si Alvin sa ating ball game. Pero pansinin mo, ha, Mark, dito ngayon, di pa ginagamit si Jexter Apinan. Oh, oh. Di pa nagpapalit ng tao ang pasig. Jax, binigay ito kay Cedric Ablasa. Cedric, one of the veterans. Ablasa barreling his way through with the left hand. That's good. Parang is Cedric Ablasa. Wakali. Here's Aldave. Aldave off the glass for one. Still a four-point lead. Para sa Pasig, Santa Lucia Realtors. Sorry, miss there by Jeff Bautista. A two-pointer. Para kay Alvin Alday, wala yan. And the ball will sail out. Position will, uh, rather possession here. As we take a look at this. Up and under play for the veteran Jonathan Aldave para sa Bicol Packs Pool. Parehas champion player uh -huh. ng Letran. Pero years apart. Yes. Di ko na lang sasabihin ilang years apart. Huwag mo nang uh, banggitin. Bahal, uh, baka mapag-usapan pa yung edad. Basta, basta, eh, champion. Ako basta champion. Yun ang importante dyan. <laughs> so 18-13 na may miligo dito ang Bicol. If they cannot make any adjustments, sumatala balikan natin itong inside play. Powerful move there by Jonathan Aldave. Cedric Ablasa ngayon. Nasa free throw line for our TM free throws. So, isa pang produkto din ng STI. Ito uh -huh. si uh, Cedric Ablasa. Dami naglalaro din dito sa atin. Nagaling sa NASCO. Hindi lang UAAP NCA, maraming mga liga ang represented oh, dito great. sa atin. Behind the back, nakita mo ba yung ginawa ni Alvin Alday? Behind the back, dribble, fall away. Parang may sinulid yung bola. Oh. 
Great pass para kay Apreco and that is a 3x3 play to close out the game para sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors 21-14 to take another win sa ating quarterfinal round. Big win para dito sa Pasig. At uh, kitang-kita mo na very familiar itong mga manlalaro na ito. At di pa nila ginamit si Jexter Apinan dun sa laro. Conserving one of their veterans. Ika nga ba kaya siguro hindi pinaglaro itong si Jexter Apinan. But the way they played, mukhang hindi naman nila kakailanganin yung output dito si Jexter Apinan. All of them played exceptionally well. And para dito sa isang mama na ito na ipapakilala ni Mara Aquino in just a few seconds, I am so proud of this guy because I've seen him practice. This guy, talagang pinakita niya that he wants to play TXT. Oh, oh, oh. At, at alam mo, Mark, ha? fun fact, may weight room to sa bahay, bigyan ng mama niya. Yan, kilala na natin kung sino itong mamang to with Mara Aquino. Ang ating manok ng bayan, player of the game, Felix Apreco. Congratulations, nagsungkit niyo ang panalo. Kanina nga sabi niyo, gusto niyo maging stricto sa pick and roll at mukhang nag-work ngayon. Ano pa sa tingin niyo, yung nakikita niyo na kailangan niyong gawin para masigurado na manalo kayo mamaya sa semis? Uh, depensa pa, tsaka early pick up sa mga tao. Ngayon, first time mo sa 3x3 and you are the best player of the game. Anong pakiramdam dun sa adjustment na ginagawa mo ngayon? May pressure ba? O natutuwa ka rin? Ikaw ang best player? Natutuwa ako. Tsaka wala namang pressure kasi madami na ako nalaroan na, ano eh, na may pressure pa. Katulad ng championship namin noong ah, NCAA 2015. Sa letran. Congratulations! Job well done! Si Apreko ang ating... Manok ng Bayan, player of the game, hatid sa inyo ng Chucks to Go, ang nag-iisang Manok ng Bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Thank you, Mara. Alam mo, pag ang player natutong manalo, nakaramdam na ng championship. Oh. Nadadala niyo yun anywhere he goes. And Felix Apreco did exactly that in this game. At Felix Apreco talagang trinabaho. At ang mga taga-samar, mga kababayan niya, tuwang-tuwa dito sa mamang to. Talagang winner. Maraming papahirapan dito sa ating liga itong si Felix Apreco as they get their first win, 21-14. Kontra, kontra sa kupunan ng Bicol Paxful. Our next game sa ating quarterfinals, Palayan City Capitals taking on the Bacolod Masters Sardines. Yan po ang susunod na laban natin as we turn it over to our good friends Mike and Sudan. 3x3, welcome back. This is the President's Cup powered by TM. Sudan Daniels got the rest of the games for y'all. Sue, what you got? Okay, so bringing up the next team representing Palayan City Capitals. Number six, JP Sarau. Number seven, Rins Palma. Number eight, Bobby Balucana. Number 11, Clark Garrije. Representing the Colored Master Saltines, wearing number four, Antonio Rafael Asiscio. Number six, Chris Lalata. Number seven, Jewel Ashri Choi Ignacio. Number eight, Alfred Ryan Batino. And number nine, Robin Ronio. Ang susunod na magtatagpo dito sa ating quarterfinal round, Palayan City Capitals kontra po sa Bacolod Masters Sardines. We see some players not suiting up dito sa ating laban na Robin Ronya will be playing at mukhang pagpapahingayin muna itong si Anton Asiscio who has been playing so much minutes dito sa ating preseason game but ito napakagandang labanan ito kasi kung titignan mo yung position match up halos lahat oo oh, oh. at saka yung isa sa mga paborito kong players pwedeng sumabit pero may bayad JP Saraw <laughs> ay na maaasahan mo talaga no, pinapasalamatan po natin lahat ng tumulong sa atin to get to this point of course our president ng Bounty Agro Ventures Incorporated Boss Ronald Mascarinas the president and CEO of Globe Telecom Sir Ernest Koo and of course Sir Hansi of SMNNU. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Hindi po namin mapapalitan ang generosity na pinakita niyo sa amin and all the help. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Saka para to sa ating Olympic campaign. Oh yes. 
tulong-tulong talaga at pag ganyan kabibigat yung uh, nagsasama-sama, marami tayong pwede mo gawa. Renz Palma, pumasok sa loob dito yung pasa. Here's JP Sarao, yung paborito ng player, kicks it outside. This is a two-point record goes, Mintis yan. Sarao, triple team. This is a two of it goes, wala pa rin. Panay Blanco ang bitaw dito, ni Clark Derihe. Uh -huh. Renz Palma, sinubukan, wala pa rin in and out. Medyo makilap ang outside shot para dito sa kapunan ng Palayan City. That one will go in though. Medyo bumanda pa yung tira na yun oh. ni Robin Ronyo. Ito yung mga tipong player na bagay sa tatluan talaga to si Robin Ronyo. May tira sa labas, parang pitbull pag dumipensa. Robin Ronyo's outside shot. Yan po ang ating replay. Beautiful outside shooting again. We can expect more of that sa kapunan ng Palayan City. Yan po ang dahilan kung bakit umabot sila sa ating quarterfinal round. Great outside shooting. Renz Palma kicks it outside. Derihe for two. Kaboom! Saktong-sakto yung kick out kay Clark Derihe. Batino gusto gumawa ng position doon but uh, hindi siya talaga papayagan itong si Renz Palma. Ganda nung matchup sa ilalim. Batino at saka Sarau. There's that kick out. A two-point shot natin hatin sa inyo ng TM para sa moments sa Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Ronyo for two. Wala. Rebound. Bobby B. Grabe talaga si Balokanag. Bobby Balokanag. Parang may spring sa binti. Tinan mo naman. Nandun na naman siya. Muntik ka naman maka-rebound. Ronyo for two. Yes, sir. Ay, talaga yung mga paborito niya ni Robin Ronyo. Patang Las Piñas yan eh. Di pa paralo yan. <laughs> Puntahin muna natin si Mara. May konting kwentuhan tayo sa courtside. Mara, what do you have? Malaking confidence booster yung dalawang panalo ng Palayan kanina dahil sa limang laro nila sa tune-up games, wala silang panalo kaya nawala yung kanilang kabang ngayon at hindi lang yan ang nagpatasa ko ng kumpiyansa. Nag-text si Mayora Rian at Mr. Bong Cuevas na nanonood ngayon na biyan sila na good job and to keep on fighting. Mark and Martin. Eh kung ganyan naman kasi susuporta oh, sa inyo, di ba? Nanonood pa sa inyo yung mga ganong klaseng tao. Who would not be inspired to exactly. play? At Boss Bong Cuevas of course, very, oh, very yes. supportive. San Nueva Isia Basketball Program dyan sa Palayan, Mayor Rian. At syempre, ang sarap ng bigas. Ang sarap ng kanin, yung digit-digit. Parami ka dyan. Si Sir Bong Cueva sa kasi Mayora, alam mo, ang laki na itulong niyan, especially sa ating mga safety protocols. He helped us out so much. Kaya po tayo nakasiguro na safe lahat ng players sa atin dito because of the assistance na nanggaling po kay Bong Cuevas at kay Mayora. Maraming salamat po at sana dumami pa ang mga katulad ninyo. Sabi nga siya, tulong-tulong. Yan talaga ang kailangan natin. Look at JP Sarao. Parang walang pakialam kung dalawa o tatlong player ang sumabit sa kanya. Ano may sabi ko sa'yo? Pagkaganyan ang, pagka ang bumabiyahe, kahit pati ba yung dalin mo, bubuhati niya ni JP Sarao. Ayun yun nga yung nangyari na yun. Nakita mo sila lata, napapailing na lang. Ano pa naka, nakaangat pa ng bola yun? Saka paborito to ni Coach Gabby Velasquez si oh. Francis nun. Pagka nakaangla na yun sa ilalim. Here's Sarao. Short on the left stab. Ronyo. There's the screen. Run nyo na bigyan. Teka muna up. Ipito ang ating referees. Bagsak. Itong si JP Sarao. Let's hope he's okay. He's holding on to his left knee. Sana okay siya dito. I hope there's nothing wrong with that knee of his. Nakatayo naman dito itong si uh, JP Sarao. Tignan natin kung ano nangyari dito. No? Ano yung mali ba bagsak niya? Parang may mali siyang oh, bagsak. Eh. Wala naman tumama sa kanya. Eh. Ito sa on his way down oh, from the jump. Oh. So our medics are uh, looking at uh, JP Sarao right now. Oh, he will be missed by the Palayan City Capitals. Tignan natin. Ha? Sana pulikat lang to. Oo nga eh. Samantala, Derihe for two. That will help their cause here. In the absence of J.P. Sarao, Pikado. lamang ng dalawang Palayan City. Pangalawang two-point shot ni Clark Derihe. Oh. <laughs> Lalata versus Balokanag. Kandang banggaan yung parehong oh, batang eh. Fighter. Oo, oh, fighter yung mga yan. Balikan natin, eto two-point shot ni Clark Derihe. Alam naman natin ang bahagi yan ng kanyang arsenal. Ito nadagdag sa arsenal ni Chris Lalata. Oo. Oh, oh. three-point Here's Balokana getting space. Konting hang time pa. One point lead here for Palayan City. 
the drive ni Robin Ronyo napitasan ng bola munting na mapasaan dito sa ilalim si Balokanag and you can see the court awareness no? yung IQ itong si Renz Palma he has eyes all over veterano, veterano alam niya kung nasan yung paa niya alam niya pagka ilalabas Renz Palma tries a two-pointer air ball there for the veteran. Yun lang, nabate. Nabate mo. Kasalanan mo yun. Nahanginan. Sa'yo lahat yun. Tatanggapin ko. Watch, akong bahala dyan. Akin yan, akin, akin. Mayayari ka kayo sa Bong Cuevas. Samantala, ito ngayon si Ignacio. Fall away jumper. Nalayan. Agawan sa riba. Mapupunta kay Derihe. One point lead for Palayan. Will they add on to their lead? Derihe for two. Uy, dalawang white chips. Agagawan. Derihe again, still missing. Dami pagkakataon dito na sinayang. Kumantala Ignacio, yan ang paraan para makakuha ng control sa laban na ito. Yeah, meron talaga siya yan. Nasa kolehiyo pa lang, bumibitaw na yan oh. sa labas, gunner din. Derihe definitely not gun shy, shooting every time he has his hands on the ball. Uy, muntik pa! Uy, <laughs> papasok yung pasa. 8-7, <laughs> one point lead for the Bacolod team here. Fall away by Derihe. Difficult shot. Hirap nun. Papunta ka sa kanan. Pilipit pa. Ignacio for two. Oh, Naku, nag-iinit. Itong si Derihe. Ay, si uh, Ignacio. Sayo, eh. Home court eh. Home court yan. Bak, grabe. Halos mapasplit na. Yung Bobby B. The athleticism here of Bobby Balokanag. Laks ng katawan eh. Oo. Oh, ito Ayaw naman siya. Meno. Balokanag. Steps on the brakes. Scores another one with the right hand. Ay, nuha pa. Parang pinita ko ralis yung pilipit na layup. <laughs> Grabe naman yun. <laughs> One point lead na lang dito ang Bacolod. 10-9. Here's Ignacio for two. Wala pa rin. Agawan sa bola. Bagsak dito si Renz Palma. The possession will stay with Bacolod Master Sardines. TM instant replay. Hatid ko sa inyo ng TM. Tinin nyo naman yung galaw na napabilib si Martin Antonio. Sabi ko sa'yo eh. Bobby Balokanag. Classic move. Taas ng katawan ni eh. Banat na banat. Let's go to Mara with a report. May update siya on JP Sarao. Mara, kamusta si JP? Banged left knee ang iniinda ni JP Sarao. May bukol nga siya ngayon sa inner part ng kanyang left knee. Nung tinanong ko siya ng pain threshold, sabi niya, 8 out of 10. Pero nung tinanong ko kung babalik siya, sabi niya, syempre, babalik ako. Kayang-kaya to. Mark and Martin. In fact, naglalaro na nga dito ulit. <laughs> Thank you, Mara, for the Wala. report. Wala! Change oil lang yan. Kunti. Bukul lang ba? Bukul lang, pagpag lang. Mahirap yan yung kinabukasan. Yeah. Kasi kadalasan yung mga ganyang contusion, Charlie Horse, on our end, the strength and conditioning coaches. Nakita natin kanina yung kanilang conditioning coach. Nandun ron. Kailangan mong stretchin agad yung quadricep para hindi mag-shutdown. Kasi masakit yan kinabukasan. Di mo nga titiklop yan. Ngayon, di pa niya mararamdaman yan. Mamaya pagkatapos sa ating pre-season games, mararamdaman mo yan. Kailangan may yaluhan agad. As... Na-ready yung ice bath sa baba? Oo, ready, ready, ready tayo. Ready, ready. Hindi rin tayo naghahanda. Yung yung preparation, yes. hindi lang safety protocols oh, oh. dito ang handa. Lahat ng ikagiginhawa ng ating mga players nandito. Yung pa yung pack food. Ay, ako naman. Huwag mo ako simulan dyan. Bawal kumain ng tatlong beses, limang beses dapat. Oo. Oh. Samantala, nagka-agree dito si Robin Ronyo at si Bobby Balokanag. Color developing between these two players. But our referees... Laro! This, uh, laro! Laro lang! Uh, here's Bobby. Pasa sana yun. Teka muna. <laughs> Sa sobrang bilis ng katawan, hindi kumapit yung sapatos. <laughs> hindi sanay sa pang-Olympic na lapag. Pero pagdating ng first leg, sure ball na yan. Pati si Ronyo nangiti eh. Ang, ang bilis ng galaw, hindi kumapit yung sapatos. <laughs> That's a big two-pointer there. Anim ng labang ng Bacolod Master Sardines. Teka muna. Oh. Robin Ronyo, parang habal-habal eh. <laughs> siksik ng siksik. Bilang tagalas pinas, taga-sambuangga din yan originally. Atong si Robin Ronyo. At kailangan maupo muna dito ni Bobby Balokanag. Balikan natin yung sequence na yon. Ignacio, kala ipapasa. Big lang bumato ng outside shot. Ito naman si Ignacio, slicing. Ignacio with the left, partially blocked there by Renz Palma. Palma for two, no. Lepas muna kay Ronyo. Ito mo, Bacolod, ha? Being very patient here as Ronyo missing the two. Renz Palma nilabas. Here's Derihe. Nabitawan ng bola. Agawan sa loose ball. Maagawan ni Batino. They go to Ronyo. Pagsak na naman si JP Sarao and a push. Ang itatawag dito. Malaking mama, eh. <laughs> Parang 18-wheeler, parehas eh. Nagkasabitan eh. Oh, ito yun, banggaan eh. Ano kasama eh? Going for the handoff. 
hindi pa nakaset yung screen, ginalaw na. Here's Derihe. Makes them pay with another two. Good acknowledgement there, galing kay Renz Palma. Walang bakas yun yung outside shooting ni Clark Derihe. 16-12 dito, still not the safest of games para si Bacolod. Madaling abulin yan, ito yung pasa, no? Perfectly timed pass for a two-pointer para kay Clark Derihe. Local yan sa Palayan Nueva Ecija. Oh, yes. At itong si Derihe, maganda rin yung kwento nito. Nagsimula sa FEU, nakunta mm -hmm. sa UE, doon nabigyan ng pagkakataon as regional basketball din. Humihingi ng traveling, itong kupuna ng Palayan City Capitals. Or rather ng Bacolod. So who will the possession stay to stay with the Capitals? So warning, oh, oh, warning for penalty. Tingnan mo naman yung stretch ni Renz Palma. So much athleticism. Ganda nung pangga, dukot sa kabila. Kaso technical. Yan na. Ito, balikan natin. Renz Palma. Before this season began, alam natin, the tales of the legendary athleticism itong mamang to and now we are seeing it firsthand. Saka yung athleticism, hindi lang sa pagtalon. Yung pagtanggap ng bangga at saka uh -huh. kaya mo kontrolin yung katawan mo. Ronyo for two! Big shot by Robin Ronyo. 18-13 para sa Bacolod Master Sardines. Here's Derihe. Gustong bawiin. Wala yan. Will he get it back? Na ilabas na yung bola. Namimiligri dito ang Palayan City Capitals. Three points na lang kailangan dito ng Bacolod to close this quarterfinals game out. Here's the lata. Screen provided for Ronyo. Ronyo thought about it. Ronyo sumaksak. Robin, nawala ang bola. And the foul acknowledged by JP Sarao. Nasabitan lang. Uh -huh. Nasabitan. Napinahan lang. Pero sa sundot, natawagan si... Uh, JP Sarao. Yun, hawak na ni Lalata eh, no? Pilit siyong kitin ni Sarao and he's called for the foul. Samantala, natapikan ni Renz Palma. And it will be last touch on Ignacio so Palayan City will get this possession back. Ito crucial to, ha? Kailangan nila makakuha ng puntos dito. And Balokanag, of course, they will go to him. Bobby blocked by Lalata. Big defensive play there for Bacolod. Inabangan sa kabila. Ignacio for two. Wala. Here's Renz Palma inside. Bobby bumping bodies. Offensive foul ang itatawag dito. Kitang kita. Inumangan ng balikat. <laughs> Saka pa sa lubong eh. Pabalik sa depensa itong oh. si Robin Ronyo. Nagpakilala. Ito yung solid na supalpal. Galing kay Lalata. At yun sa inyo ng huling roasters. Huling roasters. Sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. Hindi ka pwedeng uh, parang si Papa Bear, reklamo na reklamo. Oo. Oh. Napagalitan na si Ronald. Eh, hindi pala sila close. Eh, hindi sila close. <laughs> Sarado eh. Ah, sa harap na yung sagot. Oo. Oh. Ayan na. Interesting. Interesting. Kung wala po kayong magawa minsan, pasadahan niyo po yung mga Facebook, official Facebook pages ng Chooks to Go, Uling Roasters, at Adobo Connection. Ako, magugustuhan niyo yung ating mga content dyan. Lahat po ng klase. Meron tayong mga mini-series, meron tayong mga art card, Lahat po yan ay talagang kapupulutan nyo ng kasiyahan. So, sa official pages po lahat yan. Ng uh, Chooks to Go, Uling Roasters, at Adobo Connection. Kaya siyempre, kailangan may pogchi ganda lang. Ay, siyempre. Yeah. Mas masakap pepper, ako, ako, pepper Roast. Pepper Roast. <laughs> pepper Roast yan. Hindi na nga bibigyan na kita mamaya. Yan. Hindi na ka pa Pepper Roast na Pepper Roast. Eh. <laughs> Ito, naagawan ni Renz Palma. They go outside. Palma stroking a two. Wala. Robin Ronyo. He knows they have the time here. Ronyo, nilabas. Lalata for two. Air ball. That would have been big. Sayang yun, no? It would have been a game-ender kung pumasok yun. They have to stick to their play, ha? Kung oh. tayo, mayayari sila dito ng Bacolod. Walang ano lamang walang? nasigurado sa 3x3. Derihe from the outside. Wala. White ball there. Tumama sa paa ni Ignacio yung bola going out. So, ika nga nila eh. Hindi pa tapos to hanggang hindi umabot ng 21. Hindi ba uh, 21 yan? Oo. Hindi pa tapos yan. Kahit 8 minutes, hindi pa tapos yan. Basta may oras. Bilog ang bola to dit. Sabi oh. nga ni Yorme, di ba? Uy. 
Mga taga Tundo, lagi nakatutok yun. Basta may basketball. Naman. Derihe. Scoop shot with a soaring layup. Naghahanap sila dito ng dos eh. Kanina pa sila sumusunod. Ronyo for the game winner. Wala. Nilabas muna Ignacio. Nabitawan yung bola doon. Ignacio goes baseline. The kick out. That will be a turnover. Hindi ma-close out ng Bacolod ah. Gusto nila knockout punch eh. Ayaw nila ng body shot, body shot. Kuhin sa decision. Ito yung napakagandang layup na pinakita ni Clark Derihe para sa Palayan City Capitals. Ito sa salaksak ka talagang idiin mo. Renz Palma goes to the middle. Palma Bino, tata ng gusto ni Batino. Nadapa dito si Derihe, goes outside. Palma for two. Air ball. Ronyo. Binigay kay Batino. Batino, one point shot, wala. Ano yung mapupunta kay Renz Palma? Here's Derihe, fall away to another air ball. Yun lang. Fatigue is setting uh, oh, oh. in. Kasi hindi biro yung uh, 3x3 pagka FIBA rules. Oh, Kasi oh. dere-derecho po ito, walang dead ball, walang hold sa referee, unless na may mga infractions tulad na yan. Remember, you only have 12 seconds to shoot dito sa 3x3. Napakabilis po maubos ang orin. Ronyo for the game! Yes, sir! The close out they were waiting for. Dinigay dito ni Robin Ronyo. 21-14 to win another game dito sa ating quarterfinal round. Bacolod Master Sardines wins it 21-14. Ang two-point shot na yan na hitit sa inyo ng TM para sa moment sa Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Big, big win for Bacolod Master Sardines. Nakatangan sa Gatilio, Asintado, Pampanalo, Robin Ronyo. Ganda naman ng bitaw na yun. Hinanap talaga nila yung two-point shot. Alam mo, nakikita natin yung mga plays na yan during the time that they were practicing. At least na, nakikita natin that they're implementing the same kind of play and they're trusting their system here. And that's a good sign for a very new team tulad ng kupunan ng Bacolod, Master Sardines. But they have one player that really stood out, the veteran force in that team. And he is with Mara Aquino. Ang ating... Manok ng Bayan Player of the Game, we have Ronyo in your congratulations! Napaka-agresibo nyo at mukhang ang game plan nyo ata is from the outside shooting. Yan ba yung pinag-usapan nyo bago kayo pumasok dito sa half-court? Well, pinag-usapan namin kanina. Ayun nga, yung strength kasi namin is yung outside shooting. So, nag-focus kami dun. And then, yung kalaban namin na palayan more on inside sila, tsaka physical. So, nag-adjust kami sa defense and offense. Sabi mo nga sa akin kanina na saan ay ka usually sa 5-on-5? Ngayon, first time mo sa 3-on-3. Ano yung pakiramdam ngayon na napakabilis ng labanan? Nakikita natin, hingal na hingal ka. Well, nakita ko yung 3 sa 3x3, chuks to go, ay yung kailangan, malakas yung resistensya mo. And then, quality din yung mga movement. Kasi more on, like sa 5-on-5, is back and forth. So ito talagang, talagang, ano talaga, ratratan eh. Ito lang. Congratulations, job well done siya ang ating Manok ng Bayan Player of the Game na hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang Manok ng Bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Well deserved para kay Robin Ronyo. Talaga namang training and practice really paid off para sa Bacolod Master Sardines in this game, Martin. Pero gusto ko yung sinabi niya, ratratan yung laban dito sa Chooks to Go 3x3. Pero kahit ratratan, hindi ka dapat parang turumpo, nakangkarot. Kailangan matining ka dito dahil walang galaw na nasasayang dito sa ating mga laro. So, Pinag-uusapan natin yung conserving your energy. Oh, oh. Kailangan importante, importante yun dahil pag binigay mo lahat, katulad ng ginawa dito ng Bicol Pacolod Master Sardines, ang ganda na magiging resulta. Up next sa ating quarterfinals, Wuling Roasters Butuan kontra sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard. Dito lamang po sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Welcome, guys, back to the Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup. And to keep things moving, I would like to call on the next team representing your Uling Roasters, Butuan City, number five, Frankie Johnson. Number six, Carl DeHessa. Number seven, JR Alabanza. Number eight, Chico Lanete. And number nine, Chris De Chavez. Representing your Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards, wearing number four, Jose Antonio Reyes. Number five, McLean Sabellina. Number seven, 
Gabriel Banal. Number nine, Juan Gomez Del Llano. And number 11, Luis Lorenzo Gonzaga. Susunod na magbabakbakan sa ating quarterfinal round ng inyong preseason ng Chukstugo Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Uling Roasters, Butuan City kontra sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Muli ako po si Mark Zambrano kasama si Martin Antonio from inside the world-class 3x3 facility dito po sa Inspire Sports Academy. At Martin, binabati natin lahat na nanonood sa atin sa Chukstugo Pilipinas Facebook page sa ating uh, iba-iba pang uh, venues kung saan mapapanood, especially yung YouTube channel ng FIBA 3x3 kung saan everybody in the world that loves 3x3 is watching us live right now. So sanang bumati ng iba't ibang lengguahe. <laughs> Pero I just want to greet everybody a good day and enjoy the games here in Calamba, Laguna. This is your Chucks to Go 3x3. And well, we are really happy that we are bringing this to you internationally and all over the world. Kala ko magkakaslang ka doon kanina eh. <laughs> so masala balikan natin itong step back jumper ni Gab Banal. Mabit. Medyo nahuli ng konti sa depensa itong si uh, J.R. Alabanza. Okay. Alam, alam mo Marka, gusto kong makita paano magre-respond si Juan J. DL, DL dito sa physicality ni uh, Carl Dehesa at ni uh, Frank Johnson. Oo oh, nga. Kasi sobrang physical nitong butoan eh. Pagkat if they can get in his head, oh, diba? Oh. Sabi nga nila. Frankie Johnson nagpalipad ng two-pointer, wala yan. Maalat pa din, ha? Maalat pa rin si Frankie ito. Anina pa yan. One GDL, step back two. Wala. Rebound by Carl De Hesa. Hindi ba maglaro itong De Hesa, eh? Oo. Tsaka Johnson, pagkadating sa pisikalan, talagang paparamdam nila sa'yo, eh. Ayun naman yung veteran play at napasakay na ito si One GDL. He knew it. Napangiti siya doon. Great seal job na ginawa. Halos magluksong baka itong si... On GDL right there, but Danre Alabanza, tama sa laro. Our TM replay, of course. Kita natin what happened there. Frankie Johnson. That's a good sign, you know. Alam ni Frankie na nagkakaproblema siya from the outside. Na he'll try his very best to bring it inside. Soto. Be more, uh, more offensive-minded sa loob. Sotong team na to, itong butuan. Ito yung tape ng mga player. Yung talagang uh, mangga, mangga. Hindi <laughs> na pa yan nagkakagirian, ha? Gab Banal and J.R. Labanza. Yung dating na itong butuan na team, kung yung uh, Zamboanga family si Brand Sardines, yung mga pogi-pogi nating player, ito yung mga tito na laging tambay sa court <laughs> na pagkalinggo, di mo mapaalis. Mamamain ka talaga. Mga pagkwentuhan muna tayo kay Mara Aquino on court side. Mara, what do you have? Nakausap ko si Frank and Johnson kanina. Okay naman daw yung tulog niya. Maganda yung gising niya. Maganda rin yung pakiramdam niya. Pero talagang hindi lang pumapasok yung kanyang mga tira. Ganun pa man, hindi naman daw ito nakakababa ng kanyang kumpiyansa. It doesn't face him at all. Ayon sa kanya, it's gonna fall at the right time. Martin Martin. That's a mentality of a shooter, Mara. Diba? And I'm sure Martin will agree with you. I don't care if you shoot 50 times. I will keep on shooting. And that's the mentality that Frankie Johnson has. Maganda yun. Dahil saktong-sakto, hapunan ngayon, kahit daing o danggit, darating yung suka. Masarap pa rin yan, sigurado. Darating at darating yan. That is so true. Mantala, balikan natin. Itong huling na nangyari dito. Panggaan na naman ang katawan ni Alabanza at ni Gab Banal. It has been very physical between these two players. So may technical dito dahil uh, dun sa contact. Uh -huh. uh, faking a foul. Mukhang yun ang tinawag ng ating mga officials. Frankie Johnson. That chooks to go free throw. I can't believe I'm saying low scoring in a game involving these two teams. Oo. Hindi bagay eh. E narinig ka. E kuya Chico Lenete pero wala yung kanyang long shot. So possession, babalik dito sa kupuna ng Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Fielding 1 GDL, Gab Banal. And streak shooter, Jai Reyes. May tawag dito kay uh, Carl De Hesa. Ano, ganda pa ng sinabi ni Carl. Eh. Pinapagpag pa nila yung bakasyon. Here's 1 GDL getting some 
contact and uh oh tama makapal talaga yung tawagan eh tatama oh. at tatama and that would be the question right now coming from the amateurs iba ang pituhan sa 3x3 and you, you gotta understand you're one of the guys that people are expecting and people are looking forward to watch oh an unsportsman like foul ang itatawag dito on Carl De Hesa because the reclamo si 1GDL that Carl De Hesa actually headbutted him in mid-air. Oh, maganda makita ulit yung sa replay kung ano yung nangyari. Oh, oh maybe that. we can see that again oh. because clearly that's the first unsportsmanlike foul called starting preseason. And chooks to go free throws para kay 1GDL. <laughs> Nag high five sa mga hindi nakikita ng tao ito si 1GD. <laughs> Showmanship? Oo, parte na rin yan ang laro dito. One missing the second chucks to go free throw. At bangga. Sabi ni Jay Reyes, tinulak daw siya ni Frankie Johnson kaya siya napapunta at natulak itong si uh, Chico Lanete. Oh, tinuhog dito, technical. Oh, technical naman ang tinawag dito kay Jai Reyes. Balikan natin yung sequence na yon. Technical foul ang tinawag dito kay uh, Jai Reyes. So, Frankie Johnson back on our chooks to go free throw line. Nahalala ko talaga yung mga laro paghapon. Dito may Roas District sa Quezon City. Tapos tabi ng palengke. Oh. Tatluhan din, pero masahay talaga. Yan. Talagang pagkakalaban mo yung mga angkel. Gan ganun yung tema ng laro dito ng butuan eh. Baro ganang katawan. Oo, oh, eh. pisikalan talaga. Ang unang mapi kong talo. Oh, unang mapi kong talo kasi they a highly physical team and they have the skill set to complement that physicality. So dito makikita natin yung sinasabi ni Martin Antonio. Kaninong team will stay composed? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Kasi pag ikaw pumasok na yung emosyon sa utak mo, hindi ka na makakapaglaro ng maayos. Gusto, gusto mo na bumawi eh. Yun na lang iisipin mo. Oh. Well, let's see the maturity of these players. Gab Banal forcing the issue inside against the defense. Itong si J.R. Alabanza and a foul on Alabanza. Napakamot na lang dito. Si uh, Janre Alabanza. At makikita natin, both squads, wala pa tayong two minutes. Six fouls for Butuan, five for Nueva Ecija. Correction on that, it was a foul against the blue shirts of Nueva Ecija. Samantala, ball will sail out. And a turnover. Oh, it will stay rather with Nueva Ecija. Iba paglarong mama. So, tignan natin how these guys will respond. And you can see how 1GDL is trying to assert his dominance dito. Kaya, siya nagpa dito kaya rin nagpakapal eh. Kaya nagpakapal kasi he expects mm -hmm. the contact playing internationally at iba sa chokes to go 3x3. Dito mararamdaman mo talaga eh. Sobrang bata ni 1GDL. Nakita niya ang magsa-challenge sa kanya. Si Carl De Hesa, sinugod pa rin. Chokes free throw. Pressure pack, free throws na yan. Hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Batang bata, parang galing sa midget, umakit sa senior bigla. <laughs> e ganyan yan eh, pagka-summer league sa tatluhan. Eh kasi naman, veteran ng skill level. Oo, oh, oh, oh. mga 15 anos, lalaro sa 23 and over. Ganun yung datingan eh. Si Juan, saka si Javi, of oh, course. Oo, oh, mauhusay na magka, magkakapatid ko. Saka alam ko, apat, lima yan dati. Panay lalaki. At ang panay matitibay. At lahat maglaro. magagaling maglaro. Oo, oh, oh. Ang tingin na kinausap po yun si 1GDL eh. Sabi ko, kanina niya ba minana yung galing niya sa basketball? Was it from your dad? Sabi niya, no. My dad's a swimmer. <laughs> Tapos niya kinuha, mahilig lang talaga kami maglaro. Mahilig maglaro itong magkakapatid na to. Hindi ka the youngest one na nasa high school uh -huh. ngayon. Napakausay, nasa national team pool din natin. Yung And bahay kasi daw nila was right beside the village basketball court. So imagine, bakuran mo court, no, paano ka naman hindi magiging mahilig? Saka no choice ka eh. Wala kang gagawin pag hapon eh. Laro ka doon. <laughs> So, 4-2. Low scoring is an understatement para sa game na to. Ang tindi ng depensa ng dalawang kupunan. Here's Frankie. Look at Chai Reyes' defense. Sticking to him like glue. Banggaan dito. And look at Jai. He is popped up. Jai Reyes is a man possessed. And knowing Jai since our youth days, 
in grade school pass, uh, SBP, Pasaril, hyper competitive guy. Always something to prove. That's how he plays. And he likes the challenge of guarding the best guys. And sinusubukan saan ng isil nitong si Juan GDL, si Carl De Hesa, but too much contact on Carl De Hesa's part. Paolo ang tatawag dito against Carl De Hesa. Two free throws plus ball possession. Oh, that is huge. Mark, it's just two minutes and one second into the ball game. Unbelievable. Time out muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection, connecting good food to every Filipino household. A much needed time out oh. for both teams. Dahil napakating din naman ang naging action natin dito. You have to keep your temper oh. in check. Both teams, ha? hindi lang isa, pareho sila. At saka ang alam mo ha, Parang adobo connection kasi Paul si Anli. <laughs> Anli yung parang Anli Rice. Anli Paul si dito eh. At tayo magagawa dyan eh. Pero may penalty talaga. Para Oo. pag kumahinga naman ang kanta, tataba ka talaga. Pero ay ngayon, two, two free throws plus ball possession. Tingnan natin kung mababawasan ba yung pagiging physical ng uh, Butuan City. Pressure pack free throws ni Juan GDL. At it's ayun nyo yan ng Chooks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. At sana hindi naman naba. Iga nga nila itong foul trouble ng Butuan City. They have 10 team fouls compared to only 5 nitong Meva Ecija. Masyadong nanggigigil kasi ang defenders ngayon nitong uh, kupunan ng uling roasters sa Butuan City. Gusto magparamdam eh. Uh -huh. Gusto yung tangga. Kasi medyo may dating itong Meva Ecija eh. Mahuhusay kasi naman lalaro talaga. Ito kakilala. And the foul call there on that drive, drive and play ni Juan GDL. Balikan natin yung galaw. Juan GDL taking that quick first step. That was a good clear foul there given up by Carl De Hesa. Tanggap lang. Oh. Tanggap lang. Dito titibay itong si Juan Gomez De Liano. Napakahusay naman lalaro from the juniors to the seniors ranks to the national team. Ngayon, sumusubuka naman siya sa 3x3. And he's enjoying himself, Martin. Tinan mo yung demeanor niya. Nakangiti siya while he's playing. And that's, I think, the most dangerous version ni Juan GDL. Eh. Pag naglalaro yun sa UP Fighting Manos, nakita mong umiti yan, delikado ka na. Alam mo, Mark, yung mga player na may yabang, yun yung gusto mo, ayaw matalo niyan eh. Yes. Ayaw matalo niyan, hindi yan papatalo. Oh. Talagang uh, bakbakan kung bakbakan. Yun yung angas nila, yun yung dala nila sa laro eh. Frankie Johnson still shooting miserably from two-point country. Yun dati yung specialty of the house. Hirap na hirap siya ngayon. Juan GDL able to throw it up. Ayan, nakangiti. Tinan mo, tinan mo. Close up nyo, close up nyo. Oh, look at that. Mamaan look eh. at his swagger, look at his demeanor, looking straight at the camera. Mamaan eh. My goodness. Tama yan. One GDL. Uy, nakabigay pa yata <laughs> sa Alam, kasi ko. Alam mo, Mark, ha? Parang sa paglalaro, sa home court, sa half court, pagkalaban mo yung mga veterano, babanatan at babanatan kayo, makukuha mo lang yung respeto. Pagka tinanggap mo, oh, oh, mabigyan ka ba ng isa? Tsaka bumigay ka din at di ka tumupi, di ka tumiklop. Ganun lang yun eh. Ganyan ang laro eh. Pilipinas, lalabanan mo mga veterano, ay kailangan tumanggap ka. And, and that is what Juan Gomez de Leano is doing right now. Juan Gomez de Leano looks like he wants to challenge Frankie Johnson every time he has his hands on the ball. And look at Frankie and Juan GDL. And I like... How Juan GDL is responding. Look at that. Nagsasa, nagsasagutan talaga eh. This is 3x3 basketball. This is Chooks to Go 3x3 basketball. The brand that we're trying to promote. Intense but controlled. Yun ang nakikita natin dito eh. Missing on his first Chooks to Go free throw. Ito, balikan natin. Look at the drive. That was a clear bump. That was a bump. Pero may shoulder hit. Konti din eh. But it was more of a Frankie Johnson foul talaga. And... Sama yan! Laro yan! Sama sa laro eh. Nagbigay, nagbigay ng uh, hard foul. Anong gagawin mo? Papasab ka? Oh, oh, oh. oh dederecho kang laro. Yun lang naman ang tanong dyan eh. Laban mo mga veterano, asahan mo na. Natatanggap ka ng physicality. At ganun, it's a right of passage. That is so true, When you're true, competing. Martin. Kahit sa ang kanto ka maglaro, kahit sa ang liga ka maglaro, ganun ang tatanggapin mo. And right now, Juan GDL is responding the way that you want him to respond. He plays, doesn't get to his head. But you know, there are two players 
na during the off-season nagpalaki ng katawan. These are the two players. Franky was not like this. Uh -huh. He was a little lanky bago nagsimula itong ating preseason. Juan Gomez de Leano, that's a given. You can clearly see na nagpalaki ng katawan niyan. And the way they're matching up right now, yung banggaan na nakikita natin, ang sarap panoorin, Martin. And the way that Juan GDL is playing, he plays a lot like a running back. Talagang dire-direto. Yeah. He takes the contact and yung balance niya ang nagdadala sa laro niya. So, napitas yan doon ni uh, Chico Lanete and... J.R. Alabanza and uh, Gabanal getting into it this time. It's becoming really physical dito. Panoorin natin yung huling nangyari na yun. Napitasan ni Chico Lanete si Gabanal to finish it off with J.R. Alabanza. Pero, whoop, teka muna may... May kalabiti. Second motion. May second motion naman talaga. So, 16 fouls. One team foul shy of penalty. Itong Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. At pinapaalala po namin, pre-season pa lang po ito. 50K, 30K, 20K. Yan po ang pinaglalabanan natin ngayong gabing ito. Finally, pumasok na yung two-point shot ni Frankie Johnson. Gab Banal. Gab falling away. Banal off the glass. And Jai Reyes. Muntik na maagawan yun. And... He is liking the way this, the team is playing. Two-point shot na ito. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Pinasok na yung stabilizer, Chico Lanete. Mm -hmm. Kailangan nila ng veterano ngayon eh. Kasi hindi pwedeng puro banat ka lang ng banat ngayon eh. Oh. Kailangan pa ba, ba? Kung huwag mababanat ka, baka pwede rin. That's so true. Bak bakit up with make made shots? Bakit up with the way that you play? Foul given up by Jai Reyes. Wala na siyang magawa doon. Nakasil sa ilalim. Itong si... Carl De Hesa chooks to go free throws para sa veteran player itong Uling Roasters Butuan and both teams in the penalty of course ang Butuan two free throws plus ball possession for every foul that they give up mm -hmm. a highly physical game Six ten. Apat ang lamang dito ng Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. 1GDL, what will he do this time? Step back, two-pointer. 1GDL scores again with a stare down. <laughs> I mean, you love the showmanship of this young man. Sama sa laro eh. Mapupunta dito kay Carl De Hesa. Off the glass with the left hand. That is good. Oop, teka muna. Foul given up by J.R. Labanza. I think it's a delay of game. No. Oh. Tinawag. Oh, walang foul doon, walang foul doon. Samantala, balikin natin itong step back, two-pointer ni 1GDL na hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Gabanal, drop pass to Sabelina. What a play. 13-7 now. But one badly in need of points right now, Martin. Exactly. Illegal pick. Ang tawag dito kay John Ray Alabanza. Technical foul ang itatawag dito kay J.R. Alabanza. Disgusted by the call. Kailing niya, di deserve. I love how Nueva Ecija responded with the physicality. Ito yung gusto mong nakikita. Yung, yung kung paano sila aalma. Dun sa uh, physical eh. Papadala ka ba? O maglalaro ka? Oh. Ginawa nila, dinaan nila sa laro. At nung kumagat yung laro, sumabay na rin ng konting tokis. Oh, And I think, gusto. alam mo, Martin, they're getting into the heads of Butuan City eh. Nakikita natin yun. Ito yung ating assist of the game. The drop pass cap banal to Maclean Sabelina waiting in the wings. Brought to you by TM para sa moments of Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Hindi dapat ma-fluster dito sa physical play ng Nueva Ecija itong Butuan City. Actually, yung Butuan nga ang naging nag- nag-initiate. Oh. Physical tayo. Hindi, hindi pwedeng pag uh, ikaw yung uh, magsisimula, ikaw yung mawawala ng pool. Alam ka, sanay kang lumalaro sa ganun. Kung kaya mong bumigay, kaya mo din kaya dapat tumanggap. tumanggap. Yun oh. na yung pinaka-importante. Bago ka bumigay, saan tatanggap ka muna? Oh. Yung pwedeng bigay ka lang ng bigay. Kaya babawi at babawi. <laughs> Didiin din yan sa'yo. Eh. Lalo sa 3x3. Oh, oh. Second chooks to go free throw from Carl De Hesa making both 15-9. Still never I see how on top. Ito yung si Gab Banal. Gab binigay kay Sabelina. Back to Gab Banal. Taking the two. Banal taking it all the way with the left hand. Here's Frankie for two. Pinakakapit. Si Gab Banal. Hard 
TM instant replay of Gab Banal finding that wide open hole sa gitna ng depensa ng uling roasters Butuan City. Luwag nung dinaanan, wakaling tinis. Lubo na lang sa rin. Napagod, kababangga itong Butuan eh. Punta natin eh, kasi simula sila yung nag-initiate. Pressure pack, free throws ni JR Alabanza. At ito sa inyo ng Chooks to go, ang nag-iisa, manok ng bayan. Max Sabelina, fall away. Gets one to go, pasok yan, plus the foul. Basket will count. Para kay Max Sabelina. Balikan natin dito kung ano yung nangyari na yun. Ano? That was a great move by Max Abilina. Samantala, free throws para kay Jai Reyes. Chooks to go, free throws. From the former King Eagle. Itong si Jai Reyes. All business today. Para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. They're on top by nine points. A two-point shot shy of closing out this win. Ito, mukhang game ball. Tignan natin. Ito, pressure pack free throws. Ito, balikan natin yung galaw na yun. Pagsakan. Frankie Johnson and Gabbanal on the floor. First free throw ni Gabbanal goes in. One more to seal the deal. Para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Pressure pack free throw for Gab Banal. There we go. Easy does it for Nueva Ecija in probably the most physical game we saw Martin Antonio in this preseason. Kung gano'ng kainit, perfect para sa roasted chicken, oven roasted Sarap. chicken. Gano'n na gano'n yung lang natin. Saktong-sakto yung init, may tamis, may anghang, yeah. asama sa laro. Na sobrang irian, parang harisa roast sa tamis ang hang. Ay, champion, ganun. champion. Di ba? Kahit walang sos. Well, this guy had the swag. Nakita naman natin. You know, this team had the control of their emotions. Kahit nakita natin matindi ang banggaan, matindi ang girian. They played with the swag, they played with the smile, and they have a 20-10 to 10 victory dito sa ating quarter-final round. Samantala, may isang player na talagang nagpakita ng control, ng poise, and overall offensive dominance para sa kapuna ng Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. And he is with Mara Aquino. Ang ating manok ng bayan player of the game, I see one GDL. Yes, Congratulations. Second time in a row, best player really, of the game. Now, Mara, we, we noticed a lot of things that happened yeah. in the first half of action. One thing is that it was a low-scoring game. How surprising was that for you? Well, it was a very physical game from the start, from the very beginning. So, you know, since the start, we just got to keep fighting. And, you know, every opponent, you know, we feel like it's, uh, it's a big challenge for us. So we just got to prove something that, you know, we really can, can compete at uh, such a high level. Right off the bat, there were a lot of exchanges. How challenging was it for you and your teammates to maintain your composure? It was very challenging, honestly. Uh, just, But, you know, we just stayed, uh, stayed composed, we stayed calm, and, you know, we just had the right mindset coming to the game. Congratulations once again thank on this you, win. You're moving on appreciate to the semis. Si Juan GD alang ating manok ng bayan player of the game. Nahatid sa nyo ng chucks to go. Ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Thank you, Mara. The most important thing na sinami doon, they stayed composed. And that, I think, was the biggest key in this victory para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Kasama eh. Kasama yung pagiging physical. You, if you want to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Yeah. Simpleng simple. Di ka pwedeng tumupi, di ka pwedeng tumiklop. And they played in control and they trusted what they can do. Samantala, susunod sa ating quarterfinal round. Sarangani Marlins taking on the family's brand sardines ng Zamboanga City, our powerhouse team. That's coming up in just a short while. Samantala, punta muna tayo kay Mike and Sudan from Center Court. Chicks to go, Pilipinas 3x3. This is the President's Cup powered by TM. The rest of the game, Sue, what's coming for them? Okay, okay, let's call out our next team. Sarangani Marlins, number four, Jose Escalambre. Number five, John Remundo. Number six, Marvin Hayes. And number 11, Paul Sanga. 
Representing some Bronco families, brand sardines, wearing number five, Leonard Santilan. Number six, Alvin Pasaol. Number seven, Troy Wright. Number eight, Joshua Munzon. Sarangani versus Mbanga. Chicks to go, Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. This is your quarterfinals. What else is remaining? All right, so soon as I think quarterfinal round, the top team starting 2020 season, the family's brand Sardines and Zamboanga City taking on the Wiley team ng Sarangani Marlins composed of so many veterans nakatikim na ng unang pagkatalo Martin etong Zamboanga City the big question here is how will that affect their psyche how will that affect their confidence coming into this quarter final game na dali kanina na isahan ng Bicol uh -oh. pero sa kahit na anong liga pagpag mo lang lalong lalo na rito sa Chokes to Go 3x3 dahil lagi kang may pagkakataon bumawi Kailangan mo lang dumiin ng dumiin. Alam niyo po yung katagang bilog ang bola. That applies so much more dito sa kapag sa oh, oh, oh. to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup. Wala pong team dito na mahina o malakas. Lahat po yan malakas. It's only a matter of execution and Troy Reich shows us how he executes underneath to give Zamboanga their first point in this game. Saka mabigat agad dito yung matchup. Nilagay nila si uh, Josh Munzon. Dito kay Pamboy Raimundo. Si Pamboy ang crucial dito sa Sarangani Marlins. Two-pointer there. Medyo pilit yun. They go inside. Santi Santillan is fouled by Marvin Hayes. So, nakikita natin yung difference ngayon. Gano'n ka pulido itinatakbo ng Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines ang kanilang opensa. Nakita niyo yung undergo stab. Ang bagong kulay na buhok na si Leonard Santillan. Sure ball. Mm -hmm. Si Safi legend si uh, Santillan. Oo, oh, MVP yan. Dalawa yata, tatlo. Tatlo? Oo. Oh. Playground oh. legend yan. Samantala, Lapa Troy na. Reich is fouled and one play for the Pancit Canton Eating Natives of San Francisco, California. Huwag mo kalimutan, BTS member, <laughs> ARMY member yan, ARMY yan. First Troy Reich, gusto gusto natin na makita yung development niya, taking the contact, the physicality, as much as his size and shooting dictates, but it's his physicality underneath. That would be the key for our Olympic medal hopes. Also played for Gilas Pilipinas national team. As another end one play goes para dito sa Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. This time, Joshua Munzon showing us how it's done. The athleticism of the number one 3x3 player in the country in showcase today. Completes the end one play. Five to nothing para sa Zamboanga. Paul Sanga faking his defender off. Ang swabe tignan ng galaw ni Paul Sanga. Sing swabe ng hairdo niya. Samantala, Mara Aquino has something for us from courtside. Mara. Pagkatapos ang pagkatalo ng Zamboanga kanina, lahat tahimik pero yung pinaka-vocal itong si Joshua Munson. Hindi lang daw dapat basta-basta yung umpisa ang solusyon daw para makuha yung panalo. Walang iba kundi unahan agad at huwag mag-relax. Hindi daw dapat maulit yung bad start nila at sila mismo dapat ang mag-set ng tempo. Ayan na nga, pinapakita niya ang kanilang usapan kanina, Martin Martin. He's the emotional leader of the squad, of course. Joshua Munson saying, alam niya kung gano'n sila kagaling eh. Ipakita na lang nila. Parang yun ang gusto niya parating. At yun yung kagandahan din dito. Na yung best player natin as a country is our emotional leader. Tama kung gano'n kalayo yung two-pointer na yun. And a big block by Alvin Pasaol. The ball goes back to Joshua Munzon. They go inside. Santillan falling away. Patented teardrop. Wala. Still a five-point lead for Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. Hayes with a rare three. Pasaol gustong bawin. Yes, sir. Benga por benga. Ito yung Zamboanga team na sanay tayong mapanood. Oo, oh, oh. nagising eh. Nakalabit. Kamantala, oy, eto na. 
Tanga getting that one. Samantala Pasaol bodying his way in against a mismatch on Pamboy Raimundo. In ka. In ka yun. In ka sa ilalim. In ka. Sanga outside. Ooh, overshoots. Two-point shot na ito from Paul Sanga. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Diretsong diretso. Kasado at sigurado. Paul Sanga. Another two for Joshua Munzon. Wala. Sanga with the rebound. Here's Escalambre for two. Wala. Walang second chance shots. Parehong upunan. Ganda ng rebounds. Saka natatrack nila ng maganda ang bola. The box out is really there. Oh, great pass from Troy. From Joshua to Troy. An N1 play. That deserves a replay, Martin Antonio. We have to see that again. And this is the emotion that we want from Troy Wright. Behind the back curl pass. Exhibition pass. From Joshua Munzon, atin po sa inyo ng TM para sa moments of Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Kung bagay, yung metro ng statistical points na nakukuha dito ni Joshua Munzon. Dere-derecho ang pag-ikot, tumatakbo, pakagandang pasa. 11-6. Hayes. Gustong wasiwas ang depensa ni Troy Reich and succeed scoring one there. Pasaol takes a two-pointer, yes! Mahinit na. Mahinit na, mahinit na. Ito si Alvin Pasaol. Uh, goes to say, they've shaken off the cobwebs offensively here. Marvin Hayes bubbles. And mananatili dito. Sa Sarangani Marlins in possession. Less than seven minutes left to play sa ating ball game. Ang ating TM two-point shot. Mula kay Alvin Pasaol. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments of Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Ganda ng mga galawan na ito ni Pasaol. Parang all net 30. <laughs> Pwede pang tawag, merong pang Facebook, merong... Malamang yun ang gamit mo, no? Yun ang gamit Sabi ko. Sabi ko na eh. Sabi ko na, kabisado mo eh. Siyempre. Numero natin yan eh. Samantala, magta-timeout muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection, connecting good food to every Filipino household. Yan pinag-uusapan dito as we we'll take a look at the Sarangani Marlins. And masarap din tingnan itong huddle, itong family's brand, Sardines. Dahil you can feel how pumped up they are. You can feel the confidence. And remember, they're coming off a loss. Nagising eh. Oh. Nagising, nakakalabit. Parang, uy, di tayo pwede pumetik-petik dito kasi nakadiin sila pag tayo kalaban. Munzon, hinanap si Pasaol. Monte ka na. Pasaol goes baseline. Pasa sa ligod, then a foul. On Escalambre. Panglimang team foul na ng Sarangani Marlins. Isang team foul pa lang. Controlled defense by the Zamboanga team, our top team. Love inside Troy Reich. Excellent seal in position from the big man. Good move by Troy Reich. Slipping before the contact. So that's an easy basket for him. Pamboy Raimundo, momentarily left open. And he gets it to go for two. Humalug ba? Pero nahulog para dito kay Pamboy Raimundo. Joshua Munzon for two. Wala. Rebound by Pamboy. Biniligay Escalambre. Back to Pamboy. Great defense by the Green Shirts. Pamboy off the glass. Apat na lang dito ang lamang ng Zamboanga. Lumalaban dito ang Sarangani Marlins. Munzon taking on the entire Sarangani Marlins team. Nagpapahingayin muna dito si Troy Reich as we take a look at this difficult move. But you can see the overall athleticism nito si Joshua Munzon. Still able to throw a shot up kahit napabagsak na. And the skill level of this guy, lahat ng ginagawa niyang galaw, swabe. Swabe, smooth. It looks smooth, very, very good to look at. And he finishes shots. And he gets the offensive board. Here's Pasaol. There's a kick out. Look at the recognition between this, the players of this team. Joshua Munzon with another offensive board. That's his second in this possession. Marvin Hayes, Pamboy Raimundo faking the two. Raimundo off the glass. Same shot, same result. Bukas ang banda para kay Pamboy ngayong gabi. Oh no, ay pinabayaan nyo naman. Ito si Alvin Pasaol. Pangatlong dos para dito kay Alvin Pasaol. Pamboy. Drop pass. Napunta dito kay Escalambre. Escalambre. Mid-range. No. Agawan sa bola. Kanina mapupunta. 
Sabi ni Alvin Pasol, sinipa daw. But, I think they say it's white ball. Oh, tumama daw sa paa ni Alvin. Oh. Sa kanya daw huli kumarambola yung bola. Fifty thousand pesos at stake. In announcement, upon the boss Ronald Mascarenas, whoever wins, starting grand finals, thirty thousand for the second place, twenty thousand for the third placer, and this is only our preseason. Oh, Marvin Hayes, bagsak dito, but that will go in. Duot sa ilalim, Marvin Hayes. Troy Reich, susubok ng dos. Yes, sir, he has that in his arsenal. A Troy Reich, swabbing, swabbing, inside out scoring. Tamboy. Here's Joshua Munzon. Nako pinabayaan. That's what happens if you let him go. Escalambre for two. Yes, naibawi niya yun. Lead is still six. For the win. Yes, sir. Joshua Munzon with three fingers up, pumping his fist. Getting. A well-deserved win for the Zambuanga family's brand sardines. Overall dominance by the top team starting 2020 season. Our TM two-point shot to seal the game. Hatid po sa inyo ng TM at ni Joshua Munzon. What a game this was. And you can see the composure coming from a loss, Martin. Ganito ilalaro nyo, matindi pinakita. And pinpoint accuracy on the way that they executed and the way that they went with the flow of their offense and the hustle points on defense. And there was one player sa kupuna nila who showed overall dominance in almost every department, offensive and defensive, plus exceptional hustle na pinakita din. And he is with Mara Aquino. Manok ng Bayan player of the game, Troy Reich. Troy, congratulations. Now, one thing that you guys weren't particularly happy about with your last game in the elimination round was the way you started. What changed in the way you started in this first half of action? Yeah, I mean, there's there's no way you can go around it. We did not have the right intensity, the right mindset, the right energy in the last game. And we just, you know, we're a team. We're holding each other accountable. We all just said coming into this game, it cannot be a lack of effort. We'll all make mistakes. You know, someone could score, but we were not going to let anyone outwork us in this game. We just had to set the tone again. So you were defeated on the elimination round, but this time it was a different aura when you came in. You were more composed, yeah. you were more relaxed. At the same time, you were still aggressive. What do you think contributed to that? I mean, just just knowing who we are, knowing we have to step it up. We hold ourselves to a high standard. You know, I, I, I'm not the first one to say it. We, we have all the talent in the world, and if we play hard, you know, these other teams are good. They're going to give us a good shot, but we just feel like we're hard to beat. If we're all locked in, we play together, and we give all the energy we can. Congratulations. You're heading to the semi. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great job. Troy Roy, ang ating Manok ng Bayan player of the game. Hatid sa nyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag Manok ng Bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Thank you, Mara. You know, it wouldn't take much para ibalik sa winning form. Itong kupunan like Zambuanga, you know, with all the talent, as Troy Reich said, konting adjustment lang yan, maibabalik nyo rin yung form. Kung baga, konting pokpok lang. And dyan na yan. Pero kailangan nga, as Troy said, needs to be consistent. They need to be consistent for them to win this trip. Pag po kayong bibitaw dahil susunod po, semi-final round na ng ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by DM sa aming pagbabalik. Unang alis, magbabalik ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown out! May lamo! Ine! Kaming pahala sa fun! Basta may doble data, doble ang fun! With TM Easy Sir 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang internet, may 3 gig pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we sing! Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! 142, 143, 140. Ay, sino kinukulit mo? Hi, Ita. Doble ang fun sa doble data ng TM Easy Surf 50. Doble ang fun with TM Easy Surf 50. Doble data. Dinoble na ang pang internet. May 3 gig pa. Fun na lip. Sa favorite mong app. 143, 140. Ay, sino kinukulit nyo? Mag TM Easy Surf 50. Doble data na. Ako si Juan Gomez Dalyano from Quezon City, 
naglaro sa University of the Philippines at maglalaro para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. I started playing basketball at a very young age. My father took my brothers and I out to the court. So before we used to live in the backyard, we had a basketball court. Yun. So I guess it started from there, we just kept on grinding. But my favorite basketball player, I have two actually. I look up to James Harden and Devin Booker. But, you know, just their leadership, their approach to you know, every game, their mindset, mentality, and also you know, their impact on and off the court. My signature basketball move would probably be the step back to a pull-up jump shot. Because you, know, you create a lot of space for you know, a wide open shot. My favorite food, marami. Uh, siguro, I love eating sinigang, chicken and dobo, ulalo, and you know, especially sisig. Happy fiesta! <laughs> the biggest crush would probably be uh, Zendaya. Just her personality, and she looks so, you know, gorgeous and all that. My favorite song, I think my go-to would probably be Grease by Drake. Sample, sample, two lines. Uh, come with me. Cut, 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 cut. When lyrics in? Come with me. Leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Panoorin niyo ako at ang Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Ryan Monteclaro mula sa Butuan City, naglaro sa Adamson University at maglalaro para sa Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung tatlong taon gulang pa lang ako. Yung tatay ko, dati din manlalaro. Then sa kanya ako talaga nainganyo at natuto. Ang pabawit akong basketball player ay si Damian Lillard. Siya yung ginagaya ko ngayon, small but terrible type ng player. Ang signature basketball move ko ay step back three pointer dahil nagpanala sa akin yun sa madaming liga. Favorite food ko, hipon dahil uh, lumaki ako sa Mindanao, pabas hipon yung pagkain. Biggest crush ko ay si Jesse Menjola kasi unang-una malaanghil yung itsura niya. Patay tayo dyan. <laughs> Sasabihin ko sana yung piyansin ko. Oh no! Ang pabalito kong kanta ay Wherever You Will Go ng The Calling dahil um, yung parents ko nawala sila kahit saan sila magpunta ah, nasa puso sila I'll go wherever you will go Panoorin nyo ako at ang Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM Miss nyo na ba ang Adobo Connection? Sagot namin kayo! Dahil available na ang Adobo Connection bestsellers sa 7-Eleven. Bili na ng inyong paboritong Adobo Flakes, Samgyupsal, Roast Chicken Adobo, Beef Tapa, Pepper Beef, Bacon Bagnet, Classic Pork Sisig, Lumpiang Shanghai, Jack Daniels Chops, at Teriyaki Chops in frozen take-home packs. Just thaw, place in a microwavable container, and heat for one to two minutes. Hatid sa inyo ng Adobo Connection. Our boys are ready to enter the court. Let's get it, mga manok ng bayan. The Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Doble ang fun with TM Easy Surf 50. Doble data. Doble na ang internet. My 3 gig pa. Fun na live sa favorite mo. 143? 140? Sino kinukulit nyo? Mag TM Easy Surf 50. Doble data na. Ako si Makli Sabilina from Cagayan de Oro City. Naglaro sa STI College at maglalaro para sa Palayan City. Simula ako mag-basketball nung ano, kasama-kasama ko yung tatay ko. Nung high school ako, ayun, na nakailiga ko na mag-basketball. Ang favorito kong basketball player si Michael Jordan. Ang signature move ko ay yung ano, hook shot. Kasi nung bata ako, yun yung pinapractice ko simula nung naglalaro-laro ako sa barangay na ako. Ang favorito yung pagkain ko ay yung ano, sinigang na paksiwa. What? Oh. 
Ah, syempre, ang gigish crush ko yung girlfriend ko. Kasi yun yung inspirasyon ko eh. <laughs> Pwede na ba yun? Puro <laughs> ito kong song na iaalay sa girlfriend ko, yung Binibining Marikit. Kasi siya ang pinaka-binibining marikit sa buhay ko. How <laughs> sweet! Ikaw ang binibini, naninanais ko. Tama na yun. <laughs> Panoorin nyo ako at ang Palayan City sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa, ang Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go, Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Jin Humawas from Sambuanga City, naglaro sa University of the East at maglalaro para sa Sambuanga Valientes. Nagsimula ako maglaro ng basketball noong siguro mga 7 ako. Kasi yung sports ko dati, taekwondo. Na-inspire ako sa kuya ko. Sumunod ako sa kanila, sa mga payo nila at naglaro ako ng basketball. Ang paborito kong basketball player ay si Kobe Bryant. Kasi wala naman mas magaling ba kay Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Ang paborito kong pagkain ay spaghetti. Kasi yan yung niluluto ng nanay ko <laughs> kada birthday ko. Pero syempre at saka yung chukso ko. Oh yeah! Biggest crush ko ay ang asawa ko. At saka si Nadine Lustre. Para sila magaganda. <laughs> Favorite song ko ay Kwando. Ah, kanta to ng Shabakano. At eto, paano to kantahin? Kwando, Kwando contesta, Tumiyota resa. Kwando, Kwando. Panoorin niyo ako at ang Sambuanga Valientes sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Kinaronahan na ang bagong lasa na magahari sa Uling Roasters. Ang Real Lechon Manok. Ang Lechon Manok na ito ay may tamis ng sweet soy at kaunting asim ng kalamansi. Mas pinasarap ito ng ating secret and special sauce na pinaghalo ang linamnam ng garlic. Honey. At hint of chili. Tiyak na mapapa, Your Highness kasasarap! Just to go, Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. About to announce the team, Sudan Daniel. Calling on our first team representing for to kick things off for our semifinals, rather. Pasig, Santa Lucia Realtors, number four, Felix Apreku Jr. Number seven, Jax Bautista. Number nine, Jexter Apinan. And number 11, Cedric Ablaza. Representing your team, Bacolod, wearing number four, Antonio Rafael Asiscio. Number six, Chris Lalata. Number seven, Jewel Ashley Choi Ignacio. Number eight, Alfred Ryan Batino. And number nine, Robin Ronyo. That's your Bacolod Master Sardines. It's Pasig versus Bacolod for your semifinals of your President's Cup here at Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 Professional League. Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors taking on the Bacolod Master Sardines sa ating unang game ng semifinal round ng Indian Chicks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 basketball league sa kasaysayan ng Philippine sports. Mark Zambrano po with Martin Antonio mula po sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy sa Kalamba, Laguna. We're down to our final three games, Martin. And kung pagbabasihan natin yung matinding action na napanood natin, we can expect more action, more physicality, and more showcase of individual talent that we can see. Pihado. Ito na ang money rounds, kung baga. Kaya, importante, pinakamahalaga, dumiin ka na. Sinabi na po ni ating, ng ating boss, si Boss Ronald Mascarinas, that the champion for this preseason will get 50,000 pesos 
and 30 and 20 respectively for the second and third placer. At merong pinaglalabanan na pong money game. Kumbaga, itong mga kapuna natin as Ronyo, bothered by the defense of Bautista. Lalata is fouled by Felix Apreco, who was their player of the game in their last quarterfinal matchup. Ito yung huling galaw ni Cedric Ablasa. Preno, pihit pabalik. Soft touch. Sabay fall away, no? No. Swabing swabe. Shooks to go free throws para kay Lalata. Short. Saka yun yung mga DE na nalaro. Pag uh, tatluhan, yung money game. Ako. Kahit 20 per ulo. Oh, hindi ba yun yan? 50 mil. Saan mo pupulutin na yun yun? Talaga yan. Pandemia. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Ang halaga ng pera ngayon, triple eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Dito ka sa Kalamba Ball. <laughs> yan. <laughs> So, Antala Lalata sinks a one-pointer there to tie the ball game up. Possession ngayon na kay Bautista. Jap Sumagasa with the right hand. The in. Sinungalngal talaga sa depensa yung atake na yun. Soft touch naman para kay Batino. Wala yan. Rebound Lalata. The put back underneath. Long arms of the law para kay Lalata. Here's Apreku. Medyo pinilit ni Apreku yung tira na yun. Here's Ronyo. Pinalik kay Batino. Batino off the glass. Wala yan. Yung mga point blank na ganun. Kailangan ay pasok mo oh, na yun. Oh. Eh. At saka pag nanalo ka dito, 50 o 30 na yung uuwi mo. Sarap, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, yun. And a foul on Robin Ronyo. On that teardrop by Jeff Bautista. Samantala, Mara has something for us from courtside. Mara. Itong si Jexter pinan nakaramdam ng sakit sa kanyang kanang tuhod. Pagkatapos ng first game, bigla na lang daw sumakit pag tumatayo at naglalakad nung pinacheck siya sa PT yung initial diagnosis. Tight ITV at tight hamstring yung muscle sa likod ng ating binte. Medyo delikado maglaro kapag may tight ITV dahil nagiging unstable yung ating kneecap at may constant pain. Kaya kanina nag-eye siya pero talagang hindi daw siya pwedeng maglaro at kailangan ipahinga. Mamaya pagkatapos ng ating tournament, ipapacheck niya to ulit. Mark and Martin. Kimara, alam mo Martin, naalala mo nung nag-meeting tayo doon sa May Canteen Oo. at nakita natin na naglalakad from, from hirap, practice. Hirap maglakad. Saka naka-yelo yung, yung tuhod na yun. So that could have been worse than no isa. Well, we hope that uh, Jexter is able to play. He suited up dahil kailangan-kailangan siya dito ng pasig sa Talosiri Altors. Elotobial Band Friction Syndrome. Yan ang tawag dyan. May kiss-kiss. Wear and turn na rin siguro dahil... Oo, oh, uh, mataas-taas na rin ang milyahin na ito. Oh. Jexter, nagkaabot pa kami nito sa kolehiyo. Ito, balikan natin yung galaw na yun. It's Cedric Ablasa who is becoming who is becoming an offensive option dito. And why not? Para sa Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. They're up by two. Drop pass inside. A foul on Japs Bautista. Good seal job para kay Batino to get that baseline open for the layup. So free throws dito para kay Ryan Batino. Pasalamatan din natin. Talaga yung mga sumusuporta sa atin dito sa Chooks to Go. Ibang klase. Pressure pack, free throws from Batino. At it's sa inyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Here's Ronyo, taking the two. Ronyo, sumagasa! Yes, sir! Ay, sa iyo eh. Batang Las Piñas yan. Hindi yan papahuli. Talagang DD yan. Walang ititira bawat laro. Here's a Blasa. Tight defense by the yellow shirts. Bautista, drop pass. A Preku, will he beat the shot clock? Yes, he will. That will count. Specialty of the house. Pe Itong si Felix Apreku doon sa dunker spot sa ilalim. Samantala, baseline attack ni Anton Asistio as we take a look at this assist of the game. Bautista to Apreku hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy do it with TM. Suway ako niyan, yung mga assist ng TM. Utang load. Pagkakailangan na kailangan mo mag-text, abusan ka ng load. Meron ka ba talagang kinukuhanan? Meron! Wala akong load, pakipasa. Walang ganun, may utang load na utang sa SIM card. Ah, yung oh, built oh. sa kanila. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Sipin mo, sa, sa kanila na lang makukuha yun. Star sa sign, 143. Oh. Number sign, nandiyo dyan yan. Here's a preku. Drop pass, Bautista, fakes and score. Tabla tayo, 8-all. May tulak itong si Cedric Ablasa. 
Sabi ni Cedric, pinitikko lang naman ang fingertips ko. Lang, kinalabit lang. Pero yun nga eh, benefit of the call. Yan yung kinakausap ko yung mga referees kanina about it. Pag may mas malaki ba, tas pwestuhan. Oh. Nakita nyo may excessive na ginawa. Talagang kadalasan, papaburo sa mas magaan. Si Ida makatakas naman. Oh. Si Robin Ronyo nakatakas. Oh, great block by Batino on that preco attack. Ronyo for two. Wala. Nilabas muna kay Jobs Bautista na adulas and he loses the ball. Assist you for two. No. One point lead para sa Bacolod Master Sardines. Cedric Ablaza. Ablaza spinning. Walang mapuntahan. Tries to force the issue. Pasa yun. Uy, binato na lang. Teka muna. Sharp eyes by our officials. Oh. I mean, for the, the, the whole preseason tournament, Ang ganda ng mga tawagan natin. That is so ang true. Ang ganda ng mga tawag. Yan. Ito naman ang solid na supalpal ni Batino. O na preko. Hatid sa inyo ng uling roasters. Sumo mo sa sarap. Pasensya na. And another block. This time by Cedric Ablaza. Hindi niya sila close. <laughs> Huling-huli sa taas. Basang-basa ni Ablaza yung galaw na yun. Ito, balikan natin. Lalata. Tries to go inside. Pero hinabol galing sa likod ni Cedric. Tsaka hindi malambot yung pag-angat ni Lalata. Hinabol lang talaga ni Ablaza. Hindi pa rin gumagalaw ang ating score in the last minute. Here's Ablaza for two. Wala. A preco with the offensive board and the putback. Big shoes to fill offensively. Ronyo for two. Lalata putback. Foul on a preco. Nakabagay si Chris Lalata dito sa dalawa niyang kasabay. Kasi siya lang yung nasa ilalim eh. So, mapipilitan talaga yung isa na tauhin siya kasi kukuha at kukuha ng offensive rebound. Reminds me of a very young Mark Borboran. Nalala mo? Mm, Oo. Oh. Ganyan-ganyan si Mark Borboran. Ah, so, yun. wakali eh. Oo, oh, yun lang. Wakali. Mark Borboran, JR, yun? O nag, nung nag-UI na? Oh, nung nag-UI na. Nung nag-UI na. Nung nag-UI na. Oh. Yeah, sa JR, yun. Gunner din yun. Ah, so, biglang, eh. biglang lumaki eh. Naging shooter eh. Nag-evolve yung game niya. Oo. Oh. Bautista drop pass. Apreku getting the contact. Wala. Apreku will get it back. Shot clock. Ayun yung sinasabi nating experience. Ano? 12 seconds only ang shot clock ng 3x3. Here's the lata outside. Ronyo faking. Step back to Cedric Ablasa with the rebound. Tabla pa rin tayo. 9 all. Ablaza will try to body himself up. Uy, lipad. Ito si Anton Asistio. And clearly, alam mong nanggigil siya. Exactly. Pag nakakakita ang big guy na mas maliit, talagang gusto mong araruhin. Lalo na pag nag-i-initiate ng contact yung smaller defender. Oh. Ang tapang rin ito si Anton Asistio. Hindi ka naman kalakihan. Pero the way he's sacrificing his body for the Bacolod Master Sardines is just unbelievable. Samantala, magta-time out muna tayo kasama ang Adobo Connection, connecting good food to every Filipino household. Alam mo, Mark, may mga player na gustong manalo, pero yung mga player na gustong-gustong manalo, isasakripisyo Ito yung yun. sarili nila. Tulad nito, si Anton Asisyo, pang ilang beses na niya nag-compete dito. Dati sa Bataan naglaro to, dito sa ating Chokes to Go 3x3. Ngayon, nandito na sa Bacolod. Talagang fighter eh. Look at that pass for Anton Asisyo. Great cut baseline. And Bacolod takes the lead, one point. Biglang binawi naman dito ni Japs Bautista. And teka muna. A whistle called here. Stop the play. Ito yung magandang bounce pass for the cutting Anton Asistio. Great communication here from the Bacolod Master Sardines. Asistio for two. There he is again. Kumbaga, nakamarka na yan eh. Nasa calling card yan, nakaganon yung kamay. Sure ball eh. Sure ball. A preco. Sinubukan ng depensa ni Anton Asistio. And a foul given up on Asistio. Samantala, ang two-point shot from Anton Asistio. Hatid sa inyo ng TM. Para sa moments na Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Batsyang-batsya. Swak na swak. Parang doble laki ng ring kay Anton Asistio. Samantala, ito, another two-point attempt by Ablasa. Will not go. Ronyo this time for two. Wala. Ablaza, ito na yun si Japs. Apreku, munti ka na mawala, binigay kay Ablaza. Cedric with the right hand, masyadong malakas. Wala yung layup, nandun na, hindi no. na kumapit. 
The possession will stay with the uh, Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Or rather, no, no, Bacolod Master Sardines, correct me on that. Here's Patino. Drop pass inside, foul, will that count? No, count? No. Asa baba. Humihingi ng continuation, ito sila lata. Great officiating by our referees niya. Nag-edit, nag-bong, mga international referees natin nandito. Ganyan katindi ang preparation natin. Papunta dyan sa Olympic qualifiers. Pressure pack, free throws for Lalata. Hatid sa inyo ng chooks to go. Ang nag-iisa, manok ng bayan. Meron tayong standard kasi Martin dito sa ating chooks to go Pilipinas 3x3. We are a FIBA endorsed tournament. Oo. At saka ito yung nakakatulong sa ating world rankings. The moment na naging pro tayo nitong July, ang laking bagay niyan towards our Olympic dreams dito sa 3x3. And we know that we will realize that eventually. Madami nang tumutulong sa atin. Ronyo missing on the two. Look at that big rebound. A little bit of dunk by Lalata. Muntik na. Samantala, Jax Bautista for two. Wala. Lalata with the rebound. Hinihingi ni Batino. Will he go for three? Go for two rather. No, Batino takes it strong inside. Wala. Lima na dito ang lamang ng Bacolod. Here's Cedric. Wala. Kicks it outside. Chaps thought about it. Bautista slicing. Still nothing. Patino with the rebound. San pupunta si Ronyo? Step back. Two ang layo. Galing sa S-Lex yung two-pointer na yun. Samantala, Ablasa. Shows him how it's done with the two-pointer. Stay safe tong lamang na to. Apat lang to. Dalawang dos lang to. Pero binigyan nila sila lata ng open space. Buti na lang hindi pumasok. Here's Patino. Charging through. Will not get the lucky bounce. But he will go to the line. Para sa Bacolod. Master Sardines. Deceptive yung court sense na ito. Ni Ryan Patino. Always at the right place at the right time. That was the two-pointer mula kay Cedric Ablasa. First chokes to go free throw para kay Batino. Missing the second. And Apreku with the rebound. Apreku. Hindi pa kay Clear. Sa tatluan sa Inter Barangay, outside the shaded area. Pero... Dahil pang Olympics tayo, doon na tayo sa 3-point area dapat lalabas. Oh, oh, oh. Nakalimutan ni Felix. Nakalimutan na. Konti lang, bagyang-bagya. Kaya nga tayo may pre-season oh. tournament. Antonio Sischo, over to Lalata. Gusto niya mag-dos. Mintis yung tira na yan. Rebound by Ablaza. Here's Apreku. Apreku, taking advantage of that mismatch against Antonio Sischo. Anton, thought about it. Nilabas muna. Three-point lead na lang dito ang hawak ng Bacolod. They need us a shot here. Batino with a putback. He said, I want that pity G's. I'm trying to be rich like Anton. Apat na putos lang ang hawak dito ng Bacolod Master Sardines. Ablaza. Slicing, semi-hook, wala. Apreku with the offensive board. Apreku, Bino, tata sa likod. Nilalata. Asistyo for two. Big shot by Anton Asistyo. Plus the foul. Sabi nga nung tatay ko na si Coach Vicky Casano, ayaw matalo. Ay na anong mangyari. Laban eh, laban. Kailangan mo ng fighter sa team eh. Kailangan mo talaga yung ganyan. There's a TM two-point shot. Mula kay... Anton Asistyo hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Kami yung salitang kalye na angas, ayaw matalo eh. Kasi may angas eh. Huwag oh. muna ka rito sa amin, hindi kami pwede matalo. Dadayo kayo eh. Makes the most of his free throws and closes out the game just like that. Simpleng simple. Hindi kailangan artihan pa. As Bacolod closes it out, 21-13 to 13 against the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Thanks to the heroics of Anton Asistio, this entire preseason, Martin, yung kanyang gunning has been on cue. Siguradong sigurado, masayang masaya. Sila mamanita ka, junjun ka at ang buong 
family, uh, family friend, Master Sardines family na isa sa biggest supporters din ng Chokesugo 3x3. Pinapanood pa lang natin itong si Antonio Sisjo in the practices. You can see that he is a man on a mission, especially offensively para sa kanyang kupunan. And he is with para Aquino. Ang ating manok ng Bayan Player of the Game, Anton Asisto, congratulations! You were throwing your body, getting your shots in, and even though you're sitting down earlier, you were still very vocal talking to your team. It doesn't look like you're taking it easy at all during this preseason. Yeah, yeah, we're not. I know it's the preseason, but we're here for only a couple of weeks, so we want to give it our best and we want to play our hardest. Now, you're heading to the finals. If you could choose, between Nueva Ecija or the powerhouse Zamboanga team, tried and tested, which one would you prefer to face? Any, it doesn't matter. Um, I think they're both good teams, they're great teams actually, and it'll be a good challenge for us. Very humble answer, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Heading to the finals. Si Anton Asisto ang ating player of the game hatid sa nyo ng Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Angas baka mo, Martin Antonio. Kahit sino, tatapatan nila, sabi ni Antonio Sisco. 30 o 50, yun na lang ang usapan. Maganda ang pinakita ng kanilang kupunan, especially in the semis. Things are getting very interesting. Offensively and defensively, our next semifinals matchup, Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards taking on the Zambanga City Family's brand Sardines. And we turn it over to Mike and Sudan. Welcome back, guys, to the Chooks to Go 3x3 Filipinas President's Cup. For sure. Powered, Powered by, by TM. TM. And we're going to finish one of the last games of our semifinals. And I would like to call on the team representing Nueva Sia Rice, betting guard number three, Jai Reyes. Number five, Matt Sabellani. Number seven, Gad Banal. Number nine, Juan Gomez Deliano. And number 11, Luis Gonzaga. <laughs> Representing your Zambanga family brand, Sardines. Number five, Leo Santelar. Number six, Alvin Pasao. Number seven, Troy Wright. And number eight, Joshua Munzon. Oh, yeah. Semi finals time. Nueva Ecija versus Zamboanga. Chicks to go, Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. Wow, we're getting close. Two more games. Two more games. Who's waiting for these two? Who's waiting? Here, Rice Vanguards masusubukan dito against a top team in our roster of teams, Family Brands or Dean Zamboanga City sa pagpapatuloy ng ating semifinals of your Chuxago Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM preseason games mula po dito sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy sa NU Campus in Calamba, Laguna. Mark Zambrano po ang inyong lingkod. Kasama si Martin Antonio. Eto na. Bakbaka na. And when you saw those two teams enter, Martin, alam ko sabay tayo, nanindig ang balahibo. Oo, oh, napatango ako. Kumbaga, oh. ito yung defending champion. Yung mga bagito na pumasok sa pangbakbaka na semifinals, kakatok, susubukan kuhanin yung kanilang trono. Zambanga, of course, coming off a great win together, of course, with Nueva Ecija also coming off a great win against Butuan City earlier. It was a mental game and let's see how they can perform here. Here's one GDL over Troy Reich for two. He's showing what he is made of. One GDL. Munzon, pinaawi naman agad. Ah, dito, nakatiin tong dalawang mama na to. Here's Gonzaga going baseline. Scoop shot, what a shot for Gonzaga. Pitpitan to, Mark. Hindi pwede magmintis ah. Wala nagmimintis oh. Munzon for two. One point lead for Zamboanga, 4-3. One GDL goes inside. Sabelina missing. That's the first miss of the game. Sabelina nakakuha pa dito. Gonzaga takes a two. In and out. And look at McLean Sabelina cleaning up the boards here. 
Grabe ang hustle ng Nueva Ecija. Uy, bagsak dito yung dalawa. No look pass to Sabelina. Wala pa rin. Put back. Wala pa rin. Isa pa. Kumuha ng stats. Double-double. <laughs> Double-double. Sabi sa Kagende Oro. Double-double. Double-double. What a start to this ball game, Martin Antonio. Wala. Walang first round, first round. Bato agad. Two-point shot na ito. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. First two-point shot by Joshua Munzon. Di man lang tumama. But he gets it right back over to Alvin Pasaol. Oy! Nilawa. Sorry, miss! Para may takip yung ring dito. And a quick foul. Binigay dito ni Joshua Munzon on the curling 1GDL. Kitang-kita, you know, yung licks ni, ni uh, Juan Gomez de Liano. Paborin sa kanya itong tatluhan eh. Juan GDL goes for two. Wala yan. Rebound by Santillan. Here's Troy Reich. Who was the best player in the last game. Over to Pasaol. Alvin spins. Alvin with the right hand. Bintis pa rin. Pasaol, kumuha pa ng contact. <laughs> Gusto magpahaw ng extra rice eh. <laughs> Pwede nang itira eh. Pero Alvin being Alvin, this is exactly how he wants it done. Get some contact, possibly get an end one play. Yan ang laro ni Alvin pa sa all. Alam mo, sa dami ng dinilihensya niyan sa Dabao, nung naglalaro sa commercial league nun, kilalang kilala natin yan sa ganyan. Money game! Hindi pa sa all yan. Hindi pa pa tal, hindi pa pahuli yan. One point lead for Zamboanga. Here's 1GDL. Look at that layup by 1GDL. Smooth. Nanka. Ophan. Nanka. I go on the rebound. Kanina mga pupunta sa Bilina. Gets it back. 1GDL for two naman. Medyo paling sa kanan. Grabe hassle dito ng Nueva Ecija. Talagang wala kang tulak kabigin. Gusto nilang kunin yung mga offensive rebound. PM instant replay of that beautiful move to the basket by Juan Gomez de Leano. Deadlock, five apiece. Munzon, great defense by Nueva Ecija on Joshua Munzon. Tawag dun sa Plaza Hugo, kinukuliglig. Kinukuliglig. Yung, oh, yung may hawak ng bola, talagang nakaharap. Eh, kilala natin, markado-markado. Number one player in the country when it comes to 3x3. Itong si Joshua Munzon, kaya talagang uh, like a vice grip yung defense sa kanya. And he expects that kind of defense sa kanya. And the fact that he's able to respond offensively sa gitna ng ganong klaseng depensa tells us how great of a player this guy is and why he's number one sa ating 3x3 rankings locally. Here's Munzon challenging two defenders. Trying to bait for the foul. Mananatili sa green shirts na family's brand sardines in possession but only two seconds left to shoot. Step back, Munzon. Monty, come pa. And Pasaol gets it back. Alvin fakes. Pasaol. Wala pa rin. Agawin sa rebound. Gabanal gets it back. Last ng katawan. Tumatalbog sa kanyo. Gonzaga with the left hand. Gives Nueva Ecija a one-point lead. Ito ngayon si Pasaol. Spins. Paolong Gonzaga. Sasabit at sasabit. Saka ngayon lang natin nakita na ang Zamboanga family si Brand Sardines. Medyo talagang nakakaamoy ng dugo lahat ng teams eh. Ginachallenge talaga sila. An offensive foul. On Joshua Munzon. Nagpapaliwanag siya dito as uh, Gonzaga visibly shaken up. Tumanggap sa buka eh. Ka. Tingnan natin Tingnan natin. Boom. Oh, budega. Budega ba ang muka? Parang ano, naka, eh, nakadikit yung muka eh. I don't know so, from that angle, hindi natin kita eh. But it still stays with Nueva Ecija here. Step back by Gab Banal, forcing the issue. Haba nung Troy Wright. One GDL, pinutata sa likod ni Leonard Santillan. Here's Munzon, goes to the side. Santillan, 4-2, wala. Put back by Joshua, wala. And the last touch will be on Nueva Ecija. Possession swings back. To Zamboanga, family's brand sardines. Ito yung solid na supalpal ni Santi Santillan. Block of the game at ito sa inyo ng uling roasters. Sumobra sa sarap, pasensya na. 
Bata! Dadaan ka muna dito, bata! Huling, huli! Wala kang respeto, Wala, ha? Wala kang respeto! Huwag sa akin! Oh, oh big two-pointer by Joshua Munzon! Balik ang kalamangan sa Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. One GDL, nawala na ang kanyang headband. Humaawak sa braso, humaawak sa balakang. Sa dami ng inabot. Pero pag ganyan ka pa kabata, papagpag mo lang yan. Wala yan. Binalik ang headband, pinakita pa doon sa cameraman natin yung kamot niya. Sa kaliwang braso, sinasabi, wala bang foul yun? Sama sa laro. Oo. Oh. Making that free throw. Here's Munzon. They go inside. A whistle is called. Pasa all with the end one play. Wala akong continuation yun. Hindi mo pwede bigyan ng pagkakataon. Umiscore ng ganun si Alvin. Pasa all. Dahil sa laki ng katawan at sa kapag nakakuha ng kaunting-kaunting buwelo, kaya niyang balansihin. DM replay ng end one play in the making completed by Alvin Pasaol. Two point lead for Zamboanga, 9-7. Here's one GDL for two. And sa agawan sa rebound, napasigaw si Max Abelina. And a loose ball foul ang itatawag dito. Troy Reich, Troy Reich, oh, will be the guilty party. One GDL, kukuha pa ng contact. No? <laughs> Ganda ng pag-cut off niya ng angle. Unbelievable athleticism by Juan Gomez de Leano. Teardrop by Santi, wala. Sabelina with the rebound. Kanino mapupunta? Oh, tatapak sa labas si Max Sabelina. Turnover contra sa Nueva Ecija. Look at that move here by Juan GDL. Walang pakialam oh. sa bantay talaga. Saka inalalayan na rin ni Munzon eh. Hindi na niya kinat off yung angle. Ganda rin ang basa ni Gomez de Leano. Here's Troy Reich. Back into the hands of Joshua Munzon from outside. In and out. Here's Gab Banal. Gab challenging Santillan. Gab slicing. Short on that try. Munzon settling down their offense. Munzon skying high. What a play for Joshua Munzon. Tiin nung pagkakadrive. Saka yung crossover. Pinadaan talaga sa braso ni Maclean Sabilina. Balikan natin. A DM replay of Joshua Munzon. Showcasing his superior athleticism. Para sa kanyang kupunan dito. Here's Munzon, or rather Pasaol going baseline. Foul before the shot acknowledged. Nitong si Gabanal. Hindi nauhulog ang outside shots ng Zamboanga except for Josh Munzon. Tinitiin nila ngayon sa loob. Here's Pasaol. Ayan yung makikita mong preemptive foul. Eh. Kita niya libre yung baseline. Pag di mo pinaul, sure ball yun. Here's Joshua. Munzon kicks it outside. Great passing by Zamboanga. Offensive board by Pasaol, almost an end one play. <laughs> in ka, in ka talaga eh. Kahit Gapamilis Brand Sardines lang yung talon. <laughs> sarap nun ha, yung Spanish style. Yung maanghang-anghang. Oo. Oh, Ay, sarap nun. Saka yung, yung, may, yung may tausi. Oh, Naku. Mas mainit yung kapandisa. Ayan. 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 Butom na ako, pre. Tigilan mo na. Yeah, yeah. Pressure pack free throws. Atin sa inyo ng Chooks to go. Ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Yan pa, isa pa. <laughs> Gonzaga scores underneath easily. Gustong bawiin ni Munzon. Wala. Gets it right back. And a bad pass. Turnover. Contra sa family's brand sardines. And tumawag muna dito. Kailangan mag-usap ng Zamboanga family's brand sardines. Sandali. Ang timeout na ito. Ayitin sa inyo ng Adobo Connection. Connecting good food to every Filipino household. Talaga ang sasarap eh. Maraming bawang na adobo sa Adobo Connection. Adobo diba? Flakes yung toasted. Meron pa silang samgyupsal. Naku, yun, Tikman yun, mo yun. Naku, sinasabi ko, makakalimutan mo lahat ng sinasabi ko. Papakamot ako ng ulo eh. So back to the action. Ito pa rin po ang semifinals ng ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup. Powered by TM. 1GDL. Nothing there. Here's Moonzone. Biglang bumato ng dos! 
39. They go outside to Gonzaga. Gonzaga, ayun na naman yung kilikili shot, but this time it won't go. Munzon from Eslex. Nilabas muna dito. Gabbanal has that. And one GDL gets it back. Bounce pass. Ang ganda ng pasahan dito. Gonzaga for two. Big shot by Tonino Gonzaga. Lagi may sagot ang Nueva Ecija dito sa bawat run ng Zamboanga family's brand sardine. Pasa all. Off balance yun. And a rebound. Foul will be called on Alvin Pasaol. Takang taas ng work rate ang magkapi ng opunan. Two-point shot ito ni Gonzaga. Hatid sa inyo ng TM para sa moments na Fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Here's 1GDL. Pasaol ngayon ang nagbabantay sa kanya. 1GDL. Talagang may iwanan si Pasaol ng quick first step niyan. Yeah, and that's his strong hand. Oh, this is a mismatch now. And the foul plus the basket. In ka. In ka sa ilalim. Imka, kainan na sabi ni Alvin at kinain ngan yung depensa ng Nueva Ecija that time around. And one play in the making for the hot shooting Alvin Pasaol. Ang naalala ko sa kanya ever since sa papa nung dusa sa kolehiyo, no li lok sin na less athletic pagka pumoste. Kasi ang galing umang klan ng bewang eh. Pagka na naupo ang kanang konte, na pwesto ang kaayari ka sa ilalim. Galing pumini. The tank. Oh, everybody knows the exploits ni no li lok sin sa mantala. Pero ito may shooting. Oh. Apat pa rin dito ang lamang ng Zamboanga. 16-12. Juan Gomez de Leano, step back. Two, wala. Pasaol, sabi niya, ganito yun, oh. Ganito yun, 1 GDL. Hindi na clear ng Nueva Ecija yung bola. Ito, balikan natin dito. Alvin Pasaol, sinabi kay Juan Gomez de Leano, ganito yun, yung bago gusto mong gawin. Sabay ng ite, and just like that, 18-12 na lamang dito sa Mbuanga. They go to the side. Santi Santillan, easy. 19-12 now. Here's Gab, Banal, inching closer. Gab Banal, dinere dere chuna. Oh, great block there by one GDL. Juan Gomez de Leano, no bat, no shot there, but a foul acknowledged by Troy Reich. Ani mang lamang na zumbang ng balikan natin ng ating TM assist of the game to Santi Santillan underneath. Brought to you by TM para sa moments na fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Pagkasalig ka pinigyan ng ganon, dapat top board. Pagkasalig ka top board yun. Pagkasiyawan yung mga taong nanonood. Yeah, pinabayaan na lang ni Joshua Munzon because he knows na kaya ng kaya nito. Juan GDL takes it away. One GDL for two, no short. Tagal pa to. Here's Pasaol. Pinatira ni One GDL, and that makes it official. The Mbuanga family's brand sardines go straight to the finals. Ng ating preseason tournament. A big game para dito sa Mbuanga family's brand sardines. Ang ating two-point shot at kung sa inyo ng PM. Alvin Pasaol making matters easy para dito sa kanilang kupunan and a big victory here to propel them to the finals. Makakaharap po nila ang Bacolod Master Sardine sa ating finals later on. And Alvin Pasaol is with Mara Aquino. Alvin Pasaol, ang ating manok ng Bayan Player of the Game. Alvin, congratulations. You're heading to the finals. Now, dikit yung labanan ng first minute, first six minutes ng action. Palitan kayo ng score. Ano sa tingin mo yung nangyari kung bakit yung main factor, kung paano kayo nag-pull away at nakuha yung panalo ngayon? Uh, ginawa lang namin yung pinag-usapan namin na hipo po sila dahil sila understand sila sa amin. So, ginawa lang namin pa ulit-ulit yun hanggang nakuha namin yung panalo. Mga kalaban nyo, Bacolod Master Sardine sa finals. Anong prediction mo, ma'am, para sa mamaya? Uh, siguro sa amin na lang, uh, mananalo na lang si sinong masarap na isda. <laughs> Good answer. Congratulations, Alvin, sa ang ating manok ng bayan na hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go. Ang nag manok ng bayan. Balikan na natin si Mark and Martin. Thank you, Mara. Kalaim mo yun. Dalawang sardinas, dalawang brands. Magkakatapat sa finals. Oh. Talk about that. Uh, unbelievable game that we've been seeing here. Especially sa ating semifinals. But now the cast is set, Martin Antonio. Oh. And we're down the wire here sa ating preseason. Ang ganda na. Match-up na yan. 
kompleto, Ricados. Pakpakan talaga. Wala ka nang hahanapin pa sa ating final round. Bacolod Master Sardines kontra sa Families Brand Sardines ng Bunga City sa pagbabalik to ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3-3 President's Cup powered by TM. Unang alis, magbabalik ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Brown ouch! May lamok! Ine! Kaming bahala sa fun! Basta may doble data, doble ang fun! With TM Easy Surf 50, doble data! Dinoble na ang pang internet! May 3 gig pang fun aliw! For TikTok, we sing! Mobile Legends, Facebook, at YouTube! Yeah! Ako si Juan Gomez Dalyano from Quezon City, naglaro sa University of the Philippines at maglalaro para sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. I started playing basketball at a very young age. My father took my brothers and I out to the court. So before we used to live in the backyard, we had a basketball court. Yun. So I guess it started from there, we just kept on grinding. But my favorite basketball player, I have two actually. I look up to James Harden and Devin Booker. You know, just their leadership, their approach to you know every game, their mindset, mentality, and also you know their impact on and off the court. My signature basketball move would probably be the step back to a pull-up jump shot. Because you know, you create a lot of space for you know a wide open shot. My favorite food, marami. Uh, siguro, I love eating sinigang, chicken and dobo, ulalo, and you know, especially sisig. Happy fiesta! <laughs> My biggest crush would probably be uh, Zendaya. Just her personality, and she looks so, you know, gorgeous and all that. My favorite song, I think my go-to would probably be Grease by Drake. Sample, sample, two lines. Uh, come with me. Cut, 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 cut. What lyrics it? Come with me. Leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Panoorin nyo ako at ang Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa. Ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM. Ako si Ryan Monteclaro, mula sa Butuan City, naglaro sa Adamson University at maglalaro para sa Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas. Nagsimula ako mag-basketball nung tatlong taon gulang pa lang ako. Yung tatay ko, dati ding manlalaro. Then sa kanya ako talaga nainganyo at saka natuto. Ang pababit akong basketball player ay si Damian Lillard. Siya yung ginagaya ko ngayon, small but terrible type ng player. Ang signature basketball move ko ay step back three pointer dahil nagpanala sa akin yun sa madaming liga. Favorite food ko, hipon. Dahil uh, lumaki ako sa Mindanao, para sa seafood yung pagkain. Biggest crush ko ay si Jesse Menjola kasi unang-una, malaanghel yung tsura niya. Natay tayo dyan. <laughs> Nasabihin ko sana yung fiancé ko. Oh no! Ang pababito kong kanta ay wherever you will go ng The Calling dahil um, yung parents ko nawala sila kahit saan sila magpunta uh, nasa puso sila I'll go wherever you will go Panorin nyo ako at ang Porak Big Boss Cement Green Gorillas sa pinakaunang professional 3x3 na liga sa ating bansa ang Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 The Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM Miss nyo na ba ang Adobo Connection? Sagot namin kayo! Dahil available na ang Adobo Connection Best Sellers sa 7-Eleven. Bili na ng inyong paboritong Adobo Flakes, Samgyupsal, Roast Chicken Adobo, Beef Tapa, Pepper Beef, Bacon Bagnet, Classic Pork Sisig, Lumpiang Shanghai, Jack Daniels Chops, at Teriyaki Chops in frozen take-home packs. Just thaw, place in a microwavable container 
and heat for 1 to 2 minutes. Hatid sa inyo ng Adobo Connection. Martin, we've seen the biggest games dito sa ating preseason. We've seen some teams up and some of the bigger names dito sa ating preseason. But now we are now in our finals dito po sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy in Calamba, Laguna. Magandang gabi po muli sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Mark Zambrano with Martin Antonio. And we are just seconds away, Martin, from the finals of the preseason ng ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. A celebration, so to speak, after waiting for so many months. And now, we are about to showcase two teams na alam naman natin pag nagtapat, tik-tik ka na magiging laban. Pre-season pa lang to. <laughs> Kumbaga, e pampagana pa lang. Papawiin natin ang uhaw, napakatagal. Dito nga, nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic, pero bumalik tayo, bakbaka na agad tayo dito sa Chuxigo 3x3 dito sa Inspire Sports. Huwag na natin patagalin, Martin. Let's turn it over to Mike and Sudan to paint a bigger picture of what's going to happen in the finals. Welcome back to Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup. And it is time, Mike. Powered by TM. Before we introduce the finalists of your Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup, we'd like to acknowledge our Games and Amusement Board Health and Safety Officer, Tara Mayonga. Thank you for making sure everything runs safe and everything is being followed here at our venue at Inspired Academy. And now, for our finalists, Team Bacola, Team Zamboanga, Sudan, Daniel, let's bring him in, yo. Representing your Bacola Masters, Sardines, number four, Anton Asisto. Oh Number yeah. six, oh yeah. Chris Lalata. La, 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 la. Number seven, Joe Ignacio. Oh yeah. Number eight, Alvin Ratino. And number nine, Robin Ronio. Representing your finalist, Zamwanga Family's brand sardines. Wearing number five, Leonard Santillon. Number six, Kakaina, Alvin Pasaon. That's right, number seven, Troy Wright. And number eight, Joshua Munzon. I'm coming to get it, guys, and let me be going for speed, and that's another way to the finish. Just to go, 3x3. We come in the winning skies and then we going for speed and that's other way to the finish. What? This the president's cup. What? I'm coming to win the skies and then we going for speed and that's other way to the finish. And we powered by TM. The cast for our finals is all set. Bacolod Master Sardines contra po. Sa family's brand sardines sa Buanga City. Ika nga ni Alvin Pasaol. Tingnan na lang natin kung sinong isda ang mas masarap. <laughs> Parehas. Parehas, Parehas eh, no? masarap. Parehas, Parehas masarap. masarap. Yun ang problema natin dito. But, ang makikita natin dito, kung sino kumpunan ang mas aangat, will it be our number one team, the Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines, headed by Joshua Munzon, or will it be the streak shooting, literally coming out of nowhere na team, itong kumpunan ng Bacolod Master Sardines. Our finals now underway inside the Inspire Sports Academy in Calamba, Laguna. Nakatiin agad dito ang Zamboanga. They're not cutting any corners. They just want to get down to business. Ronyo missing the two. Nako, pinabayaan. He did it back. Look at that great passing play. The familiarity with the system here working for Zamboanga. Asistio making, creating space. Scoop shot is not good. Anton gets it back. Short pa din. Last game to ha, papaalala lang natin, 50 at saka 30, oh, yan ang pinag-uusapan. Here's Santillan. Santi is fouled by Alvin Batino. So they're sticking to the game plan na gusto ni Joshua Munzon after that freak of a loss contra sa Bicol Paxful earlier in the elimination round, Martin. 
Start strong, start powerful. Unahan na si Duck, ika nga nila. Oo, kapapauna kasi pag nakabuelo pa, nakaporma pa yung kalaban, mahirapan ka pa. Yun nga yung nangyari, nakasilat sila ng Bicol kanina. Oo, that was unexpected. Here's Alvin. Uy, pasa sana kay Lalata, but that's a turnover. That's something na kailangan nyo talagang iwasan if you're playing against a team like Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. Pasa all for two. And Ronyo with a rebound. Ronyo, susubok ng dos. Wala pa rin. Santillan, binigay kay Munzon. Here's Joshua. They go inside to Alvin. Pasa all outside to Santillan. That is a play they've been practicing. Ronyo for two. Big rebound by Lalata. Lalata, wala pa rin. Munzon, binili kay Pasaol. Back to Munzon. Look at the way they're swinging the ball around, Martin. E na pang Olympics. Oh. Mga ganyang galawan. Great pass there para kay Alvin Batino. But sorry, miss. And not Andudun in the finals. Andudun na. Hindi mahulog. Munzon for two. Masyadong malakas. Batino giving the screen to Ronyo. Naku, hindi nakatingin si Alvin. Pasa all, meanwhile. Using the Santillan screen. Pasa all for two. Wala. May halong pagod na rin eh. Oo. Tsaka halos back-to-back -back yung laro nitong dalawang to. Kasi itong Sambuanga kakatapos lang yung kanilang semifinal game. Rekta agad sa finals. Here's Monzon. Dribbling exhibition. Naku! Nakasungkit ni Ronyo. Here's Robin for two. Yes, sir! Sakto-sakto. Bikit tayo dito. Three to two. Here's Joshua. Making use of that mismatch against Ronyo. Ronyo faking off Santillan. The layup for Ronyo is good. For two. At pabalik sa ballgame si Troy Reich at si Anton Asistio. So, balikan natin ang ating TM two-point shot. The outside gunners. At yun sa inyo ng TM para sa moments of fun Pinoy. Do it with TM. Munzon missing the outside shot. At may foul dun. Puntahan muna natin si Mara Aquino with a report from courtside. Mara. Anim na beses nagharap itong dalawang ko po na noong tune-up game ng mga nakaraang araw. Patas, three wins, three losses. Kaya wala daw lamang sa laro ngayon. Sa panig naman ng Zamboanga family, Brian Sardines, ang instructions ni Joshua Munoz, hindi daw pwede magbigay ng mga easy rebounds dahil yun ang kanilang naging downfall ng elimination. Ngayon naman, sa Bacolod, Master Sardines, ang nakikita na ng problema ay yung size. Kaya makikita na natin sila magsatry sa outside shooting more on this game. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Mara. And in terms of familiarity, Martin Antonio, these two teams know each other so well right now, especially after the number of games they played hanggang leading into the finals. Kung baga sa ano, kabisado na kung anong kailangan, kailangan gawin para bantayan yung isa. Dalawang kuponan na nauna pumasok sa ating uh, bubble. May pagkakataon para mag-ensayo. At nakikita natin na mas pulido ang kanilang itinakbo dito sa ating preseason. And one play there for Alvin Batino. Getting a huge foul kontra kay Troy Reich. So balikan natin ang ating TM instant replay. Ronyo finding Batino and getting the contact plus the basket. Idiniin yung katawan sa outstretch arms at may pagkakataon dun para i-finish yung tira. Troy Reich making the two. Nilabas kay Asisto. Great pass inside for Batino. Palit mong bilya pa yung tira. Oh. Troy Reich again for two. Oh, back to back. Two pointers for Troy Reich. Asisto. Tremendous action we're seeing dito sa ating finals. Ito yung assist that's brought to you by TM. Para sa moments of fun Pinoy, do it with TM. Troy Reich, back to Munzon. Joshua for two, way off. Nakuha ulit, bounce pass. Look at that play! Beautiful execution for Zamboanga. Ang tawag doon, around the world passing. Bounce pass, behind the back, shoot. Nakatakas naman si Anton Asistio. 
The lead ballooning here for Zamboanga. Bacolod has to step up on defense. So possession will stay here with the green shirts. Tinam niyo naman yung play na yun. Inikutan at hinilo ng lahat ng player ng Bacolod Master Sardines. Behind the scenes yung ginawa eh, kaya nahihilo eh. <laughs> Hindi behind the back, behind the scenes eh. Ring around the entire Inspire. Samantala, Lala. That'll go. Alvin Pasaol, mawa ng espasyo, nilabas. Santillan for two. Big shot by Leonard Santillan. Ayan na, nabuksan na ang dike. Dere-derecho na, mga outside shots. Nahuhulog para dito sa Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines. Anton Asistio, Patino with the offensive rebound, Patino underneath, that's one. And a foul. Teka muna. Foul na naman dito, itatawag kay Alvin Patino. Delay of game, delay of game. Delay of game ba? Oo. Pagkatapos niyang kuhanin itong basket, ayan eh, pag inbound, ginam na niya agad sa tiyan. Ah, okay, nawakan niya. Tama, tama. So here's Munzon. Munzon against Patino, off the glass. Masyadong malakas yan, lalata with the rebound. Ronyo thought about it. Ronyo crossing over. Ronyo from way outside. Galing kalax pa yung tira na yun. May RFID na kaya yun. Oo, di-check natin. Here's Reich again, forcing it up. Humihingi ng foul doon si Troy Reich. Ito lang tinawag. Here's Patino. Patino going to the left. Sayang yun, di pumasok. But the foul acknowledged by Santillan. Sexy shot. Tingnan mo yun. Talagang pagilid. There was that move inside, nifty move by Patino. Masyado lang malakas, but again, great denial of the defense ni Santi Santillan, yung galaw ni Patino. Ang ganda na competition natin. Pitong buwan. Pitong buwan ngayon. Walong buwan. Oo, walong na pala. Oo. Mula March 15, no? Grabe. Pag sinasabing they're shaking off the cobwebs, what a way to shake off the cobwebs, guys. Pre-season pa lang, ganito na laro. Bakbaka na agad, eh. Bola ngayon nasa kamay. Back inside, Batino, bullet passing. Beautiful play that time para sa Bacolod Master Sardines. Tatlo na lang ang lamang na sa Buanga. Ganda ng mga palit bumbilya nito ni uh, Ryan Batino. Atipitasan ba dito ni uh, Robin Ronyo? And you can see the vice-like defense. Ayan yung bullet passing ng Bacolod Master Sardines. Ayan, nakalapit sila ng three points sa kalamangan ng Zamboanga. Four seconds to shoot para sa Zamboanga. Who will take the shot? Munzon forcing it. Blocked by Lalata. But there's... Uy, teka muna. Wala na, wala na. Oh. That will not count. Nakabutan. So pagkakataon na naman dito. Huge possession, Martin. Para sa Bacolod Master Sardines. They need to capitalize on this to cut down the lead. Lalata, over to Ronyo. Will they go for a quick two? Lalata, spinning. Lalata, nilabas. Anton assist for two. Wala. Agawan sa rebound. Mapupunta kay Munzon. Back to Troy Reich. Natulog ang depensa ng Bacolod. Talas ng pasa. Kitang-kita. Libre si Troy Reich. And a foul given up by Troy Reich. On the streaking baseline move ni Robin Ronyo. Ito, balikan natin. Kung paano umiikot ang bola, that is 3x3 basketball experience for you. Yun talaga yan eh. Yung mabilis na pasahan from the inside to the outside, back to the inside of that defense. Gutting and scoring. Batino fouled by Troy Reich. That was a smart move, ano? Take it strong to the basket na. Ayun na naman talaga dapat mong gawin. Take it strong. Sasalaksak ka, take it strong. Nakita mo kung saan na pumasok yung braso ni Troy Reich sa move na yun eh. Sa lapad ng katawan nito ni Batino. Important free throws missed there. Balik kay Alvin. Alvin inside! Lima na naman ang lamang dito ng Zamboanga. Ronyo for two. Big shot by Robin Ronyo. And a quick foul given up by Anton Asistio. Wala pang nasa penalty sa ating dalawang kupunan. Three team fouls for Bacolod and only six 
for Zamboanga. Saktong sakto yung handoff. Lapad din kasi talaga. Here's Reich. Pinabayaan for two. Short. And that will go out. Binigyan na naman ng isang napakalaking possession dito ang Bacolod. They need to capitalize on these easy possessions. Batino, challenging Troy Reich. Batino gets one point. Kinabayo yung bantay. Oh. Munzon going for two. Wala. Nilabas muna. Look at that smart tap. Pasa all for two. Wala. The problem is, na out rebound dito ang Bacolod. Yung mga tapik-tapik. Oo. Oh. Yung mga importante, mga 50-50 na bola. Can clarify lang sila dito, but there will be a timeout. Nahatid po sa inyo ng Adobo Connection, connecting good food to every Filipino household. This is still a winnable game para dito sa Bacolod. Tikit lang yan, two no. points. Isang two point shot lang yan. You have to remember that Bicol Paxful defeated Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines in the elimination round. They are un they are beatable. And with this close a score, kayang kaya ng Bacolod Master Sardines. They just need to really make good stops here and complete their all important free throws. Ronyo. Ooh, that will hurt. That will hurt. Panablasana. Oh. Second free throw. Ronyo makes it. So, umakatok. Ang Bacolod, isa lang ang lamang ng top team sa ating Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3. Joshua Munzon. Outside. Santillan for two. Wala. Rebound by Ronyo. Ronyo looking for Batino. Will he body up? Batino. Fall away. Short. Beatin. Yung tira. Pressure defense applied by Anton Asistio. Naku na puta kay Alvin Pasaol. Pasaol misses. Put back. Sabi talaga. Sabi talaga eh. Ito mo kung paano pumosisyon si Alvin pa sa all away from the basketball. Sealing it. Laki ng balakang eh. Pagkay na off on ka. Napuesto ang ka. Si Boogie. Jokes to go free throw para kay Alvin Pasaol. Naku, mintis na napakalayo ng tira. Here's Asistio. Sumagasa, Asistio. Binigay pa kay Batino. Patira na yun. Kampaboarding eh. Joshua Munzon from outside. Two-pointer for Joshua Munzon. Bigat. Sa bodega eh. Mawawalan ka ng hangin. Here's Asistio. Teardrop. Asistio will score. Soft touch. Yun yung dapat ginawa niya kanina. Pero nakapuha. Munzon na. again. Two for two. Unstoppable si Joshua Munzon. Steal completed by Zamboanga. This is for the win from Eslex. Napakalayo. But Pasaol is fouled by Lalata. So ito, tingnan natin. Game ball. Sa Wednesday na rebounce eh. No. <laughs> Pagka ganyan nangyari, okay, papatayan na tayo na ilaw. Wednesday na rebounce niyan. <laughs> Pre-season pa lang. Grabe na yung dig-dig. Tatagal kaya lalamunan natin dito, Martin Antonio. Laban. Antindi ng mga pinapakitang action. Uy, put back ni Alvin Pasol. Wala pa rin. Nagawan sa rebound. Batino keeps it alive. Lalata. Over to Anton. Assist for two. Uy, in and out. Kumalog lang. Lalata slams it home for two. Here's Antillan. For the win, Pasol. Ayun lang, nag-scramble. Sa depensa at Alvin Pasaol. Kinuha ang kampeonato dito sa preseason. At nagparamdam na ang ating top 3x3 team in the country. Taking the championship in our preseason ng Chukstago Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. There were shaky moments. Natalo sila ng Bicol Paxful. But as Joshua Munson said, Let's just do what we have to do. And that's exactly what they did to win the championship, Martin. Hindi sila nagsimula ng malambot, nakadiin agad. At, siyempre, kwenta yan. 
50 yan. Tumataginting na 50 mil. Not bad for a pre-season game. Para po dito sa Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines, Joshua Munzon, Alvin Pasaol, Troy Reich, and Leonard Santillan, the champions of our pre-season games. What a pre-season we've seen, Martin. And kung sinabi mong cobwebs, may cobwebs ba ako nakita sa mga kupunan? Parang wala eh. Alam mo yung pagpag? Oh, pinagpag sa katawan ng bantay. <laughs> Ganon ginawa. <laughs> eh, hindi inan talaga. And it will be interesting to tell everybody that this Wednesday, magsisimula na po ang ating leg number one of our 2020 season ng Chukstugo, Pilipinas, 3x3 <laughs> President's Cup powered by TM. Huge, huge day for Philippine sports dahil yan po ang official start ng kauna-unahang professional 3x3 league in the country ang inyo pong Chukstugo, Pilipinas, 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. And at this point, ito na po, puntahan na natin si Mike Swift and si Dan Daniel. I heard you, Mark. I where heard we you, at, Mike? Where, where we at? We at the finals. No, the finals is done. It's done. We so got we, a champion. We, we, we got a champion, but before we announce who the champion is, let's award our third place winner. And to do so, we need help from our league commissioner, Coach Eric Altamirano, of course. Oh. Make some noise. Make some noise. There you go, crowd. That's what I was expecting to hear from the crowd. So our third place winner will be receiving 20,000 pesos from Chooks to Go. That's going to be really nice. Give it up for Nueve Sia Rice Vanguard. Congrats, gentlemen. Remember, this is just a prelim. And for some reason, Boss Ronald Loved the way we started off and loved the energy. He wanted to make sure our top three teams aren't going home, or at least to the dorms, empty-handed. Thank you guys. So Coach Eric, I'm gonna need you to stay right there. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Good, congrats again. So Coach Eric, I also need you to help us award our second places, which will receive 30,000 pesos from Chooks to Go. Give it up for your Bacolo Master Sardine. Amazing job by these young gentlemen coming out. Most of them, it's their first time playing here in our 3x3 scene. But they handled their business, and they're going home, or at least to the dorm. 30,000 pesos, Richa. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. See a Coach Eric last night, last night, Coach Eric. Promise. Promise, Coach. Don't be mad at me. Yeah, throw that 3x3. Hindi yeah. lang loco, international, di ba? Yes, sir. International. And local. Mike, I think it's that time. I think it's that time, Mike. Who we need to announce? Who are we awarding, Mike? Who are we awarding today, Mike? So we're awarding the Tuxedo Filipinos 3x3 President's Cup preseason champion. They're going to receive 50,000 pesos from Tuxedo. Give it up for Zabwanga. Families, brands, sardines! Oh yeah, congratulations. your fans, face to your fans, yes. Second floor, third floor, first floor. 
Virtual fans at home. Congratulations muli sa Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards, our third placer. Sa Bacolod Master Sardines, our second placer. And of course, our pre-season champions. Ang Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines taking home ang tumatagintig na 50,000 pesos. Martin Antonio, not bad for a pre-season game. Pampagana pa lang yun. <laughs> Pampagana pa lang yun. Champion dito sa pre-season ang Zamboanga. Pero Mark, ang pinaka-champion, ang bawat isang Pilipino na sumusubaybay sa basketball. Ang gandang simula para sa atin dito sa Chooks to Go 3x3. I could not agree with you more, but of course, one person will have to take some of the credit more than his teammates for playing exceptionally well sa ating preseason. And that man is with Mara Aquino. Ang ating manok ng Bayan Player of the Game, Joshua Munson. Joshua, congratulations. You bagged the 50,000 pesos. You have a new team this time around. What did you like best about your new team in the five games that you played today? Uh, I, I like the fact that we bounced back after that loss. I mean, I, I think it says a lot that we came out here, we slipped up a game, and we was able to bounce back, and I think we played a lot harder those next, what, three games after we lost. So I think, you know, we showed that uh, we're a tough team, we're resilient. And uh, we uh, showed that we could uh, win through adversity today. Now you got a taste of what you're going to be seeing this President's Cup 2020. What can you say about the competition, the 19 games that you experienced today and yeah. you witnessed? It's going to be tough. I mean, everybody's out here playing hard. I, I like what I saw today. The competition, competition is definitely going to be stiff. I mean, you saw it. we slept up a game and then we lost. I mean, if we could lose, anybody can lose. So I just. Uh, I would say it's too open, but at the same time, uh, it's, 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 it's some good competition in this tournament, for sure. A lot of people are so happy to have you back. People all over the Philippines are excited to have 3x3 back. Now, oh, yeah. can you invite them to our first leg the, in the next couple of weeks, and oh, if yeah. you want to beat anybody? Oh, uh, yeah, I just want to thank Boss Rado, you know, uh, Chicks to Go, and everybody for having us come back and uh, experience this bubble. I just want to shout out my daughter. Uh, what's up, Kinsley? I'll see you, baby. And uh, come on, fans, come on, come on out to support us. Uh, first legs to uh, October oh, 21st. Come support us, watch on the game, and uh, you know we'll see you guys there. Congratulations! <laughs> and that's just a preview of what you'll be seeing in this 2020 Chuxtago Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup, powered by TM. So watch out for more 3x3 action. Balikan na natin sila Mark and Martin. Thank you, Mara, and of course. That he knows that every team in this lineup can defeat them. In fact, nakatikim sila ng pagkatalo kanina. And I think that's the biggest takeaway that we can bring over to leg one on, on October 21. Na lahat ng teams dito may dadalang sarili nilang alas. Papuntang Olympic Qualifying Tournament, ito ang gusto mong pagdaanan ng ating koponan. Ang Zamboanga Family's Brand Sardines, best of the best ng 3x3 players natin dito sa Chooks to Go, dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya naman, gusto mo, yung mga pinakamamibigat na kalaban, yun din ang kanilang makat makakatapat. Kaya naman, eto na ang tunay na bakbakan Wednesday sa 21. This early on, nakakita na tayo ng matitinding matchups, matitinding rivalries, exceptional individual and team skills. But that is only a preview dahil pre-season lang po ito. Inaanyayahan po namin kayong lahat on October 21 sa simula po ng ating leg one ng inyong Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup powered by TM. Dito po rin po gagawin yan sa loob ng world-class facility natin sa loob ng Inspire Sports Academy sa NU Campus dito sa Calamba, Laguna. We'll see you all on Wednesday sa Chooks to Go Pilipinas Facebook page sa Beam TV and of course sa YouTube channel ng FIBA 3x3. Sa ngalan po ni Martin Antonio, at lahat po ng bumubuo ng Chooks to Go Pilipinas 3x3 President's Cup. Ako po si Mark Zambrano. See you all on Wednesday for more world-class 3x3 action. The Chooks to Go Filipinas 3x3 President's Cup is powered by TM.
Para sa moments na fun Pinoy, do it with TM.